Welcome to my YouTube video on how to kill a big daddy. Okay, so normally they um they grab the little sister here. And, uh, so I've got um two uh, like explosives and um so what you need to do is like you gotta armor piercing round through really what you need. Um and uh, electric bucks and my mic. Oh jeez, oh god, I'm running out of time here. Take photos as best you can. Um, here we go. Ow. Oh god. It's all going wrong. Eh, sort of shoot it. You hope for the best. Oh god, he's angry. Oh, he, he throws things at you. You gotta avoid it. Oh. There we go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Go. Oh. out to make something that gets called bad by idiots like myself on YouTube. It's sad. It's like crazy because that was 
He was so much more interesting of a character. Yeah, I agree. Hello, welcome to part two. <laughs> that was, uh, oh, that was a really cool intro there. <laughs> that was a phenomenal intro once again. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be okay. checking out both those videos um, as we go along today. But oh, yeah, yeah, welcome back. This Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Batwoman that kept company while we were... Oh, bye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's sleepy. I can technically I'm say out. I was in two parts. <laughs> he said I need to go to bed. I'll be back when I wake up. <laughs> like, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, bye. Whatever. He's gonna, right. he's gonna try to be in every, like, all three parts of this, uh, this episode. <laughs> he just wanted to count as having been in part two. It's like, there we go, done. <laughs> Yes, what a... It's, it's funny, I don't know about you and uh, you guys, but I got so much done in that half an hour of time I had. <laughs> I was like yeah, doing... Yeah, I was I, surprised. I had a massive shit. Mm. Um, I, if, um, that, if that helped anyone. I had an average P, but one thing that I did do was I decided I went out and I went to a gas station that's a couple blocks away. Mm -hmm. I want to stretch my legs. I went inside and goes, ten, it's, it's like 10... 10 15 p.m. at the time over here. I'm inside. I grabbed three cans of peace tea, uh, raspberry mm. flavored. Eh, pretty good so far. Um, and there was this guy who was in there. There was one other guy in there apart from the cashier. And when I went up to uh, to go pay for my stuff, he said, Hey, um, uh, I, I need some gas money to get back home, essentially. And I was like, Uh huh, how far away is home? He's like, oh, it's over on, you know, it's no pike or whatever. I was like, so how much money do you need? And he's like, oh, just whatever you can give me. And I'm like, uh, lucky, lucky for him, I was in a good mood. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll get you, I'll get you some gas money, right? So I was, I put the three T's up on the, on the, on the counter, and I was just about ready to say these three T's and five bucks on pump two because he had his car mm -hmm. pulled up. Just about ready to say it, and he says, hey man, can I get one more favor? And I'm like, here it comes. Here the it gun's comes. coming out. Like a, like a fucking, like, oh, he better be fucking <laughs> quick, because I am too. Uh, but he said, he said, um, I gotta do one more favor. And I'm thinking, here's the grift. Here it fucking comes. I knew it. He, and he starts looking at like a bunch of like packaged sweets and things, like honey oh, buns God. and stuff like that, that were at the, that they were by the cashier, you know, the, the cash register and stuff. He's like, can I, can I get one of these things? And I was like, I'm gonna stop you there, right, right there, man. I was going to get you the gas money, get you home because you said you needed it so very badly, but you fucked up. So <laughs> I'll just take the three T's, please. Damn. Um, and that was that. Damn. That was that. Him down hard. Boom. No, fuck that guy. Oh, yeah. 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 It pushed a little too. <laughs> he far. just wanted some I was like, if you, if you need, it's like, think of all the people who actually might be in a bad spot like that and they really do just need a bit of money to get home because they True. didn't carry some with them for whatever reason or whatnot and they actually do need it and the assholes yeah. like this who just keep pushing their fucking how much money can how much free shit can i get from this random do-gooder oh man yeah you don't yeah, take advantage of someone that you ask to do a favor for you just like mm -hmm. you just are like thankful and then that's it you don't ask for so, like additional things because good god that's like yeah He's like, if Especially you that need stuff. this one thing, yeah, yeah. He's like, but you're trying to. He's like, oh, now that I've got him, now that I know he'll spend money on me, maybe I can get an extra, like a, a fucking honey bun off of him or something like that. He just eventually Man, hands you, you a, a cart. He's like, I'd like everything in here, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you need more, favor? more eventful than I just went and got some nuggets, some chicken nuggets, because <laughs> I felt like it. I was in this, in the mood for nuggies. I drank like two, <laughs> two liters of water while walking around. I just that's it seemed like yeah. the most efficient way to do it. Mm. Yeah, we got so some. Uh, right. You him by exposure by telling a story. That's right. That's right. I did. That man was exposed to you. Well, um, I will say this. I guess while it's on my mind, if for uh, what I do is I will have the I'll pop out the EFAP chat as its own window. You can highlight because it makes its own window when you do that. You can highlight that chat, and then you could paste that into a normal tab, and it will just become a normal tab like the rest of them, and not its own little weird proprietary window thing. Something you can do. Didn't know if yeah, if, you, if, cared, if that's... But, you yeah, know, maybe. Yeah, yeah. There's gotta that be somebody might, out there. It is, it is useful. To me. Yeah, yeah, that's something. That's something. Hmm. Yeah. 
Um, we got some art on screen from Catastropica. Right. Yeah, oh, Pikachu really on good. Twitter, I think. Yeah. It often you draws right us thing. this way. They're very, very <laughs> cute, just adorable and loving. Mm, she she adorable. always draws it that way. Really wholesome. Um, and yeah, and there's there's Wait, all kinds of things. Cool. Well, they retractable. <laughs> I'm, I'm not reviewing a movie right now. I'm just looking at a nice little <laughs> moon, I guess. <laughs> so you're watching a, you're watching an uh, an onion flying uh, into the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very curious at this oh, point. My I've brain been... nearly died. I couldn't remember what a fucking onion was. <laughs> what was that thing? It was. It begins with O or P or something. Well, they're crude drawings, as I don't blame you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, good lord. Oh my god. That's horrifying. Oh. oh this is actually terrifying. So the memes have been dank then. It's Bob. Oh, he's gonna grab <laughs> Fringy's bog foot. Roll? <gasps> Explain this oh, bog roll to me. Well, the bog is a, is a slang word for the toilet. And then roll. Oh, that's... oh I had no idea. <clears throat> I did I did not know that. There you go, that's the equivalent of what did you say it was? Toilet paper, right? That's a common one mm. for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> we got a bog roll. Yeah. yeah. Bog roll. Fringy said head? like tissue. Like paper I need to I need to like go to the that, head. Right? Like, I need to go to the Well like wait. I can't the remember walls, anymore. Yeah. What was tissue paper? Was that something else or was it Was that rags you said tissue paper? Kleenex like... and then there was bathroom tissue. So Bath there's like bathroom tissue. Paper. Some people like I guess yeah. some people say tissue paper. Generally it's toilet paper or TP. It's toilet paper. I've just always called it toilet paper. Yeah, it's toilet paper or TP for me. Bog row. I swear. Ass wipes. Boo goo. Boo goo. Oh yeah, of course. Uh... But I you always want to keep uh, always going to keep some wet wipes next to the TP so you can end every poo in a in a wet wipe. Keeps mm. it looking nice down there. Sorry, I have little things I add up. I, I, I just had a few uh, operational things to do. That's why things aren't moving forward just yet. Just give me a moment. That's all right. <coughs> uh, what's on the toilet? Can we talk about toilet uh, toilet terminology? Uh, the well, what call... else would there be? Well, what do, you, do the well the toilet itself? Do you guys uh, do you guys use commode? Commode. What? Commode. Excuse me. Yeah. Commode. Yeah, I'm aware of commode. I... That's yeah. when you like try to be like a little more polite, kind of like because toilet can like some people think that that's vulgar. It's like that's yeah, rude to call it the it, toilet or something. It's like commode yeah, kind of sounds cleaner. Because technically, commode. Oh, we all yeah. shit and piss, mate. We all shit and piss. Hello. Or, so, or do we? Also, hello. We can. I was gonna say we haven't introduced. Oh, hi, the, weekend warriors. It's been so, a long time since you've been hey, The hey, cast. Hey, hey, hey. The cast has switched out since the prior part. We've now got. Southpaw, Meme Repository, Weekend Warrior, Indigo Gaming, and that is all of the new people, right? Yeah. Okay. There you go. The thumbs up. <laughs> hey, you I'm not used to being at the end of the line. At not being at the end of the line. This weekend, do you what? Um, have you heard of commode? Do you know what a commode is? Uh, I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Like I've seen that no? word before. I've seen pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you saw a picture of a commode, you might not associate it with what it is typically used as. Um, oh. Technically, a commode <laughs> is either a... It's what you put the chamber pot in. Okay, I've seen it now, yeah. I've Google yeah, imaged or, it. Yeah, or it's like a, a, a kind of a, a movable thing uh, that's got... It's like a, like an old person little pot they you know they could sit on that's more high raised up and it's on sort of stilts of a kind and has a lid. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not technically a toilet, but they are used interchangeably. So why do you why do you bring this up then? Ms. Well, Mr. I'm glad Rex. you asked, and, and since you asked, I can keep going guilt free. We're talking about uh, just etymologies for different words and what words people use for different things. Um, like what? What do you call the um? What the stuff you wipe with? Um, what do you call that? <laughs> butt paper. Just, butt is it, yeah, toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, um, let's see. Um, what about? Oh, so like, do you call it the the the? I know you have WC. That's what I'll put in chat a lot. Oh, yeah. The water closet. No one calls it that here, but I just know of it. Or the washroom. No one generally mm -hmm. calls it the washroom here. 
Yeah, we it's know the restroom. The we restroom. use restroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a more, I guess, polite way of saying bathroom, even though bathroom in and of itself is just a room with the bath. Well, but the, people generally don't have to urgently go and well, take remember, a bath. Well, remember, Hassan so referred it, to a toilet as a bathroom. <laughs> The, well, the, the etymology in, in Australia is that there is the bathroom, which is the one that has the shower, the bath, the sink, and then there's the toilet, which is the dedicated toilet room. Oh, you guys have a dedicated toilet room? A Some lot of houses do, have, yes. A lot of houses, oh. yeah, they have over, just a toilet, and then there's the bathroom that's different. I don't well, like that. Over like... here, that's probably why the, it's called that over here so much, because all of those things are in the same room. The, the, there's a, Maybe, there's yeah. the sink. Maybe. There's the bathroom. There, there's the the bath itself for the in the tub, and there is the toilet that is also in that room. So the whole room is called the bathroom. Except then, normally yeah. when people say I have to go to the bathroom, it's for using the toilet, not because I just really need to take a bath right now, guys. So and if that's you're how in Ned, stuck. Ned Flanders's new house, the bathroom is also known as the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Ned Slanders. What the fuck? <laughs> well, there's a toilet right next to the fridge. There are oh, some man, houses, what? though. Um, that is called efficiency. I, yeah. uh, I used to that's... live in a house that had a tiny little, like, attached to the master bedroom, there was a very tiny room that just had a sink and a toilet in it. Um, and so there are those, but those are generally, like, half baths. Yeah, they call those half baths, baths yeah. Called. Yeah, it's a half bath. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is, it, does, it, half it has 0% of a bath. It's just a toilet and a sink, generally. Uh, but you know, if you if you can if you can build a house and you got the room for it, go it makes the value go up. Half bath's better than no bath. Um, Is it? Do you? Yeah. I mean, half bath's better than you no. Can, you, you can use yeah, you can use it as a selling point, and when you sell it, you say, "Hey, this is the master," because you have the master bedroom and you have the master bath, uh, which is the bathroom and generally the best one. It's just connected to the master bedroom. Oh and then yeah, you have I mean, the there's, there's definitely it's like the en suites, yeah. Yeah. But, so if um... you have a room, so if you have a like the first house I lived in was kind of small, but there was enough room, especially if you're going to make the house a certain shape, like a boxy shape, you could work in how this space could be. It's just big enough well, for a house. Wait, bath, sorry, so I don't want to the 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 half bath thing it's like is it necessarily better to have a half bath that you'll never use rather than just have the shower and then like i don't know just have more space for well, other stuff it, you won't have a house that is just a half bath every house will have a like a a bath or a tub in a like, proper bathroom sure. pretty much but yeah. in addition there might be also a half bath i see okay okay yeah well, yeah, so, they'll, let, they'll like rate it so like uh, you got like 1.5 bathrooms. That means you have a full bathroom with the all everything, and then the 0.5 means yeah a toilet it, basically. Hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's, in case a, you want to have a bath in the toilet, sort of thing. Well, everybody seems to like that. <laughs> if sort you're of small thing. enough, you could do. Well, it. Yeah. well, this this clarifies something. When I saw the thing on the Hassan house, it said 5.5 bathrooms. To which I thought, yep. how the fuck <laughs> does that 5.5? Yes, so five. Five, yeah, five <laughs> full five. Full bathroom. He needs them. And, and then one half bath. bathroom. Or, or alternatively, four bathrooms and one one and a half bathroom. What is Think it going to do it. with all that space? Like, I could that never buy a house. Be, well, I just don't know what I would do with it just all that seems to room. Be a, it seems to be a thing that people, that people seem to like that, to just have massive houses. Especially houses with lots of bathrooms, which always feels really weird to me. It's funny because the, like, ex uh, the expenses just carry on because you have to get someone to clean it well, like permanently. Yeah, it, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, Think well. about the plumbing. I guess you're right. Well, and home repair is going to be way more expensive. I, I don't know. It just feels like and I think getting more than you need makes it a lot harder to just live. Yeah. Um. But hey, you know he's happy. Um. Yeah. The uh -huh. so we're, we we have covered two whole videos, and it's time Yay. for a third. I provided a link. Now, so you can all jump into the watch together. Now, many people would describe us, especially as of recently, as MCU fanboys, I would say. Sexist. Also that. that. Too. <laughs> They'd be like, oh my god, you guys obsessed, you love the MCU. And you know what? Martin Scorsese was right. Right? Now, we've, we've made it clear that we don't typically agree with him, but luckily for us, there's a video explaining why he was correct, and that we need to understand. Really? That the yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, so boy. I might have. 
I might have seen this video actually if it's if it's older. Like, <clears throat> I remember there were a couple of videos that came well, out around the time that he what, said that. I'm excited because I can't wait for some great arguments for why what he said was true. <laughs> so am I gonna want to commit die after this? Yes. Strap in everyone. Let's say a family wants to go to amusement. Oh, it started straight away. Oh. How rude. I wasn't ready for that. Very oh. fucking oh, yeah, rude. Thomas Flight. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Uh, oh. it's a so doozy. <laughs> yeah, all right. So here it goes. Okay. Oh so, wait, wait right? so it's ten minutes it's ten minutes, so we'll we'll be here for four hours, right? <laughs> oh you you are being generous. Sir. You you You're may come generous. and go as you wish. No one's forcing anything. It's okay, sir. Let, well let's see let's see what Marty has to say. Mm -hmm. Or who, who who is this guy? Let's do it. Let's say a family wants to go to an amusement park. That's a good thing. <laughs> you know? And at the amusement park there's these cinematic expressions. They're new art form. So already. Okay, so action heroes <laughs> yeah. are not action films are not new. Manipulation just dripping off the screen already. He's showing explosions. He's like, hey, Avengers Endgame, they just blow everything up. Like there's no emotional moments or no like like deep moments of like character or anything like of high artistic value inside of that movie whatsoever. It's like that that's completely not true, dude. You're just showing what's bombastic say, of all the Marvel. Aid the roller coaster allegory. I will say of all the Marvel films, if we were going to say any of them are meant to just be the roller coaster, Endgame is probably as close as it gets in terms of just we want to hit these beats and we're going to find whatever way we can to get there. I I yeah, mostly agree the, with that. The, the problem is just you know, no, Nat, I, I, you know you know Nat's death, for example. If someone went, oh, it's just a roller coaster, there's nothing there. But like, it's like there's no, a lot there actually. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, there's a lot yeah. you can yeah, talk about. They were yeah, man, they were they were like fighting to see who gets the privilege of dying. That's that's a that's well, yeah, well, VR. You could also pick the Winter Soldier as far as like a roller coaster type film, I guess. Well, well he's saying you can say it for all of the Marvel films, and all the Marvel films do typically so, yeah. have like big bombastic action scenes. But I just don't know why that disqualifies them from cinema. Yeah, no, I'm curious what kind of a fucking movie okay. snob has to Spoiler. think that. No, Scorsese was totally right. Yeah, Wait, spoilers, this... Martin Scorsese doesn't know what that means. He just said it, and then everyone just took his word for it. Well, because cinema's so like, um... Authority. Cinema's like a label that he's trying to keep away. He's like, no, you can't have it. He's, you have to earn Yeah, this. exactly. And I'm, and, and... Like, I'm above that. My movies, like Ingmar Bergman, like, they're the high artists. Like, Marvel movies, like, whoa, stay away. Well, so then I'd be curious. Yeah. I'd be like, so is Interstellar cinema? And if he said yes, I'd be like, so what about all the big bombastic action scenes? Like, well, no, they I can't wait to hear him say, like, no, they're meaningful. They have stakes. They have reasoning that they exist. Or, you know, whatever else. I'd just be like, mm, mm yeah. That's, mm, mm. Mm. That is emotion. So we, <clears throat> I mean, you could do the exact opposite of this. You could say, you could be critical of Martin Scorsese and say like, oh yeah, his is just like, you know, senseless violence and so-and-so and just do a quick cut of all of the, you know, people getting shot in the head and murdered and beaten and stuff like that. Like, yeah. it's, it's just a, a poor representation of well, the entire, of the entire film, you know? Well, I mean, Apocalypse Now, for example, that's one that a lot of people say is like one of the better films of all time. And like the first act of that movie is like all bombastic and explosive. Like there's a purpose behind it because it's all like kind of about showing like how people were like explosive in the war and like just took it like as more so a thrill ride, the whole surfing thing. But like it's not just because the movie's bombastic or has big set pieces shouldn't like detract from the writing or the themes. I, I don't know why people make that distinction. It's a weird distinction. Well, um, yeah. Obviously, part of the awkwardness of this is that we're all wondering what the fuck it means. And then we can figure out whether or not it's fair. But the main benefit you're going to have from the person who's making these claims is going to be to be as vague as possible and then just hope that most people are like, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're like, oh, uh, yeah? Check onto that sounds about right. Also, yeah, I'm, no, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put up my, my spooky my spooky copyright cover because I'm scared. Yeah, put it in. Yeah, just... Ooh. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, 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 look. oh like, no, it's a so, movie with explosions. And this is the thing, the person who chose to edit this is like, so you're telling me it's explosions specifically, right? And then they're gonna be like... Just three hours of explosions. <laughs> is it the yeah, because all the you need is. to do is counter is come up with some of the better movies like of all time or at least what people say well, even scorsese says are the best and if you find explosions you've basically defeated what this guy's arguing good terminator luck, there we go good luck saying saving private ryan isn't cinema <laughs> like yeah okay yeah exactly full, full metal jacket like. it's something different from films that are shown normally in theaters 
Um, it's something but different. But this is in space. Oh, that's a real film. 2001 is a real film. But do you, do you hear that, though? It's something telling... different from films that are typically shown in, in cinemas. It's like, no, but they're not. That's all... Yeah, they're not. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're telling me 2001 A Space Odyssey does not have an emphasis on, like, bombastic set pieces and, like, a grandiose scale. Like, yeah, but that's it, what it's <laughs> deeper. Basically, it's the deeper, entire Evan. film is. It's it's Evan, no it's deeper. Well, this it's is like, what ha this is so the problem weird. that you run into when you start trying to distinguish between as if there's like this is cinema and this is not, even though they're both shot like and cinema. run this length of time and are shown in theaters yeah. and have stories and characters and a plot. It it's all art. You you just have to. It has to well, be. It's all art and it's all. You're stumbling on what. Same you're stumbling on what I think yeah. the truth is, which is they wanted to find a way to categorize the films they think are good and bad. Well, I mean, if you want to I mean, do if that, you just made fine, the like... Epic of Gilgamesh and a lot of these mythological stories and the, the, the mythologies of Greece and things of that nature, if you gave them really big budgets, they could be indistinguishable from Marvel movies in a lot of ways. With all these mm. characters who have superpowers, who are tricking each other, who are using their strengths as they can, who are on these big quests fighting massive monsters and things. I, I just don't... Like it, if, it's a it's nonsense. If, he, just wanna, if he wants to say that Marvel films are morally... Ba not morally, like creatively bankrupt, it's like, that's one thing. But to say yeah, that I, they're not even cinema at all... I think that's lame. a fair statement right now. <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you could easily, uh, you know, using Coppola, you know, Godfather, for example, you could show the bomb, the car bomb scene from uh, The Godfather, which is considered one of the best, quite often cited as the best film of all time. And you could have, you know, contrasted that with, uh, say, Peter Quill in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, yeah. where it zooms on his face, very similar to this shot from 2001. So, like, you can. You can be creative with editing and make make one thing look as good as you, you want, keep, and the other thing look as yeah. You as keep bad everything the same. All the Martin Scorsese quotes, you just do all of that. So you're like, see, he was saying yeah. the MCU movies are cinema, while 2001 and Godfather <laughs> are trashy films. You see, and like, because this is the thing, man. If someone's like, I am not going to go to the theme park with you fellows because I wish to read a book instead. You may enjoy your fun japes over there. But I shall be reading my book. You're just like, fuck off. What the fuck? I shall be enjoying the pleasures of the mind. Get over yourself. <laughs> like, uh, yes, the family may enjoy such tr tripe. <laughs> but like, I, on Someone the other was hand. what Movie Bob saw himself to be. But Not every film yeah, needs to be Stalker it, or something like that. It, it seems like the traditional filmmakers seem threatened by all these new mediums. Like, wasn't it, uh, I don't want to misquote him, but it wasn't Spielberg or something like that uh, wanted to disqualify any uh, uh tv original movies because they weren't um released in theaters he oh, wanted to make God. it like disqualified from oscars oh, or yeah. something like that yeah, so, like, yeah. yeah like specifically so streaming in... stuff yeah that's yeah, yeah. Netflix, which netflix fucking... original movies that yeah. sucks like oh why yeah. do you have that opinion Stop it. i guess i think this is like i can understand the sentiment of being frustrated as a filmmaker to like look at the industry yeah. and everybody's super excited for like schlocky marvel sludge mm -hmm. but again you can just criticize it for what it is rather than trying to disqualify it as 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 art. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe if I try and recategorize the things people like as not art, it'll <laughs> that will convince them know, not to like it anymore. Yeah. It'll give more value to the stuff I make. It's called cool. yeah. poisoning the well. Poisoning just the well. Except the fact that sometimes the things that are the best in terms of quality or the things that are the most sophisticated just aren't going to be the most popular. Well, it's like always in fact. Like it's yeah. almost inversely proportional. I would, it's I would argue, yeah, little, they, little. They, it seems like they have to come to the realization that it's like, you've been defeated by McDonald's. Um, it can happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. it's probably also a little bit of uh, jealousy and or like, <clears throat> oh, I did it the hard way. I started, you know, pitching, pitching scripts to these Hollywood executives who rejected 10 of my scripts before they took one. I did everything. I, I had to fight on, for every single creative decision. And I finally made my name and career, and then, and then Netflix turns around. And it's like, hey, 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 Michael Bay, do you want 150 million dollars to make a movie? And so they probably feel a little, uh, like a, a little bit betrayed or a yeah. little bit like, oh, these guys are taking the easy route. But at the same well, time, like, if it if it results in a good movie, it's a good movie, no matter what medium it's released on. To a degree, yeah, we have we share like a lot of probably what their issues are as people, but 
Our response was, we're gonna watch the new shit, tear it to shreds, and explain where they've failed and where they keep failing, and how in trouble we are for new stories and how we should probably push for better. Not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know what, guys? Falcon Winter Soldier is not cinema, so I'm not gonna cover it. Oh. Like, oh, oh okay. Wait, you, you forgot the whole. Oh, not cinema. Oh. <laughs> oh. I scoff at your concept oh. of cinema. Oh. <laughs> but you know, don't need to poison the well in order to criticize things. I think. Yeah, exactly. Well, so I was gonna say this. This video is really bad start because it's it's compared explosions to long shots of people. It's like, okay, so this seems yeah. pretty fucking superficial. There I hope you do long better than that. Shots of people in Endgame, and there are explosions yeah. in cinema movies. So you got to do better than that. This, this Literally is comparing the CG explosions to the Kubrick stare. Right now, well, you could start well, I was to extrapolate to say... a point out of it. You like you could oh start God, to extrapolate right. a point out of it, but you have to be very charitable. So is... when it didn't have to be this way, you could have taken an explosion from Endgame and compared that to an explosion in Apocalypse Now. Well, and what I could literally you'd still be what... fine, but you're just being what you could literally do with with the beginning of this video is you could edit in clips from Scorsese movies with gunfire and explosions and you could be showing how hypocritical he is like like the same yeah. effect would be achieved he's just showing explosions thing, from Marvel movies saying hey he's right and I could be like this is from his movies he's wrong you're his cracking into the part that we actually need because when you do that they ha they are forced to be more specific and that's when they'll say okay but it's meaningful in those films and you're like wait what do you mean Okay, but it's because the character's yeah. journeys, okay? And you're like, ah, oh, gotcha. <laughs> like, thank you. Now we can work with it. Because it's like, tell me how there isn't a character journey in Iron Man. And then they'll be like, well, I mean, and then they'll have to start qualifying it. It's, it's going to sound like shit because it's really hard. And of course, the big part is like, if the criticism is the assembly line process, does that mean that Iron Man was like exempt, but then the rest of the films don't count as cinema anymore? Because no. Iron Man 1 was like an experiment. No, it's only Blade that, that is okay, really the rest of them suck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, I'm also wondering, like, does Jurassic Park not fall under his definition of cinema? Mm. Because of course, the, like, at that point, oh. that's the yeah, chasing after people that's and the eating problem. them. At the, like nobody in the world is going to accept somebody saying that Jurassic Park isn't cinema, rightly so. Mm -hmm. That was the same with Jaws like... and well, yeah, a lot of you know what? movies are like um, blockbuster movies. The problem is with the blockbuster. Star Wars, which is Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, 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 Jones yeah. visual effects that were revolutionary for the time. Star Wars, yeah. Because um, yeah, Indiana these... Jones has to count that that scene in the Last Crusade with the leap of faith. Uh, that that shot right there is like. That was a that was really really nifty practical effect and we'll see uh, among other things that that film got right. Maybe that's Terminator one of the two. requirements. You have to have done something filmmaking wise beyond just sitting everyone in a green screen. Maybe that's the requirement. You know. But I mean, I guess so the that, would <laughs> that would be the interesting part to talk about. Is like, is there not some sort of value in like how impressive? Thanos looks or well, yeah, Hulk? and not to mention, what if uh, I know it, it's a little bit of a difficult hypothetical, but what if you know, turns out Quentin Tarantino actually used a, a green screen for all of Reservoir Dogs? None of those things are real. How about that? <laughs> well, oh, that's man. something I don't know if you've seen some of the videos, like it's actually insane just how much green screen and like CGI is in the Wolf of Wall Street. Like Scorsese uses CGI all the time, it's every, he's not like Mr. Practical and. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, uh, and Because, of course, we're responding to potential arguments here. That's the problem. We can't really work with anything else. Well, yeah, we'll see just... anyway, because this video right, this video explains it, apparently. And it's very well rated, this video, so, you know? It's just a really bad foot to get, like, started off of, because you've just been kind of dishonest when you didn't really need to be. Yeah. Uh, and vague yeah, when you didn't I, need to be. I would. This is a it's form like of poisoning the well, the well yeah. Before we uh, continue, though, okay, I, cool. I, I heard some pretty rough words uh, you guys said about Grace Randolph, so I wanted to ask, is this a gracist podcast? <laughs> Sorry, oh no. My God. Oh, I mean, we're, it's we're pretty, definitely a misogynist. Yeah, we're pretty problematic, I can <laughs> confirm that. Seriously, okay. chat, I don't know how many of you are new versus not, but that fucking Grace Randolph video, holy shit. Oh, we never cover her again. Or watching that part, <laughs> watching that part rather. Oh. It failed in every every single aspect. Not only did she say nothing of value, she and that that was her. She has two videos on uh, Suicide Squad. This was her non spoiler, uh, yeah, her non spoiler yeah, review, she which she one. she talks about the ending, and it's like, okay, well, what's the point? I mean, she gave away anyway. quite a bit if you think about it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Anyway, go ahead. 
I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Just quiet. But this, That's all. this, this is elaborate you, set design. This well, is, so, um... Now oh. we're at the point where we're like, okay, can you please make your point clear? Because now I'm not, like, is it, was it this, the, it was the character journey then? Or is it what it was being dealt with? Or thematically, like, what you can draw out of the AI having made those decisions? Like, you gotta tell me what it is. Be for sponsored video. Martin Scorsese's comment that Marvel films aren't cinema is making waves again with the release of his opinion piece in the New York yeah, Times explaining shit. his position. <laughs> it's making waves. I like I, the idea that it's not an incredibly controversial thing to say. Making waves. <laughs> like, oh, I, 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 yeah, you know, all of all of superhero movies, they're not really cinema. Anyway, bye. It's like, uh oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to cover this in 10 minutes? Chop, chop. Yep. <laughs> many cinephiles feel validated, and many people who are fans of Marvel movies Cinephile? and other larger Cinephile franchises. Well, I mean, here, here's, here's, oh, the, yeah. here's the big defense for us. Like, yeah. I'm pretty unhappy with Marvel movies at the moment. Exactly. But still, yeah. what you said is, is, is pretty absurd. We mentioned this earlier no, I, I, when we said it annoyed us that J on RLM said that um, the Joker wasn't made by a filmmaker or it was not a real film. Yeah, it's pretty just, fucking what annoying. Are we doing? What you know, if someone said, here? hey, Muller, is Black Widow a film? Is it cinema? I'd be like, well, yeah, it's shit, oh, but, it's, it's, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, they're part I of think, the death. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll just say that. I think they're, um, they're mixing what makes the movie bad with, oh, this shouldn't be a movie or, or something like that. Is that, some, yeah. is that a fair thing to say? Right. Rather than it criticizing like it, they're basically gatekeeping like a definition for like what makes it a good movie or a movie period. Like it's not yeah. cinema if it if it does X Y Z, which is just arbitrary labels. Basically, I feel like, like I feel like the conversation they're not interested in whether it's good or bad. It is like it is not cinema. It's not art. Which of course it's a film. It's shown in cinemas and it's filled with artistic expression I, from directors. I, honestly, and I think they would they would fuck with you. They would just troll face you and be like, yes, it is art, but it's not cinema. And you'd be like, so what are you saying? It's like, it, it does do all these things, but it's not cinema. Uh, it's like, I'm... oh, what is your definition of cinema? And it's like, well, it excludes Marvel films. It's like, that's a weird <laughs> definition of anything. <laughs> excludes <laughs> Marvel I films. I think, I, I, <laughs> I, think you, films. Yuck. I think not... if you can, I think if you can get a piece of duct tape and tape a banana to a wall and call it art, I think that the MCU is going to count as art. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's all it's art. Works. It has to be. Yeah. It has to all be art. The threshold. Really well, that's the thing. They, the intent, though. They've not said anything that it like it's, it's either not all art. art or none of these. Yeah. Oh yeah. The yeah. funny thing is, right? What he's doing now, it's like the cinephiles like me, <laughs> who are who feel vindicated, and these. Marvel tards. He he's doing the thing. Like that, <laughs> Marvel right? tards. Yeah, Marvel he, he's tards. doing it. I was I was right because Martin Scorsese agreed with me. Ooh, me he's uh, validating my position. <laughs> you can't even call us it's like Marvel fanboys, exciting. so that's why this is interesting to me. It's like yeah, not biased toward Marvel. You can fucking guarantee that at this point. Yeah, yeah it's like you, you create a, a brand new definition that that elevates the word cinema to something else like the the, the core definition of uh, cinema is from French and it literally means moving picture. So I'm pretty uh -oh. sure the pictures move in Marvel movies. Well, in that <laughs> case, sure I saw them move means, a bit. in that case, we just need to know what they mean. Retroactively, this this can be applied to DC movies like the Suicide Squad, like the idea that that isn't cinema with all of the care and effort that was placed into the mm. characters and their interactions well, and their personalities and how they change and grow. Like, that it's interesting is, you say that. That's because awful. James Gunn uh, was not exactly happy with this comment because he considers Guardians One and Two to be like uh, you know big efforts on his part. And like when this came out, he was yeah. like, "Oh man, Martin Scorsese is like a huge inspiration for me." That kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like your movie's yeah. hard cinema. It's like, thanks, bro. It's so you know, that, productive. That it's shot of that shot of Peacemaker's helmet showing the reflection of a fight between Peacemaker and Flag. That was cinema, which was apparently well, so, practical, oh, yeah. by the way. Oh, I, I'd be, I'd like to see like a video on how they did it, sort of thing. Yeah, that was I think he actually well, tweeted out was, today about how tweet, he did yeah. it, like they stitched. Yeah, I, I read that. I, I'd have to find it. I think yeah, I wouldn't be able to do everything 100% real because of the camera or whatever, but that yeah. was really impressive. He, I think they might have had like maybe maybe a couple cameras, maybe like a, a crazy fisheye lens or something kind of map it onto something, but that'd be interesting he, to see, yeah. 
He said, we shot the fighting shot from where the helmet is turning with the action and then shot the helmet turning around it at the same speed and then used visual effects to wrap the first footage along with plates of everywhere else in the room onto the helmet. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. All right. Um, Quite impressive. Well, it, but and, awesome. and I was about to say, like, we've probably at some point been like, I think I do it in the Black Widow video where I'm like, this. I think that's how I theorized they did it. This is cinema. And, 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 and if someone was like, wait, so you do have an opinion on what is and isn't? I'd be like, no, 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 I've only ever done it as a joke. Gatekeeping the word cinema seems <laughs> stupid to me, but, you know. This hey, is the thing know? as well. Are... Even if we were to agree that what he said is true, like, what's the point of the label? Like, why mm. can't films that are quote unquote roller coaster movies still have really good elements that you can learn from? Even if the Suicide Squad isn't cinema, there's still a lot of great things that filmmakers could learn to improve what they have well, and that other movies could be made from so people are, I, they want it for the they, they want fast food to not be considered like a cuisine of any kind they're like fuck fast food it's fast food but i mean but now i have the question it's like is superman from the 70s not considered cinema or like the dark knight or any of these films i guess are not. they oh, not boy. considered cinema I'm wondering, oh. like, I would oh. be very interested to pick his brain to see just how much he would be willing to throw out, because I, I think I'd yeah. have more respect if he just goes the whole way, throws out every blockbuster ever made, and, you know. Does he think Lord of the Rings is cinema? Someone said you're well, over a lot of big wait, action wait, wait. set pieces. Someone said you're over-focusing on semantics. It is only no, semantics. we need the That's quote. That's literally we need the quote. what you yeah. said. That's their point. argument! Oh, Jesus. Hey, excuse me, semantic guy. That's their argument, not <laughs> ours. We are we, deconstructing yeah. it. <laughs> it's almost like what he said was super vague, and he didn't give any specificity, therefore people misinterpreted what he said, and it, he's gatekeeping in the end because like, he didn't clarify yeah, his if, position. If I tell you guys Dark Souls 1 isn't tactile, but the second one is, you're all gonna be like, can you please explain what, what you fuck, mean by that? What the fuck is that? And then I'm like, I, tactile? Stop focusing on the semantics, I'm just talking about tactile. <laughs> you're like, what? I, I need you to be the more specific. The sky is green, don't focus on the semantics. The field game <laughs> is great. Yeah. <laughs> It is. It, this is only semantics. This whole thing is just semantics. We need to know what the word means, and then we can agree with them or not. That's yeah, it. I mean, he's in blockbusters too. He doesn't even remember like, Hugo. That was absolutely a blockbuster movie. You know, family friendly, uh, fantasy action adventure. I mean, that I I don't see any more. You know, uh, artistry or uh, you know, cinematic depth in that than compared to any like Marvel movie. Really? What about it's, it's comparable? Again, I'm, I'm sorry. But like, the specifically the quote. It isn't this. Honestly, the closest thing I can think of them, as well made as they are, with actors doing the best they can under the circumstances, is theme parks. It isn't the cinema of human beings trying to convey emotional, Wrong. psychological experiences what? to another human being. Wrong. That's and the more you learn about the quote, the worse it gets. I'm sorry. Like, you can't keep saying that's not what he said. That's what he said. And that's wrong. And what he said that's is just wrong. Shit. And for reference, it's, it's just incorrect. It's just funny, get I, over your hero worship of Martin Scorsese. He was, said something that was fucking retarded. I was about get to establish. It. I think he's <laughs> awesome. I think he's made some great fucking movies. But man, well, he said just something Shutter stupid. Island. That was a that was Scorsese. That was a really cool movie. I Look, fully smart recommend people Shutter often Island. Say the dumbest things of all times. You know, this is a pretty documented phenomenon. But yeah, this is. The, it's possible the people you like say stupid stuff. Come on, we all have this about everything and everyone. So. Let's figure out if what he said was stupid or not, instead of going, no, 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 Every way you've interpreted everything he said isn't the way, it's the right thing that he said that you agree with. So shut up, stop doing semantics. It's like saying a 2.7 million house is not cheap. It's not expensive, you know? <laughs> the entire like, argument isn't semantic to begin with. It is, that's what I mean. A certain it's, set it's, of, yeah, a certain yeah. set of films, do they fall under the classification of a word? It's, it's exclusive. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's exclusively semantic. We have to find out what he means when he uses the word, and that's it's the fucking impossible part. Summer. Well, like, that's, that's yeah. new hope. We were asking that earlier. The same for Indiana Jones. Do these count or not? Because I don't think he'd be willing to throw Steven Spielberg under the bus. Saw somebody in the chat saying Back to the Future. It's like, would you throw Robert Zemeckis under the bus? Would you throw like George Lucas? Yeah, because like, if if we're being honest here, he can say Richard, it all he wants uh, about Richard the whole. Hey, it's not bad to be a theme park ride, you know. Tim Burton. Like, but he knows for a fact that you wouldn't want to say that to Steven Spielberg's face. It's like, you make theme park yeah, rides, yeah, I make yeah. cinema. It's like, yeah, just try it. Doesn't it doesn't just, just, movie movies today are just like Westerns of... No, but I think oh, he's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Surely he'd count, like, the, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, right? Like, so, what's... He some people have been... Would. Yeah. Some people have been saying that he he liked uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans. 
We thought they were good. I don't know if that yeah, factors right. in at all. I don't know if there's still theme park rides or I not. Think, wait, wait. I think the problem with Martin Scorsese is that he, he, if I may, like, I think I saw that quote in Twitter. Like, he, he likes the fact that Spider-Man movies are, the, the Raimi ones, are self-contained. But I think what he was trying to say is that he doesn't like the direction of just making movies and then making another one based on, like, sequel baiting or whatnot. Just, I agree. Just, I think that's what he was trying to say, but he said it like maybe he said it in like a gotcha interview, and he did. Yeah, but really... the problem is he then wrote an article. He yeah, wrote a full yeah, article exactly. That he yeah, yeah. Back Even if it was a gotcha like, interview, then just don't like you still said it. If it was a gotcha interview, I I don't know well, how you, how you get Martin Scorsese in a gotcha about a discussion also, on cinema. He, he doubled <laughs> down. Like, like it, not it a gotcha, like it, it's a surprise interview, down. right? Yeah, but yeah, what Fringy said is true also. Um, oh. And someone in chat Rick said, you guys are arguing about Martin Scorsese's definition of cinema when he never defined it. So, people are telling us he's correct. Okay? So they Which must know what he meant. They have a definition. This video said it's correct, my yeah, guy, the, uh, the, the, guy. Hence yeah, hence us going through it, because we can yeah. finally find out what the fuck yeah. he meant. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if anyone else says okay. anything, I can hit play, I don't know. No, I'm good. Okay, let's play. Where fans of Marvel's and other larger franchises feel offended. Most of the offense, I think, comes from a misinterpretation no. of his statement no. as derogatory. No, 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 Mm -hmm. It's all about basically putting everything on a level playing field and saying, like, we don't put arbitrary labels on, like, films, period, and just, like, separate them out into groups. It's like, everything is cinema if it's a film. It's like, yeah, it's an avoidance of the term, not the quality, because the quality is completely separate. Yeah, this like, argument well, is... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guys, he's a boomer. No, what do you think yeah. he's going to say? I don't know. He's a fucking film expert, is he not? I feel like he yeah, would be the one to talk to this about. Yeah, he's got the sponsorship from Mubi.com, right? <laughs> this guy. Is Sonichu yeah. not art? Oh. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> I think it is. Oh, I, I think it qualifies. Let's not go there. <laughs> Sonichu will return yeah. to Avengers Endgame. That's what I remember oh, seeing. Yeah. Is incest not porn? No. Oh my gosh. Uh, so anyway. It can like, be. Sonichu will about... return in the Dimensional Only Merge. The... Oh hey, I'm step in there an old familiar Soba's not a horror game. It's like this kind of gatekeeping is frustrating. Oh my god. Oh, Stop I'm, protecting I'm categories is, is basically the message here. Stop obsessing over categories when they're not qualitative statements and there's no point squabbling about these labels when it doesn't tell us anything about the story in general. Well, mm -hmm. that's where you're wrong, me, because this guy's explaining it now, so we can finally understand the value of the category as well. Thank God. Oh, good. Thank God. Yeah, there you go. Thank God we got a savior. But Scorsese gives Marvel films a lot of credit. I say again, uh, their own new art form. He acknowledges They're the not talent. New. That's what? so condescending. It's, new? it's so condescending. How is it new? It's literally an evolution of an existing art form. Superhero also, movies and blockbusters where you just turn your brain off and eat your popcorn and have fun <laughs> are not new in the slightest. No, they're not. Not to mention, by the I way, that call, calling it a new art form is not a compliment. It's not hard yeah. to be art. No. And it's not even right. Literally, the yeah. oldest recorded work of fiction that we have is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is just a superhero story. Holy mm -hmm. shit, it's so... Yeah, it has a it's message about mortality. You're gonna, you're gonna get it's in trouble. I don't have the older. You, you might get in trouble for calling it a superhero story. Probably. But... Okay, make Marvel's Gilgamesh. Do it. So, well, <laughs> oh my I... god, Gilgamesh is in the Eternals, well, and I don't like it. Or any, okay, any like, look. Greek mythology that you can read about, about Heracles. It's like, hmm. does that yeah. not count as a superhero? Or, or uh, Samson from the Bible. Is that Hell not yeah, exactly a superhero? What about I mean, Jesus Christ? Superhero stories? Jesus Christ, kind of a superhero, kind of. Yeah. Can we yeah. yeah. Would you say Jesus and raised the dead? Superpowers. So yeah. Can we walk on water? Go water into wine. Can, what can water we based? Well, yeah. So powers, really. all we need to do to cover Rags's ass for him right now is just say, what does it mean <laughs> to qualify as a superhero? It's like someone who does good things and has a, you know, super bunch, bunch natural powers. powers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with calling Black Widow a superhero story, and she doesn't have superpowers. Yeah, well, Jesus she is she not does, cinema. She does. Though, <laughs> she the does. Power to not die. <laughs> yeah, well, that is super indestructibility. 
I mean, for fuck's sake, Thor is... I mean, Batman is a superhero. He have any oh, yeah. The, the, you know what? Thor's probably the best one to make this point, actually. Yeah. Like, also, yeah, can, that too, yeah. That's so arrogant. Also, let's go back to Marty. It's its, its own thing. It's like this other freak mutant. <laughs> it's, it can be fine. Like, so, like the way he said it, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's, it's its own thing. If, if you're a like, thing. Like... Well, yeah, everyone's making their paintings, and and some guy walks up and is like, this is my painting. It's like, no, that's a Gwyn. You can put that in the Gwyn pile. (laughs) A (laughs) Gwyn! That's a new thing, alright? It's Gwyn. What, what this is the thing like about a... it is he's like well... he's like reassuring, but he's so condescending and backhanded yeah, with yeah, this. Is, like, it's kind of on, amusing dude. to think about because wasn't this the conflict like at the beginning of the 20th century when you had a lot more like minimalist and abstract art coming out, and it was kind of contrasting against a lot of the Baroque and realism that dominated the centuries prior. There's probably a lot of that too. Like this ain't art. This isn't art. Like it's not the same thing, and it's not the same thing. But it's all creative expression. That's the problem that happens when you start saying that's art, but that's not. People said comic books aren't art. People said video games aren't art. It's just the same cycle. And it only takes like a decade or two for people to catch up, which is all that's going to happen. Or Every in this case, it's time. bizarre because superhero stories have been around for decades on, on film. Look at. Look, yeah. have you seen, have, should, should we read this, by the way? Millennia in other forms. We should probably read this, by the way, because I just I just looked at a bit of it and I was like, oh, wow. So I, I don't know. Do you want to go from the top? And it's up for anybody, really. Uh, What's the? Some people seem uh, to have seized on the last part of my answer as insulting or as evidence of hatred for Marvel on my part. If anybody is intent on characterizing my words in that that light, there's nothing I can do to stand in the way. Many franchise films are made yeah. by people of considerable talent and artistry. You can see it on the screen. The fact that the films themselves don't interest me is a matter of personal taste and temperament. I know that if I were oh, younger, if I'd come so of age at a later card. time, I might have been excited by these pictures and maybe even wanted to make one myself. Here comes. But I grew up when I did, and I developed a sense of movies of what they were and what they could be that was as far from the Marvel universe as we are on Earth, as we on Earth are from Alpha Centauri. What? So oh. light keep, years? just keep digging. Ooh. Just keep digging. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you're like, dude, you are not helping. <laughs> and look at this. For me, for the filmmakers I came to love and respect, for my friends who started making movies around the same time that I did, cinema was about revelation, aesthetic, emotional, and spiritual revelation. It was about oh, characters. Oh, How does Guardians of the Galaxy not I, qualify as that? I don't know. Yeah. So that just that's just not say, even true by the way if you read into the actual like history of like films back in that time there were plenty of those were like meant for just escapist entertainment it's not yeah, like the back then films. everything was just like yeah what? yeah, so, 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 yeah, so, so, yeah exactly. Exactly. Films. we've always yeah, so, so had being... porn is he is he trying to appeal to being older and having more life just, experience it's not well <laughs> say you find the films juvenile and lowbrow which is fine. fine. That's fine. fine. And in Just fact, you're not even really wrong. Like a lot of them yeah. are just like pretty, pretty shallow. But well, they're still films. Yeah, and and shitty that's films fine. have existed forever. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and and when I say, say shitty uh, films, I also include films that aren't meant to be thought about beyond the explosions. They've also existed forever. People probably said the same thing about Looney Tunes yeah. as well. Oh, it's just dumb shit. It's like animals beating the shit out of each other. It's not like <laughs> yeah. an artistic expression. And of course, that's absurdly wrong. But people probably said it because it's just not the thing they like. And again, if you don't like it, that's fine. But stop saying it's not cinema. Stop saying Gwyn's aren't I paintings. I can't believe how many people just like accept that as an obviously true thing. Or like a really astute observation. It's not. It's elitist. What, uh, totally even make, as far as back as like... like... Uh, good going. Sorry, I was just trying to uh, put in a little word there twice. Uh, I was going to make a comparison. Like, uh, Imagine if they said like, oh, uh, Disney films aren't art. You know, they're made for, you know, big audiences. They're they're just a, you know, roller coaster ride. They're for kids, all kind of stuff like that. And then and then you look at a movie like Lion King. It's like, no, no, that that's definitely art. But uh, if yeah, you find the, I, I linked the full show. article that, I linked the full article about uh, Martin Scorsese in the chat. Later on, it gets even worse. Uh, here's a line. And that was the key for us. It was an art form. There was some debate about that at the time. So we stood up for cinema as an uh, as an equal to literature or music or dance. Oh. So like he's literally. Oh. He, now he, that we've he, made he, it, fuck yeah. the new people. 
he, he yeah. he's directly stating that that Marvel movies are not art. He's lived not long enough literally. to become the villain. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 What if um, there was like a Marvel movie that came out with a uh, starring a superhero whose only power was to turn water into wine? <laughs> just to out of that. Well, what if we? You know, like Logan is like you'd want to know what his opinion of that is. Surely you'd be like, does that <coughs> does that do anything for you in terms of the fucking journey we got in that film? No. Okay. All right. I can give you even a more direct example of it. He's specifically attacking Marvel, probably because it's the most famous, the most successful, but. Uh, one of his favorite films is the Korean film Old Boy. That's a that's a manga adaptation. Oh yeah yeah. So, oh yeah. Oh, so no. like, where, where does he draw the line there? It's it's a it's kind of fuzzy. What about if James I, Bond? If I like yeah. it, then it's okay. cinema. So, if I don't like it, it's not cinema. <laughs> oh, we got glib, yeah. glib in chat saying, "Did anyone actually read the quote?" So not only did we read the quote, we've got a video advocating that he's correct and explaining it to us. We're on. So many tears above. How many times do we have to read the fucking quote? But, uh, <laughs> because I, nobody I don't believes understand. Is, this fucking idiotic. Are you not paying? Is are people not paying attention? Oh, why are you? Well, I, I, I do very think difficult this thing, just, rags, to do to pay attention. I don't know why. That, that's this why is this debate. That's why the debate keeps coming around because people keep saying you're taking him out of context. Okay, you're not reading the We're full quote. That's not what he said. You're misinterpreting word, for word what he said. Read it again. Stop <laughs> it. He said something fucking dumb. Get over it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, can, I just, can I just say, like, if Marky, if Marky just said, it's not for me. Marvel movies, not, not my no. thing. If he just said that, it would be fine. Dude, if he said that, yeah, I'd be like, I'm right with you, sense. Marty. I'm right with yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. They, they were, but go, not anymore. It's, it's not a movie film. It's a film movie. It's like, oh my god, shut up, shut up. I, I think they'll trust to, they'll trust that we read the quote when you start actually playing the Resident Evil games ranks. You should go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. One, well, I'll get around to it one of these days. So it'll be weird when I first start playing it, and it turns out I'm really good at them, so, just yeah. naturally. Maybe I just have a natural talent for being good at them. I didn't see any streams, so I couldn't How'd exist. How'd you know all those secrets? You must have watched this video. You watched the video, you piece of shit. You, how do you know you can them and that his disinterest in them is largely a matter of personal taste he doesn't but then deride he said they so, cinema. so if it were just personal taste he would have done what weekend warrior said but he didn't yeah sorry he's, he's trying to make a clear distinction um for the purpose of trying to remove them from the race it yeah, doesn't I mean, take much reading comprehension to you see that this is a put down Perhaps Except, a deserved one, but a put down regardless. Well, you don't need to write an article imagine, about how they're just not for you. Like that's yeah. Not... So the yeah, the difference exactly, here is if yeah. someone said, "Hey, Moore, I haven't seen you play a point and click game. Why?" And I go, "Well, they're not really video games." Versus, they're not really for me. If I said they're not really video games, you guys would be like, "The fuck are you talking about?" Uh, what are you talking about? I'd be like, exactly. "What do you mean?" Please explain what, what the fuck that means. Games? And then I go, "Well, rags, you see, I grew up in a different time, uh, a, a different time for video I grew games." Up in and um, let's just say point and click is an older it, time. A point and click time. is as different from something like Dark Souls as Alpha Centauri is in terms of far away from Earth. You, you understand what I mean now, yes? That was such a fucking arrogant statement. Also, it's so far removed from my orbit. Like, oh yeah. shit. What I make uh, is cinema. I don't want to be in the same category of thing yeah, making that yeah. Marvel is in. Yeah, that topic they brought up, Muller actually reminds me of this thing that uh, Total Biscuit brought up years ago. Um, and it was a really interesting interesting debate, actually, because there was uh, a lot of people talking about uh, games like, um, uh, what was it? Dear Esther? Oh, Dear Esther, yeah. And he was uh, talking yeah, about what, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. what makes it, yeah, where he's saying like, okay, it, you know, the, the argument may be kind of silly, but let's, like, let's break it down. What makes it a game? A game has to have some sort of challenge, right? So therefore, he, you know, the, more, the most core uh, component you could demand in a game is a fail, a fail state. So, uh, dear Esther, didn't really have a fail state. You just moved to the end. It's it's essentially what he. I think he eventually landed on the term of virtual installation. So, like, if you mm. had some sort of objective standard of what means it, what it means to be a game, I kind of agree with that. I'm like, okay, if there is no actual fail state, if there's an actual challenge, then it isn't technically a game. <laughs> like, so, what would you consider going? Would you consider uh, uh, clicking through a, a, like a, a virtual tour of a museum a game? No, not really. It would be a virtual installation. So like something like that, if he was arguing for something like that, yeah. but like, you know, uh, technically and, uh, you know, 
uh, constructively, there is really no uh, core difference between something like Guardians of the Galaxy and 2001. They're, they're the same exact thing, essentially. Yeah, and... You know, at its core. Um, someone said he's not... Uh, he's saying it's not art, not that it's not a movie. He's definitely saying it's art. That's worse! I know, that's way worse, by the way, but he's definitely saying it's yeah. art. He's already said it's definitely art. So we got that. We're clear on that. Uh, Glib said, how many original films are being made that are made on film for the theater versus how many things are brain-dead remakes of things that are being released on Netflix or streaming via digital cinema? <laughs> so... Irrelevant. Yeah, literally what none of that matter? fucking what matters. What the... Are there's you know no Neil films, Breen. Right? You know Neil Breen is, shoots on films, and his stuff is put in the theaters, right? <laughs> Just so we're clear. Yeah but, yeah, but I think they're still movies. The quality. It's like they're still. I don't well, care you if know you shot it with your like, iPhone. Yeah, I was about to yeah, say. But, like, you know that people do yeah. that. They, RLM, they but over this between well, being shot on film. The the film shot the on the iPhone from whenever that was recently. Um, it, it, he said he said it was one of the oh. best films that he's seen in a long time. It's like, oh, well, it doesn't count. It's on an iPhone. Sorry, bitch. Oh yeah, it's like. Oh yeah, also, isn't that about... Steven uh, Soderbergh has been doing that a lot? Like the the iPhone shot movies fully. Like that's kind of catching on as like a trend with smart filmmakers. So. Well, yeah, I want to get more people. Yeah, there's no reason to like exclude in that sense. Like there's a there's a time and place for gatekeeping, but saying that you have to shoot on real film for it to be. Real yeah. cinema is like I don't. Oh, they that's don't. like a pun with real. But um, yeah. but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to stop that. Like, um, that I, seems completely and so, arbitrary. Uh, and so yeah. Gl Glib has clarified. Isn't this what we complain about constantly? That everything's a soulless remake. Film is a medium, not just a term for movie. Glib, look, what about what about Iron Man? Tell me what you think. Does Iron Man qualify or I, not? Look, Lion, the Lion King 2019. It's cinema. All right, it is. Yep. It's shitty I, cinema, I but it's like cinema. It. Yeah, yeah, I wish cinema. it didn't exist, but it's cinema. <laughs> I, I think there's a, yeah, I think what, Gleb, I think there's a difference between, like, making a film for, like, a, a statement versus a film for, like, just making more money. But they're still both films. And the quality will depend on, maybe the, the, the commercialized, quote-unquote, film m might be good also. It, it, as a film, it's still a film. We got, the quality, well, I think, we're yeah, getting clarifications. A, there's, there's a difference. So Iron Man's great, right. love it, but I think Endgame oh. is not great cinema. So okay. it's cinema. Yeah, it's still, 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 still. So, so it's cinema. That's literally how we feel about it. It is cinema, yeah. it's just shitty. <laughs> like, I understand the desire to reserve a specific term for like, I guess, all I can think of as higher brow content. Um, like, you know, I, I, I get weren't... it. <sighs> But yeah, like, when I say that jokingly, like, they're like well, elite, you understand elite, the motivation, elite. but you squash you squash that motivation because it's too pretentious. You're like, no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not yeah, gonna say. I don't think you need oh to do man, that. Yeah. does Freddy just... seriously think that Marvel will stop making movies because Scorsese doesn't consider them cinema? This, that's this not isn't the conversation. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything that's being said? We're being so clear. I don't understand. We're being so explicitly clear. And so is he. So is he, which is worse for him. The reason the more he why it, the worse it gets. The reason why this is so frustrating to me personally is because people said the same thing about video games broadly, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. really yep. dumb. It's just not. It's it's really gatekeepy and elitist, and just like tr blocking out anything that you don't like, which. Of course, you don't have to like it. I don't even like the Marvel movies that are coming out now. But don't say that they're not films. They are. They yeah. are. Yeah. You just don't like them, which is fair, because they're not very good. And this is the thing. If my Scorsese said, no, literally anything that doesn't release in theater is not cinema, that's my definition, I'd just be like, it's a stupid definition, but okay. That's dumb. Yeah. That's what I mean. I can move on. But when it says it's not cinema, and you're like, wait, what's what are you saying? Video and then, games are art, just not the AAA industry. Call of Duty, like Black Ops Five or whatever it was, that's <laughs> that's art. It is the amount of it's fucking work for sure, but it's still art. The really amount of not yeah. art. The amount of work that will go into Call of Duty Five by millions of fucking people. Well, who, however yeah. many. Well, don't fucking hundreds yeah. of people work. Don't you artists, dare tell me Halo is an art. I will fucking fight you tooth and nail on that. Designers, voice I'll actors, join you. Level designers. And they're pretending that uh, Hollywood has not been in business since you know what the twenties. Yeah, there's 30s been, or whatever. There's been yeah, they didn't, cynical they, they didn't milkers use to pump in it the forever. shit out as a charity. Yeah. Yeah. But like they, they're extremely expensive. They require hundreds of people to make in some cases. So like you've got to, got to recoup that. And 
nobody's going to invest in a movie for art reasons. They're going to invest in the movies because yeah. they want to make a buck. And guess so, what, guys? The artsy farty movies, they still need money to get made. They still need like investors for that shit. If not the director's own vision. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Like if you don't yeah. want more Marvel, but don't say it's not art. It is. Yeah. Don't well, say not it's cinema. Not cinema. Yeah. Just criticize it for what it is. Don't yeah, try and bad just art. discount it. Someone's... Because the problem is Oh, so, go ahead. Someone said we're repeating ourselves a lot, so we're constantly responding to many of the same argument and slightly different argument. Everybody's got an idea of what Martin Scorsese said. That should be enough to convince you guys this is fucking crazy that we have to do this. Yeah. He is being so explicit. <laughs> if there's just one thing to be taken away from this entire thing, it's that he was very unclear, which is the problem. He needed to be more specific and explain himself in more detail, but he didn't, and therefore people... Took it the wrong way, and it comes across as gatekeeping. And if it were as and simple as, that, I don't like this stuff, he should have just said that, but he didn't. Yeah, Couldn't. he did not. He, actually, and the problem like is... Said, yeah, go ahead. No, what Fringy said, like, I thought he was just saying it's not for him in so many words, but then Fringy pulled out the Martin Scorsese quote that just clarified his position even further, and it made him look bad. So, <laughs> Blurred it even <laughs> okay. more. And then the Thanks, big Marty. Problem. I was trying to help you, bro, but... Okay. The big so, problem we run into as well is it's really easy to then move away from just the Marvel assembly line stuff to then start applying it to other things yeah. as well, like just all superhero especially movies. When you, yeah, especially all when you aren't clear. Films. Well, yeah, because yep. instantly, well, just that's the Lord of the Rings thing. Like, do you think Lord of the Rings isn't cinema? Because it is extremely comparable to Marvel movies. It's very accessible. It's got loads of explosion big stuff in it. Pieces. Yeah. Yep. So like this is even worse the... because this is this is the clarification. Like he 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 did the quote, uh, some empire uh, empire interview in October, and then he sat down and wrote this. And he's a good writer, and he wrote this from the from the ground up. And and it's this is a, a direct writing from him directly posted to the New York Times. So this is the clarification. So he's even getting even worse and more critical about Marvel well, as not cinema in the clarification rather than just his offhand comment. This is the thing, um, um, I'm assuming you, you are still here, right, Az? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm just, it's just like, I don't know no, what to say. No, all, I was going to ask this you. This thing so... is just stupid. I mean, this this comment by Scorsese is stupid. Trying to defend it is stupid. No, of course. I was going to ask you, it, however shitty modern age comics get, I'm assuming you guys are still going to call them comics. You're not going to say, nah, they're not comics. Yeah, we, we, they're still comics. I mean, um, we we have our opinion about them. We you know we call them trash, um, shit, wank, crap, um, but they're still comics. Yeah, like um, if the artwork gets to a point where it's really shit and the writing's really shit, you'd still be like, well, it's still it's just a shit comic. Like that's that's what's happening. Yeah, it's it's the, yeah. We we just we say the artwork is now just abysmal. It's you know it's embarrassing. It's uh it's an insult to you know previous generations of artists. Uh, still art. It's shitty art. It's crappy art. Pathetic art. It's Tumblr art. That's the normal insult we go with Tumblr art. Um, but it is still art, and they are still comics, no matter how shitty they are. I agree, but we don't want more Marvel. Yeah, that's but all. Just we... criticize it for <laughs> what it is. Don't for say that it's bad. not a don't film. Don't try and recategorize it into something Why else. Does it, it is keep what getting it is. Yeah. It is what it is, and and just just get over it. You can you can dislike it, you can hate it, you can despise it all day, every day. Not a problem. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. and don't try and recategorize it into something that it's not. It, that's just ridiculous. This whole argument is ridiculous. And coming from somebody like uh, Scorsese, it's a joke. How he can say something like this is just a joke. It's like, Martin, you're old. You're probably a dodger and old cunt, and that's great. You're four foot one, uh, and that's uh -huh. wonderful. So, you know, I can pat you on the head and say, you know, good effort, sir. But but just just sit down and, and you know, enjoy your retirement or, or write another gangster film about gangsters doing gangstery stuff, you know? Uh, but don't try and recategorize your whole industry. It just makes you look like a fool. Well, yeah, and, and so yeah, Glibs I mean, just referenced, like, they took Edgar Wright off Ant-Man. They switched directors for Solo. It's like, so you saying that those movies are no longer cinema because they switched directors? It was cinema and then it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, you, do you understand how hard this is for us to take seriously? And, and can we just look at the long-term, like, damaging well, effects? I'm not contributing too of... much to this. I just, I cannot it, take this seriously. I it, cannot. It just, seems, it just seems so arbitrary, like, placing all these different restrictions on what is and isn't cinema. 
Yes, yeah. I think so. it up for us and tell us what is the differentiation between cinema and not cinema. Just make it really easy. Wrap this up really quick and neatly. Just tell us what's the criteria. He Do said, it, no, I'm saying no it rags. Is. Martin Scorsese did that. You just have to read this other article where he clarified his position and said what well, he it, really meant. Okay, you got to so, read more. I, I, I clarified. It was clarified again. No, it's about the studio interference. So Zack Snyder did not get to have Green Lantern in his film. Does that mean it can't be considered cinema because it's not 100% his vision? And where is the line? Yeah, so no, that no, no, there, 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 everything's got there was a reason for money. it, though. The, the, the well, studio didn't want Green Lantern in Zack Snyder's Green Lantern because they already have a plan for Green Lantern. Well, that's what I'm saying. So I, they, I don't they, agree they with they the sentiment. They didn't want a conflict of interest. Yeah. yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it is his vision, that whole film. It's everything he what wanted. What about if but... the studio interferes with a film and they act and then they make it, like, better? Than what? <laughs> what if you just don't have enough money to execute so, your vision? Yeah. Is it, so isn't, like, the MCU technically Kevin Feige's vision more than any of the individual film directors? But that doesn't count because he's a producer, not a director, so apparently but that's he bullshit. can't have any creative input at all. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody believes this because, again, a lot of directors are producers as well. Or is the is the most important part that they were the directors or the writers? Like, is it producers can't also have input that's worthwhile? I'm pretty sure a lot of producers like films. Probably why yeah, they no, work yeah. in the industry. I just I think that there it's it's this thing where all the people who agree with Marty have this idea in their head. It's a collection of thoughts, and like each one ticks a different amount of boxes, but they all sort of just agree. And it's like when you look at any individual part, it doesn't work. But still, they will re react to the whole like, well, no, but he's still kind of right though. I'm just like it's not. It's useless fucking Where metric. It just made you feel right? better. I get Where this is what is um. Right. <laughs> so what I was gonna say. I think this is what Theo was saying. But like, it. I can get how it feels better to look at the movies in the MCU and be like, you aren't what Godfather is. It's like they're both films, mate. And I'm like, well, no, but they aren't the same. One's just good. <laughs> and and like, and yeah, one no, I, is not necessarily good. That's yeah. That's the thing. Is sure. they're both cinema. I'm sorry. They're both cinema. You don't. You don't lose anything by saying that like yeah. hot fuzz. And Ant Man are both films. It's just that one well, of them is you an lose the prestige film one of, them. of the category. I'm not even sure. Larry Larry. And Larry, depending on what you bring up, like because then you swap from you swap to Indiana Jones versus Marvel. Yep. You swap to James Bond versus Marvel. You swap to Lone Wolf and Cub versus Marvel, and you just have. <sighs> Right. Well, yeah, I, I I would go one step further. I'd say you look back in time, then you just go westerns versus Marvel. Because, yeah. because yeah. Oh, the Marvel. superhero genre is essentially the westerns of uh, sixty years ago. Flat stick yeah. uh, comedy, silent uh, picture films like that were made that were just people getting hurt. Also, crazy um, stunts. It's like does that count as cinema? Glib, Glib did have give a, what I think is a final clarification. He's like, I don't like listening to people say that a great filmmaker like Martin Scorsese is stupid. It's like, so he said something stupid, man. No, he's, man. he's not oh, he stupid. Said, he, he said something, something stupid. stupid. He's, he's, stupid. Not he's not stupid. We're not criticizing the man take. like as a whole. We're criticizing a like a quote and like a, a position he holds. There's a difference. Something really between, dumb. Like so, if, if if all all smart people can make an oopsie. It, yeah. Chris, well, if, uh, all, if, all of us here have had a terrible take that we're you know that we're gonna say or we're gonna. Was saying the future, but this yeah. is a terrible take from a from a what has been a great uh, uh, director uh, in Hollywood. But it is dumb and because of who it he is. is really, are really dumb. Very seriously. So like, if Martin Scorsese said that one times one equals two, you wouldn't say that it'd be wrong to you know say that that's dumb, right? Um. So he so he said okay. So is Hill House cinema? So the thing is, if you ask me what my definition of cinema is, and we went all the way down to moving pictures, I'd be like, I don't fucking care what qualifies as cinema. It doesn't bother me. Hmm. It's, it's like, the well, behind it. Yeah. Like I, I if someone said Hill House is or isn't cinema, answer. I'd be like, I don't care. And then if someone else goes, well, Hill House isn't cinema. I'd be like, how? Why? What have you done? <laughs> You've made a mess. What are you doing? And uh, yeah, I, I, I just think that need to get off this sort of obsession with like gatekeeping cinema just chill out the arguments are shit but we haven't gone through this video yet so we could be wrong you know yeah let's go maybe maybe movie.com slash whatever the fuck his name is maybe he has a point you know like, maybe. maybe yeah and then, and then just to add a little bit of you know well, sweetener on the top uh somebody compiled a list of over a thousand films he's publicly stated were some of his favorite films uh, some of those are like Star Wars, uh, Spider Man 2002. Oh, and yeah. So, it, so like, I don't know where he draws the line. Like, is he just like, oh, that's a fun ride, or does he consider that a good film? 
as you consider it yes. cinema what's the difference i don't know <laughs> I, I think he's i think he's got a point in his head which he's articulating exceedingly poorly yeah uh, we could we could debate the merits of the um the churn when it comes to marvel uh the the similarity when it comes to their their, their movies now uh, and even going into the modern stuff which we're seeing with phase four we can uh discuss the merits of the the interference the the token directors the fact that uh fight scenes are already pre-worked out and predetermined for the directors got on set uh we can we can debate all of that and that that would be a good discussion to have but it's still a film and it's still cinema yeah and, and yeah, a suggestion for cinema was plays in theater like i said it's like if you want if that's a, what a, fuck it, who cares at that point like oh whether or not it played in a theater it's like okay That'd be Whatever. a cinematic release, not cinema. Like if you're going to technical like release, uh, release medium, that'd be a cinematic release. Yeah, maybe. Oh because yeah, it's so released it's... in the cinemas, but oh. that's something different. Oh, uh, you can say that. That's actually interesting because uh, Toy Story Two was originally planned to be a direct-to-video right. thing, and yep. then it was released oh, to, to cinemas. So hence my is frustration that now. Like, what yeah. if someone said like this ain't cinema terrible... for the whole? existence that is re-released into the cinema it's like well i guess you're cinema now nice <laughs> like it's like what an arbitrary well, label think, who cares oh cinema fool we made it i got one for you i got one for you an executive decided sorry that extraction to you're not cinema because you were released to netflix if only you were released in oh, theaters oh, okay. i think that's what guys, he did guys. with the irishman uh, somebody, somebody is, somebody like that took... was that was originally oh yeah Ash, go on. What? What somebody took one of my batwoman reviews uh my batwoman rant videos uh, they they cut the lines that I said. They uh, put a beat and music to it, and uh, we released it on iTunes and Spotify Holy and shit. all of this. Oh, it, it, and it. and I got to number seventy five in the UK iTunes <laughs> charts with that <laughs> song. <laughs> with Ocean Man melt with Meltdown Ocean Man. <laughs> Can you tell me? Are you gonna to say to me that isn't that isn't music? That's not music, as because I music. said it's not music. That's music. It wasn't. It yeah. wasn't recorded in a studio, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So and also, as before, for Netflix, so, well, so as just, for just, Netflix movies, mm -hmm. go on. he's just clarified. He said Scorsese demanded that the the Irishman be played in cinema because he wants it to be seen that way. That's what he believes cinema is. Marvel movies play in the cinema, Glib. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> that, that, that was a, that was exactly what I was going to bring Tell up. Me. I think that that movie was originally going to be just released straight to Netflix, and he literally wanted it to be in theaters so that it would like kind of count. But it's just like, exactly. why? Why is like, your film like, invalid if it's just released straight to streaming? It's, 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 you could it's clear some donation. Mitchell versus machines. Just give us what? what? It, give us the difference in criteria between cinema and not cinema. What does something have to be? To cross that boundary, just tell tell us that and clear this up in an instant. That's all you have to do. Wait, wait. Can we just like go back to the vid first? Because I think the glib conversation is taking over. Is is that a fair statement? <laughs> I mean, well, the problem, yeah. the, the only interesting thing about that is that it's a video that can respond. <laughs> but the problem is, yeah. like, no offense to glib, but we have bounced through like seventeen arguments. Like, it keeps changing. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, hopefully, this one's got one strong argument to make. Okay, or insult okay, anyone who enjoys or makes these movies. What he is saying is that these big budget franchise films are different from the kinds of films that made him fall in love with movies, or what so, he calls they're also cinema. Similar to those. They're still yeah. cinema, uh, I think so. Uh, mm -hmm. Pringy, still... Pringy quotes Scorsese dot mp4. <laughs> it's not what he said. Though. There's also yeah, still, like, still, there's, there's still... movie ends in a stupid action scene at the end. So like, I don't, what am I supposed to take? Is it not cinema? There's yeah, because still shots basically... in the Marvel movies where people are walking uh, across the street and there's a car <laughs> passing by, and shots where there's a guy on the phone. Yeah, there's a like, fucking what, what, every <laughs> era of cinema is different. So this is such a shitty qualifier of oh, these are not the films that Dude. I grew up with. Oh, that's a yeah. good point. Because what, what, what if a fucking guy from the forties was like uh, that? Taxi driver is not a movie. Movie well, cinema right. used to be. Let's do, let's do another one. Animated it's films so used violent to... and vulgar. And yeah. The, I mean, the well, here's one for Animated films really used to be 2D. It was, think it, was great. it was drawn on paper. It was two dimensional. There was no assistance from computers. That's what animation is. It's like, well, I'm sorry, but 3D animation is animation. 
and it's yeah. so not story and it's Shrek. as legitimate well Shrek again is, like Shrek i mentioned it, but um luxo yeah. jr the the anim the short film that pixar made it was like at that point people were like oh right this is like an art form it, it like it, it people eventually catch up like and then accept that it's just another way of telling a story it's not illegitimate. It's not like it's inferior to the one that came before it. And it doesn't mean that the first, the, the one that came before it is like redundant or worse. They're different. And I was going to say, they're, this they're still cinema. It seems we keep having to come back to it's just not what he likes. And it's like, why the fuck didn't he say that? Why didn't he say why that? He say yeah, he said that, that also. And yeah. then why did he not say that's what I meant when he had the option yeah. to clarify? And when, like what Free keeps saying, when you actually read his quote, he he's saying outright that this this Marvel films are not movie films. They're, they're some sort of other mutant creature. That's the problem. <laughs> like, imagine that if in his, like, article he had, like, clarified, he'd been like, I understand that a lot of people are upset. I understand there were a lot of filmmakers that, like, I upset who are inspired by my work. I didn't mean to gatekeep. I didn't mean to say, like, place this arbitrary label on there. What I meant to say was X. Goes into detail about that. That would have been a way better way to do this. But he's never taken back like, any okay. of his statements. Yeah. So, yeah. An art form that he played a role in legitimizing and creating. His concern is not that Marvel movies exist. It's not that people like them. It's that this new type of film is crowding out the type of film that so it he has to loves. Have an okay, so it's entirely his cinema? preference then. It's, it, well, you just said it's becoming too popular, basically. Oh, okay. You know I mean? Well, yeah. popular. Films this is what happens when you make something popular. Yeah, I yeah I even guess back as like far as Buster of it. Keaton, That's how it or like the silent, the silent era with like Buster Keaton and all that. Like these types of like blockbuster movies that were big and like focused on like action or stunt work. Those have existed for like, yeah, th those have existed a long time ago. It's just, it's just different. Like movies that have focused more so on like character or emotion or that type of thing versus action, like. That distinction's existed, like, from the beginning, basically. I think people just tend to, you know, prefer to go see something on the big screen when there's action involved yeah. rather than just, you know, people talking to each other. Yeah, the, Which, of course, like, like, the Marvel formula, kind of sucks, but, it's symbiotic. Yeah. Like, it, 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 it kept crafting itself along with what the audiences were liking. That's just, It just created itself almost, right, in terms of reaction, the Marvel. Mm -hmm. And that's why we call it Sludge now, because it's it's gotten to the point where you can tell... And if someone was like, Sludge... Are you saying it's not cinema? It's like, nope, calling it sludge though. <laughs> if you want our definition yeah. of sludge, we can give it to you. Cinema, but it's also sludge too. All right, don't worry. What, what inherently makes Singing in the Rain and Hello Dolly more of cinema than The Raid or Saving Private Ryan? The Raid so, is a on. fucking masterpiece. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in this fucking chat, if they haven't watched the Raid duology yet, should watch that shit immediately. Like the, the, Jackie the, Chan was the, literally the, someone on my mind. Where is yeah, Jackie Chan? Or Bruce, yeah. Bruce Lee as well. God. You can't say that Jackie Chan isn't reliant on spectacle in at least some form. Like, Absolutely. Well, a big part of it is man. spectacle. I respect it's like, it. Oh, it's awesome. It's, uh, but, but that's the thing. It's like, are we going to say that there is no art in creating a really intense set piece, like a really intense action scene where all of these people are just executing like flawlessly in terms of hitting their beats, doing these crazy stunts yeah, like there's an art form in there it's yeah, different it's basically both yeah. you have on just take both sides of the spectrum you have gene kelly who is insanely talented you have jackie chan who's insanely talented doing two things that are in a way related but in the you know the way that they act in the film totally different things so why does one get to be upheld to this incredible artistic standard and the other is just schlockiness like how come is it just because it's not as old which i think might just is the actual answer one's just which not case, as old as the other it hasn't earned just the give it time. prestige through age we'll just stop using the fucking word cinema use someone else yeah yes yeah. just, just so stop it unproven marty... i don't know I, Say I, still funny. I, I still find it funny guys if marty just tweeted out lamao it's not for me it would be over like <laughs> 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 No, like, and it as, like to sum it Ooh. up it's so dumb like it's so dumb. yeah because the, the problem we're having is if there was just some oh, guy back no. in the day who made a, exclusively made like videos with a one-man project they have to be one guy doing all the characters and it has to be one camera in, in your basement or something 
and that becomes like a whole thing. It's growing up, and then someone someone uses a studio, multiple actors. That's not that's not fucking cinema. You you guys are like you doing you doing some bullshit, and that, and hopefully that can illustrate what it feels like to be on the other end, where you're just sitting there like, what the fuck do you mean it's not cinema? It's like, well, you've got oh, more than one person. God. Another oh. quote. In the past 20 years, as we all know, the movie business has changed on all fronts, but the most ominous change has happened stealthily and under the cover of night, the gradual but steady elimination of risk. Many films today are perfect products manufactured for immediate consumption. Many of them are well made by teams of talented individuals. All the same, they lack something essential to cinema, the unifying vision of an individual artist Sorry, James Gunn. So Sorry. That, yeah, so yeah. That's oh. what it has to. So that's what. That's, that's the thing. Have. That's what makes it cinema. How, it's you can't one person. Work together. The Lego movie is hot. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now I have to ask, like, voice. regarding regarding Jurassic Park, that's an adaptation of a Michael Crichton book, but there's differences yeah. to the movie from the book. Um, John Hammond dies in the book; he gets uh, eaten by compies, but that doesn't happen in the film. So and they fly on the island, and, and, so and Michael Crichton this, wrote the screenplay too. He, but, Michael yeah, Crichton no, decided to the thing about so this, though, is... a unifying vision. It, it sounds so good to the people who agree with him, but it's bullshit. Like, you have to... It takes seconds to pull this it's apart. It's a team effort. It, it yeah. has to be a team effort. What, There's yeah, too many people are, working what, what, together. What, what about The Matrix? The, the Matrix. It's two people who made yeah. that. Two, the Lego movie was directed by two people. A lot of the Disney animated films were directed by two people. Some of them were directed by, like, six people. Yeah, I can't, nothing I can't, that Lord Miller was directed by, like, seven people. I can't believe yeah, we're saying that... that Lord Miller are involved in a cinema now. Like, yeah. I, I can't, you know, Mother. Iron Man isn't John Favreau's vision. Avengers isn't Joss Whedon's vision. Uh, fucking all and of the... Avengers was a risk. It was. It yeah. was a risk. It had never been done before. Nobody had done that before. It was a risk. Just Guardians of the Galaxy was a risk. Like that yeah. was a risk. They didn't know that was going to see those Well, yeah. the problem is risk is on a huge scale. You know, it's not binary. Yeah. So like, it's always like, hey, yeah. any movie that risk. you spend hundreds of millions of dollars on is a risk. Yeah, Black Widow was yeah. a fucking risk. Look what happened. Yeah. Well, again, I it wasn't a risk to... at the time they made it, probably, but it is now. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it, Mahler. They have cut off the cancer in the Disney Cinematic Universe, and they have cut ties with. This woman, what's her face? And she will never darken the halls of Mickey Mouse ever again. <laughs> halls of darken Mickey the Mouse. halls. The halls are covered oh, in blood, I, but she won't be there. Yeah, and I refuse to believe that uh, Scorsese's film are 100% his vision from the ground up. He had uh, painters, you know, paint the, the matte backgrounds for his, his long shots. He had actors act in probably surprising ways that may may have you know, said, hey, no, that's actually even better, Leonardo DiCaprio. You did it better or different than I, I anticipated, but I like that. So, like, it's a he group effort. Like, you, 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 well, can't, Indiana... you can't, can't take 100% credit for a movie you did unless you literally did absolutely everything. You were the actor. You were the filmmaker. You're behind the camera. You're in front of the camera. You yeah. did absolutely every single I, shot. I, I like, just... no, if it's a group effort, you're going to make compromises. You're, you're going to... Going to got to calm Flabbery. the chat down. We're responding to lots of you. Everyone's saying, like, why isn't Glib on? It's like, we're responding to him just like a lot of you. Don't worry about it. Like, it's fine. You, it's you'll be okay. We're, just talk yeah. we're talking to everybody in there. Um, yeah. th that quote, though, I just think it's, it was dead in the water now. There's no more interpretation. He's done. It's a bad like, argument. Let's think about the <laughs> long silly argument. Long term consequences of this, right? So, Mar let's just say Marvel tomorrow decides to. Uh, turn their act around, they get the good writers back in, they start really working at their scripts, you know, that we suddenly see this miracle renaissance of Marvel content and people are still dismissing it as just mindless trash that quote-unquote is not cinema because it just has the Marvel label on it. So suddenly Marvel goes, oh, well, we put all of this effort into fixing our shit and people are still dismissing us because it has the Marvel label on it, because it's still a comic book film, because it's still in a shared universe. Well, well why should we fucking bother to give you guys anything of quality because you're just going to dismiss us no matter what? So I think this this could be damaging long term. So I think this is why this is worth talking about and getting this sentiment out of the way because you're not going to get more quality from this. You're just going to get people going increasingly up their own asshole to fucking um, try and live up to a standard that isn't even properly established in the first place.
Well, now I actually have another question. Uh, how does this relate to, let's say, literature, right? Uh, where, you know, you have an author that'll have a vision, but sometimes the editor will, you know, smack down their ideas for their story. The Bible cool. is written think... by an unknown amount of authors that has been compiled and recompiled over centuries in countless different versions. So cool. is it not real oh, literature? Well, I feel, there's, I feel like there's a, a difference a to be thing. found here because literature specifically is referring to like quality, I think. Whereas cinema doesn't. Literature is it not a book? Is it not a well, compendium the is like, book? An anthology, there, are, if you there is a separation between book and literature. Like you book know, it's, being it's, the all-encompassing term and literature is yeah. a sub thing. It's, right? it's like the distinction Scorsese wants almost, I think. But <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist in Something cinema. I don't like here as well, though, <laughs> this idea that like a team, like that you couldn't even come into a project to make a film as a team of like three or four people working together to make this film and you all have like input and you're funneling it together, like that you are not capturing the essential elements of cinema that the i Bible don't the greatest book in the history i don't see humanity. how that Dude, the be... bible says bats are birds you need to get higher standards <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, like every one of those arguments i can find a hole in it like he among his favorite films he has the 1950s adaptation of the thing from another world but he also has the 1982 remake the thing uh that that's literally a remake of a movie adaptation of a book so like if he, his argument about franchises and remakes and and just adapting something that doesn't exist that 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 falls apart especially when you consider that he has the fog which i believe was a, a stephen king adaptation the shining which was yes. another stephen king adaptation which uh by the way was stanley kubrick's vision which was in direct conflict from uh to stephen king's vision of the book they, he he hates that movie I imagine getting stephen all these hate, questions yeah. to scorsese what would, i feel like he'd be tied up as fuck you have no idea how to deal with this yeah oh yeah, yeah so, like, so shining. like literally literally yeah shining uh stephen king hates kubrick's the shining despises it he actually went and made a tv adaptation himself yeah later <laughs> on because he hated the, <laughs> the kubrick version so much but like Really, the only difference is that he likes the, these, but he doesn't like the others. Oh, <laughs> the, also, really the only difference. Also, Martin Scorsese, he made a a movie that I really like, The Departed. That is a remake of, or yeah, a, yeah it's like it's yeah, a remake Infernal of, Affairs. Uh, yeah, Infernal Affairs. Yes, yeah, that's an Asian cinema, which movie. is great. I think Korean? Yeah, I think. could be wrong. Uh, Japanese is all Korean. One of the two. Hmm. I think Wait, it's not it's an Asian cinema. Well, I thought I, I was uh, convinced from when it was Japanese, but then he went Korean, and I did see a lot of Korean films around the time I saw Infernal Affairs. It's Hong so Kong. Um, oh. Yeah, Infernal British. Affairs, yeah. It's, it's Hong Kong, yeah. <laughs> Hong Kong cinema, Chinese cinema. So, uh, Glyph said if you made him restate with all these questions, you'd eventually get what you're looking for, which what I'm looking for is literally just him saying, I don't like the new stuff. I like the stuff that I was making when I was around. And at that point, I'd be like, oh, so he was, just, he was just right. He was just an asshole then. He, he like baited everybody. Because like this has caused nothing but like frustration for so many people because so many people agree with him without having thought about any of it. And then loads of people are like, whoa, what you're doing is really bad. Mm -hmm. Like gatekeeping shit. So it just causes. Yeah, like, yeah why do you think? Why do you think he hasn't taken it back? Because he's like, he, like he knows how many people have like stood behind it. He's like, yeah, you know, I was right. I was, I was right. They're not cinema. Yeah. I'm Martin I'm, Scorsese. I'm totally on top I mean, of this. I, can, I know. Yeah, I've got the look at my filmography. See things like this. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, also this is, this is it. knowing knowing what I know now about what he would consider cinema, it would be really not that difficult to make a really good porno that he would have to admit is cinema. <laughs> as long as it was your oh, wow. vision, right? Behind yeah, the I'm green door. I am boy. Do I have some visions? Let me tell mm -hmm. you. Oh my God. So established terms to distinguish between these two types of films. So the way he's chosen to label the difference. Um, sorry, I, I I hate to cut him off so quickly, but like if you were going to establish there are types of film, it isn't going to be two. I yeah, I mean, unless it's literally the dichotomy of film or cinema and not cinema, which is almost like, why are you even bothering? Like, this is so much easier in literature when everyone just admits it's about quality. <laughs> Like, when there's not so much faff around trying to think, <laughs> oh, it's because of this aspect, it's because of, the, you know, the number of creators, the vision, the direction, the, you know, time it was made I wouldn't in. even want it All to be about nonsense. quality, especially these days where people clap at fucking everything. 
This is the thing. Join our team, Scorsese. Just shit on them for being bad films, right? Yeah. Yep. Just... And we'll be uh, we'll be dancing through the the field of flowers, arms locked. <laughs> and you'll be dead. <laughs> no, People, I want him to. No, chill you'll out be with there, us. He'll, hanging out with us, talking about yeah. how Shutter Island was a really cool um, movie. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him about his movies. Movie. That'd be great. Because he I, makes I good would stuff. Like to talk about that, yeah. Well, again, Shutter Island. Get that Scorsese was a, that was a cool on. Movie. Scorsese for Efab. There you go. There we These go. two types of films. So the way he's chosen to label the difference is by calling the side of film he loves cinema and saying that franchise films aren't cinema. Ooh. So it's, it's, it's the, the difference is what he loves it's elitism then. That's, that's, that's even mean. worse. Now we're James in trouble. So what he loves is cinema and what he does is love is He just said franchise films aren't cinema. It's like, dude, that is that's, not what Scorsese is saying at all. Jesus Christ, get out of that one. And that's worse. That's Way worse. He's, he's totally putting words into his mouth to like make him look better, basically. Why people so that, like that makes him look weird. Yeah. Makes him look better. <laughs> that makes him look weird. So, I don't know why people. Film? It's because people have probably actually read the quote for themselves. They're just buying what this guy's saying. So well, is Lord of the Rings a franchise film? Is Indiana Jones a franchise I mean, film? It has to be is a Rogan franchise. Rogan a franchise film. It has to what be. The they all have franchise. to be. It's, Anything it's, can be a franchise film if you add another film to it. It's like, this <laughs> is a <laughs> shitty fucking And it can be shit, Dude. and then they can make another one, Dude. and the second so, one's so, really good. So, so, so Alien. Raiders of the Lost Ark was... Alien, yeah. So, so, so Raiders of the Lost Ark Damn. was cinema, and then <laughs> Temple of Doom came out, and it was no longer cinema. <laughs> it was no longer cinema. <laughs> 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 it wasn't when they made the Incredible Hulk. Well, <laughs> Godfather is cinema, I don't want to tell you. Be cinema. <laughs> Godfather, the Godfather oh, Part 2, the Godfather oh, no. Part oh, no. oh no, it's a yeah. franchise. <laughs> okay, alright, let's see. Jurassic so Park is in cinema. You have to be a standalone film. You have to uh, be released in cinemas. You can't have two. And a unifying, yeah, a yeah. unifying creative vision by one individual. Oh my God, like a list. the criteria like is so Mama. frustrating. I like the definition. Well, Indiana Jones can't be because uh, Harrison Ford he he would ad lib and that made it well, into the movie. So that's, that's, that's yeah, true. Luke, that Lucas. He chose to he chose to shoot that Cairo swordsman instead of close the distance with his whip. Yeah, and, and, that and, was and a remember, part um, of, uh, Lucas had lots of a hand movie, in, right? in those films too. He made oh, remember, Lucas. George Lucas, yeah. He, he, yeah the, so, so like, this is so lame. Why would you make this argument? Because <laughs> he hasn't thought of it. Because we, I have to defend the, I have to defend the authority. Have I missed anything yeah. in this list? Oh, be prepared to add to it, uh, probably. Oh, good God. Stand on. Oh, it ha be. oh, yeah, you have to. A, a singular creative vision. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. And it has to yeah, be risky. To be like, he's talking, he's talking about risk, like like a productive, what is it? Productive yeah, conflict. Yeah, it has to take risks. Like that. Yeah, take so he was risks. talking about productive risks. conflict. Where like, and the, the idea that somehow magically no Marvel movie production has ever, ever had any conflict between any of its creators, which is ridiculous to think that. You know, uh, directors have dropped off. They've been fired. You know, yeah. they've left. You know, it's it's of course that there's conflict. It, maybe they're a bit more. Maybe they're oh. a bit more streamlined. Maybe not. Maybe not quite as. Uh, you Didn't, know, um, rough as his productions, but. Conflict. Yeah. Didn't um, Apocalypse also, Now um, have like a notoriously horrible production with all kinds of? Oh yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Is that not cinema? Because I think it is. You don't. Yeah. So it must have a seamless production. Is that another one? Well, I think his thing is that if there is a seamless production, then it isn't cinema, almost. Ah, so it must have a strenuous production. Yeah, like yeah Godfather was the same way, too. Godfather was notoriously rough production. Yeah, like oh, sorry, what I was getting at... Sweat and tears into what, it. What I was getting at was that it, it fucks with the whole unified vision thing, when you have loads of actors fucking around doing whatever they want, and then loads of producer people being like, blah, 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 but the film turns out really good. It's like, oh, shit, hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, uh, um, uh, by by its definition, to have a a risky and conflict filled production, it would not no longer be a unified vision, right? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna reference it again. Mission Impossible Fallout. They did not have a completed script when they started filming that one, and they had to do several rewrites after Tom Cruise broke his ankle during a stunt. Like the film that they were going to do was not the same film that they ended up doing after Tom Cruise broke his ankle. And, and Christopher awesome. McQuarrie took some time to rewrite it, and they still but, managed to make it like an about airtight story. And the first Iron Man was mostly improvised. So yep. Yeah. 
so Marty said something stupid. <laughs> well, it's, it's, yeah. the also, thing is, it's this guy at this point. A lot of these point. bullet points, a lot of the, um, like the criteria here, it's very meta. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the content of the thing itself. Yeah. Well, we pointed that out, right? It's like, it the film well, comes out, you, you say it's good, it becomes a part of a franchise, and suddenly like, wow, it's not good anymore, is it? It like, retroactively what? is now you know not the, cinema. You know, the funny thing is, right, the, the, the categories, the, the qualities that we're listing down, I just, I just went to the Wikipedia page of Martin Scorsese, and they all fit all of Martin Scorsese's films. So, well, only Martin Scorsese movies our cinema guys are you sure? we, we did it wow has has he ever we made... solved it we solved the problem we has he solved ever, it has he ever made That's anything as part amazing. of a franchise <laughs> huh has he ever I, made I, anything I as part of a franchise i don't think so i haven't seen it but it's it's funny to me because the only films that martin scorsese likes supposedly are martin scorsese movies <laughs> oh someone's asking iron man was mostly improvised i don't know maybe not mostly yeah. but it's certainly in, improvised like that's famous about that film is a lot of it was improvised like, by jeff bridges and robert downey jr yeah, yeah like, like robert downey jr had to teach jeff bridges how to improvise because he wasn't that good at improvisation before <laughs> iron man um yeah. they didn't have a finished script so a lot of the dialogue was like you will go into this scene and do this now make up the dialogue as you oh, go we just got scorsese directed color of money which is a sequel to the hustler uh oh oh my goodness oh no, he's, he's, oh, no. what he's, <laughs> he's, pro that. he's producing a movie called the souvenir part two which is indeed a sequel to a that's produced film called that's the the producing though yeah it's, I'm, it's I'm fine if he produces it it's oh fine. directing okay this, yeah this is directed yeah oh <laughs> Kill Bill is not cinema because there's a part two. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh shit. I'm triggered. <laughs> shit. And I want to clarify. That's what this guy said. It wasn't what Scorsese said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. No, it's just films are cinema. Why are and a lot of people. Oh. What's up? You're right. No, I'm just annoyed that they Did can't say that it's a bad film. <laughs> just say it's a bad film. <laughs> Don't say, say it's, it's not a film. Crash. It's so annoying. So it's easy. so stupid. Yeah. Stop muddying the waters with this pretentious hoo-ha bullshit. Yeah, exactly. That franchise I, films I aren't over. cinema, and a lot of people seem to be offended by this. I oh, love long-form TV. I think it's a powerful oh, no, art form that is often underrated He's compared... doing a video essay voice, by the way. It yeah, is yeah. often yeah. underrated. Rated. Why is. do you talk this way? Really Please. annoying. Like I'm trying to have dulcet tones when I'm really nice, like as fuck. <laughs> also, just uh, how uncharitable his his uh, clip selection is. Every single Marvel movie is action sliding, yeah. sliding on a car door or explosion or whatever. When every other one is like, you know, characters uh, thinking about things. It, so yeah, full. yeah. It, Idris Elba looking very, you know, very stern, thinking about things. Like, yeah, it's just really, really obvious. Intensive. What he's doing here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's always templates that they use to illustrate cinema in these shots. It's always exactly, like, yeah, exactly. It's like, manipulative yeah. as fuck, because they, they, do, they do the reverse and we... Yeah. Ah. Long form TV. Cock. I think it's a powerful art form that is often underrated compared to cinema. Scorsese also happens to say that... I thought for a while maybe long form TV is cinema. It's not. <laughs> <Don't break Why? laughs> That's not You're really making him look worse, dude. <laughs> I, don't I understand. What, what are you doing? I thought it was, but it's Fiji not. Fiji water, you old man. Jesus Christ. I just I, Breaking I, I Bad, not, was, not cinema. But it's not. I don't know how Sly Manor, not cinema. Yeah. It's, it's At a what different point viewing. does cinema just not mean anything anymore? I, I was, I was, when I, when he decides, he's the arbiter <laughs> of what's cinema and not. He's like, like yeah, I thought it was, and then I decided, no, it's not cinema. So just to clarify, right, like if someone wanted to say Hill House wouldn't count even if it played in theaters because of how long it is, like he made it like a four hour plus movie. So what would be the cutoff point? Like, please don't make these arguments. It makes my brain bleed. What if The August? Godfather, instead of being like a two-parter, it was like the first film was split into episodes as part of a like a miniseries, like twenty-minute episodes, and then every at the part at the end of like each act, it's like to be continued. Like, would that suddenly reduce it? Like, have you guys ever heard of a film? You have you guys ever heard of a of a film called Logistics? No, no. Clocking in at a total runtime of 35 days and 17 hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know about this one, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. You know, that is cinema. It's like a it's like a movie about a freighter, right? Like a, a freight car being brought on, on like a ship to a, like a different place or something, right? Sweet Jesuit. 
It's like so, uh, the argument is just such a, a weird one. Like, yeah, maybe it hasn't, the TV doesn't release on in a theater, but like, would if you took the first season of Daredevil and cut it down to two and a half hours and released it in theaters, would it be better? Would it be worse? I, oh, I think God. it'd be considerably worse. <laughs> Scorsese but, simp in chat. You never finished his thought. You reflexively got emotional and defensive before you, a point was even made. I'm laughing at what he's already said. You don't understand. Yeah, his he premise is broken before he says anything else, so we're laughing at him, guys. He's deciding whether or not a TV show is cinema. This is cringe as fuck. I'm sorry. I, ironic, ironically, Indigo, I think that if he took the second season of Daredevil and cut it down to two and a half hours, it would be a significant improvement. <laughs> Just, just keep the, yeah, keep the stuff with the Punisher and cut out everything else. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I might agree with that actually. Yes. Experience three episodes, two, four, ten. But that doesn't offend me because he isn't saying long form TV isn't valuable. He's just saying it's a different thing. I know he didn't you say might... that. <laughs> That's not what. He, yeah, why would we think he said these? <laughs> I might disagree with him and think he's that the cinema asking, label isn't the right way to like make that sort of distinction between franchise films and the films Scorsese loves. He hasn't said it's franchise films, so why are you saying that he did? Stop it. But there is a difference. One he expresses in the New York Times piece, and one I can show you. Oh boy. What? So, what are you trying to prove here? Yeah, so for if, if you, anyone can't tell, he's just playing the scene where Hawkeye has the gauntlet in Endgame. What the fuck? Nothing is at risk here? What are you talking oh, about? Oh, what is he holding in his hand? Does it mean like... Oh, now, so now we're on Godfather. Okay. These are so different. Yeah, so, <laughs> so he showed Hawkeye battling the creatures against these two, waiting to see whether or not they're going to get ambushed. Yeah, they're different films. What, what, yeah. what do you, what does- The context what, are so, in, like- They're different films. Man, he's getting away with a lot of footage here. Both, he is, both yeah. scenes, Well, don't worry, I've got it covered both up. Scenes, both scenes involve, like, some form of suspense, though. Yeah, they're, like, they're very different scenes. Suspense? Wow. Suspense? Yes. I I'm tired, it's shut suspondo. up. Suspondo. Oh, back to Endgame. What the... are you proving here? <laughs> but why aren't you showing the scene? Oh, so can you hear yeah, the music and the- Okay, what about the like, what, 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 what about what you guys go one at a time. <laughs> I think the fact that they didn't go all one at a time proves the point even better. Yeah, a little bit. Come on! Why didn't so, you show the scenes where it's really slow and quiet in this film? Because there are, and I don't even like this movie! <laughs> <laughs> Show the fucking scene where a, a cap is hosting like the you know the survivors anonymous meeting, for example. <laughs> how about how about you show the scene in The Godfather where Sonny gets gunned down? Yeah, that hey. that roller coaster shit. If you wanna go also, for, if you wanna like try a sincere comparison, maybe that Godfather scene to the elevator scene in Winter Soldier? I don't know, at least try, right? Yeah, and, mm. and don't worry about the music as well, I've got it muted. As long as he's just you guys let me know if he says anything. Yep, no worries. But, uh, yeah, it's just well, no movie. risk. He almost yeah. got killed by a giant oh, wait. alien. That's... No, no risk refers to the production. I think not the narrative. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, is this there will be blood. Yeah, that's real, right. Yeah. Blood, yeah. Yeah. So I could have done this too. This doesn't help with anything. I, I already know this, this is kind of explanatory. I know this is the vague separation. The problem is there's no line. It comes across as just what he likes and what he doesn't like. I'm sorry. We already know which movies he's gonna put into the good movie section and which ones he'll put into the roller coaster section. Yeah. It'd be a like, lot more. In your Black Widow oh, video, you go. make a distinction between oh, the you. like Right. Interrogation scene, Avengers, and like uh, the much worse interrogation scene in Black Widow, and you actually explain what the difference between those two scenes are. While well, this is just like I am playing scenes from two different films, and you should just know what the difference is. Yeah, because um, what, yeah, he's, and, he's, and, 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 now we're and again, doing it, and there will be blood. I I could be showing like the oil explosion, where like it's just this bombastic, huge set piece, rather than this quiet moment between two characters, and make the films look similar. So, so it all depends a, on what you choose to show, basically. Yeah, he, he's yeah, showing a Falcon escaping all the flak damage from the bazillion bazooka blah, 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 when he's, he's not going to show the scene 
where Natasha realizes that despite everything in her life being a constant struggle of betrayal, after the whole organization she tried to clean her record with is actually Hydra, she confirms with Steve that he would die for her. And she's like, holy shit, I can trust you. Which is really important, considering her whole life has just been manipulated by people after people after people. Is that... Do, like, fuck that scene. We can't count that. No, Look at the explosions. No, that will... Or that wonderful no, scene that... where Hawkeye and Black Widow were talking together in Avengers. No, look at the explosions. Where she though. tells no, him no. that she's been compromised. Explosions. No, guys, shut up! You'll destroy his narrative! Shut up! <laughs> so, yeah, is the whole message more... that action is bad? Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, theme yeah, parks, think... man. No, theme... this is. Roller coaster ride. This is like, oh, theme park. Yuck. How... Oh. Movies aren't about oh, having fun. Oh, theme park. <laughs> It, it just sounds, it sounds like a challenge, doesn't it? It's like, try and maintain being cinema while also having a big action set piece. You're like, okay... Someone open the... Martin Scorsese World. Tickets are two ninety nine a pop. Get your Martin Scorsese pop and go on the Marty Scorsese coaster all for the low, low price of ten ninety five in cinemas now. To the right of this video, I just throw James Bond, Indiana Jones, Star Wars even again. Yeah, like all of those. They're all roller coasters. See, like, what What do you think? Yeah, it, it, yeah is there I would have roller coaster as well. I would well, love to see an analysis, like comparison, comparison, uh, comparing to <laughs> slate, uh, <laughs> side by side, two of the most similar scenes from like a Marvel movie and a movie that he approves of, like you know, like you said, an interrogation scene from Marvel movie, interrogation scene from one of his yeah. movies, uh, a, a slow somber scene where somebody's doing a a long. Uh, diatribe about something in both films, like it, doing a side by side comparison and seeing like what makes this one more emotionally appealing or cinematic, if you want to call that, which is kind of a BS term. But like it, he's he's purposely going out of his way to find the most uh, contrasting clips. Yeah, extremely yeah. uncharitable. Like so that, there's. It, yeah, there, there's nothing to be learned here. And like, this guy isn't doing a good job because all he's showing is action versus scenes where there's suspenseful yeah. things happening involving characters. And it's like, this isn't helping at all. And he thinks it's making it clear. No. Nope. Dark Knight interrogation scene? Low IQ. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's a roller coaster. It doesn't count. Daredevil oh. and Punisher rooftop argument. No, the roller coaster, shut up. Oh, it's here. I like this movie. Stop Loki. using it for your argument. <laughs> Loki and Black Widow interrogation. Don't count. But her coaster. involved like a science fiction element. That's not cinema. This is so manipulative, and he just keeps yeah. repeating the oh, same. Back to Winter Soldier. Method. Okay, this Marvel one. This one's an interesting stuff. choice. This is. Yeah. How this is this is really um, important to the characters. This moment. Why are you picking this? Like yeah. this isn't just random yeah. action. Because this I don't is... think he's giving, I think he's just going down the route of, oh, it's this dumb Marvel movie. I'm not even going to give it credit for what I'm it actually is. Dude, it. him saying I'm yeah, with you till yeah. the end of the line? Like, what? Context. That doesn't count as. <laughs> Damn, okay, fine. That's not, that's not the experience of people communicating psychologically, like what they're feeling to each other. It's, it's Cap putting his friend that he lost in World War II and hasn't seen nope. him well, since nope. getting out of the, the ice. It's just in a, fighty, fighty in punch. Trying to, Trying to save the world. No, no. He's, he's putting him in headlock and he's no, it's brainwashed and there's it's real explosion. emotion in this scene. In no. The movie's bad, no. but there's emotion it's in this scene. Coaster. No. You know, it's definitely not a callback to when they were, you know, friends back in the war and he said that exact same thing and proving Judy that his words bad. meant something. Well, if they were let. If you take out the action yeah. scenes and yes, you can have the cinema label, okay? You can have it back. There you go. <laughs> you may have it back. Is Die Hard not cinema? No, sir. Nope. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's action in it, so... Oh, you took out, like... Oh, fuck you. Yeah. This is Inside Lou and Davis? It's manipulative, I think it's... manipulative, okay. right? Okay, so is you No Country it. for Old Men... No Country for Old Men is another Coen Brothers movie. There's a lot of action inside of that movie. Wait it's a minute. more reserved. Yeah. That's not a unified that vision. That's an individual's unified vision. No. Coen Brothers? Uh-oh. Yep. No, no, That's see, another... because there's no, there's oh. no They are music, one mind so in one fine. spirit. <laughs> Like, there's no like blang, 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 blang music. So I didn't know better. He's no. saying it's cinematic. He means boring. A word out there to anyone trying to like clarify a distinction. Don't just try and show things that, well, are, that are intuitively different. Yeah, this was all like, pointless. You should have just 
the yeah. voiceover was needed throughout. Because apparently someone in chat just said, he goes on to explain this, you shouldn't be laughing. It's like, he told us that we could get it from these clips. He said, you can oh, see no, it. Oh, yeah, you can so see it. So yeah. don't try it's that like, argument. I I can the see only dichotomy trying. I see here is one is exciting, one is not exciting. Contemplative. That seems to be the difference. Yeah, I mean, I think we're trying. I think we're we're on to his his thing. I just I'm just curious if he has any uh, semblance of good arguments for it. Like we see that he's being completely manipulative with his editing, you know, twist of clips and everything like that. Just does sure, he have an any arguments? Make, looks like. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, he's I'm using sorry, a guys. lot from other. I'm movies. sorry, chat chat person, but he's very manipulative now. Also, if you don't know the context for a lot of the scenes, then like this is worthless. Yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking that. I was just, I think, if you just don't know what he's trying to convey here, then you're looking at the screen going, "What? Well, it's just different scenes from movies." It's, it's Oscar yeah. Isaac yeah. singing. That's cinema. Well, yeah, you're, all you're left with is one ha often has action scenes. One is just people thinking or doing things that are much more subtle and quiet. So, so if, yeah, Oscar, you don't, you don't know anything thing. about the characters, then the dialogue isn't going to have as much weight. So it's like, what's the point of showing like the dialogue scenes out of context if, so if we don't know if, anything? You could if compare Oscar... this to the you could compare this to the scene with Red Guardian singing to uh, Elena in Black Widow. Yeah, Not a good movie, but yep. that, that would be a fair a fair comparison. Well, you know, like well, what, what's funny? Well, no, 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 that doesn't count because that was David Harbour's idea and not the director. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, so, so if Oscar Isaac starts, he has a, a scene in Dune where he pulls out an acoustic guitar and starts singing. Is that going to be cinema, or is all the action sequences in Dune going to disqualify it from being cinema? And what you've highlighted there is he would be like, no, it's not about just singing. It's about what this scene means. It's like, you've put them out of context, dude. <laughs> we don't know what they mean, so... What, what oh, well, we might not. In the Rise of Skywalker. He should, be, he should be showing a clip and saying, for context, this, this, yeah. this, this, this. Whereas in the Marvel yeah. movies, this, 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 this. But he's not. He's just showing... Not only is he just showing random clips, he's showing random clips from different movies and then dispersing with Marvel movies. So if I was watching this, I'd just be confused to hell what his point was, even was. Well, apparently just... he is going to explain this when the clips end, so I'm, I'm excited. All right, okay. It's, okay. it's just the manipulative expectation that you'll just take the face value differences and latch onto that. Well, yeah, uh, that's all I've gathered so far. Oh, no, I'm the soul oh, of the Oh, it's the... Group. when they... That's a pretty dramatic moment, also. Well, it just leaves us confused. Oh. No. What? I don't You're know. comparing the scene from the control room from Captain America the Winter Soldier to the final duel from Barry Lyndon? Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> it's the same thing. Come on. Well, oh my God. God. No, it, it, it illustrates the other. difference, doesn't it? You see? This is cinema. And uh, again, that is, scene is so good if you have the context. But if you know nothing about those two characters, it's it's worthless. Yeah, it is. Oh, now no, it... That... What was the distinction? Yeah, so for anyone who can't... Oh, the themes! Oh, oh, that's a oh no! Oh, those are often the... Oh, wait, 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 sorry, he started speaking. When did he start speaking again? Oh, yeah, oh that's um, he's got to just go back about 10... Like 30 seconds? Yeah, around the... Is that enough? Yeah, I gotta got got hear what this oh. guy's trying to say. Yeah, because I had him muted, sorry. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Is your pistol cocked, Mr. Oh. Linden? Big cock. I'm assuming it's after this clip. Cocked like yeah, John Cena yeah. in the Suicide Squad. Oh, we're doing Endgame. Yeah, okay. After this fight, it, yeah, yeah, as soon as it goes to one, Guardians. Not that one is better than yeah, the other, no. but that there is a distinction between the two. Okay. The core of this difference rests in the themes that these two types of films explore Ooh. and the way they do it. Marvel. Well, it's like it's that's already like, like, it's it's all the movie rests. It's, it says Those... it rests on the difference of the themes these two types of movies. So a type of movie can only have certain kinds of things that's a very awkward sentence to say also, I, I don't think scorsese the themes, said these this two types of movies can't any theme that is in a martin scorsese movie you can probably find a superhero movie that has that theme in it well, and, in all of those movies film. that he showed they have vastly different themes i suppose you could put them into like a, a category but like also they all have very different themes they're exploring just to perfectly explain how fucking complicated this is glib just said the difference is not themes it's like so this is like one of the most popular videos explaining this point of view and it says it's themes like, <laughs> he said the distinction is tone and pacing 
Oh, I'm not getting into that. Let's just carry on. <laughs> Several films do explore emotional themes, but those no, wait, are often the, the filler the day, moments between the climactic battles. The wait, filler moments. Mueller, at the end of the day, Mahler, wait, I, think, wait, wait. I think what all these people are trying to say is they're going to justify uh, Martin Scorsese shitting on Marvel for their own reasons. I think that, that's here. We, that's it at the wait, end of the day. Wait, wait. Is, that, is this guy... Is this guy trying to argue that the the character moments in the MCU are Real just filler. string scenes? They're string scenes between trying to string together the uh, the the action scenes. Yeah. Is that what he's trying to How say? How the fuck could you take yeah. that point of view seriously when whatever people cite when they watch like Phase One certainly it's like what did you enjoy about it? It's like I fucking love Steve. I love Tony. I love Thor. I love Steve. And it's like yeah. well no, you didn't. You like the explosions and stuff like the fight scenes. And you're like. No, I mean they were they no. were fine, yeah. They but, help. Like, they help. Yeah. I Nobody totally liked him, but I also like the characters. Like, I am there for the character payoffs. Like it's not it's not the fight in Civil War that the fight is exciting, but what makes it meaningful? Like you can just get fight scenes and action scenes that don't have any meaning in a lot of stuff. Um, I, I don't know why you were going to make this argument about Godfather. Everything that isn't the action scenes is just stuff stringing to the action scenes. Well, right, because the big, you'd be like, well, the big payoffs are like, you know, the 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 scene where he's at the church and then all of these executions yeah. are happening. That's like, that's Car a payoff. Bomb. Except that is a payoff. That definitely is a payoff. Um, yep. And same with yep. the, the the car bomb, same with, um, I always forget his name, the guy who got- Sunny. Sunny yeah. getting yeah, down. that's right. And uh, the Another guy switch. got choked in the car. Sonny beating the shit out of that one dude in the streets. You know, this reminds me of uh, Muller. Reminds me of that uh, video you covered years ago, where he tried to make this artificial differentiation between horror and terror. So, like, Ghost somehow. Thousand, yeah. Oh no! Wait, yeah, you're talking about yeah. Stomp. That's a fucking oldie, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, so this is basically making a differentiation between like popcorn films and cinema, and uh, considering you know Scorsese's done both. And, you know, he loves movies from both categories. It just, it really falls flat. Like, there isn't really no difference. You could say it's a different genre. Like, uh, this guy's picking primarily dramas and comparing them to action-adventure films. So, yeah, if you compare uh, your, you know, average action scene from Indiana Jones to something from, you know, a long a long dialogue sequence from The Godfather, yeah, you're going to have a bit of a difference. But and like, I, I want to ask this guy that. Like, does Indiana Jones count, yes or no? Yeah. And he would say, yes, it does count, because there's no way in hell that he wouldn't. Yeah. Exciting fights, character introductions. In what Scorsese calls cinema, these moments are the climactic moments. They are the ride that oh, the movie... Shit. So, so what well, you're referring to is Marvel shit. movies. But, you're, that, but this is Marvel movies. They have these. Yes. Yeah, so, well, did you not the watch them? I, mean, I think like, I would say the big I, thing is it's it's all meaningful content in terms, you know, of course, when we're talking about good movies, like it's all meaningful content, not just the payoffs, but also the time it takes to get there. Well, I'm, I'm a little bit. An um, action scene doesn't get to be cinema, but a, I guess, calm I'm scene so does lost. get to be cinema. I was going to say, that's the big fuck up here. I was like, whoa, did you just establish that characters discussing things is like better than action? I think is, he's do being, you just want to keep from the the common person who might not like enjoy? The, I don't. I don't. I think this guy Why? is either uh, dumb or malevolent because he's <laughs> ignoring the scenes that would destroy his argument. Well, yeah, but you, you know, think of oh, um, he's not even traveling into the same fucking universe as those arguments. Yeah. Think of like um, T'Challa and um, Zemo when they have their discussion, yeah. and then. I mean, like, I mean, do, does Yondu and Star Lord good. count, or is it because they're escaping an exploding planet that that can't count? You know what I mean? Like, Steve dropping the shield um, would be another one, would it not? I guess that the, well, the that was uh, dropping from the Captain shield, America yeah, Civil Tony, War. Tony, Sorry Tony, to break yeah. up the set, but like, it's near yeah, an action scene, right. so I guess it doesn't oh, and count. I mean, here's a good example: at the end of Avengers, when Tony flies the uh, the bomb through the wormhole. You could be like, oh, well, the payoff is the big explosion of the the the, the Chitauri base. It's like, well, really, the big payoff is like seeing Tony's reaction to all of this when we cut to him in the helmet. Yeah, and knowing that Steve, at the same site. knowing Steve this watched him do it as well. Moment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's like is... the most the most important part is the really focused on the character, not the big action set piece and all of these Chitauri guys dying. 
it's not really the payoff. Another good one was uh, even Age of Ultron, the when they're at the party, all yeah. talking and and yeah. sharing stories and stuff, and you and Thor gets like a little bit scared when he sees Cap nudge his his hammer. It's like oh, okay, is it, you know a little bit shakes it shakes his but, ego a little bit. He's like maybe he's not the only one who's worthy kind of thing, you know. Oh no 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 um that no 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 Steve could pick up that hammer. I don't I don't agree with that. Sorry. He he could pick up the oh there's a whole thing about this. He could have picked up the hammer then, and when he realized he could pick up the hammer, the, he stopped. This is what um, Thing Majiggy said. Yeah, he the stopped. Russo, yeah, but James Gunn also said what he said about Polka Dot Man. True, 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 true. But uh, but I get, I understand his theory of, you know, you, you, can you be partly worthy? I kind of understand that theory. So I think it's a decent theory. I think um, there's, weight, there's weight behind it. No, oh, I, I appreciate it. Dramatic just, scene, characters and stuff. Yeah, um, well, so now we're at the point where it's like, it's not about having them as their position in the timeline. <laughs> they have to be the they have to be the payoff. It can't be an action scene. It's just like, man, that sucks. Isn't this more restrictive? And aren't they, like, trying to argue that it should be a singular vision, which would imply a well, certain like, level of freedom? Couldn't you argue The Shining's huge payoff is him chasing them through the house and the things? Like, isn't that an action scene? Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Taxi yeah, driver yeah. ends with like a big yeah taxi driver oh shooty yeah it's a big shootout. Yeah. yeah full metal jacket is like a huge shootout I mean in Vietnam yeah, yeah it ends with like that yeah, they got sniper the scene snipers. yeah yeah exactly yeah. the third act of Heat is one big long like chase and and shootout and and it's yeah. it's really really good it's very visceral but I I'm yeah it's one of his favorite films too it's on this list okay Michael Mann's Heat 1995 that that last entire act is is yelling yeah, and, bank and robbery. shooting like and, a, and people like a, dying. Yeah. It's like a 10 minute extensive action sequence following like the bank robbery. It's like basically it's urban iconic. warfare. So yeah. And I mean, it's rip a, Quentin Tarantino. It's a, it's a, it's oh a yeah. Payoff. Django Unchained. <laughs> Django. Like, no oh, cinema. No. Django, no Django Unchained. I love that film. It, yeah. Is there something, is it, is because of course Candyland shootout, that's like a big payoff. Is that, is that not or, cinema then? Because or, or the, the, the tavern there? from Inglorious Bastards with the the oh, right yeah. laser, man that that yeah. like ends with a big old shootout. But that's like what a lot of people think is one of the best scenes in the movie. So um, Dude, people yeah, say that was like one choice. of the best scenes in movies ever, and that's a fair it's choice. It's great. Yeah. It's a great scene. I guess scene. that Once Upon Scarface. a Time in Hollywood isn't cinema anymore after a Leo DiCaprio kills someone with a flamethrower. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And no Scarface way, not anymore. ends with that famous, the famous shootout and yeah. craziness and cocaine yeah. and stuff. And, I mean, like, and yeah. there's no so way in hell frame. that anybody is going to say that Scarface isn't cinema. There's That's no the way that films. anybody's going to yeah. say that. But like, have you noticed okay, that we've had I'm reloaded? I'm sorry. So have you noticed <laughs> that we've got a couple of like, um, a different different criteria that's flooping around, and like none of them Oops. succeed. They just don't. But if you just say them all vaguely, it's kind of like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. Has to what happened in the end? In the end, they... So it all went to... I'm just gonna mute it. Is there music here at this part? These brief oh, exactly. Marvel film, the oh, come on, bro. Oh, come on. oh, come on. Oh, come on. Wait, sorry. I, I didn't hear him. He said, Marvel I'm making films, a really loaded brief video. Explorations of emotion are decoration for the ride of exciting action show pieces. So so qualify that, please, for the love of God. Around? The, I, like, I, yeah, how couldn't you argue the reverse the action, that the action, yeah, yeah exactly, brings you to the character stuff? And then people like they're actually seeing the substantive part, which is the care. Like, it, how can you say it's set piecing? It's the character development. That's like what we're talking isn't about. That, you to, isn't that you kind of the whole idea behind a blockbuster? The action that leads to this uh, and the other way around. Uh, so, isn't I'm that kind of the whole idea behind a blockbuster? Like Jaws, like like you got the bombastic stuff with like them going after the shark. But what a lot of people say is the best scene is where. Quint's talking about like the USS Indianapolis and it's just a quiet character moment. So you could be like, it's all yeah. the, those character moments are like decorated by the action, but it's like, maybe it's, maybe it's well, not. Like, this is maybe the realization the I'm having. Characters. It's like, oh man, you dinosaurs, you get so frustrated watching action scenes. You can't even tell that there's character work going on anymore. You don't know. 
can't see it. For example, I'm not a, shuts off. I'm not a big Something fan of... Something um, exciting happens and you just shut down. I'm not a big fan of Age of Ultron, but like, do you know why it's meaningful that um, uh, Scarlet Witch is with them there right now? Like, do you know why that's meaningful? I, I'm betting not. And, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like, it's, it's, it's frustrating, actually, because it's like, man, all that work that they put in to characterize these people gets ignored because they had too many action scenes. <laughs> like, damn. Yep. Yeah. And he's he's not the only non action scenes he's shown. He's talked over. He's like yeah. not even giving a single Marvel movie a a talking uh, because he'd probably well, uh, undermine his point by showing that hey, there is acting, yeah. there is emotion, there is character work in these movies. As he yeah, just said, I think he's malicious. As yeah. he just said, the emotional parts of the decoration. That's real. How is uh, that not insulting? <laughs> by the way, it's I'm almost like it. The quieter points of the movie are almost like the character building, and then and then at the end, if you want an exciting ending, you can have something dangerous, like at the end of Jaws, where they're fighting a shark, or at the end of Heat, I mean, where they're all shooting at each other and robbing a bank. It's like once you've been introduced to these characters and their motivations, and you can raise the stakes, and now you're worried for their lives because you've now met these characters, you now know about them, and it happens with every single one of these types of movies, like you now fear for them at the end. So uh, comparing the final fight in Age of Ultron to uh, a couple people talking in Grand Budapest Hotel, that's just so, so insufferably uh, dishonest. I hate that. Hey, Voxus, Discord, if you still have it, message me. We'll try and get you on, okay, buddy? I haven't been able to get through yeah. to you. It's Discord. been a long time since he's been on, hasn't it? Yeah, the so pipe man. Good. Nice yeah, to see you. Hope you're doing Plus all right. Pipe, man. Please I've, read for what? I'm about to hop off. If he wants to come on, I, I'd be happy to free up a slot for him. So, oh, it's up to him. I guess he can if he wants to join us. Let's not forget that this guy fucking removed like the dialogue from that Winter Soldier scene just to make it yeah. look more like an action <laughs> yeah. spectacle. Well, no, he's yeah, look. He's admitted there are character things, but it's all decoration. I find that way more insulting than removing them. It's like <laughs> no, he's admitted there's there's character things, and yet he hasn't played any of them. Yeah, I'll give you that. So yeah. he's being he he's being sneaky there because he's yeah. Saying, By the way, I these films do have what I've just been showing or trying to show that they don't have, but I'm not showing them. So he's he's disingenuous as fuck. This guy. Yeah. It's I even yeah. I think he's malicious even since he's seen it and he doesn't show it. He can't not have edited that without seeing it. I can't see the difference. Oh my god. He did it again. Oh fuck off! Look, You're look, look, everybody! Two different things purposefully. An action scene versus You're a scene gonna... where two characters discuss something. Like, okay, <laughs> why did you? I'm dumb. Is, it, is he dumb. have the balls? Does he have the balls oh. to show the scene where he beats the shit out of that guy with a bowling pin? Probably not. <laughs> We're gonna. It's just gonna be the I, I drink your milkshake. That's gonna still yep. be. Wow. Uh to disagree, but I'd encourage you to expand your film palette and maybe expand, oh, expand, oh, expand your film palette. Oh, 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 there it there is. is. There it is. The condescension the tsunami the there. Up. Sorry, <laughs> there it is. What is the word again? So we'll have to agree to disagree, but I'd encourage you to expand your film palette and maybe explore fuck yourself, more you of what cinema has to offer. <laughs> oh, like explore those movies that you just showed, dude. You're this being disingenuous. Like, this is the reverse. You're just doing the reverse of what you're complaining about. You're not opening your film palette to something that's maybe a tiny bit more bombastic than that is to your taste. So how is this any different to what you're complaining about with people not appreciating the slower because moments in the these emotion films. is decoration he's seen these films it's just decorative emotion it's not real emotion okay this isn't oh. this isn't me saying one's better or worse by the way i'm just saying one of them has more value I, uh, does he think he's helping it's no. so arrogant he's so arrogant jesus christ it's, uh, i'm sorry it's it's triggering me quite a bit like it is triggering it's just helping. Hell. yeah it's like I, it's like I'm dismissing. I'm. He's like dismissing the arguments that people might have, in in such an it's such a dis, it's such a uh, condescending way. Like maybe next time when you After talk to me, he's just admitted to yeah, manipulating yeah. them. Maybe peasant. Next time before you talk to me, eat some more film, some other have movie you films. The palette? <laughs> have you developed a more comprehensive palette of movies? Like shut up, like. Like I've seen Breathless, bro. Shut the fuck up. Like <laughs> uh, so, it's so arrogant. Like 
I'm Criterion Films, man. I, I don't have to prove anything to this fucker. Like, it's so... It, he's so... I'm so mad. Like, just... <laughs> it sounds you like you've seen like and stuff for the last hole, yeah. You sound more yeah, mad. Really well. You sound more mad than when Expand. we were covering the Lord of the Rings video. Yeah, because <laughs> bro, bro, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's it's so many things. The hypocrisy of it, like, like some, like, like, I think Theo said it or meme. Like the the thing he's saying, the the he's not opening himself to other film palette experiences that might not be like. He, 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 it's not up to his spicy palate. Maybe, maybe it's it's a bit too spicy for him. Like, it, you can, oh, oh my god! Like, it's... the only movies with action scenes I watch are the action scenes in Martin Scorsese's movie. Oh, that is Snyder's use of slow motion is the only cinematic action that I will. Ever I learned learn. German so I could read the original Gutenberg Just... Bible in its original <laughs> tongue. Just call Marvel shit for fuck's yeah. sake. Just call yeah, it that's shit. Not that hard. Yeah, shit. Exactly. Just say it's bad. Just say it's bad. Exactly. Please. I don't understand. Like, not only does it have to be bad, it also has to be not the thing they love. Like, like it's not the it's not the hobby thing they love. Like, I have no problems calling the room shit, but I would call it <laughs> for what it is a shitty film. Yeah, right? it is it's, shitty it's cinema. Like, it's like. I'm not gonna say it's not cinema, you piece of shit. Like, oh, the room shit. counts. The room would count under this criteria, right? Look, can yeah, I just? So, so what it just said, you guys are being genuinely malicious here, man. It's like he just well, said uh, you've got to, you've got to so see bad. more movies to understand my no, argument. It's not, like, okay. And not only did he say, Mahler, not only did he say that, he cut the parts that would make him shut the fuck up. <laughs> Like, like how he, how is anyone meant to learn from this? Like, isn't the whole point of this is to, to, to you know ultimately yeah. these are teaching tools to expand you know someone's point of view? But if you, you don't provide not, references, yeah, you're not going to convince it, anybody you know. who wasn't like already convinced of what you're saying. Oh, that's all this video is. You're not going to change any minds. He, he and if just you, and you somehow of, did. They wouldn't be able to say why. Helping. He just showed a bunch of clips trying to say Marvel action Dumbos. Gassese, thinky man, good time. He then, hmm, so after the after the clips were shown, then followed up by saying, "Marvel have these two. But this shit. <laughs> Marvel has these two. There's a lot but of fuck them. Fuck it. A lot you guys of them. are Dumbo, and you need to expand your palette if you want to accept lovely long time Scorsese movie happy moment. Yeah. Uh oh. And also, this, the, thing that, the thing that he said, right? The thing that he said, like, these are just dressings to move on to the next part of the movie. That's what the other films also fucking do. Like, like shut the fuck up. Like, like, seriously. Holy shit. So this is the pin comment, and it kind of addresses what we were just talking about. Okay, uh, so I know the number one criticism I'm going to receive is for comparing action scenes from Marvel movies to dramatic moments from other movies. Here's my justification. As I say, immediately after that section, it's not that Marvel doesn't have those kinds of moments, it's that those moments aren't the dramatic core for any of right, these. Right, so you what? reiterated what you said. Yes, it says you, he, and you're wrong. But he just, re he just reiterated exactly what he said. He said yeah, it differently, yeah. though, so yeah. it's okay now. <laughs> Shut you haven't, you haven't it... shown me why one thing is a dramatic core in this movie, and this is the dramatic core in another movie, because I totally disagree yeah, because... that... The character moments in Marvel stuff isn't the dramatic core. Everyone disagrees with that. People always said, like, the thing they really like about the MCU, back when it was not all ass, was the, the characters. They really liked the characters. Yeah. A great example, uh, Captain America. If we would have seen him fighting some red dude throughout their, through, you know, those scenes completely out of context, you'd be like, okay, it's fun, I guess. But at the end, when the ship's going down, he just wants that dance. And that's what we care about. Yeah. So, like, without yeah. that dramatic, without that dramatic, uh, you know, character building and that relationship, we want to see, you know, possibly spark into something. And not, none of it really hits you. But when he's like, "I'm sorry, I'm going to have to miss that dance," it's like, "Oh man, really, really hits you in the gut." And without that, it would just be meaningless action. So I, I, I completely disagree with his sentiment there. You even reminded me. Um, I always remember the fact that Tommy Lee Jones like notices what's happening and he leaves the room because he gonna let them talk as he yeah. dies sort of thing yeah have a moment yeah it's it's really really sad and 
yeah, it, if you take all this action out of context, like like Thomas has done, it's like, yeah, it looks like mindless garbage, but the 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 characters and their relationships and their desires are what make it interesting and compelling. So it's just really yeah, really uncharitable. To, to to back up as well, Fring's initial reaction there of you just said the exact same thing. So when he says. As I say immediately after this action, it's not that Marvel don't have these moments, it's that they're not the dramatic core. All we say in response is, so why did you have the clips that way when you only chose them that way? <laughs> like, we're back to square one again. It's like, you didn't help anything when you just said that. And then he goes on to say, for any of these cinema clips I could have chosen, dozens of other similar moments from those films illustrated similar emotional exploration. Any given Marvel film might have one to three of those scenes and dozens Aww. and dozens of action clips. It's not about whether or not the Marvel films have such moments. It's about where the heart of each movie is. Oh That's so wrong! I, I part of the movie. What? Moments. But, but why the Marvel is it not films cinema? don't even well, pretend that the heart is in the action scenes. Well, imagine saying it's about Iron Man. Like, Iron yeah, Man. Like, Iron Man. Yeah, I... The whole thing in Iron Man, like, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. It's like, what do you yeah. think the heart of that movie is? Oh, yeah, because like, for extensions of the character stuff, you fucking mong. You also, just, no, he's no. just asserted where the hearts of these things exactly. are without explaining it in any way. He's just made the assertion. Also, this, also, you could scrub. Do... this is a wild uh, interpretation. I, I... Guys, can I... Go ahead. Uh, can I... Look at number mm -hmm. two. I'm being a little hyperbolic. You are not hyperbolic! You said that thing with a straight face. There was nothing oh. hyperbolic about your fucking statement. It's not hyperbolic. <laughs> right. I, I would say there's more worth criticizing hyperbolic. as you just read on. I'm being a little hyperbolic intentionally to make my point. The video is about <laughs> feeling the contrast between the two. I respect my audience expect. to know it's not a one-to-one -one comparison. He's so arrogant! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. but, but you are being right. disingenuous. Uh, but why the make the video if you think your cinema? audience already knows what you're Where's saying? Where's the argument for why is it not cinema? Where's the argument well, for why is it not cinema? Where's the argument for why is it not cinema? Where well, is we, it? We all know it well, as. You see, he just said, we all know. So he's he's just, he expects well, the audience well, to kind of understand. Yeah, it. like, it's like Meme just said. What's the point in making the comparison if you don't need to be accurate? because people know what you mean if people know what you mean you don't even need to say anything that's it no comparisons you don't need to do that at all What's but good? why would you need to make erroneous comparisons of two scenes that aren't like because that's a problem it's like why well, need these to make my point it's like well maybe you don't have a point if you need to compare two scenes that aren't the same and you then could, say uh, afterwards that yes, there are oranges. moments. Blah 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 blah. You could scrub through the timeline of any of these Marvel movies at random and find more dramatic and character character building moments than he has. He specifically picked nothing but action, nothing well, but action, and comparing it to nothing but drama. It's like well, it, it's it's not not an exaggeration. Is it's like it, it's night and day. It's really it's like deliberate. It's too too soft a word. Well, the problem well, is, funny, is like, like take. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. So, like, I, I know that's technically not MCU, but you know, sort of the same uh, spirits. The same DCEU, the Suicide Squad. You know, a couple scenes like the bus scene, or the scene where King Sharks with the Clyrax and the fish tank, and like, is that not comparable to what he's trying to draw from the scenes that from movies that he's calling cinema here? Yeah, I, why I honestly, is there somebody. There? Somebody had a really good comment. Yeah, somebody had a really good comment in one of these videos where they said, I couldn't imagine Martin Scorsese actually sitting down for a Marvel movie. And I'm like, maybe that's the problem. Maybe he just watches the trailers and it's like, oh, it's garbage. Well, he has admitted he hasn't actually... actually watched them. Yeah. Okay, or so that's probably the problem. He's tried to watch them. <laughs> he said that he's tried to watch them. Ah, uh, yes, he's tried. Yeah, yeah, so he's tried and kind of... Same. Like, he hasn't know. tried. So, Well, he has tried, but he hasn't, like... I got a feeling like... Has he seen Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, and all the rich character moments locked within? Like, I doubt it. I don't know. That, I don't know. And I mean, and also, by the way, I don't even agree with this idea that's like, well, Marvel movies only have one to three of those scenes and dozens of action scenes. It's like, well, I feel like if we weighed it up, the scenes were just people talking to each other versus the action scenes, that the scenes of people talking to each other outnumber the Dude, action scenes. Certainly, yeah, it, wait, super, how many action scenes are in Iron Man? I was about to say, Iron Man would easily, the amount of character discussions in that film, there is a well, lot. I, yeah, Iron Man has, what, like three major, four, I think three or four major a action set pieces. There's the one where he escapes the cave, the first yeah. flight, the Gomera Terrace one, and then the final battle. 
it's the four. terrorist and the yeah yeah three yeah yeah and well, in the th desert yeah, like maybe, all the yeah, stuff with Jensen alone like yeah because I don't, think him, I don't think him flying oh no more I, oh no he died again I I well, he flew away for um, certain Trini's rage destroyed his internet you might you might oh, randomly come back saying the argument i like it when it it brings him back and it plays the argument in like three times speed because it, it all comes through oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's your mic fringy oh, yeah. or, or you <laughs> might just I'm be gonna... gone <laughs> i'll just take this uh, moment to say uh, i thanks for having me on the stream i gotta hop off here because like 2 a.m and I, oh, oh, oh. So hey, he's been hey, looks like fox just either. hasn't slept either so i guess he's not right, able to come on i was hoping he'd come on he's always right. a fun fun guest Yes, but, uh, yeah, thanks for so much for having me on. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll catch you around. Nice uh, hey, yeah. meeting you in the go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. likewise. Nice you as well. Like, See you guys later. Bye-bye. Nice. Bye-bye. Good night. Later. Um, yeah, he has he has a shit ton of meaningful conversations with so many people in that movie. Because we would say, like, Jensen alone, like, there's so many. And then you yeah, got all the I, shit he says with Peppa, all the stuff he says with Obadiah, like, and then, of course, Rhodey. It's like, there, these, there are a lot of character-building scenes throughout the whole movie that don't have to have him shooting people with lasers, okay? Remember what, like, it, like, initiates him going to, like, that town and then like in the iron man suit and then like basically killing all the terrorists it's because he sees like the pictures that like what is it chris yeah he's watching the news or whatever and, and yeah. yeah it's it's Lamira, a character yeah. building moment it's a character building moment that brings you to an action set piece i think that that's what the mc do, you does a lot of the times like inside of, he, especially inside of like phase one especially when he uh when he arrives he does his little superhero landing and then he like punches that dude yeah. and punches him into the <sighs> second floor awesome. of the building <laughs> Yeah, um, good. Dun, 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 dun. Iron but Man see, was so good. But you liked that because it was a theme park ride, though. Yeah. No, I, I liked it because Still we cinema. got to see... No, no, no. I, I liked it because we saw kind of like the... Um, the almost like sort of the, the climax of an arc involving a guy going from being a self-absorbed, arrogant playboy to, oh, he really cares about these people in this uh, Middle Eastern village that are being victimized by terrorists that are using the weapons that he himself made. And now he's going to use his own Iron Man suit. And he's going to fly over there and kick their asses himself. I don't know. I think there's there's more to it than just, I like seeing guys get punched into buildings. <laughs> Not to mention most of the conflict in that movie actually comes from like him basically trying to dissolve the weapons like industry of his company that like changes everything. It gets the board against him. Like mm -hmm. that's what makes yeah. up most of the conflict well, throughout it's, the it's second him. act. It's, the it's, it's, it's him fighting himself. It's him wrestling his previous nature of destruction yeah. versus retribution now. Uh, I, 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 he's trying to find a soul. He's, he's soulless. He's empty. He, he drinks. He womanizes. He doesn't think about the repercussions of his actions selling his weaponry, and then he's compromised. Uh, and then when he comes back, he's, he's a person that ha has suddenly got this realization of who he is, and it's eating him up. It's killing him. So that's, I mean, that's why we literally have the arc reactor as the heart. It's, it's the only thing that's keeping him going. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. it's, it's a great conflict of character. And this should explain why people get frustrated when you say like, yeah, but it's not like my movie where there's an emotional core. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> 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 Some might say there's a literal heart it's in just, Iron Man. I feel like it's just operating off of a stigma of it's a superhero movie. Yeah. Yeah. As in Iron Man 1 is, is one around, of the it's a people. great film, period. Regardless of whether a man gets in a suit. Yeah, it's great cinema. No, nah, well said. To offer outside of franchise movies. The Marvel Wait, films what? do occasionally go to some interesting places, and I'm not denying they hit some emotional beats very effectively. But they so don't in show opinion... in this video essay. Oh my god. Hey, he's showing um, one right now, right? He's, he's showing Clint talking to... <sighs> yeah, but he's like, he's dismissing it. Like, okay, like... Oh, yeah, I'll give you some. this one clip. I'll give you this one. I'll give you some of these clips. Well, yeah, it's, it's like if you drew, if you drew yeah. like a life drawing that was really bad. He's like, it's not a life drawing. Parts of it are kind of like a life drawing, though. You're like, <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> In the entire decade of the hey. MCU, altogether, has as much revelation and emotional risk in individual movies from the last decade. So there you what have it. What are you even? 
Yeah. So the I amount just, they managed I, to I achieve. Don't, I don't know. So, so what he just said I is don't know. the amount they managed to achieve across the MCU up to Endgame, apparently, because he's been showing clips of it, in terms of emotional risk and like depth, is about as much as just one movie from the era he was referencing. No. Uh, do you want to eat a bag of dicks? I was going to say, like, how do you. I love how he says all this stuff while simultaneously being like, hey, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just, you know, just saying that you, you don't have as much depth. That's all. I'm, I'm saying that you eat McDonald's I, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all, all I'm, I'm saying. saying. Well, just think about all of those movies. If you combine all of those quiet character moments together, it's like, surely that would outweigh at least one of them. And it's You'd... like, I think you could. It's, I think you'd even argue that some of the MCU movies are better than what they've he's presented. You, an argument could be made, at least. I Dare think. I say there are several marvelous scenes. Is that right, Ooh. guys? Ooh. There are, I would yep. say so. <laughs> but why does difference matter but, um, and why make the distinction at all? Well, Martin's point, ultimately, is that as this new thing, as these theme park films gain more and more popularity, so it's a take film. Up... Right, so right. it's a film. So it's a film. Right? Just call it a fucking not film. Cinema. So it's a film. It's a film, right? All right, shut, the, shut up. It's a film, stopping but it is people not from cinema. making the kinds of the proper cinema that you like. No, no one, it's never well, going why, away. Why doesn't he fund the fuck out of a whole bunch of them, then? Just do that. Yeah, exactly. Get some indie directors He's going, Martin. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's got a little dragon pit where he's got lots of his gold coins. <laughs> a little bit of gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> There's a finite amount of screens and show times in theaters. And the more space... Why Why theaters? Oh. Why theaters? There, it, the cinema. It, it has to be in theaters, like, Rex. That's so stupid. Well, uh, honestly, the movies that he's looking for and that he's talking about right now, they still get made and they still get shown in theaters. They, they yeah. just don't tend to draw in as big of an audience because there isn't as big of an audience out there. But you just have to look for these types of movies. Which means that those They're things being... will often be relegated to just streaming services or there'll be indie films that are only, yeah. you know, put yeah. together and shown. The only way you could see them is on a digital screen at home. Yeah, or it's like, like or they have like a limited release. You got to watch them like yeah. a week after. Yeah. yeah, which is weird because I wonder what YMS would have to say about this classification of cinema. Mm, it would be mm. kind of interesting. Oh yeah, space is taken by larger franchise experiences. The less room there is for the cinema that Scorsese loves dearly. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what Scorsese likes. It's not. This is not relevant. Guys, okay, I'm gonna make. Not, I'm gonna, what's his name again? Really Thomas. Sure. Thomas, I have something to I'm say the, to I'm you. Like, I don't Mr. Know. Mr. Flight, uh, the, the, oh my God, Mr. Flight. A lot of movies that a lot of people like aren't necessarily what Martin Scorsese likes, <laughs> and, and that yeah. and that's it. That, that's the tweet, and that's gonna be in cinemas because at the end of the day, movies need to make money if they want to be displayed. That's it. Well, that, that's like, it. I'm just stuck but, back at like, whoa, but there's still really good oh stuff God. that gets made. Why are we yeah, pretending exactly. like? Was yeah, was, was Joker? Was, does Joker count or no? Does is Joker a roller coaster? That's bullshit or what? Well, yeah. I think that the Joker thing might have been one of the things that set all this stuff off, or at least like fanned the flames after this. Because I think it was 2019 that he said the take, right? And then I a lot of so, people yeah. were questioning Joker. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so after um, so it took a year from the debut of the Father at the Sundance Film Festival to get to theaters. I mean, like, how close yeah. was that movie to not being cinema? Yeah. I think it originally had, like, a budget, like, a, a box office of, like, a couple thousand dollars just because so few people saw it. It wasn't until, like, later on that it, like, got more attention because, like, they basically distributed it. Like, COVID kind of killed it. Yeah. And is, it, and is it not an adaptation of a theatrical play, which by definition is not cinema? So where do we draw the line there? Our adaptation cinema, like, it, does it have to be completely, um, wholly made for cinema? Because that that I, I don't know. The, the it, this is the problem with semantics, right? Like, like this is this is the problem with trying to narrow it down to these narrow fucking definitions rather than talking about you know what the the, the thing actually them? is on its own merit. Yeah. Well, so someone just said, at least he's being Martin honest now and just saying. Better at communicating his feelings and emotions. Well, in fairness, he's not got a lot of experience with writing, right? So, yeah. But um. Does he not? Oh well, that's fair enough. Sarcasm. Okay. So he got. I know. That's at least. At least, yeah, I was, I, I got that. at least he's being honest now. It's it's just what Scorsese likes versus what he doesn't like. 
And it's yeah, like, exactly. what the fuck was the point of the rest that's... of it? God damn it. <laughs> oh, if that's not a good standard, I don't know what it is. <laughs> the cinema that Scorsese loves dearly. Great artistic films aren't going to stop existing. Yeah. A lot of... Do you see that shit, man? He just, yeah. video. he just <laughs> described them as great artistic films. That's films, a... yeah. Like, dude, do you not realize, like, that's really lame to fucking say that, like, you have, like, hey, James Gunn, you're not making great art, I'm sorry, you're just not. It's like, okay, fine, sorry, like, like, it's like, it's not what Martin likes, therefore it's not great art. It's like, fuck off. Obviously, Martin didn't say that, by the way, it was this guy. This video sucks, by the way. Of quality. This video does it's suck, yeah still yeah. being made, but those films are increasingly getting pushed onto online platforms, and the opportunities to see What's those kinds of movies that? in a community- Why? What's wrong with that? I'm gonna be honest with this you guys as like, well. Look, you know like intimate you movies- It's getting pushed onto uh, online platforms where it has actually the potential to a larger audience. Okay, gotcha. That's, but, what's but wrong you know, like, with that? I don't get that. Or you know like- a bad thing. You know like The Father, for example, if someone was like, it sucks that you won't be able to see that in the theater, it's like, I don't know that I needed to see that in the theater. Um, that's something that, like, really, because, like, oftentimes with the theater experience, I do associate it with more of a bombastic thing, where it takes advantage of the huge sound and screen, rather than, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, if it's, if it's, like, a story between two guys locked in a room, for example, and they're talking, it's like, I don't, I don't know that I need to go to the theater for that. I, f I feel like the blockbuster cares a lot more about what the cinema has to offer. Um, but yeah, I think that's really offensive to someone like Scorsese if I said that. I'd be like, I'm sorry, I just, like, with my screen at home, I feel like it's me in the movie. Whereas, if I'm doing like a big ol' theme park, I'm with a whole bunch of other people going, whoa, as it goes up and down. I mean, I'm getting a little confused about all of this. I just don't really understand it. Like, the appeal of films of that kind of nature in the cinema as opposed to a blockbuster, given what the cinema is and why people tend to go there. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. The atmosphere at a theater is diminishing. Many will have to see Scorsese's latest film, The Irishman, at home on Netflix instead of in theaters. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh no! Oh the horror! They have to see it on a different kind of screen! No! I mean, I'm sure they'll be okay. They're gonna make it. I feel like if your film can only be appreciated fully on in a theater, it's like, man... That sucks, because it's not gonna be in theaters forever, and a lot of people aren't gonna be able to see it regardless of streaming services. It's like... Maybe it should work in both environments. Like, well, what, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey Mola, what if someone puts on their VR headset, puts a movie theater in the VR headset, and watches mm -hmm. it there? Check me. <laughs> I want to know what Scorsese has to say about that. That would be great. A VR not full si cinema. A full not. simulation <laughs> of a theater, and it has everything. Like, it's that good. It doesn't count, you know. What about if you <laughs> and then what about if you sit in the theater with the VR set and so you can't appreciate the theater's ambience, but you can for the area, but you're actually oh, what is there. This strange Nazi technology. <laughs> I'm sure he considers it all terrifying VR. Because of the limited attack, showings, yeah. each year it becomes increasingly difficult for me to see the films. I'm increasingly in difficult to see Parasite, really? Incre increasingly easy. No, oh, you liar. Easy, yeah. You, you fucking lying is, little twat. This is Parasite. You just Every, have to. Fucking Parasite was every. It won the Oscar for Best Picture. Like everyone saw Parasite, or at least. Oh, come on, like. Yeah. This, this guy's just a fucking. Go out there and look for it. He's not a clown. He's a fucking circus. This guy. <laughs> fucking circus. <laughs> I love that. Interested in seeing my local theater, and every year those same theaters are it's filled with more It's harder for you to see reboots, a film like Parasite at your local theater than it is that, that to catch it online, where it's much and, easier for well, them. And if you yeah. can't Holy find it, you just have to look around. Yeah. That's her inter you have to find another movie theater. on the inside, as we discovered in Falcon and Soul. Good lord! But what is it about, what oh. is it about the theater that he likes and has such an attachment to? That's what I want to know. Because if I was can told, touch himself! Guys, okay. I hate the, I hate going to theater sometimes, man. Yeah, sometimes like, it sucks. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. I fucking hate it. Sometimes it can Where's suck. It? I fucking hated watching Endgame because there were like people that cried and, and like, oh, no, don't do it. Oh, like, <laughs> Steve, no, I, I'm in a fucking Philippine cinema and people are going, you, Steve, you. I'm like, holy shit, guys, it's not, tone it down a bit, tone it down a bit. Like, but yeah, there was a. Uh... 
Fringy, were you the one that told me about this? Like, someone went to go and see Shang-Chi again because they wanted to hear the after credit scene dialogue and everyone yeah. was clapping too loud? <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. the thing I read on Reddit where somebody said they couldn't hear anything because everybody was cheering so they much. They're clapping for Shang-Chi? It's well, a trial. No, 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 no. The Rags, end it's, credit it's, scene. They're clapping for, the, for what's next because it's always yeah. what's next with, like... And this is what I mean. It's so funny to say that because it's like, well, we can talk about the issues with Marvel. Like, one of the big issues being that it's always about the next thing. It's never about this particular thing. You're always there like, oh, Abomination, he'll show up in, like, the next thing. Ooh, ooh, who shows up in the post credit scenes to set up the next thing? And then the TV shows, you're waiting for the post credit scenes to be like, oh, but the next movie is going to lead into the next movie, and then the movie leads into another movie, and then the crossover. And it's like, that's something I hate about the current sort of, just sort of zeitgeist surrounding Marvel films. Can, yeah. can we talk about that instead of just saying that it's not cinema? How about just talking about the fact that it's not very particularly good? <laughs> like yeah, yeah, this is the thing. I agree that it's bad. It's just, I disagree that it's not a film. It's a film. It, it, that's, that's it. That, that's my whole problem with Well, you story. could even, you don't even have to use those terms anymore. This guy's been throwing out all kinds of things. It's not artistic. It's not, it doesn't have a, a heart at the core. It's not yeah, it's shown in theaters. Also, also, Mahler, he also says near the end of his fucking essay, these theater trailer park movies or these theme park films. He admits it's a film. But the essay is about supposedly agreeing with Martin Scorsese's point that these things aren't even movies. Well, I think the word we might be looking for is just, it's not sophisticated, right? That's what he wants. It's like, the movies aren't sophisticated. Yeah. 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 He, wants, he wants to, it's like, I want to keep the rabble away from what real yeah. cinema is. Let me eat my steak while you could have your burger. I need to be above the just common folk. Yeah. 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 And and this focus on like oh I don't want to watch my movies on streaming I don't want cinema to shift to streaming or whatever like think about all like all these like he's talking about these indie projects and stuff that don't often get theatrical releases and I'm just thinking like you do know that streaming is allowing more filmmakers to get their work yeah. seen because cinema yeah. is a, a because fucking streaming is a much more convenient way to get your thing out there there's not as much thought having to be put into well. the cost of distribution and all of this like you can just sell your film to a distribution platform and they'll put it on there they'll do a marketing campaign for it it will be there alongside the big boys like this elitism is not being thought through and it i i would dare say it can be actively damaging to the very thing they're trying to promote Exactly, exactly. And what about the guy who's like, Marty, I'm watching it on my ultra-wide, you know, 4K monitor. I have, like, surround sound built into my desk and sur surroundings, the headset that's, like, going to provide all the necessary blah blah blah. Lights are off, the chair is hyper-comfortable, I have, like, the full screen in view, and it's just like, trust me. Like, if they told him, it's like, this, I experienced Taxi Driver this way and it was way better than the theater. It's like, what do we do now? Like, what's going to happen now? Oh, shit. Yeah, the experience of watching a movie is almost always better when I'm at home watching it on my on my yeah. computer. Well, like, I was, was going to say, I, always going to I be can better. force to take a piss. That's uh, there's good. a lot of benefits yeah. to not watching it in the theater, and I appreciate like that. that the theater is a particular experience. But I'm just saying, like, why do we keep pretending like it just beats out any other experience all the time? Yeah, feels like, weird. I remember, I remember my cousin getting into a fight with some some guy in, in the theater because. He, he was so noisy and commenting about what's happening in the movie. And my cousin just went, Sir, can you, well, can you please be quiet? And then they got mad. Like, the theater going experience is not this holy grail, okay? It's, well, dude, it's when not. They started doing it recently, like, before the pandemic hit. But, like, uh. bringing in hot food. And then, like, where they have, like, some people would have pizza. And some people bring in, like, like a hot salsary <laughs> dip. Th and you just smell it all and you're just like, I mean... <laughs> This is just annoying. Like, why is this happening? No, no. See, see, I, I think eating like food like that in, in, in at home is easier and more convenient. Also, right? Yeah, I know, and you're not annoying people with your smells all yeah. over the place. It's like, <laughs> you combo yeah. up all those things, and then, and then just the obvious, like people talking, people burping, people with their phones, and you're just like, yeah, this is. It. Oh yeah, I mean, people with their phones. Jesus Christ, I hate those fuckers. Yeah, hot food, like, the smell of it travels faster, I guess. Is this, is this something, too, that it feels that also, way? Also, the eternally fucking kid behind my seat, kicking my seat. <laughs> and I have to turn around and say, kid, stop it. Stop whatever the fuck you're doing. Stop kicking my fucking seat. 
Yeah, oh we yeah, got... the theater glory experience is such a great thing to preserve. Shut up. And some of the seats you can get, man, do they fuck with your perception well, of the screen. Because, well, yeah, I mean, oh, cinemas wait. are great if they evolve cinemas, but they're not evolving cinemas. Wait, they're wait, They're just guys. the same as they are. Cinemas now should be way more sophisticated. Wait, wait, more. more much better everyone. seating, much better room, much better leg room, much better quality. Some oh, do. Oh Some do, yeah. I have a revelation, guys. He likes going to the movie theaters because the films he likes have no audience. It's just yes. like his friends going, oh, what a great movie. Look at the thematic themes of the movie. And they're going like that. <laughs> no, one's, no one's in your fucking movie, bro. No one's in your theater. You're enjoying the theater going experience because there's barely anyone in your fucking movie. Yeah, he sits in the well, center. I, 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 just, the I just got feedback down my fucking headphones. Far to the room. <laughs> sorry, bro, sorry. Okay, okay, it's I'm okay. Far away from the mic now. I'm, I'm, I'm really heated. As this is, I'm heated because this. Guy I know. I, I, I kind of realized that. <laughs> As this guy is like, this guy, like I was in a film club in college, and we liked all types of movies. And this guy is just a fucking arrogant piece of shit. Like, oh my god, like. No, he's just, he's just a liar. It's not arrogant. He's just, well, he is arrogant, but he's just a liar. Yeah, he's, just, he's constructed a video which is just totally disingenuous. He's right. admitted that he's lied in the fucking video. He then tries to make an argument where he lies about foreign cinema. This guy's a fucking clown. He, he's I a clown this? and he knows he's a fucking clown. <laughs> yeah, he has effort content. Somebody give me somebody send me his address. I'll send him three juggling balls for fucking Christmas. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I think that's quite yeah, hot. That's quite though, nice, really. yeah. Theaters are filled with more and more reboots, remakes, and franchise films that Crime are new. And who's fault is that? Dude, 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 dude the, the thing. River. The thing is a remake. It's like, you gotta be careful when you say this stuff. It's like, it's bad if it's a remake, a reboot, or a franchise. The thing is a remake. Hmm? The original Wizard of Oz is a remake of a black and white film. The thing is a remake of an adaptation, to make it worse. So, yeah. Yeah, and this is what, like, the iteration y stuff is like, I understand, I know where you're coming from, but you're not being specific enough, and you're, you're abs accidentally shooting at many targets that we all agree are really good. Stop it. You gotta be more specific. Because I, you get it, right? You're like, you see all the Marvel movies. I know many people have this sentiment right now. They just see it, it's like, oh no, another one. I don't even know what this is. It's like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But. You still do have to see this stuff and then break it down as to what the problem is instead of simply going, it's a superhero franchise movie, therefore it's going to be bad, or doesn't have a heart, doesn't have emotion, is not cinema. So fucking arrogant. Not cool, bro. Fucking <sighs> personally not, not very excited about. One of the greatest living directors is speaking up for a portion of his art form that he loves. That he sees I don't care. As speaking up for it like <laughs> do you understand the reputation the films he's been referencing have they are like you can't criticize them people get upset like they are golden they're in people's very, eyes yeah they're very well respected they're like the oscar contenders that like are always recognized at the end of the year and people say like they're the best of that year or so yeah, yeah. And, and whenever they, they brought up if anyone has a bad thing to say about it everyone's like whoa excuse me careful yeah, I'm pretty sure these movies don't need your help, dude. They're doing <laughs> the, fine. Like, yeah. oh God, we, we gotta stand up for these films. These films are beloved. Shh, 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 shh. Has disappeared. He's giving a gentle and nuanced criticism of a nuance. <laughs> gentle and nuanced. <laughs> it is gentle and nuanced. It is the opposite of both of those. Could you please qualify the <laughs> statement "gentle and nuanced," sir? You bitch. <laughs> It's nothing, nothing. <laughs> It's not we nuanced. It's it. fucking vague. It's a muddy swamp of vague. And then it's like, it, how gentle is it? It's like it's pissed everyone off, or at least a lot of people. And then you you say like, you shouldn't be pissed off. I'm just saying you have less emotional depth. That's all. <laughs> what does <laughs> what? 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 that like? mean? What does that What does that in the CNN like mostly peaceful protest? Like shut the fuck up! <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> Mostly peace. Oh, mo shut up! Like holy shit! I'm so mad right now. Holy shit! Oh, oh I my couldn't god! Tell. Oh, oh, fucking holy remove shit. your own rib so you can finally suck yourself off and stop putting it on the internet. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Industry creating huge 
corporate box office hits, raking in billions of dollars and dominating the theatrical market. The Marvel movies that people love are not going to disappear or diminish in value if Martin Scorsese says they're not cinema. Thank yeah, but he, what he said is retarded. That's the point. To defend them or well, their I mean, product. Yeah, from... obviously, like people, they're not gonna. It's an. It's annoying when people say things that are like wrong, <laughs> and it's don't. It doesn't matter whether or not it ha it's going to be impactful. It's just frustrating. And think about and, it from the perspective about of this. like the filmmaker who made you know James Gunn. It's like, oh man. Like, I, I really looked up to you, and you think I'm, like, I'm making just worthless shit. It's like, man. And we've talked about this, like, blockbusters aren't new. Like, these types of movies have existed, like, from the beginning. There've, there've always been big movies that are, like, have bigger budgets or more focus on action. So it's not like the Marvel movies are taking over. They're going to destroy art. They're going to destroy cinema. It's like, it'll be fine, dude. Yeah, People I, will keep making movies that Martin Scorsese yeah, and likes. I also do think it's not going to last forever, um, Marvel's uh, current no. hold. It's, it's this, I think it's going down the drain as we speak. Well, the, I think, think COVID has definitely Chi helped and, destroying it. I'm really interested in what Shang-Chi is going to yeah. be able to pull off. Shang-Chi and Eternals are going to be the dumpster fire that signals the end of this stuff. I, I don't know why, I, man, everybody's so confident about that, but like, I'm not, I don't know. I just want to wait and see. definitely not ready to say that. Maybe, I mean, I, I can cross I my fingers. I don't think so. <laughs> we can I, hope. Dude, I, <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess just, it's I'm not, people yeah. like well, Loki, it's man. Like, it's the, uh, was it? It's an absolute, ma it's an absolute triumph. From yeah, it's a triumph. Is it Shang Chi or is it Shang Chi? It's Shang Chi. It's Shang Chi. It's Shang -Chi. It's Shang -Chi. It's written it's Shang, -Chi, Shang Chi, but it's pronounced Shang Chi. It's Shang Chi, yeah. yeah. And it's an absolute triumph. Yeah, I'm looking forward to everyone guys, talking about greatness. Guys, don't mm. you know Shang Chi is the first movie that has an Asian hero in it? Like, ever you know that ever 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 ever, ever. Wait, ever. So, hold, do you mean to tell me that jackie chan's been playing asian villains this whole time yeah no exactly, jackie yeah. jackie chan's no. a white boy yeah jackie chan? Are, are we to say jackie that Chorn? all of every japanese film is about villains now yeah, jackie chan. yeah it's, it's, oh. totally totally because yeah. the cinematic masterpieces that's no, why no no guys those aren't films Easy. Oh. Yeah, those are films. No, I'll tell Kurosawa that. Um, yeah, I'll tell the, Kurosawa. No, they're not films because this guy said so. Here or diminish in value Jackie if Chad. Scorsese. Sorry, Chad. That was funny. Jackie, yeah. Chad. Jackie yeah. Chad. Jackie Chad. Hell yeah. I Jackie agree. Chad. Yeah. I agree. Hell yeah. He says they're not cinema. And the Disney Corporation does not need you to defend them or their product from what a few kind of low okay. you to defend yeah. them, you piece of filth? Like, yeah. oh, oh my, my god. god. And, and, as we and, as, and as we establish, like, just because it's not going to cause them to disappear, it does cause them to maybe subconsciously think, okay, we don't need to put as much effort into these anyway because people are just going to call us trash no matter what. When you lower the bar to such a ridiculous a degree when you are going to just call it trash no matter what again nobody is going to put fucking effort into these films and we're going to get trash it's kind of this self-fulfilling prophecy thing when you do shit like this yeah arguably like you know they, they do something they work real hard and you're just like meh and it gets the same results it's like why did we work real hard again it's like let's just do the formula thing it's working fine we're getting money and even if Disney is scum, which they are, they can still make great movies. And they can. Yeah. If a great movie's great, a movie's great. That's how it is. That's how it is. Express opinion. I guarantee you, Marvel movies and other franchise films are going to be around for a long time to come. I mean, they've been around well, for a long time. Wow, look at this exciting scene of him looking at they the fucking been. fizzy you're, drink. You're wow, this is this is cinema oh, right oh, here, oh, guys. Oh. Rags, you there's a lot going on character-wise, okay? There's no <laughs> bullets flying, there's no lasers. This is character. You, you're being naughty. That's what you're being. What if they're character lasers? Okay, those are okay, too. I'll put that in the okay part. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, cinema, or at least the kind of cinema that captured the heart and mind of Martin Scorsese. Ultra close up means cinema. Oh my god. They More, captured the heart of Martin I have Martin never Scorsese. heard someone say so little um, in that all of my man, life. Man, that's some fear mongering right there. There's no way that we're going to lose these types of films. Of course, no. there's always going to there's always going to be all types of films because oh, there is still a demand for the types of films that Martin Scorsese likes. I mean, a lot of them are great films, and, like, the people are receptive to good content, ultimately, like, good movies, 
Yeah, and you'll it just shows, you'll have you a know. new guy who wakes up one, you know, gets born, looks at these movies like I want to make one of these. I don't really care about the Marvel stuff, and then he does exactly. It, it's not. Uh, and to be, like, do, do you have a feeling of like, you know, let nature run its course in a way? Yeah. Like, like if we're dealing, if you go like, I hate that nobody likes these movies anymore, and you're literally down to like one person. It's like, I mean, is I mean that's just the way the wind's blowing, I guess. Sorry. Um, for us, we try and push back and explain what's wrong. For them, I'd just be like, guys, you just gotta hope that more and more of the people who like your stuff come and start making it. Like, I guess. Oh, man. Like, this, this video was not well thought out. Okay. It has also, to be one of the most condescending videos that I've ever seen. It really is the yeah. perfect companion piece to yeah, Scorsese's quote, man. Yeah, it's I like, know everything. You should listen to me. It's, it's this, oh, Scorsese yeah, that, is that the was authority, the quote, and man. I am his defender, <sighs> and I am also an authority on these things. Watch more movies. Just believe me. I'm not going to actually make an argument, but yeah, uh, just believe me. Believe yeah, my that's assertion. the thing. Also, I can't believe like he's going to this. He's going to diminish like a child who could be the next Martin Scorsese. That was inspired by a Marvel movie. That could happen. That could yeah. happen. Yep. Like, it, yeah, it could. And yeah. He's just gonna, and he's just going the films of Martin Scorsese that he loved while he was growing up. Like, oh come on! Like it's so arrogant. I must think. Like, what if he liked all those film serials from like the '30s and '40s? Like, those would be the equivalent of the Marvel films of those I eras. Was say, saying that, there is, you know, there has been shitty films forever. I'm sorry. They, yeah. they like the, the the you could maybe if you want to argue, it's like it's, it's more caked than ever right now in terms of the bad. The, the funny part to me is like, explain your argument to me. I want to know how do you break it down because we do it all the fucking not. time, right? We're like. The, the whole cause and effect thing, everything falls apart from all these movies, and particularly in Phase 4, we're in a dire circumstance, it's destroying everything they've built. We go over all that stuff, and we're just like, we want you to do other things, we, we, we know you probably won't. Like, th that's our conclusion. Meanwhile, he's just like, well, you know what? You guys can carry on, but it ain't cinema. Like, yeah, exactly. Okay. He doesn't explain <laughs> anything. Oh my god, was... you're right. It's not constructive at all. Yeah. No one is going to get any value from this. There's no one, like, uh, like, uh, how is anyone going to, like, what if, dare I say, what if someone, you know, really likes the, the genre of superheroes or speculative fiction, but they just don't like um, the, the, you know, the, the sludgy direction it's going in? Like, wouldn't, like, is he going to consider... Uh, that maybe, you know, you can create meaningful, like, dare I say, Scorsese-like films with characters that happen to dress in bright, colorful costumes or, or something like that. Like, I don't, I, I don't get this man beyond, he doesn't like things that aren't released in cinemas. He doesn't like um, action scenes. Um, he doesn't, um, he doesn't think character moments are meaningful if there is ca if there are is action and i'm utterly bewildered by <laughs> everything in this video and it's yeah. only 10 minutes long well yeah there we go we've officially covered this topic now okay <laughs> so when wow. people wow. when people in future tell I'm us finished. you guys have misunderstood scorsese's comments completely i'd be like no one understands his comments i'm no, sorry but we covered a lot of people who do Ex yes <laughs> hopefully we set them on the right path so um I, I am happy the to say, school. I'm more than happy to say until he makes more comments about how things he doesn't like don't count as movies, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll close the book on that one, it's done and dusted, he yeah, said a dumb thing. Pretty thorough. Pretty um, dumb. Pretty fucking dumb. He still uh, makes uh, good films, though. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. I like I have, his, I have, I like his no, no, no. films. I've got a shit ton of respect for that man, he makes some great stuff. If, only if, if Scorsese had just said... I don't like superhero films. They're not for me. Yeah, I find them. I find them very disposable. Fine, no problem. Everyone That's your fine. prerogative. It's the way he's. It's the way he tried to to remove it from cinema. No, you can't do that. No, you don't have the right to do that just because they don't fit with your remit of what you like. And then when you get sycophants like this pillock here. Who comes along and is like, no, nah, I'm not got better Scorsese, man. <laughs> and then just goes and, and tries to put together an argument which was fucking embarrassing. Because that video was an embarrassment. Uh, featured things which he uh, absolutely knew weren't uh, comparative. 
then said, well, actually, there are comparisons, but I don't agree with them. Then <laughs> lied about international cinema. Then just said things which I, do I don't even know what point he was trying to make. He was just word souping. Ah, fuck off, mate. Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you especially as feel better. But we'll. Uh, we'll okay. We'll check out some different videos for a little bit. Some. Some. Uh, <laughs> okay. Might just call them meme I'm, videos. I'm very grateful. There I just kept having. Them. Hey. Hey. We'll check out some meme videos. Here we go. Ooh. I just kept having yeah. busty Asian dreams. It was great. That's <laughs> awesome. That's way better than what I was dreaming about. <laughs> I was dreaming about asteroids destroying the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I fucking knew it! I had a I'm spooky in... dream, I'm jealous now. Ooh! And there, was all, there was ambient sounds of spookiness. I don't know what the drink was, but I was holding something. You have like, you're holding the cup, and it breaks off at the handle, but the cup doesn't fall, because you're in a spooky mansion with ghosts or whatever. Wow, my hand just got really light, and you look at it, and, it, and this is what happened. I, I was looking at it, and I was like, what the? And I looked around, and I was like, everything was dark. And then a hand appeared holding it, and I looked up, and there was like a spooky ghost. And I went, "Whoa!" And someone else happened. I can't remember. But I was like, "Oh, that could work in a movie, actually." Oh. <laughs> I can just see. I can just see the reviews coming through. Uh, sham horror film uh, <laughs> tries to scare people with coffee. You know what? I feel like it's an untapped spooky market. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good times. Cute. Good times. That puts a smile on my face, that does. Yeah. That puts um, a smile on my avatar, yeah, which I'm using for this stream. They knew to use the right ghost imagery there. They did sure. indeed. Let's let's try another one. Let's try let's try this one. It's the only one I've seen, I've not seen anymore. Oh my god. Oh no. Brad's just what is bizarre this? adventure. What is this? Well, That's often I guess something that I say the bad guy, I go to This is quiet. House. Just like, I gotta turn this way up. Hold yeah. This oh yeah, well, we can put this it back to the beginning. It's really quiet. I've got um, a volume booster, and I've never put it on full. It is currently on full. Which is like, oh, yeah, shit. I gotta, I am, um, you better yeah, I remember that it's on full before the next one. This yeah, one so is quiet. If everyone's got the respective abilities to be able to hear this, hopefully, we can uh, continue. Yes, I think I do now. This should work. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in incognito. Well, rip me. Black Panther. Sorry. That's well, often I guess something that I say when I right. go to Waffle House and they're putting syrup on my pancakes and they say, is that enough? And I say, nay, more! <laughs> nay, more. Pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring and then it's just mm. syrup everywhere. Yeah. It floods all <laughs> over the plate and it goes all over the table and it starts to drool down the sides mm. of the table onto my lap and um. <laughs> onto the person across from me and it seeps down to the floor and she's pouring and pouring and pouring and I haven't said I'm done yet and then the syrup just spills out oh it goes God. further and further and it hits the back wall and then it starts filling up the kitchen then it clogs up all the drains and she's still pouring she's still pouring all that syrup and I'm and I'm just watching, waiting, because I'm not satisfied yet. <laughs> slowly but surely, it gets higher and higher and higher. And after a few, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty weird. Shoes, <laughs> and she's just pouring that syrup and pouring. And pouring. Oh my good god! <laughs> oh no! It's it even higher, and it starts to fill. Bring up a penis. The whole waffle oh. house. Yes. Yeah. And it gets to the door, and you can't open the door anymore because of all the syrup. It gets too thick, and you, and you just you're trapped inside, and she's still pouring. And is then by the cinema? time, I mean, this is cinema. Maybe he's waiting to be cut off. This, is, this is high art, is what this is. Is just soaked in this sticky. When I mean, there's gonna, they're gonna have ants, but that's all right, because ants. That was cinema. You know, but but then I'll I'll, I'll call it. You know, I would like to check out the syrup, the syrup cinematic universe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd say so. I was. I was really really giggling a lot to myself throughout that. I feel there's a lot of characterization to be done there. Yeah. Yeah. The syrup is an untapped universe. market. Oh, you know what? This is, this is not a, not a classic right here. Uh, it's 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 the the maple cinematic universe. <laughs> also, turn your volumes back down now. I think. Just a warning. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Would you fight 
a horse-sized Quack. duck? Oh my god, I can't believe that's the question. Wait, so is, is the concept I've seen here ducks is like, would I so chicken no. out of it or would I get in there? Because like, I wasn't on board with this fight. I was like, what? I don't want to fight this thing. It's an innocent creature. <laughs> you okay, go. you're out for a nice stroll on the long man forest. Aww. And you're just minding your own business, picking some member berries. When a horse-sized duck Quack. appears no. to you in the clearing and it starts to charge you. Well, so a horse. So the first thing I want to do is probably try and get away from it. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if I can take this thing on. I don't know. How, what, what's the lethality of a duck? And I don't think ducks tie. are very lethal. <laughs> but like at that size, you, you wouldn't think a lot of things are lethal until they get all big and stuff. What if the duck breaks into your house because it wants to run? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> the duck scheme. All right. Well, <laughs> duck. See, in that case, yeah. I would breaking <laughs> windows. <laughs> The duck police. <laughs> the squad duck. Well, I'm assuming the duck is still in the house because it's going to have trouble getting around. And... No, he's going to break in, steal your bread, and he's going to break out, and then you're never going to see your bread runs again. Runs in, <laughs> grabs the TV, runs out. Oh, yeah. rookie mistake. No, bread expands the in their stomachs. It makes them feel full. They oh, don't shit. eat what properly uh, proper foods they should. Oh, shit. That's... <laughs> Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. If, oh, oh. The, duck, well, is the duck is still in the house because it's going to have trouble getting around. And... No, he's going to break in, steal your bread, and he's going to break out, and then you're never going to see your bread runs again. Runs in, <laughs> grabs the TV, runs out. <laughs> no. The duck doesn't want the TV. It wants the bread. I don't know. What... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If I'm forced to fight it, like, uh -huh. for whatever reason, maybe it's it's got my family at gunpoint, it's like, We'll go with your example. The duck is gonna to... shoot your family with a duck Sick. gun. Okay. Look. <laughs> Get, you know, strange conversations happen, you know? They just do. What a mm. great what a great palate cleanser, guys. Uh mm. I feel peace again in my yeah. heart. Yeah. I like it. Wait, actually Mahler and, and company, I, I have to I have to drop off now because that is... I still have work for tomorrow, and I have to prepare for that. I hope we didn't hit you too much. No, <laughs> yeah. it, you didn't hurt me, guys. The, the the video hurt me. The villain of the piece <laughs> was the video. Very well. Uh, thanks for joining was, us. It, and thanks for having me, guys. It was fun to rag on a really bad video, as we usually do on mm -hmm. EVAP. And it's I always good to be, see you, Weekend. It's always good mm -hmm. to be here, my guy. It, thank you for having me for one fitty. One and for 150 indeed. more episodes. Woo! 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 That's right. We'll see you on 300. Hell yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye -bye. Good afternoon. Good morning. Bye -bye. Wherever you are. <laughs> oh, well. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm tempted for this one. This one amused me. Rags, you'll remember this very well. Patrick Swayze from Roadhouse could kick Loki's <laughs> ass. I feel like most people could kick Loki's ass. At least in this show, yeah, he's he's struggling, oh, you know. God. He's struggling. Lots of, everyone could. Yeah. He had a fire sword at one point because a kid gave him it. That's neat. <laughs> I bet a number of mid gets could kick Loki's ass. Say that one more time about the fire sword, say that one more time. But, um, <laughs> one thing he does have is the fire sword, but that was something a kid gave him. Uh, Taran? Uh, so Taran is the, the protagonist, uh, based on the Prodane Chronicles by <laughs> someone whose name I... What the fuck? But in the books, I think Dernwin was the name of the, the fire sword, and in the books... What, what the fuck? See, books that I read as a kid growing up, um... Dernwin was insanely dangerous, and that was interesting as a kid to hear about a fire sword that wasn't just a, a cool, incredible weapon, but it was so deadly. Rags, you would, no! You could seriously <laughs> in injure chat. yourself because it was so Yeah, the, obviously, I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> it's, and I, think... I really did have just a so Biden moment. <laughs> so powerful that you had to you know, resist the urge to use it, and you couldn't just whip that out and have it solve all your problems. And that was... One of my first introductions to that kind of magical potent item, that it was just that deadly, and it, it was about you know, discretion a lot of the times when you used it, and super different from the, Rags, the book. No. Or the but, um, yeah, I, I remember liking those. Stop, come back. As far as young adult fantasy novels go, it's 
pretty nifty. I like it. Rags, are you oh, having huh. a stroke? No. <laughs> I think you heard something very Andy. different than what I said. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe. That would explain chat. I'm, so I'm sorry. This old man was reminiscing <laughs> about, about his book he read. What was, the, <sighs> what was the what? So someone super chatted that Loki could probably be beaten up by like anybody, and I said, yeah, probably. All he has is the fire sword that a kid gave him. <laughs> <laughs> and you said I some agree. other things. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I think you're great. <laughs> Rags got away. Yes, I did. I was, I was, uh, I was out Rags for a moment. Rags is having I a was, Joe Biden. I was having a bite. In fairness, we were oh. like we were like nine hours into streaming, so yeah, we never we changed the rag. What what stream oh, was I'll, that? I'll do my best. That one. Was, it a was it a cat? I can't remember. It's hard to but keep you track. Got the red, you got the red background. That's the regular EFAP logo, right? Yeah. A we haven't regular. done a devoted super chat catch up in a while, but we were at the end of a stream doing that. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Um. Those. It would make sense to check out the um. Oh, where am I going? Oh. The I was gonna I was gonna try and find the intro ones. Where are you, you precious? Ah, have you? I have you now. Boop, boop. I have you now. What? Welcome to my YouTube video on how oh, to kill yes. a big daddy. Okay, so normally <laughs> they um <laughs> grab a little sister here. So I've got um, two like <laughs> explosives, and um, you press this build knife the sun and sky. You got a armor piercing round through really. What Is this need. somebody else's um, footage to take it? No, th so I was streaming and I was just making. I think someone was asking me about like I don't know what YouTube videos I watched or whatever, or, or did I have? I, I got onto the topic of like guide videos back in the day on YouTube. You remember when like <laughs> those were those were coming in and like there were so many videos. Dude, I like, used to make them. Yeah, but, but like a lot of the commentators on it were really cringeworthy. <laughs> I probably was. <laughs> well, because like the the problem, you're like no 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 shade to anybody, but like this they lack confidence completely, and then everything that they have planned to show you a guide goes wrong, and they're like, oh no 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 no, <laughs> this this wasn't okay. We're kind of no, no second take, no yeah. second take. Just go with it. And uh, play creations animated at that. What you need to do is like you gotta armor piercing rounds are really what you need. Um, and uh, electric bucks and proximity mice. Oh jeez. Oh god. I'm running out of time here. <laughs> as best you can. Um, here we go. Ow. Oh god. It's all going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just best. gonna shoot it. <laughs> oh god, he's angry. <laughs> he throws things at you, you gotta avoid it. Now that's what I call <laughs> in a conflict. There we go. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. It's <laughs> 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 gonna say, it's, it's worth pointing out that last bit at the end. There he, uh... The, like, cause the little sister says something. I'm just gonna say, oh, I'm a, there you go. Dude, that's, the arrow with the circle was perfect. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I even have a video. I even have a guide video on my channel uh, from uh, uh, Watch Dogs 2. And I, I had to do it. I had to do the arrow in the circle gimmick. Well. And it, and it worked. It worked. I got, uh, I got like, you know... Uh, what did I get on it? I got like, uh, here it is, the San Paolo one. What do we rack up with you? 250,000 views. Oh, All you need you is an, sure... arrow, an arrow in a circle, dude. Arrow in a circle. Yeah, that's the way. Did you make sure to Photoshop the time stone in, in there as well on someone's chest? Photoshop everything in. <laughs> so what was the, uh, the punchline here? Oh, right, well, I'll, I'll just play it. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Get the photograph. It's just yeah, you know, Noodler. Noodler makes great videos. Was it? Was that cinema? That was. Yes. Oh yeah. Really. That was the high. That was high, mind, high, high class cinema as well. And yet, I'm not sure how many of you guys were able to see it, but this was the second video in the intro. Thank <laughs> you. 
Was this an anime? Quite yeah. Cool. This is this a monster. Why do so many critics only focus on the script elements? This is e Fapame. Mm. All of these lyrics, by the way, they'd be reading out High Top's comment. <laughs> composition, 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 lighting, lighting, lighting. Oh, hello! Uh, hello. <laughs> iTunes, I'll legit buy this. This is amazing! <laughs> I'm all rags, you sexy right. man. This is great. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Of course, rags is a woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Gorgeous. It's tradition. It's like the way the piano vibrates under my ass. Are used to yeah. give you a when you hit those low notes. To elicit an emotion. Jessica Raggett. It's fun being a dick. <laughs> roasting something. But there are always people behind the writing you read. And no artist has ever set out to make something that gets called bad by idiots like myself on YouTube. That was yeah, phenomenal. Bigger. It ain't over. I don't believe in bad. It didn't work for you. That's totally cool. Don't believe in bad. It didn't work for me. It's like myself. But what if it did work for somebody? But what if it did work? If somehow you read all of this. Thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who's subscribed to Rainbow is so please. Unbelievably talented. Expression, 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 expression. Love, 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 love. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very nice. I really that like that. Fantastic. Right. Right. Yeah. That was fantastic. Right. Really that was great. Beautiful. Impressive. Really good song. Wow. Top yeah. fucking notch. Bopper. Um, yeah. So that's called EFAP song. I don't believe in bad. It's by Rainbow Soap. Was made a whole bunch of fantastic EFAP He's, stuff. Yeah, he did the music oh, yeah. earlier on. And yeah, um, this was made like a month ago, and I was like, I have to save this for the anniversary. Mm. How could I not? Yeah. You. I was I've great. got to pop out for a tinkle. I will be right back. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's fucking <laughs> pretty, pretty damn cool. Very impressed. Excellent stuff. Top of the notches. And man, does it look like it would be the really cool. The notches. Like as a show or something. These, who, what are these characters up to? And this poor longman who's decided, you know, he doesn't believe in bad anymore, and that critics don't make things that are meant to be called bad by people on YouTube. It was a very insightful call. That was back when we did the Falcon with the soldiers stuff. You guys remember? Yeah, I remember Man. that. Like high top in between a frame of his video it had this huge paragraph about how he's like he's really sad that people are mean to things <laughs> because it's like. Everyone's trying to make stuff. Leave him alone. Why'd you gotta be so mean? And he doesn't believe in bad. That must be well, nice. Well, well, well. Yeah. 
So, what else we got? He man, he man, he's the central character, okay? And that's the core thing that they've ripped out in this piece of <laughs> garbage <laughs> replay, <laughs> where it's the Teela show. And Teela is the worst. <laughs> he is an this was great. Cow. Uh, I, I would use a stronger word. Uh... <laughs> Cows are just, you know, they just hang out and eat grass and they produce milk. They leave people. They don't harm anybody. They just sit out there in the field, mind their own business. I feel like we need a more apt. It's like when people say, you know, you, you, you're a pig. It's like, damn. Yeah, that's another Ooh. one. It's like pigs are really intelligent animals. They are. They're very friendly. They're sociable. They frolic around in the mud. You know, pigs are okay. Uh, but you know what? Maybe you could be like, you know what? Yeah, fine. Call me a pig. I like. Always come on a dog. It's like, wow, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I like that. The shitty flute will never get yeah. old. <laughs> never. Perfect. Especially with my heart will go on. It's just, yeah. uh, where is it? Oh, I I remember this very well. Oh, another fantastic oh, moment in uh, E5 history. No, no oh, Friday Night Tights history. No, real BBC history. As their pronoun. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine trying to do that, like, IRL, in front of other people? You're like, oh, ask it over there. Like, <laughs> Mama, we do that, like, in, in our family, we do it as a joke. Go feed it to our kids. We, that's how we refer our kids as it, you know, because they're just little smelly beasts. You'll notice something about the other kin people, right? They'll be like, I am a wolf. I am a dragon. You never come across someone going, I'm slug kin. Just, well, well, you did have the deer, the Twitch deer, remember that one? deer, I still think, when do they get the non-preferable animals? Like, I'm Ratkin. Could you have chosen something <laughs> else? Like, I don't choose it, okay? I can't wait till China or Russia invades America, and these people are trying to tell the soldiers what they are. <laughs> I mean, I knew someone um, in university who wanted to go by the, the name Wolf, but not as like a nickname, she felt that she was she would wear the ears. She had the little tail, and um, during lunch times, she'd go into the the woods. <laughs> and like it was, and so when we did like oh, our God, names, sorry, when we were, when we were first there to the teacher, you know, just just she was like wolf, and then they would be like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, yeah, she would go on all fours every once in a while. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, and, and I remember thinking, like, this isn't going to catch on, right? <laughs> <laughs> True story, by the way. Yeah, furries are disgusting. I don't know, well, I think she was other kin, uh, I think. I don't know if there's, is there a difference? Oh. There is a significant difference, right? Uh, I think she was dick. I, I no, a furry so. is a, a furry is a person pretending to be an animal, and another kin is an animal pretending to be a person. Right. Oh, or something, I don't know. What about a retard pretending to be an animal? I feel like a furry is, like, self-aware enough that they have, like, a fursona in something. But I think another kid is actually totally convinced that they really are that thing. Oh, that's that's nice, I guess. Depressing. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and welcome to a very special episode of EFOP. Fop. Gotta be honest, Fop. chat, didn't expect this to actually happen, but it has. I am joined tonight by a very special guest, Hassan Piker. <laughs> Hassan, oh, how are I you, wish. my friend? Oh, I... Okay, then. Hassan has already left the chair, and I'm sitting here by myself, talking to myself. Um, I believe I already given you a chance to use the restroom before we started, but there we are. I suppose we'll just wait... And wait. And wait. Suppose I could use this time to cover the backlog of super chats that I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Unclaimed money. Right, first super chat of the day 
Uh, $20 from Raw. Oh, oh dear. I'm not <laughs> quite certain YouTube's gonna allow me to read this. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Awesome, <laughs> you're back. I was Shit. just introducing you before you left. <laughs> what do you want me to do, man? Like, oh, I, I need to go... Like, do you ever just, like, fucking die? <laughs> die? <laughs> How could you possibly die from taking a... You know what? Doesn't matter. You're here now at my invitation. Let's begin. Dude, you're, like, taking forever, man. This is what surprises me the most about you YouTubers, is that you guys... <laughs> are so ungrateful for the content that I create and provide to you. Like, you should be thanking me, Mahler, for, you know, all the views that you're getting. Let's just be clear you efap only exists because you covered me <laughs> wow time travel this is actually happening i'm not dreaming okay that was a lot to unpack but i'm going to counter most of what you said with my own critical incision now when you covered one of Jay's videos and refused to give him credit for it that is where we had an issue oh forget anything else I had an issue. Now, I'm going to assume that you understand the basics of transformative video analysis as well as the finer points of individual critique and the nuances that can be found therein with respect to personal experiences and influences. Now, reflecting on this, what does any of this mean to you? What's the first thing that comes up in your head? It feels oh, such a neglected thing. Oh, I have poor brain. No one. <laughs> got the nature no of one. daylight going. Good God. Status locked. I <laughs> <laughs> love the idea that his brain is just shriveling up from lack of use. <laughs> uh, do you need me to repeat myself? Whatever, man. Mom! Where's my tendies? That about sums Even it up. Him wearing the chef's hat is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really thought it feel... was a chef's hat, and then I realized it was his hat. I really feel bad for the neglected braid. <clears throat> yeah. Didn't yeah, deserve Because it... It does feel like him and his brain are just two different entities and characters that they're not like most people you're like, oh yeah, the brain, that that's like that person. But with Hassan, I feel like it's just it's, it's I don't interesting. Know. Within within a few seconds, this video got me to feel very sad for Hassan Piker's brain, which I never expected to <laughs> yeah. feel sorry for. This is this is art. It is. You might even say it's, it's cinema. Thing... Yeah. Someone so posted him up on Twitter there. tonight. He 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 did um some sort of promotional piece, which I really want to find because for real estate. <clears throat> um no, for something like uh ironically enough, for something about like the mediocrity of today's uh culture. And this is coming from a man that steals content for his streams. So i i uh, I need to try and find it because um here it is. I found it. I got it. I got it. Uh, can I post you a link in the Discord if you want to put it? If you want to, you don't have to. Well, uh, yeah, post. It. I'm curious. What is it? What are we? What but are it's, we doing? Uh, it's 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 Hassan Piker talking about mediocrity oh, in culture oh. or some shit. Because <clears throat> well, he's be like an expert on that subject, oh, mediocrity. He's down with the kids. To you today about he's got his finger on the pulse the he knows the full one of the one what the fuck the biggest scourge that affects our oh god what is the editing on this <clears throat> jesus uh, also i don't know if it's copyright or whatever so i'm being i don't know against all it's on twi the uh, twitter social. so yeah you can get away with a lot on twitter from what i get uh but this like twitter, redefines yeah, over edited yeah. jesus christ yeah. my brain is melting progress we've seen is the battle against intellectual thought 
the battle against intellectual thought. Okay, I'm I'm gone. Thanks, Hassan. You're always as insightful as I remembered. Um, <laughs> I think I got a perfect one. Non-controversial entirely. Okay, here we go. Yay! <laughs> Again, Hitler's hey. in hell. He gets updates about his, his modern day Nazis. He's just like, really? This is what? Uh, what? <laughs> I tried to conquer Europe, and now they are Mine. gassing furries at the holiday <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The secretary is like, they're killing furries, and Hitler's like, what the fuck is a furry? I mean, the, I mean, the spirit is there, but uh... <laughs> it's just disappointing, you know. Yeah. I work so You're, hard. You get an A for effort. Exactly. <laughs> It reminds me of, uh, what the fuck was this dog's name? I'm, oh. a, I'm a big lover of animals, as many of you oh, know. Not no, much no. Jews, but I do fucking love animals quite a bit. <laughs> no, Hitler would be really upset that they're killing furries because they're like, No, no, you're sending them down here with me! Stop it! Satan, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, have you seen all these furries? And Satan's like, you know this is hell, right? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Lola Bunny in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, and what's that rock sound from a goofy movie? Oh god. That's Friday uh, night. Uh, that's Friday night tights, wasn't it? It is. It was rather. Yeah. Got a whole selection of things happening all over. Um so, so this one's a little bit more cerebral. Abstract you might even say. You're not going to get it at first, but then you will. This is cinema. Oh, it's, it's so good. Name Jinx. Here we go. Uh, oh, yeah. I read your comments for four years now. Been trying to make it better, but I never knew how. <laughs> it's a sound to end this. Amount It'll all make sense. I read all your comments, every single one. And it's a damn shame. Gotta end the game. And the only one to blame is me. It's so lame. Oh, my goodness. Better go out strong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's so into it. <laughs> He's crying. It's so pathetic. Here we go. <laughs> we have found a way to make content forever, everyone. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, this is it. Yeah, it works. It truly works. This, we are inside the Ouroboros. <laughs> yeah, the content or a book. Oh my god, it's like it's like Oh no, Ben, what are you doing? Wide. I think he's struggling to understand it himself, but I think he gets it. Confusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having to squint to see the original video now. <laughs> oh, poor Gary. <laughs> You got drunk. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just the day after I shaved as well. Come on, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone. What is happening? What is like happening? Gonna be like a beautiful um, patchwork um, uh, painting. <laughs> Smash Brothers. <laughs> Do you think? Yes. What you bring? Oh my Wrap god. Wrap all up in a neat little bow. That was brilliant. <laughs> Oh, very, very fun. Excellent, 
Excellent use. Pretty brilliant how you play the entire video in your channel. It's like it's a one-stop shop. Why bother going to my channel to watch that video when you can just watch that and your reaction? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start reacting to your videos, but I'll just show your videos in their entirety. That way it's like a one-stop shop. People don't even have to go to your channel. They can just go to mine for your videos and then my reaction. Sound good? It's such a wonderful <laughs> bin, and it like it killed that era, but it's fucking bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, wow. now the Twitch is around, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I don't know, now that OnlyFans is closing, Twitch might get a second or oh, third God. wave of yeah. uh gonna, gonna, <laughs> gonna have to stop <laughs> wearing some horse masks and licking some a ASMR oh, yeah. devices as you do. Little gravy, baby. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, God, no. Not before we, we really want to Okay, know. skip. Skip that. No, tell it. Go on, tell it. Go ahead. Tell it. I've been working on this for a while now. Let me pull out my notes. Oh, oh no. <clears throat> it was around this time I realized Christian decided that he was a woman. I began researching this part of his life. He was then tricked by trolls into going to a Walmart in a skirt and twerking into a camera while having a pony painted on his ass cheek. <laughs> the next video, I did watch Chris Chan have vigorous sex with a rubber doll Whoa! for about like oh, no. a minute before he was completely winded. When he, <laughs> he said, <laughs> I can't do it, dude. I can't even read my <laughs> completely. <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that has been, yeah. This is the thing. There's never been more exposure for Chris Chan's story, and everyone just getting freaked out over and over again, finding out all of the stuff. Like, yep. What's, what's he was always one that I avoided. I always avoided that that. Chris Chan stuff because I knew it was bad and then I, after years and years now it's all here I was um, I was on vacation um, at at Myrtle Beach uh, I think it was like my last day at the beach when I got the news I had a very nice pleasant relaxing vacation and then I get a DM from Wolf and we watched the Gino Chris Chan documentary together and he says and this is, mind you, while Wolf uh, has like just gone on a hiatus from social media and whatnot. And a few days after telling me that he's going to just get off the internet for a while, he tells me, well, Chris Chan has done something so bad that even even I found out about it during this whole thing. Um, because I guess his Google searches have been related to Chris Chan. And so it was just trending on Google for him. <laughs> and, and that's how I found out about this whole shit. Can't escape. Oh. oh. Yeah, it it got around. Didn't didn't like Tucker Carlson cover it as well? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he, believes, oh, he, he, he referred to Chris Chan as if that's actually his name, as if Chan is his last name. <laughs> I mean, these people won't know. They don't know what the fuck's going on. Like this <laughs> boomer coverage of Chris Chan. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's 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 been a ride. One could say, I think. Um, but uh, there, there's still we've we've still got a selection. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I think this one it's really again it's it's hard not to call all of these just artworks. But um, okay, you know, this this one's this one's something. Oh my! Old Dick Ooh. Splash Man. Take him by the hand. <laughs> oh my! Oh. <laughs> People have been asking, what does Metal do when he's not streaming? <laughs> According to my Gardic phone, contemplating suicide. Look, there's some right there in the corner. <laughs> Wait a minute, is it going to be a duck? It's a oh. dick flat splash man suit, I guess. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, are you, I'm trying oh. to explain that. No, Dad. No. no. What? Right. Right. No, no, no. Okay. No. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. He's so powerful. No. He makes the punch sound even when he's not punching. Yeah, and you know what? Fringy's able to take it. Look at him. He's, he's alright. No, My no, goodness. Beak isn't no, even bending. No, Good lord. Yeah. No, 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 he's activated. No, 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 He's punched him like 58 times. Good lord. Fringy's got some plot armor. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Come in. <laughs> Come in. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh Freeman, no. Oh no. Oh. Yum. Oh no. Yum come. I am still so impressed. With how <laughs> Cum Yum has remained around for so long. Big splash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> human intercourse. I'm glad human That's intercourse made lasted. it as well. Yeah, human yeah. intercourse has lasted. Yeah. For reference, as we covered a video about Starship Troopers where someone referred to sex as human intercourse. Human <laughs> intercourse. <laughs> well, it, te it technically is. This is one of those bizarre fucking. You get scooped. Oh, Theo. Theo didn't want to interrupt the going. You literally could have just said it oh. then. That was the perfect time. The yeah, end of the video. that was it. Yeah, that was <laughs> the time. Now I'm yeah. at the end of the line again. As wow. God intended. Well, goodbye, Theo. It was fun having you. Oh. It's already gone. No. no it's just. Yeah. Um. Oh, hey. You guys, you guys ever miss Randy the Goblin? Oh, I remember Randy the Goblin. Okay. Hey, so we gotta Resi 8. Find balls. Hi, right. I'm Randy <laughs> the Goblin. <laughs> Wait, I, can't go I hope you push your dumpster to escape this. What about all the treasure? I'm holding. very impressed with the tracking in this. It's amazing. Yeah. That is very that's good. Really yeah. good. Impressive. It's a real quick it's... meme, but holy fuck, would that have taken a while? Effortless. Wow, a lot of effort that would have been. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I'm gonna play one more time because it's really <laughs> impressive. Okay. So we gotta find balls. Hi, right. I'm Randy the go the Goblin. Wait, I can't go. I hope you push your dumpster to escape this. What about all the treasure? Gold I wish to sell it to the fat man. <laughs> That's impressive. Wow. That yeah. Like a lot of time. You know what? Randy's quite an old meme too. Randy the Goblin is an old meme. Good to but see him Randy, alive and well. He's pretty good. Randy the Goblin's yep. great. And let's acknowledge the three-dimensional audio there as well. Like that was yeah. lined up perfectly. Oh yeah, that too. A lot of work went into that. Yeah. Fucking great shit. Um, I require a quick visit to the to the other room of things. So you guys, you guys oh talk God, amongst it, yourselves. You Wait, wait, hold on, wait, I'm trying to remember what it is. Uh, to the, um... The bog roll room. <laughs> the Kaiser Pass, um... The bog roll room? The point yeah. five room. The yeah. I must attend to something in the other room as well, so I will be back. Well, um, do, I'll do, stick around, do, I suppose. Do, 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 yeah, there's do, nothing do. that needs attending to at this point. I'm just thinking about... What was the name of that goblin that we just saw there? Randy. Randy. Randy the go Randy the Goblin. Yeah. What else Randy is he the doing goblin. besides pushing your uh pushing your rubbish? What what else has he got going I'm, on in? I'm sure that Randy the Goblin will perform all kinds of services for you, provided you can give him the gold ingots he requires or mm. deems necessary for that level of effort. It feels Randy, like he has a very yeah. versatile business structure. I'm Randy yeah. the Goblin. Yeah. Randy the Goblin diversifies his portfolio. Oh, well, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, he can do whatever you need, you know, whether it's pushing your garbage or, I don't know, taking your cat out for a walk. Yeah, your a whole dumpster, he could push the dumpster, and yeah. There's so many things that he can do, and I almost, and it's it's a little bit, it's I gotta say, it's a little bit upsetting that it, it's just underappreciated, that, it, you know, people people just don't think about how productive a member of society he really is. And, you know, he had to work that... his way up from the bottom as well. 
Yeah, he gets associated with like microtransactions and crappy mobile games all the time, but he's just there to make his money and move along. If there's if there's coin to be made, if there if there are ingots to be made to add to his coffers, then he will be there. Well, I suppose, uh, uh, like at least he's honest, you know. Oh yeah, he he gives you exactly what yeah. I mean, he he runs he runs a tight ship. Very honest. I, this Incredibly is what I will honest, do, and yeah. this is how many gold ingots it requires to have me do a four mission thing. Promoting raid shadow legends, he'll do that. You know, just yeah. But, but at least he'll be honest about it. He's doing it for the ingots. You can always count on him to. That's the thing. He knows that because he's a long term strategist when it comes yeah. to business. He knows that if you don't build up a reputation for honesty and trustworthiness, people are not going to give you gold ingots because I mean, they know again, what they're going to get yeah. in return. You think about the greatest minds, the strategic minds of all time. Alexander the Great, Napoleon, uh, Randy the Goblin. Randy the <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> in- in- ingots. We were born. talking about Boglins earlier, so, but he's not a Boglin, he's a Goblin. That's, yeah, get that's it right, because you, you'll find that they, a don't, goblin. they don't take well to that kind of... Uh, they're not the same, okay? I don't know how much I trust a Boglin. They don't. I don't know because they're what, locked what up. Makes, now, what? What? What would, is that? Why? Because they're locked up. Is that all it takes to be untrustworthy? I mean, it's it's a not a not a bad place to start. Uh, like if they ship you in a crate with bent bars, I like I, I feel like I don't know. I. What if he yeah. just wants to get out of there, and it was through no fault of his own that he found himself within the confines of that cage? That's possible. That's possible. It's, I would say it's 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 more than just possible. It's it's bordering on probable. And I feel oh, like I if we're bordering on probable, I feel like that's too high to make any assumptions about how he ended up in that cage. I don't know, I'm I I'm definitely gonna raise a brow at the Boglin. Hey, look, maybe he just made a mistake. Okay, people make mistakes. Yeah, the people in prison do make mistakes. Yeah, but I'm just saying, give Randy another shot, you know? Like, he's... he's oh, Randy, I'll give all kinds of shots. I trust Randy. But you were saying you don't trust the other bog Boglins? Yeah. Boglins, that's right. Randy's not behind bars. Randy isn't locked up behind bars. He follows the letter of the that's law. That's true. That's true. He's uh, yeah. He flies straight. I, I find it impressive, considering that, you know, his he, he, he had a difficult childhood... You think that that kind of stuff would leave him with a lot of trauma, but no, he's just, he pulled himself up by his goblin straps and, his, and yeah. got to work. His, what, his boo straps? His boo straps. His They'd be really story. small, though, wouldn't they? They'd be they like would be, because little... he's got little goblin feet. If he even wears exactly. shoes at all. Maybe it's like, maybe he's like a hobbit where they don't wear shoes. And they, their, their feet are just shoes in, in and of themselves, you know? Yeah, I don't wear shoes. Well, I mean, you wear shoes sometimes. Oh, wait, no. I guess you don't. That's, Not really. Uh, no. Why well, would rags wear shoes? I'm back, by the way. Shoes, Maybe though, if it I? was really, like, really hot, if I had to walk across a desert, I would probably well, wear, like, little like shoes. walking things, across, yeah. like, concrete and, and, like, footpaths in the road. Have you ever sat up and talked on that shit? Talked on that. Walked. I, I'm tired, Walk, all right? And walked we're on only that. halfway there. Yeah, walked on a walked on hot. Twerked, twerked on the Sunday road. Wow, he twerked on the road every day. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say I wouldn't advise doing that barefoot in like the forty-five degree heat. But you know, to each their own, I guess. We'll if see. you like having your feet, if you like gritty. having to pry your feet from the ground with tendon and stuff coming along with it as it goes. Wait, Voxus, DM me on Discord. I'll get you right in, buddy. Where's, 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 where's your where's your Discord? To barefoot, there would you would have to change the the way that you walk to reduce the amount of like sliding and friction that yeah. would occur. You would want to kind of land with your feet kind of flat so that it doesn't drag. Well, I mean, that's, that's how, how did people do it back in caveman days? I wonder how how often cavemen what like what they would do because well, I assume that your your feet would build up thick calluses underneath Probably. them and eventually that would not become nearly as much of an issue but even then like you'd want to i don't wonder what they, they they would wrap something around it maybe oh, maybe you'd wrap fur around it the thing. maybe fur but, but <clears throat> hmm. i feel like they'd use fur for insulation more than just padding because i guess well i guess the question is that there was they evolved 
just walking on their feet without any clothing at all for a very long time before we started doing yeah. that. So I guess I wonder, it's like, did our feet devolve to the point that we felt, or was there just more utility in covering up our feet compared to not doing that? Uh, well, let uh, me take a look. Why did humans stop wearing shoes? Um, start wearing shoes, more like. Yes, yeah, start wearing shoes. Why did they stop not wearing shoes? So Put scientists that have Google. found that those who run barefoot or in minimal footwear tend to avoid heel striking and instead okay. land on the ball of the foot or the middle of the foot. In so doing, these runners use the architecture of the foot and leg and some clever Newtonian physics to avoid hurtful and potentially damaging impacts, equivalent to two to three times the body weight that shod heel strikers repeatedly experience. So just basically run differently, uh, like completely differently from regular people. Because I guess huh. if if eventually you start to get to the point where you can sort of provide shoes for yourself, once you start doing that more and more and more and more and more and more, after a crap ton of generations go by, eventually you're you, you just won't be the evolutionary pressure around anymore to yeah. you know, hold on to those genes or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe our feet haven't changed at all, and our feet, yours and mine, would both. Well, you know, ors of mine, you know, all of us would change to become a lot more tough and calloused, and we would start to naturally walk different in order to um, kind of compensate for that. I don't know. Um, I, hmm. I see. yeah. Because huh. because I imagine, yeah, I imagine our feet would be totally fine. You just have to get used to it because probably. But I mean, yeah, have the have tens upon tens like upon tens of thousands of years of yeah. Have you stepped on those little jagged things that are like in the grass and stuff? The ones that have the points coming out three ways. It's like that's uh landmines. No, that that you'd be in a lot more trouble than if you just stepped on these little uh Thistles? thorns. Oh, thorns, basically, just little pine thorns cones? on the ground. Well, I imagine that if you landed on a pine cone while running, that would be incredibly painful. I probably yeah. Uh, I'll Alternatively, <laughs> you would slip and and then fall on another pine cone, and then that would hurt whatever you landed on that pine cone with. You got to watch out for those pine cones. And if, isn't it a statistic that pine cones actually kill a lot of people? Like they just fall, land on people's heads. I think that's coconuts, imagine... not pine cones. Like a coconut uh, could kill you, but a pine I, I cone. Know, that... I oh man, I feel like it was. How many people died by pine cones? <laughs> Maybe do you think I, that people eat them? I don't know. I think they I think they fall on so coconuts is the one that comes up, but um Yeah. Let's see. I mean I could picture someone being like maybe hurt I severely but with a pine cone, but a, a, it'd have to I be would, a really beefy pine cone that to I suppose, yeah. literally yeah, kill it you. It would have to be yeah, a pine cone that hit just right well, on a thin enough part of the head at terminal velocity. Apparently there are uh, pine cones in California that grow up to 10 pounds um, jesus christ you know when, yeah. Oh, yeah. when you said I, a pine cone hitting just right on the head i thought you were talking about the youtuber oh <laughs> oh no he didn't go outside uh gentlemen yeah, no. i shaddy it's great to see you. sorry uh but you think it's probably i should probably step out i was about to say oh, i don't know goodness. how you managed to yeah. stay this long but i appreciate oh. it i know right and i just arrived as come oh. on I'll stay for longer if you want, Shadow. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're a gentleman well, and a scholar, sir. You know what? In that case, as do you want to? Do you want dealers pick this shit? We could look at Ooh. why Black Widow is the best or one of the best MCU movies, or oh wow, why? Uh, so Loki, <laughs> Loki makes the MCU more interesting. Or I got yeah. a, I, okay. Ooh, ooh, or Captain good. and the Wi Falcon and the Winter Soldier was perfect. Wow. Or, or, there's one, one more option. Black Widow. Oh, ten, whoa, 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 whoa. ten small secrets you missed in one division. Oh, fuck that. Black Widow. Oh, yeah. The Black Widow one is kind of, I think that's I am inclined to agree, as I think Black Widow is one of them. How, how do you make that argument? I want to hear. You well, hear I was going to say, Shad, you've seen Black Widow, right? Oh yes! And oh, thank it goodness! Was well, amazingly oh done. Then we have got <laughs> just the set of people to be able to verify how in 
intelligently constructed this <laughs> argument is going to be. By the way, not seen this video, or at least I don't think I have. I can't remember anymore. Um, but there's the link in case any of you don't have it. Might have to make a new one soon. We're stacking up the empty profiles. Yeah, look thing. Do you want to? Yeah. Um, hey, at the risk of derailing the conversation for a bit, could I give you guys a bit of an update of what's happening and where I'm at? And what, what's, what's, do oh, it, Shad. Oh, wait, yeah. you're, wait, you're, you're, you're a little bit quiet. What's that? Do it. I, I, I'm doing something, guys. Something pretty awesome is going on right now. I, I am Baby literally... Well, well, I'm in Montreal, so does that count? Ooh. Oh, mm. Ooh, wait Montreal. a minute. I think, Ooh, I, I think Canada. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I have a feeling that I know what this might be in relation All to. Right. All right, Fringy, what do you think? I think it's related to the Kickstarter you did for Shadow of the Conqueror, right? That, That's uh, right. That project that you're working on, yeah. Yep, we are right in the starting up uh, the filming for the short film adaptation of my book and spent the whole day yesterday uh, going through the choreography setup. And oh man, already the experience has been so awesome. And I got some like just uh, some really, really interesting little experiences that I think you guys will appreciate because as the choreography was getting set up, we have the um, a guy working on his name is Rodney and he's an absolute legend. And uh, and he's like done choreography for Marvel films and stuff. He's, he's actually done some serious projects, right? Um, and uh, as they're sitting up and they're going through the choreography, an interesting um, uh, thing happened where uh, I noticed something uh, in the choreography that was going to be a plot hole in regards to uh, just certain elements in the story. And it reminded me so clearly of so many of the things we criticize just with logical consistency on power scaling and all these things. And I saw it and I was like, all right, so this is a problem. But just like with all the problems that we see in these other films and stuff, there was always an easy fix. And we've always said, all you need to do is like add a single line to help contextualize and make the thing work. And then suddenly everyone's on board and they're not, instead of having this big question in their heads, like, hang on, why? Why is he able to do that? Or what's going on? Why, why didn't that person die when X happened or something? Um, instead of being confused like that, the question is answered so quickly and it enhances the scene. It actually raises the stakes and then the fight scene progresses. And so what was going on with the choreography? Um, uh, they wanted uh, Dalen to uh, whip out some of his magical abilities right off the bat. And they have like these park, there's this one guy, he's just doing flips like he can fly. It's insane. <laughs> he literally does this backflip, uh, kicking down. And so it's like a guy's going to be attacking him from behind. And so he's going to do a backflip and on the downward stroke, swing his feet down. That's uh, with the angle of the camera. It's going to look like he's going to hit the guy on the head and pummel the guy like right into the ground. And and then he sticks the landing with this backflip and it's and he and he just does it like it's like it's he's breathing it's insane how easily this guy pulls it off um and then they have some really just high high tier like maneuvers where he does where someone then goes to attack him from behind and uh, to avoid the attack you would think he leans forward and so what he's going to do after leaning forward he literally executes a complete forward flip um he dodges under the blade and then jumps and does a forward flip and lands and it's a backwards forward flip he actually moves backwards as he flips what it's, it's crazy right um and then he like throws another guy and he does a super powered punch the other guy and then the choreography was continuing and I, at this point i was like all right th there's a big issue right here uh dalen that like every single attack he just did with the level of power he's able to pull out, each one of these guys should be dead. They would not be getting up. But the choreography was progressing like this was just the first engagement. I was progressing for a good while after and Dale is doing these like he's getting hit, but he's hitting back really hard and the guys are just getting up. They're, they're, not, they're not dying. Um, and it was like exactly one of those things that we see in so many movies like where people have in dur durability that is way too high and now the approach was they want to make this awesome action scene that that would last you know heaps of different exchanges and engagements with a with a flowing narrative within the scene where Dalen's uh, you know he gets injured he loses the ability to use his powers at one point he's trying to call his sword imperious to him but they're knocking it out of the way and so these guys are insanely skilled and they're not dying to his super powered things and and so I was like all right this is an issue. We need to address it. And uh, it was like just a simple, easy tweak. And it's not something that's in the book, but it's just one of those simple little things that 
you know, if you just add it, it answers the question completely. And so in the book, there's a, um, a, a magic called sun forging, and it's always been done to the weapons. Like his sword is sun forged, it, it becomes indestructible, and then it has enhanced properties and stuff. And there was a world building element that I hadn't introduced in the book because it was a lost technology, and it was that you could sun forge people. And uh, as we're looking, it's like, all right, the only way to answer this is that these these grunts need some type of supernatural ability to explain why they're not dropping. And then we need to let the audience become aware of it so they're not confused. And so the answer was, okay, in this adaptation, there is uh, a very, very limited, imperfect version of human sun forging that still exists in the technology. I actually remember how to do it, but no one ever does it because it has a 50% chance of killing the person who gets sun forged. They'll only live for a, an additional year after the process. Uh, they lose cognitive function and uh, they uh, become impotent. It like, has all these oh, negative no. drawbacks that no one ever does it, right? Yeah. But for the these insane, insane extremists that, that the Dornist are, they're basically the terrorists of this world, they're ready to die and they have this big plan that would kill most of their people and stuff. And so these guys were so insane that they were willing to get sunforged. And so after this first exchange where Dalen does these insane moves and he beats down every single one of them one at a time, they just get up. And we inserted a simple line where he looks at them and is like, oh crap, you sunforged them? And he looks to the leader and is like, I didn't even stoop that low. Um, and that's the line. And then it continues. And the context is then added as to what sun forging is simply by showing what their abilities are. They're not dying and everything. And it's just a simple, easy little fix. A single line which recontextualizes the entire scene to make it work just so much better. And it justifies what's happening with the, uh, with the grunts and everything. And it was just such an amazing experience to see this happen in real time when you're making a movie where you see this massive plot hole what the, what, in what's happening with the choreography and then implementing one of the easy fixes that we've talked about so often in in so many things and when i proposed this to to the to the director and the stunt choreography i literally cited the example in loki where there is some massive issues in power scalings and other shows and i say look at loki there it's established that loki can take a beating from the hulk he can go toe to toe with thor and then in the loki tv series he is struggling against mall cops and people who are possessed and it makes utterly no sense and it it pulls you out of the story and they don't explain it and there are ways that they could have explained it with a simple line like you know whenever sylvie possessed someone they suddenly gain her strength she's able to transfer it and if it was just a simple line or something Something to feed to the audience, they could have answered that. They could have answered it with those mall cups that he was trying to fight on the train as to why he's straight like, and even then the fight seems really bad in Loki and stuff, but there's ways that they could have reduced how horrible it was just by inserting like one single line. And that just happened yesterday. Uh, and so, holy crap, I'm having like the, the most amazing experience right now. It's, it's, it's absolutely well, say, incredible. Like, it sounds anybody... like it's a really exciting and, uh, for anybody who thought like, oh man, where's Shad been this whole time? I was like, you just got concentrated Shad right there. Right <laughs> yeah. into the veins. Um, yeah, that does, that's, that's really interesting for you, especially because you've just experienced both sides of it in a way now. So you're on, I'm assuming you're on set like all the time then, are you or? Yeah, yeah. Like um, I arrived two days ago and I went straight from the airport to the set and then just we were working like all the way until 11 o'clock at night, like a flat six hours. And I can't believe how amazing the guys are. Cause I wasn't sure how much input they were going to be willing to let me have, but I was there to support, answer questions. I'm playing a role in the short film. So that's one of the other big reasons why uh, I was there. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm a critic. And so I'm always noticing little things. And I just I was like, so I'm just wondering if you'd be, uh, you know, willing to hear just a thought or two on what I'm noticing. And they're like, yeah, sure, bring it to us. And I share this thought. They, they love the feedback. We're doing it. And, like, there are, like, literal camera sequences that I've suggested that they're like, that's awesome. We're doing it. Let's do it and stuff. And, I mean, there are, like, Wait, that's good now. You're going <laughs> to gonna have a hand in the editing as well or of the... Um, probably not the editing. I'm willing to let those guys handle it. Like, I feel if we can nail the shots and especially the delivery of, uh, very, you know, key moments in the, in the scene and dialogue and, you know, the right, I, I, I have confidence they'll be able to handle it. And I have no experience with the visual effects side of stuff because there's going to be some really significant parts that 
I, I yeah, the visual because the visual effects are gonna like we we raised we raised a hundred thousand dollars US uh, for the production of this thing, and uh, it, that does not go far, especially when you like 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 if you account like visual effects is a big is going to be a big cost, and so we don't know what level we'll be able to pull off, but. Just on the practical side of things, the quality of acting, like the guy who's playing uh, Dawson, uh, sorry, the guy's playing Dalen, his name is Dawson. You can see some of his auditions on Doratia Productions. They have a YouTube channel, Doratia Productions. And Dawson is just insane. Like, I, I've no idea. He's one of the best actors I've seen. I don't know why he's not a superstar already, but it's like he's playing, our, uh, sorry, uh, Dalen. It's crazy. And so his delivery and performance is of such high caliber. And then some of the practical effects that they're going to pull off in the choreography of the fight scenes, I really feel those things are going to carry this short film. And then the guys we're going to do their very best on to get the very best visual effects we can for the budget we have. But um, uh, man, I, I how long I'm, are you? Uh, how long are you doing the shoot for? How long are you over there? So I'm here for. Uh, uh, well, the shooting is going to continue for another week. Um, so right. until next next Sunday. Um, and then I uh, like to get the, the most affordable flights for me. It turns out um, if I stayed an extra like week and a half, I would get a like a, a more affordable ticket by like four thousand dollars. And so I'm I mean I'm over here for another week and a half, and uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be doing stuff. I'll get to go Going visit Kalamazoo. Yeah. Explore Montreal. Is that how the <laughs> French those the, Not by you. the... Montreal. 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 <laughs> well, I how'd mean, you, uh, how do you actually? I'm how how the how's the travel situation relating to like all the COVID stuff? How's that? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, holy crap! Yeah, oh. your country's gone nuts, dude. It, it, utter insanity. Like. I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to make it because, like, if we, you know, rewind the time a month or two, uh, the, Australia isn't even allowing any international travel. Their country is mm -hmm. locked down. And so unless you're an essential worker, you actually work for an airline or anything, you're not allowed to travel. You have to apply for a travel exemption. And uh, I was looking at all these things online and it's like... Uh, the only reason I could give would be for work, but it, it doesn't seem like they will allow, you know work to travel mm. like to travel i i felt like a really really long shot and then there were so many other issues because if by some miracle i was able to get a travel exemption um canada would have forced me to have a two-week quarantine if right. i wasn't fully vaccinated and that would mean for the purpose of this i would need to fly to canada two weeks early quarantine for two weeks i'll do the shoot and then if i uh, tickets and everything another week and then i still have to even with all this uh, i was able to avoid the quarantine in canada so i'll tell you how that worked um coming back to australia i'm still gonna need a quarantine for two weeks and right. it's like holy crap that's a whole month in quarantine i'm th i was thinking I i'll probably go insane i'm not sure what i'll do uh, and so uh, all right if i if but if i am able to get vaccinated the uh, canada released you know just like a, a month or so ago it's like you don't need a quarantine it's like okay that could make it actually possible but that means I need to get the damn vaccine. And th there's not a lot of vaccines in Australia. And to get a vaccine, yeah. You, yeah. there's a waiting list. And then um, you, uh, unless you have a pre-existing condition, you won't be allowed to get it. And I didn't qualify. I wasn't going to be allowed to get the vaccine. And it's like, holy crap, how do I jump through all these these insane loops and so to qualify for the vaccine i needed to get a flight exemption because that proved i was leaving the country all right they'll say i need to get the vaccine but there was only a certain amount of time to the film at this point and there's a waiting list on the vaccine so i couldn't get the vaccine soon enough that means i wouldn't be able to get the second injection in time before i needed to leave and i wouldn't be and it's just like the uh, the um crazy way that everything has fallen into place in the most like perfect timing is unbelievable and i do not seems like I, you're very lucky kidding. yeah that you like, managed to get there without any I, significant I, hassle yeah i'm not kidding like i'm a religious person and i'm seeing these things as personal miracles because it's <laughs> utterly insane yeah. how crazy everything fell into place i i applied for the travel exemption and miraculously it was approved like i got a letter from Dradio productions i like it was making a film here's the actual poster like i could show all the references really happening they approved it's like all right i got the travel exemption uh that means i can apply for 
for the vaccine. But the thing is, there was a waiting period for the travel exemption and I needed to apply to get the vaccine as soon as possible. So I actually just applied to get the vaccine before I had the travel exemption. And I, and they said, do you have, you know, a, like a legal like a, you know, thing to get a thing? And I just said, yes. <laughs> so I was like, um, because I didn't, but I was hoping I'd get the travel exemption in time or, or to be able to go in. And they looked at the thing and uh, there was uh, the earliest time I could get it, right? Um, accounting for the mandatory three week waiting period to then get the second injection that I like, they found a booking for me to be able to get it in a town that was three hours away from where I live. So I had to drive all the way to this town to be able to get this booking. Uh, and uh, the, the date in which I got it meant that the time I got the second injection would be literally three days before I would need to fly out. Um, and uh, that was like, holy crap, this is going to be tight. And then I had to do it on a prayer that I'd be able to book in the second <laughs> injection, even though this was waiting time, uh, before I needed to fly out. And that was also on the prayer that I would get the approval for the uh, travel exemption, uh, that I'd even be allowed to get the injection come the date and so I, I applied for the uh, vaccination and then uh, I got approved for the travel exemption before I needed to go and get it and they tried to turn me away when I went to get the injection but I was like no I have the travel exemption go get your manager um, got the manager got the injection and I was able to book in to get the second injection literally three days before I was I needed to fly out and then I needed to get the COVID test um, before I would fly out otherwise they wouldn't let me on the plane and uh, I was like, all right, what's the best times to get the COVID test? All right, I'll get it. You're supposed to get it 72 hours before your flight. I'm worried that it might not get back in time. I will book in to get my COVID test two days before I fly out. I go and get my COVID test. And while, as we're driving back from the COVID test, I get a call from the airline that my flight was canceled uh, by the airline because oh. not enough people, yeah, not enough people were on the thing. And I was like, okay, what are the options? Oh, we can book you one for two days later. That's not good enough. There's rehearsals, there's pre-prep, there's all this stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm getting to the uh, thing like a day before everyone's starting to do the work. All right, we can put you on a day before. Okay, do that. I'll fly a day earlier, but that means let's hope my COVID test comes in. And if I did not book to get my COVID test in two days before, just a day before, I would not have been able to get my COVID test in time for flying out and they would have turned me away. Uh, and so again, one of those things is like, oh damn, that's so lucky. Um, and so I get my COVID test. It's negative. I don't have COVID. I can get to the airline. I get there and at the airline, they try and stop me from being allowed to board because they are saying, all right, uh, are uh, you an essential worker? No, I'm not an essential worker. All right. Do you have any relatives in Canada? No, I don't have any relatives. Well, you need a valid reason to enter Canada. And I'm like, okay. Everything I looked up online, I'm not kidding. The Canadian, you know, travel websites, everything, nothing said I needed a legitimate reason to enter Canada. They just said, as long as I fill out all the app, if I had the vaccine, if I had a COVID test, if I had, so already, can you, like the loops I've had to jump through is just unbelievable, right? And then they're trying to stonewall me, trying to get on this flight. And I'm like, no, 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 I've applied to, I've done everything I need. I've even applied for a Canadian work visa. And they're like, oh, oh, you, you, have, you have a work visa? I'm like, no, but I've applied for one. It's actually being lodged. Well, that might be uh, the thing that could relate to let's have a look and so luckily i had really helpful people in the check-in counter at the airport and they call up the canadian airport and they got the right person on the phone and said yes that's enough he would be allowed into canada you can board and then when i actually arrive in canada they don't ask for any of that like going through <laughs> customs in canada it was like easier than i could have imagined like they did not I was like, what were they doing in Australia? And the most crazy thing is, Lloyd from the YouTube channel, Lindy Beige, he was going to be in the short film, right? And so he did everything that I did, and he goes to get uh, board, board his flight to Canada, and they won't let him on for the exact same reasons. You need a legitimate reason to enter Canada. And we're like, no, we're in Canada. We're talking to the Canadian authorities. They're saying you don't. He's, they're saying they have everything they need, and they still would not let him board, and he missed his flight. Like, that's how it just... I, I, don't, I don't understand why other places in the world think Canada has more restrictions entering the country than the friggin' country. Because when I get here, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, what, you're here? Are you here for work? Okay, yeah. Uh, they don't ask for the work visa application or anything, and they send me through. I'm like, 
because I was like, I man, I was so stressed the entire flight thinking, you know, am I going to get to Canada and they're going to ask for something that I wasn't informed about or told about, and they're just going to send me on a flight back home? I know, like, ah, oh. <laughs> I've been through crap, guys. <laughs> yeah, but at least you're there now, so I am. And a new movie. I know, and a whole, and it is, it is absolutely amazing what's going. Like, ah, oh, it's, it's such an experience. No, it's really cool, man. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you sound so very passionate right now. It's, uh, yeah. I would say it's infectious, oh. but we've been awake for thirteen hours of streaming. I mean, yeah. I <laughs> so we're, we're on the second. Yet. We're just yeah, we you know we we we're, we're revving back up because of course. I suppose, well, assuming there was nothing else, we can we can jump into this incredible video if 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 you're on board. Oh, I, I can't wait! Thanks for letting me rant and share. Oh, all absolutely! That, guys. Yeah. Um, obviously, Jeez. just wish you the best of luck with all of it because it's a bit of a nightmare time right now, and I know that this is really important. So, uh, yeah, I just hope it all goes smoothly enough that you're happy with what ends up coming out. Awesome! Thanks, guys. Um, so yeah, this is called "Why Black Widow Is One of the Best MCU Movies." Video oh, essay. Jesus. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready for it. Alrighty. This video is brought to you by Noom. Okay. That is Noom, a name. You know me. You know what James okay. Bond needs to me, right? Well, it shouldn't no. be a surprise that spy <laughs> no. movies in general get me uh, going the same okay. way that that series does. The spy genre has had its ups and downs. There was a period right after the wall came down when its place in the world seemed unclear. How do we make espionage oh, relevant when videos. there's no longer? Man, it is. Oh, it is a bit much for this the eye is... sometimes, isn't it? Like... Yeah, you're you're. Doing too much. You need to calm the fuck down. Yeah, yes, I, I know. The, the, the editing, please. It's hard for me to listen to you because I, there's so much for my eyes to try and absorb. I've always wanted to know how they determine it. Like, what do you put? What words do you put up there? Because it always seems fucking random to me. Like, it's just, it's just these words now. These words, these words. You're like, oh, okay, all right, yeah. There they Understand go. Understand your video better if I close my eyes so I can just focus on one line of thought and I don't have this barrage of the senses. But, um, also, did he say, how do you make espionage relevant? Mm-hmm. Because oh. that is an odd statement. There's always conflicts going on across it not the relevant, world. Yeah. Yes, I was about that's to say, like... like you don't Bond have to kind be... of evolved with espionage like that's what skyfall was all about it was kind of about like internet terrorism so they kind of like changed the times according to what was going on like spy movies evolve based on like what's going on in history basically or current events and it doesn't have to be con set in a contemporary time to have a modern message or a relevant message and you could invent the countries message. if you want you can have you can have things take place in modern times, but you can invent a, a country or invent a kind of conflict, or it could take place in the near future. Um, you got options at your disposal. And I don't think people's concerns are going to be, oh, well, there's not a real war going on, so fuck this spy movie stuff. Like, I, you, can, you, you, you do not have an excuse. You've got plenty of things you can do. Yeah. Yeah. The spy genre yeah, has had its ups and downs. <laughs> there was a period right after the wall came down when its place in the oh. world seemed unclear. How do we make espionage relevant when there's no longer this giant Soviet power with which to dedicate okay, our okay. resources? Okay, okay. You don't need a giant Iraq. Soviet power to have espionage. That's not how that works. There's a lot of have you ever... in the world. I mean, there's I was about to say, have you ever heard of giant Soviet power? Yeah, have you ever heard of 9-11? Like, the, uh, of course you could create espionage stories surrounding, like, post-9-11 world. Like, there's tons of stories that are about that. It's like, you there's tons of interesting him, stuff that happened following that. Did you, ever watch per, did you ever watch Person of Interest, mate? Five um, seasons, espionage about uh, surveillance state... Well, at this point, it's like, why have you ever watched anything? <laughs> that does, it'll give you a little Do you know how much James Bond <laughs> means to me? Well, guess what? I mean, it's the top of your power. Oh. It's going to rise in it. <laughs> well, Fuck off. How many movies has there has... been since 1991? Probably one or two that you might be able to look at for inspiration. Yeah, it's like five well, have you ever heard of? Uh, has you ever heard of, like, the man from Uncle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was really good stuff. It's a weird like, statement to make. You, and you so, can be a have you ever heard of uh, Mission Impossible? Bum, oh, bum, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. So to try and, try and 
give the best interpretation I can think to what he's trying to say is I wonder if he's thinking, you know, espionage in the sense of, you know, espionage organization versus other spy organization, you know, KGB versus... Um, I think it's uh, uh, spy type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but still, even that doesn't make sense because there's a lot of other world powers that would have vast spy networks that you yeah, could have I mean, spy versus spy kind of... You, you can know. make up whatever you want, too. I don't know why. Like, if, you, if the exactly. idea is like... Well, you can't just make it up because you got to have it be relevant. I'd be like, okay, so there's like shadow organizations all over the place and pa as parts of governments that try and collect information How do and you prevent know? their own... From... How do you know? I'm a part of one, ranks. So I just let loose the... Oh, my, oh God, my God, you're a terrible spy. Yeah. Oh, no. The plot sniper's going to get you. No. <laughs> well... You can go back to spy school. Yeah, I failed spy Learn school. Roll one of spy better. school. Do not tell people you're a spy. And I was like, what? I missed, I missed day dollars. one. <laughs> I, I got the rest of it, but I missed day one, so I didn't know Ooh. about that. Spent all day on that one rule. It's very important. <laughs> got our answer in the 90s when Goldeneye and the first Mission Impossible film heralded the return of the genre, and for about 20 years... Oh, there you go. Return? I this music's doing what? my fucking tits in, by the way. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm... I've been up for so, over so... 24 hours now, and yeah, my, I know. It, it's killing me. The question he presented, we answered it like in a confused, like, why would you even ask this? And then he had the same answers, and it's like, so why did you, why did you even... <laughs> so uh... Why did you ask the question? <laughs> like, what why? a late... You know, it's just like, when yeah. Film Noir had completed its course, what, what was filmed to do then? It's like, we could why do loads of things. And it turns out it did loads so of things. Far removed. All this is so far removed from Black Widow as well. We're like talking about like a 25 well, year so, gap in terms of like release dates. So I, like, I'm guessing he's going to give big. us this is a brief history of espionage movies. I'm sorry. Does anyone think of Black Widow as an espionage movie, really? No. 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 Where is the espionage in the APC, the film <laughs> Black Widow? <laughs> it's a shit in my ass movie. Where's the, where's the espionage in the, we're going to assault a prison and we're going to bust out a super soldier and we're going to cause an avalanche and kill a bunch of people. Well, it's because of how subtly and cleverly they assaulted the prison. Emphasis on subtle. Yeah, they were very sneaky about it and Black Widow used her, 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 um, her helicopter <laughs> they like stealth like to, uh, they stealth the prison inside and to, yeah she used uh, the sneakiness and subterfuge to get inside of the prison and find the person and you know bust him out and no one noticed she's like a ghost in and out nobody well, I mean, ever sees her 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 using her her stealth skills explains why those uh, soldiers weren't shooting at her they just they didn't see her yeah you know it kind yeah, of answers a lot in the movie thing. now the only thing I could tr possibly give her credit for some maybe spy thing was when she wore the mask when they go to the base. It's like, ha ha, I'm not the person you think I am. But there's, yeah, it's, it's like, uh, oh, that wasn't even Evan, her idea. Evan and Meme, the the helicopter that they used, it was the it was the silent helicopter from that episode where Batman cured blindness. Oh yeah, <laughs> there was a yeah. silent helicopter in Army yeah. of the Dead. Remember? Oh. It popped up over oh, the yeah. side of the building. Well, well in, in, in Batman the Animated Series, it was like an in-universe established thing where like, yeah, it's the propellers don't make any noise. It's like, that's pretty cool technology. I mean, yeah. Sounds sounds incredible. Afterwards, things Stealth were looking great, break nose. but we're in a bit of a drought again. <laughs> oh, it's been no. six years since on film and three since our last mission. Well, what about... Possible. Okay, oh, that's well, not that how... Three years. That is, I, that is not fallout. how we determine the state of COVID. espionage. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's, that's not that big of a gap like three years like the, that tends to happen that's when we're talking about like big budget blockbusters yeah. but yes, but also, since, since when were we they judging are... the state of espionage by however many mission impossible and james bond films have come out <laughs> they've been developing two new mission impossible movies for a couple of years now <laughs> Well, I'm yeah, sorry, you want it to take out, years though. to develop this stuff. You really want it to take years. You don't want it to just say, oh, I'll throw a random number out there, like uh, 21 days um, for it to be put I mean, together, maybe? He must, if he's watched Black Widow, then he must know both James Bond and Mission Impossible are getting installments soon. So why are you saying this? Why? These are yeah, it, it, feel like, it, it feels like he's advocating for more rather than like the... The, the quality of it, which he seemed to be advocating what? before with like Golden Eye, so it's like, what do you? But like, I don't we're, getting, know. we're getting three. 
two Mission Impossibles and a James Bond. Like, why? How is that? What, what more do you want? Next oh. entries are finally on the horizon. Oh. But oh. I need more than that. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you're just greedy then, aren't you? I need more. You're greedy. Uh, you're you're more. greedy, more. greedy boy. Why? More also, rather than better. <laughs> Quality versus other... quantity, my friend. <laughs> There's a lot of other espionage kind of films outside yeah. of, you know, Mission Impossible or, or uh, James Bond. I mean, you had the whole Bourne franchise. And uh, mm -hmm. if you look at Amazon Prime just recently, there's that movie, is it Anna or something? About this um, Soviet assassin oh, who, I saw uh, that. like, yeah. yeah, I watched that. And, like, that's a, that's a, <laughs> but it's a recent espionage type film. There's like, yeah. you know, they're, they're being made. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to say, we don't even have to find good ones. We just have to find ones. <laughs> like, yeah. we've solved his problem yeah like a lot of them aren't like franchises they're like one-off like like assassin or spy movies that are like about espionage but like they oh. tend to not make franchises they tend to just be like contained action movies like playing okay those espionage we got official secrets the coldest game operation That's finale right, yeah. red joan red sparrow my spy the spy who dumped me okay uh <laughs> the, ca the catcher mm. was a spy Snowden, Keeping Up with the Joneses, Tom Cruise Fallout, Atomic Blonde, Central Intelligence, Kingsman, Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher Round, Jack Reacher Around the Front, <laughs> Spectre, <laughs> The Man from Uncle, Bridge of Spies, uh, Allied, A Most Wanted Man, Spies in Disguise, The Exception, Men in Black, Men in White, Men in Red, Men in Mauve, Three Days to Kill, Kingsman, The Secret Service, Safe House, The Intimidation Game, Barely Lethal, Baraza, Argo, Jack Ryan, Johnny English, Despite the Fallen <laughs> Snow, Spyfall, The Dirt, Hannah, Soul, Operation Chrome, Page 8, Tinker Taylor, Solar Spy, Civil War, This Means War, Born Legacy, Mordecai, Red 2, Red 1, Red Minus 1, Tigers, Undai Hey, The Spy Next Door, Echelon Conspiracies, Total Recall. There's just a couple that you could watch if you want, mate. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Sorry. All right, all right, all right. All right. I, I need, I need... Ah, I need a reference for the Men in White and Men in Moj as well. So I, I, I need to see those films now. I might have made those up. What? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, betrayed! He lied. He ruined. lied to make himself sound better, and that is unacceptable. Exactly. You lied to the black. internet. <laughs> and then I said Men in White because I wanted to be cool, and then Men in Red, and then Men in Moj because I thought, oh my god, this joke's amazing. It, it was. What the hell are her? So, yeah, I, wonder solved... if, I wonder how many of those we've seen anyway. Well, we did it. We solved this problem. We don't have to watch the rest of the video now. First turn. That's okay, brilliant. Actually, awesome. Uh... I mean, well, Ooh, you know what? Let's just see if he makes any other points, you know? Just out of curiosity. Okay. Let's just see if he makes any other points. Satisfy my life. Two franchises are not enough to show the world why spy movies matter. Oh, God. <laughs> they oh, they oh, I was about to say, Born, I, I would say so much. Movie. Okay, That's you want new spy guy. films, Operation Secret, The Coldest Game, The Operative, oh, Tenet, we Wasp go. Network, <laughs> Legacy of Spies, Spies in the Skies, A Call to Spy. There's just some new ones which have come out. Well, uh, what's, it, what's this dun, weird appeal? Dun, it's like, dun, dun. you can't just have two franchises. We have to tell people, we have to get them across, like, why do spy movies matter? You're like, what? What? what is this? What? What's I happening? Lose. Spy movies lives matter. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 who thinks they don't matter? I'm just lost. I'm always lost with these. Who are you talking to, uh, is my question, I guess. Yeah. This is that guy over there who's like, you know what, spy movies, they don't really matter. And he's like, what? No. Hey. Oh my god. Why they can work. Thankfully, the Marvel Cinematic Universe gave me exactly what I was but looking why for. Why did you say it why, like that? Yeah. Question mark? It's, 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 it's the thing, that's how they refer so to it. So I think the idea there sure is like... If it gave you what you wanted? I'm, I'm really surprised. It's like he's saying, wow, of all the places I could find a great spy espionage movie, it's going to be the fucking MCU. And I'm like, Captain Whoa. America and a Winter Soldier. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's if, if Black Widow counts, that certainly counts as espionage. Uh, I don't understand. I'm lost. It's more espionage than Black Widow. Yeah, I'd agree with it's that. It's got spy, it's got you, spy elements, it's got espionage, it's got, yeah, it's got all those yeah, little elements. Yeah, having to, you know, work uh, underground and not be yeah. seen and stuff, and infiltration and things, so, yeah. yeah. We yeah. are, we Lord are the, the, the enemies the of... Lord of the Rings is a better espionage Shield. series than Black Widow. <laughs> Frodo and Sam do more espionage <laughs> than Black Widow does. Don't, 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 don't. And it's... 
by the way of Black Widow? That doesn't sound right. What? That's right, right. folks. The Avengers' own super spy is what, the What, Natasha savior. Romanoff, we the never trained assassin we... from Kid Child A. Oh, yeah. geez. Shut the phone. No, I'm really uh, confused. The video like... essay horse shit is really getting on my nerves with all of these, this background noise and all these this text on the screen and this unnecessary editing. It's just like, stop trying so fucking hard. He really You're is doing the all this work to make the shittiest just... point in the universe. Well, you, you, yeah. the point he just made was, wow, Black Widow, that's going to be my source of espionage? Like, that is the her whole thing. What do you How mean? How many views yeah. did this get, Mola? I, I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Um, thank you. Uh, oh, oh 18,000. 18,000, but man, it's taken a chunk on, the, <laughs> on its rating. I think some people didn't like this. Oof. Oh, yeah. I, I, I am not surprised. <clears throat> was it the obnoxious music, the obnoxious voice, or the obnoxious, obnoxious content? Point? The obnoxious yeah. script. <laughs> I need more beer. Needed. I need to be the world's drugs. greatest spy and save the world alongside God. Let's let's check out his posters. Oh, Do you Johnny think he's he bought all those bonds exactly posters like, for this? 007, 007, we've got okay, so, Avengers. Yeah, they're all like James like Bond the posters. No did, did he and buy Avengers. them? Yeah. Do you think yeah, he had those posters before or bought them for this? Or... I could believe he bought them for this, but I don't know. But he seems to love his spy stuff, you like, know? He, like, framed them all, like, just for this video, is you it, know? That's, isn't that's, it, that's, it, I, nice. that's dedication. Isn't it weird as fuck to be like, man, I'm all about that spy stuff. It's like, you've got loads of Bond stuff. Like, it feels weird that, you're like, oh, I'm a big spy fan. Bond. Like, yeah, okay, Bond is something, but... Well, he did say he was a big Bond fan at the beginning. You know how I feel about James Bond! No, we don't, because this is the first time we've seen you, but... Well, still, uh, wouldn't clearly, he? Clearly, Hopefully he's got a Bond last. for Bond. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I guess... I got nothing yeah. against Bond, I love Bond. Uh, Doctor No, you know, he's got those, those posters are dope. I, I just would have thought that he would have had m more varied posters, but in a way, I guess they are, because they're across the series of Bond, so, you know... Is he, got... he wearing a Gumby t-shirt? No, it's Spongebob Squidward. Um. I'm serious. That it? Where's his nose? Wait. I might be, not be probably behind the microphone. He's probably behind the show. Okay. Why is he naked? <laughs> I mean, maybe that's not... Well, he's, he normally doesn't wear pants anyway, so I don't know what the lack of a shirt would do to change it, right? Uh, it just looks kind of uncanny seeing him that way, seeing him so exposed. Oh, I, I know, I know what that is. That's like, uh, I think that's a, uh, that might be a self-portrait that Squidward did in one episode, and the joke <laughs> is that it's really pretentious and awful. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this, it's called the Bold irony. and Brash. This is a painting made by Squidward hoping to impress an art critic. And More like belongs episode, in the trash! <laughs> Damn. Very cool. Odds, super souls, and men in metal suits like the Avengers, you're going to want to make smart lifestyle oh no. choices. Oh no. Well, thanks to what? this video's sponsor, Noom, uh, now you can. Noom, Noom, Noom is a health and wellness Noom. regimen that uses a mix of psychology and science in order to guide people towards psychology living health. Please, please yeah, find yeah. a better way to psychology segue with and your... science. Maybe he's like Maybe a. Maybe it was like redundant. A... Isn't it like what? psychology just under the umbrella of the sciences? Who, what, what's it's the, the way he who didn't the change who his don't tone. Think, who don't believe in the Scientologists? They hate psychology, right? D is that? I, I think that's a that. thing. The, psych the, the, the Scientologists hate psychology. Speaking of spy movies, the Scientologists don't like uh, psychology. Bond? I think they think it's like a. No, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise. Yeah. Oh, the, the, which one's the Scientologists like? Scientology. Tom Cruise. They like the Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Do, do they not like James Bond? No, no, no. Because we're talking about espionage movies, and Mission Impossible's got espionage, and Tom Cruise is the central figure in that, and he's a Scientologist, and we're talking about Scientology. Yeah, but and they don't like uh, psychology. Oh yeah, but I, I thought because there's a lot of psychology, or is for it example, psychiatry that goes on in espionage, right? And I was like, so would they hate it because yeah, you know, it's like it's no, just... they they love it because they, they adopt love it. it. Yeah. They adopt. Yeah, they adopt psychology to uh, to get people to part with their mourners. Oh. Scientology does not believe in the medical model of mental illness. Oh, okay. And when, uh, so, you can, well, you can see uh, why. Hello. 
Aaron Hubbard hates psychiatrists Wait. because they said his bogus theories were crazy. What? Why would they say that? Why? Why would they? If they didn't, they didn't I, believe in I, for Thetans? one, can't wait for Xenu to save us all. I can go to Scientology.org and they could say, "Why is Scientology opposed to psychiatric abuses?" Um, abuses. Uh, work at eradicate the brutalization of patients in the name of mental health over the years. That's that's the psychiatric. Uh, nor do Scientologists believe people should be stigmatized with labels and treated with treated in quotes with cures in quotes that have no basis in science and are brutal in the extreme though it's long, long tries to new what, cures what is, they really hate psychiatry okay they they but have today, the gall no, to make the, right, so scientology so has the about to get into yeah? personal for today's qot and psych trick remix that's what i'm interested in right now not Scientology? I'm interested in this thing on the screen here about how I've got some big goals to Young Master and your free can help. Friends, frenemies, mm -hmm. great aunts, I guess, and long lost siblings can provide you with the accountability you need. It says. Great aunts. <laughs> and long lost no, siblings? I can't, I can't it. talk with long lost siblings because they're long lost. Maybe you can find them again yeah. through this app. Oh, you know, thank God, I, I just... finally found you. I need you to hold me accountable on my fitness uh, journey. I want to lose 30 pounds in 10 weeks. Can you help? Or uh... Okay. I, 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 I would just be so... Know. I'm just so suspect of any of this online, you know, um, psychological kind of commercialization ever since the better help fiasco and stuff is like mm. oh yeah i don't trust these things it's like oh. you know i think someone a sponsor approached me for something like this i was like no i'm not i'm not even uh, going close to that stuff well, yeah, and, and... it was a bit cheapo sus in terms of like recommending a product that there's no possible way that you can be qualified to say whether or not it's good or bad or useful yeah and, and the fact that they're like they're peddling it and they're like this I actually use this. This is actually good. Uh, yeah, like, I mm. actually, yeah. <laughs> I just nice don't think I have the qualifications to ensure yeah. that a psychiatric help website or service is up to snuff. I just, yeah, I just don't exactly. think that, that's, that's a little bit outside of my field of expertise. Yes. Well, exactly he's watched a lot of Bond movies, so you know that could help. I mean, the title of this video is making me question. Um, you know, the sanity of this person. So him pushing this is a little bit extra peepo sus. Well, see what else he's got to say about this app. Fear. With Noom, you get a better understanding of how your mind works, and in turn, uh, you can develop better stick with you. Noom is not a quick fix what or a diet of the week. disingenuous wanker. You want to know what Bill self? He doesn't believe one fucking word he's saying. <laughs> My voice hasn't changed at all during the whole of this. I've just been going, wow, I like James Bond. By the way, why don't you just go to our sponsor right now? Who's going to get you the best man of health things going on? Mission Impossible is going to go. Hasn't changed his fucking tone once. Doesn't believe a word he's fucking saying to these people. This is a fucking payday. At least be fucking honest about it. But you wonder Show if he's some used fucking it. respect from your audience, you fucking flannel. Um, Simply believe what I hate. I hate. I hate disingenuous people. Hate them. Eat great. You gotta have like better segues between your points versus like what you're shilling for, basically. Exactly. Like I, I, I think Alt Shift X does pretty well with that. Like he he usually will shill for like uh, Audible, and it's like, hey, he's talking about the Song of Ice and Fire books, and he's like, hey, check out the books on Audible. Like that's a pretty good way to be like, hey, like this is a good product if you want to read the that? books. But most people don't do that. They're just like, hey, let's do Dollar Shave Club in the middle of my Black Widow review. This is like, horseshit. What is this question? You just have to, I was gonna say, should we start reading it? Because man, for yeah. the first week. You must eat on, only eat grapes, no other food. Send racy photos to your goal specialist. Uh, read every article in the TJ Pinopathy. Exercise <laughs> for 20 minutes every day. That just sounds like good advice. Simply believe. And simply believe. What? What? And the, correct, the correct answer is simply e. believe. Like, 
if you don't only believe, eat, noob won't work. Only eat grapes. No other fruit. What? Well, I think it's the like, idea. It, <sighs> you're not teaching someone if every oh, option man, is you're... obviously retarded and there's only one possible sensible thing. You can't claim that you taught them a sensible thing if every other option is just so stupid that a legitimate retard would have yeah. to be to think well, that the other options are valuable. Uh, what is going exercise on? Exercise for 20 minutes a day is not that bad. And the nudes. I've already That's sent a... them racy pictures, so I'm fucked. <laughs> You can't just simply believe Help in me. something. Don't tell me that you have a, a, a psychologically backed anything if you just say, oh yeah, I just believe in it. It's just simple. Well, just I fucking mean, flick the switch in your head where you accept propositions as true. How weird does it as, sound, though? Because we're going to talk about voluntarism isn't just the accepted psychological model of the human brain. And yeah, just fucking believe. It's just that easy. Just do it. And if you don't believe, if you don't start off by just accepting and believing this, it's not going to work. And if it doesn't work, it's just because you didn't believe hard enough. Well, Fuck it, this. I was going to say, well, like, this, this noom won't this, work what, if you don't believe. This sounds disturbing. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is like, look at this other thing. You want to know what builds self efficiency? Quizzes. <laughs> what? Efficacy, what? I think, but yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> efficacy, yeah, sorry. It's like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, crush these quizzes, get a confidence boost, and reach your goals. What What are we doing here? <laughs> crush these quizzes, dopamine hit, and then you're on your way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. As a purity of a yeah. con artist team. Well, yeah. I guess Little... it's just, it, like, are we going to seriously pretend like this app is a substitute for legitimate, just like, mental health treatment, if, if there's actually a problem? Like, if there's a problem... I don't, I don't see how this could be your solution. Good thing you get to know yourself no. better. Uh, this is about weight loss. It uses psychology to help you build new habits and crush your goals. Designed by psychology. I don't. What kind of psychologists tell you that first thing is just you just have to believe? No, that's not how belief works. You have to convince me. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the, the... My brain proposition's true. I can't just flick a switch and I believe that it works. Honestly, it's just better advice for them to say exercise for 20 minutes every day. That'll give you good <laughs> you, self-efficiency and confidence. You, you hit that one. It's like, you complete yeah. the app. Good job. <laughs> exercise yeah. 20 minutes. You'll be fine. Next. Hey. <laughs> I, it's all about adjusting your overall right, lifestyle. Yeah, exercise for 20 minutes a day, then. It's better for you. I bet you it's really good for answer. you, actually. Do that. That's the wrong answer. You have to simply believe. Oh, so just believe in Noom and don't don't exercise. Be no, just this sounds like a fucking in community episode. Believe in Noom, like <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Meow Meow Beans episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's great about this being the first step is that it's never Noom's fault. Because if Noom ever doesn't work, you just well, didn't believe. I mean, that's that's one of the, the more corrosive elements of, like, self-help as an industry is a lot of it is unfalsifiable. If you succeeded, it worked. And if and if, if you failed, you did something wrong. Like, yeah. something went wrong. You didn't, you didn't work hard enough. You didn't believe in yourself enough. You didn't grind enough. So it's like the success can always be attributed to the material that failures. It's always your fault. And it's, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it can, it can be harmful. Noom sounds like one of those words, like you know, floomp, that you guys. It does say all sound the time. like it's his language yeah. thing, yeah. Well, <laughs> in a help that is tailored to who you are, rather than trying to well, just help you hit a I number mean, on a scale. Oh, again, fuck actual, 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 actual <laughs> tailored like assistance from a nutritionist or a psychologist is. Uh it just feels really icky. Like it's really. Do, do know, you know what else is icky? Those fucking dead eyes looking at me right They're now. Just... Those fucking <laughs> dead eyes. That's what's icky. <laughs> so like... fucking dead on the inside. I have no personality, so I'm fucking YouTube voice, man. I've got no discernible personality to my own, because if I actually show people who I am, I will be a fucking wanker and you'll hate me. Dude, you sound like you need so, Noom. Um, I, I, uh... I need all the Noom, mate. All of it. Why does he Jesus. look like... I need grapes. Has anyone got grapes? <laughs> Why does he look like Paul Joseph Watson? He does kinda, look a bit yeah. like Paul oh, Joseph Watson. Yeah, I can kind of see that, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I each eye is looking in a slightly different direction. 
has he used Noom? Has he like because if someone was gonna sell me a weight loss no. thing, and if Dude, I, I, I don't I even have think that's too. worth a whole lot. Like what if, if I if I use Noom, what good is that? I'm not a psychologist. I didn't do psychology. What if, like what can I tell the thing, you? About at it? least at least if you used Noom and did all the things you said and it worked for you and you believed in, 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 a, in a way justifiably now that it actually helped you, I would be far more all right with him peddling it because he could say i went through x amount of time on noom and i did what they said i simply believed and it actually worked and i did lose weight at least that's something this this right here we're looking at paul joseph watson's brain on noom well yeah well got, no the... paul joseph watson said depression doesn't exist that big brained well, wait, he's also, well, he's also he doesn't powered. believe in it because he believes in noom He's powered oh, by the true. brain Noom force stuff too. His outlook. There, <laughs> with Noom. That's a good point. Yeah, there is no depression because Noom is always there for you. Yay! <laughs> believe in Noom. <laughs> we Noom this shit up. There is no depression. There is Noom. There is only there is Noom. Only Noom. <laughs> You wake what? up, you open the blinds, and there's just Noom scrawled across the sky. <laughs> please, <laughs> please for, the, for the 35 pounds that Noom's going to give you, please sell your soul to me right now. You're, sell you're it. Like... Sell it on your hands and knees with your tongue out licking my fucking feet. <laughs> oh my god. If you're, if you're, like, a, if you're like reading a, a bedtime story to your kids, do you pick Goodnight Noom? I'm, I'm picturing then, uh... Noom as this... Do you remember the Futurama movie <laughs> with the giant thing that everyone gets attached to like yes i do i feel like yep. noom would be that in earth it's just this creature <laughs> that we all accept exists now and it's slowly spreading Life invader. something like that just this just like that's noom and everyone's like what's noom and then you're like let me embrace. you haven't heard of noom <laughs> noom and then four people from out of frame just like appear <laughs> talking about how amazing noom yeah. is and how it changed their life it's like why are you in my house it's like there are more every time you turn around there's just more noom <laughs> You like walking out and it's just the ending of Invasion of the Body Snatch. It's yeah. just like, no! There's a voice at you. <laughs> Wait, Hello, was Noom the name of that Hello, thing in A Beast Noom. a Million Back, the Futurama movie? Yes, that's that's the one. The Beast oh Million my god. Back. Yeah. And then what, there was the Brain Slug, though, remember? Homies went to the yeah. Brain Slug planet. <laughs> there was a Noom as well. It's all Noom, man. Yeah. Noom, all Noom, baby. Are wherever you are. I will eat great for you. <laughs> a way that is tailored to who you are. Rather than trying to just help you hit a number on a scale and call it a day, Noom digs deeper. You don't believe a word you're saying. You're looking, you're reading about... from a script. Your eyes keep moving to it. Yeah, yeah but, because he doesn't actually give a shit about I the see, product. Hell, I see actually. you looking down at the screen. Fucking hell. See... Look at all the videos they emailed me to use for my ad. Yep. Like, how can you possibly recommend a weight loss plan that you haven't done yourself i don't because even feel like i can explain that right he was paid to uh, this oh, just yeah, that's right. yeah. fucking pizza and get fatter that's all this makes for me yeah about why you should certain foods over others and how to give yourself the motivation you need not just today or tomorrow but every continuous day when you sign up for <laughs> they every, give you these images and videos day? to fluster while your soul drains away reading out the script Honestly, I always must love these more. 15 minute videos. I always love these 15 minute videos where they'll have like a one minute sponsorship. It's like that's actually a decent <laughs> chunk out of your video. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah it's a decent chunk gone. I, I forgot been there about Black Widow for a second, honestly. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's, yeah, that's what this video was about. Life. Be watching. We got an Jeff, ad Jeff. for a, a program that's meant to be for like mental health and, and, and nutrition before an yeah. ad for Black Widow. I'd actually kind of like it if this wasn't a Black Widow video at all. Is he's just trying to sell us? It's all Noob. It's just, it's just <laughs> a fifteen-minute promotional for Noob. Every single time he gets back to talking noob. about Black Widow, the plot like he starts explaining it, and somehow Noob is just referenced. He's like, "No, it's time to talk about Noob. Noob is this great new actor." Well, no. Noob. Well, this is super interesting. So, I because I just saw meme repository post that. So I looked up Noob on Wikipedia. Apparently, the Better Business Bureau has issued a warning about the subscription fees because it's difficult to cancel subscriptions. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know, 
What, what also is hilarious about this thing is like the uh, the things that is saying the product is now offering like tell you the right food to eat and give you motors like you can get all that for free. It's like it's you can look up anywhere to tell you what's the right food to eat to be healthy. Yeah. It's like a doctor. The, the Better Business oh, Bureau goodness. gave it a D rating in terms of oh, just like no. this because of these complaints. See? So, I'm a bullshit. Mm. I'm a fucking bullshit detector. Extra. I should sniff well, this shit out. I mean, so <laughs> in other words, was like that's a thing, right? You probably asked it's culty. This guy, like, did you, it is a well, bit. I think that would be the thing you asked this guy. Is like, did you know that there's a lot of complaints against this company? Like, did about you do the any well, level of research hey, Frankie, whatsoever? A five look, minute Google search. Gotta put food on the table, okay? No, they said if you, we're gonna give you a code, and for everyone who signs up, we're gonna give you three p. And he went, no peas, fuck three, yeah, peas. Out. three peas, three fresh grape. garden peas, three peas and a grape, uh, three grapes. So, so and he went, I'll what, take it. Yeah. I'll take so, it. so what you're telling me here is that they need to sever the noom. Yeah. Yes. Apparently, yes, um, they do. they've received like over a thousand complaints between oh, no. uh, over the course of a year. Which I mean, that sounds small, but that's that's like three, that's people, three a day. Well, the people who get up to complain is more than the people who are upset about yeah, the issue. Yeah, most people will started. just, like, yeah. Um, and apparently one of the issues, uh, I'm reading a Good Morning America article that's saying that that after the end of the trial, customers thought that there would be a monthly membership, like, you know, you get billed 20 yeah, yeah, bucks yeah. a month. Like but everything instead, else, yeah. But instead, it's the upfront thing, where it's like you're charged for the for, for several months more than than just, like, on a per-month basis. And it's difficult to get in contact with customer service, apparently. There have been a lot of people complaining about these issues. So, man, it's just like, oh. Did... A quick Google search, okay? Will suffice. Why is so expensive? Why is it seems so like it's very expensive. Like, apparently, it's people getting charged like 200 bucks for this, like over the what? course of Me. several months. You can, there's you know free apps that can probably do a lot of well, what this thing does. You know what? You probably, I, I don't know how it would work in America, but like in Australia, depending on, you know, the nature of like your Medicare or whatever, you you might be able to get these services like several months of, um, of, of uh, counseling for free, like bulk billing. You got a lot of options to pursue as By well way, as free apps. I don't know how many people in chat are actually aware of it, but the, the better help thing was such a fucking fiasco. Like, oh mm -hmm. yes, that was a nightmare. So many YouTubers fell into that, and it was just this moment of like, yeah, maybe you should fucking look into the products you're selling. How about that? And mm -hmm. loads and, of them, and... loads of them were like, I never do that. Fuck that. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Because remember, the fundamental transaction when it comes to an ad is the trust that the audience has in you. That's what's being paid for. The trust that they have in your judgment. Like if I, I don't know, if I made a video, it's like, oh, you know, I, I don't know, the new Call of Duty. It's like, it's a really cool game. Anyway, thanks Activision for paying for me to fly out to like LA to play the game and then get pizza and stuff. Um, it's like, well, what what exactly is the transaction here? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of their hearts to let me play this game. Like, there's something else going on here. And it's the same for basically any advertisement. So it, that's not so, strictly a problem, but yeah, go ahead. This was a little better help. That was when Boogie went onto a stream and said the Holocaust had its benefits. <laughs> Oh, oh, gee, oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Was that wait? Was that when he said that? For I don't, I don't know if that was the same era. I guess it might have been. Um, because fuck, that was a while ago at this point. But yeah, because a lot of people are still confused. So the, the way it works was it was this app that said you can get psychiatric help from like professionals and stuff. If you sign up, you'll just be paired with like a psychiatrist, and they'll give you help to help you with depression. That was like the main thing, as far as I remember. But then people started mm -hmm. paying a lot of attention to it. And you could basically just be any person, sign up, and you can get approved within, like, weeks or whatever to become a psychiatrist on there. It was like, what? Oh, fuck that. It's just like, you're just selling, like, this isn't, this, nothing is verified on there. It was all bullshit. And, like, all these YouTubers are just like, I mean, you know. I've said well, I mean, I, dude, I think Boogie I know, said, like, I was helped with it, and several people have told me they were helped with it. That is such a bad, that is mad. <laughs> I don't believe is, you. Well, I, I mean, you have an incentive to say that it helped you because to admit that it was a bad service would be to admit that you made a pretty serious mistake. Yeah, the um, worst thing you can do is say, it didn't help me, but I promoted anyway. They had to make a decision. They had to own their mistake or they had to double down. 
Man, that's just like, uh, it's like with the candid thing as well, where people mm -hmm. didn't look into it. It's like, oh, it was an AI that was being trained specifically to be sold to like Google and stuff to figure out better ways of suppressing certain accounts. It's like, oh no, it's Yay. just a fun little shit Dude, when, talking app. Dude, when the fucking developer or publisher or whatever of that app was telling the people who were shilling for it to please make videos that disparage those who are criticizing the app, you know, it was like, oh my it, god. Yeah. And then a couple of people seemingly took them up on that. Also. Yeah. Like, it was a, again, another whole fiasco. Like, this is the thing. You gotta be careful when you shill for stuff. It shouldn't just be treated as like a, eh, fuck it, whatever. Oh. Yeah. So bad for uh, that fellow harmful opinions. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. He, was, he spent uh, a lot of time exposing them. And, I mean, I props him, to yeah. him. He... Yeah, he's kind of like I haven't heard of heard from him in a very very yeah, long he, time. But well, he, from what I remember, because I did follow him a bit, he he's he wanted to do like streams of playing games. He didn't want to do the politics stuff as much anymore, which um, mm -hmm. understandably so. Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of ways you could understand that. that. He went through a fu the fucking ring. It loads of people can. I think if I remember correctly, Amazing Atheist himself was like, "You're fucking this up for the rest of us." It's like. Um, there was definitely yeah. that kind of attitude, but it's interesting how many people sort of like almost escape from that one unscathed, considering that it was marketed specifically as like a free speech app, mm -hmm. and it was and from and it was the whole point was it was like a project to build a better algorithm to like oversee what people were saying. It's like it's it is it is the antithesis of what it was said to be, and like. I don't know, everybody just seemingly didn't feel like they'd made a mistake. Yeah. Um, you gotta be yeah. careful with these ads. Praise harmful opinions. Yeah, no, praise oh, anybody who really works hard to, to, to expose these shitty fucking products and apps and shit. Yeah. God damn. It's better to have those people in the world than the people who are like, yay, money, 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 money. Mm-hmm. Be very careful with what you promote, especially if you have a huge audience, because you could be doing some serious damage. That was the thing with Boogie. He he was surrounded by people who were very invested in his mental journey, and they associated with it, and then he sold them all over to fucking better help. And it's like, whoa. <laughs> huge mistake, but, uh, yeah. The guy who's always talking, yeah, the guy who's always talking about, oh, I'm depressed, oh, my mental health, oh, ba doo ba doo and this is the thing, it's, it's not yeah, like some kind of, I think a lot of people viewed it as like, well, I can't possibly be seen as having made this mistake. It's like, you totally can. You can totally be like, I fucked up. I really, I didn't yeah, realize. Yeah, I, I fucked Sorry, up. Let me try I made a mistake. It'll never happen again. I've learned from this. Obviously, the, the concern, I guess, is could they have signed contracts that made it so they couldn't disparage? NDAs. Yeah. yeah, NDAs and stuff like that, which yeah, really just... fucks themselves now you have over to decide, that point. And now you have to decide, are you going to break that, are you going to do... What's morally right? Are you gonna do go with that NDA you signed? And why did you sign that NDA if you knew that's what it, I? You, yeah, mm. drove yourself into a corner, right? It's like ah, uh... mm. mm. you'll be paired personal goal specialist who is trained in psychology. Oh, oh god, oh god, no. Jesus Christ, are you, are you, are you kidding me that we just explained all of that and that he said that? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, whoa, 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 what did he just say? What did he, I missed it, I missed it, I missed he, it. He said you gotta get it. I'll replay it, I'll replay it. Personal you goal specialist. Need, not just today or tomorrow, but every continuous day. When you sign up for Noom, you'll be paired with a personal goal specialist who is trained in psychology, fitness, and I saw you look at your script. And and that, you did again. Just again. Personal, personal, goal, not a psych, personal, personal goal specialist. Personal goal specialist is not a trying to jump cut to get rid yeah, of the looks as well. Well, well, I feel like it might just be the thing of like they have a psychology degree, but that doesn't make you a psychologist. Yeah, I reckon they don't even say that. They don't even say that. They've been they trained in psychology. Yeah, I was, I was about to say they're being yeah. they the probably right. that's that's that thing. Thing. They've probably they learned. They probably learned from yeah, better right. help. They're not going to make any bold claims. Did they get did they get a leaflet to read? What Dude, does that they get mean? Their, I bet they get their employees to sit down and go through like a two-day kind of introductory course. It's like, you're trained now, you're going to be our psychology <laughs> representative that could be dealing with potentially Wait. very vulnerable, uh, depressed people. people. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, and Look, it, it, you can see the post-it notes in his on his glasses. You can see the post-it notes reflecting his glasses. <laughs> nice catch. Is that, the, is that post-it notes or a screen? Those look bright. They look small. No, the yellow, you can see the yellow. They look like post-it notes on his. Screen. They do yeah, look like, like post-it like, notes. Yeah. They just look really bright. Um, 
So they might have they might have literally been spawned from better help in terms of like they saw what happened. They were like, okay, let's not claim we have psychiatrists or anything. Let's just say they are nutrition helper co-op people who have training in such things. I won't tell you what the training is, but it's the maybe they do. I don't want to assume too much, but man, well, yeah, maybe that's a bit spooky. I just don't. I'm it's trained just... in psychology. What branch of psychology? You too. Psychology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I psychology? watched JCS. Well, I guess it's, it's really awkward because psychology is it's just an incredibly complicated field from what I understand. I guess it's, like, it's tough. Health psychology? It, but I guess the problem, like, is it is it the case that you could just give this really broad psychology, like psychological advice to people broadly, as opposed to having to be very specific for that individual? Like, sit down with them, talk to them, figure out what's going on with them, and then start to... It's, I I can't imagine that it's that simple. I, oh there's, shit! There's no do, way. Do have we ever told Shad about Blinkist? <laughs> oh, oh. oh. It's oh. Is it, so, so, is there so, a story that I can... so we've we covered a video once that had an ad in it for a thing called Blinkist. It's an app that takes books and reduces oh, them. Oh, gives them summaries, and so you don't yeah. have to actually read the books, you get the crappy summary of interpretation. You of get bullet summary. points yeah. of what the book was about. <laughs> I think my favorite wow. part was there were bullet points on, like, the Bible. Like, you have the Bible <laughs> bullet in points. minutes. Like, like, it's it's <laughs> one of the most insulting concepts in, in, in history. Oh. Like, let me, let me take all the boring <laughs> shit away for you. I'll get you the interesting stuff. <laughs> like, what? Oh man, so yeah, many of these ads. I've seen, I've seen ads for Blinkist, and I was just, I, I, I've always been struck with just, what, what why? Why did you well, do this? Just... Read the whole book. Come on, like, it's... come on, just read the book. These Please. books are really short. A lot of the books that they have are like the standard self help stuff. Usually they're like a hundred pages. You can read them in a couple of days. You'd be better off just reading the whole book rather than getting the bullet points. And plus, the whole point of like these books is that you're trying to build up your arguments. Like, it's not enough to just get the little dot points of this is the conclusion. Like, you need all of the extra you... stuff that builds up to that point to actually fully understand it and to have those ideas form in your head and be useful. And people, people, some people in our chat at the time were like, "Well, hey, it's only nonfiction." There's like. <laughs> it's only non-fiction. It's like, wow, that's like hundreds of thousands of books. Like, and then it's, it's just of, funny. It's like, of... imagine it were fiction as well, where it's just like, uh, yeah, so Frodo and Sam, of dude. fellowship, <laughs> they get together, sorry. some stuff happens, the ring goes yeah. into the volcano. You know the rest. It's like, <laughs> like what? Oh man, it's so depressing that an app like that would even have any kind of foothold. It's just like, no, stop. <laughs> And there's like other sites that can do this sh that shit for free anyway, so why fucking well, pay for an app? The super awkward part when it comes to that is, I'm pretty sure it's just agreed upon at this point that reading, like just reading books can be incredibly helpful, just neurologically, like actually reading the whole thing. So the benefit of reading extends beyond just getting the information. Like there's just something working in your brain. It's like- Give me a list of maybe good right ideas. Parts. Yeah. Enjoy buying the community. You can even join a group chat with other Noom subscribers. Oh. Just click the link in the description below to Noom and take the Spread quick. Spread the Noom. <laughs> an easy online. I would really like to know. Custom... Notes. Come on. Would really like to know what? what? Did you know? Oh, I would like to know what if there is like any connection between this and better health because this is setting off alarm bells in my head hardcore. I would like There's to know. There's probably a lot of these these apps. To be honest with you, there's probably a lot of them. Um. They're skirting the lines of legality with what yeah. they are promising, and yeah, you know, this isn't new. You shall be paired with a no, specialist doomed. expert who has training ah, in. Yeah, things. this reminds me of a uh, that robots it. movie. Why be you when you can be Noom? <laughs> oh god. my god! Coom. Feel the Noom. Noom and... Oh, the Come humanity. Feel the Noom. I'm gonna Noom. All the Noom and I'm gonna Noom. Other Noom the Just noom. click the link in the description below to check out no. Noom and take the quick. Oh wait, is he gonna have the first 100 clicks get a special discount? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's see. He's let's gonna see. say he's we're gonna exercise. Create a Look at my plan Noom. That suits you. And thank you so much to Noom for sponsoring this video. For giving video. me money. Let's Look go back to you know, the international espionage. He didn't. We're gonna we're gonna. Toss this video into the fires of Mount Noom. 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So much to Noom for sponsoring this video. Oh, sweet video. Jesus Christ. Let's it's go back to the world of international in the Really, really. How you doing? As you hanging in there? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good. No, I just, I just thought it was like six forty-five in the morning, and it's not. It's nine forty-five. So okay. time flies when you're having fun. When you're having noom. <laughs> having fun? Question mark. Having fun. Uh, time flies like... when you're having noom. You need to sleep when you have noom. Well, it'll, it will be noom in two hours. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> oh, those faces. Yeah. That's really great. Those are so perfect. Wow. Crazy. Oh, my God. That oh, place exists, noom. you know. That exists. The fires of Mount Noom. Worshipped by the fires of Noom. The acolytes of Mount Noom. <laughs> they just uh, go out through Middle Earth. The field of Noomology. Spreading uh, the faithful Noom to all its loyal uh, What a strange universe we're in. Okay. Time. This timeline is odd. I want to pack. Yeah. Yeah, this timeline you know, has got a bit. I, I love no. Black Widow. Oh, remember when this is about Black Widow? <laughs> what? Black, what? I forgot. Let me tell you about I the original. I actually thought he was going to say Noom. I really did think <laughs> well, I love Noom. Noom. Every time the ad ends, he's like, now, really let's Noom. talk about Noom. <laughs> Noom? Oh, the espionage was Noom all along. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dracov rips his face off, just Noom. Black Widow said she should have gone Noom. Just hmm. just cancel the MCU and replace it with the Noom Cinematic <laughs> Universe. MC Noom. Okay, Noom. Noom, Let's go. Black Widow is awesome. It's a kick ass spy uh, no, thriller isn't. featuring Wrong. the MCU's Wrong. to be expected gripping a set thriller? pieces. Scarlett Johansson's best performance as no, a no, 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 Something I decided not to point out about that Avengers scene was that, um, because I just said that she's feeling what she's feeling and stuff. You watch it, her face is stone cold when Loki reminds her of her whole history, but her throat moves. Because she's fucking losing it, and she's trying to control herself. It's a really cool bit of acting. Fucking this movie, like, goddamn, it's so distractingly awful, I don't know, I don't know. Noom. The only emotion in this movie was sadness, and it was mine. I should have put Noom in, in Godalba's fan. I'm gonna say Noom, Noom everywhere. Put Noom. Hello, <laughs> Noom. Jerry. Hello, Newman. Nice. Natasha Romanov and a supporting cast who not only bring their A game, but no. are relishing it. Being relishing it? Relish relishing in it. Okay. Relishing. Oh, yeah, I remember this movie Captain America, yeah, Civil Noom. Oh. <laughs> They're relishing in their own acting, or I get what? well. You can I'm just relish for the first week and nothing else under Noom. I guess he's saying nothing this is real. Relish. They're enjoying it. They're enjoying acting as Alexi and a sort of other characters. This is hard to watch after having made the fucking video <laughs> about how awful it's going to be. You know what? The acting's great. All the characters are great. It's great, Noom. You're like, oh, yeah, okay. It's <laughs> great, Noom. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah, the Noom. Noom Unleashed. The Simpsons. Oh my you god. Know, the Noom it's... Awakens. Now I'm just thinking, again, <laughs> the last Noom I. It's like there's luminal, sub. What was it? Subliminal. Sub and super. So, oh yeah, Luminal. 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 Luminal will be Luminal under the speed of light. And super, yeah, so there'll be songs about Sub Noom. Luminal. I guess they'll say Moon, you know, and then just reverse it. It's like, ah, see, it's Noom. And you see it in the moon. It's like, that's Moon too. But then you got Super Luminal where someone just says, hey, you, join Noom. It's like, okay, yeah, I'll join Noom. I thought, did you say <laughs> Simpsons at one point in that? Or did I just make that up in my own head? Well, um, that was The Simpsons, that reference. Yeah, because I, was, I honestly, like, it fast forwarded to me. I thought you were going to say Simpsons hitting Noom. Like, that was going to be the joke. <laughs> Simpsons hitting Noom. Oh, yeah, that was the Navy episode. Or should I say <laughs> that the was Noom the Navy B. one? Yeah, when he has Noom. the hippie fantasy where there's hippies on top of a giant praying mantis uh -oh. shooting yep. flowers and American soldiers. Dude, ch chats, like, chats off. They're making the Noom for every movie that ever existed. It's all well, there. Oh, no. Oh, we now have a cult in the AFAP lore. Fantastic.
Captain America, the first Noom. Three Pentanuma, the first Noom. The Noomador. The silence of the Noom. Where did you train? On a Noom? Twelve angry Noom. The Noom Horizon. The dark side of the Noom. How the Noom stole Christmas. The Witcher 3 Noom Hunt. The Fellowship of the Noom. Twelve years of Noom. Oh, oh, I got, how I learned to stop I've got one of my own. Noom. We've oh, got the Twilight the Saga, New Noom. Oh, oh no, they've lost, the 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 lost it. They've lost it. They've lost it. They've gone nuts with it, yeah. The oh, rat, Star Trek rat 2, of the Noom. Wrath of Noom. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight Saga, New Noom. <laughs> wow, I, I hear it. Right. Yeah, yeah, new it. Moon. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. Dr. Noom, obviously. Rags, Dr. Rags, it was just, it was just better when Ad said it. I, I'm, yeah, I'm it sorry, his delivery was stronger, delivery apparently. Is stronger. Sorry. Oh, the League it of Noom. on itself. I Noom apologize. Squad. <laughs> Fallout New Noom. Fallout Noom Vegas. <laughs> Noom Vegas. Shanghai Mega Noom. Noom. Yeah, that's right. Black Noom 3. <laughs> Citizen Noom. Noom Harder. The Lion, the Witch, and the Noom. Batman v Superman. Schindler's Noom. Noom. <laughs> Dead Noom. Noom Attack Pool. of the Noom. Noom Angry Noom. Noom at the Rock. Noom Walker in the Noom section. Infinity Noom. 310 to Noom. Noom. 310 to Noomaha. The Chronicles of Noom. The Is Dr. Noom, Noom or how I learned to stop Noom. scamming my audience the and not Noom? The Shawshank Renoomption! No country for old Noom. Is he hot and he is a Noom? Shawshank Noom. Godzilla vs. Noom. <laughs> 12 King years of Noom. The Emperor's Man of Noom. 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 Noom Feratu. Infinity Noom. Spider-Man, far from Noom. <laughs> Far from ah, noom. Noom, noom coming. coming as well. <laughs> no way, Noom. No <laughs> way, Noom. noom. Talk to Back Noom. To the noom <laughs> Star Wars and Noom Hope. Yeah, that was the that was Noom Formers. Noom Manji. Noom Manji. The Noom da Night Rises. Da noom Manji. Noom Manji. <laughs> Noom <laughs> The passion of the Noom. <laughs> oh my oh, god. god. Dark side. To infinity and Noom. Classic Noom. Ah. Noom board. <laughs> Splitting Nooms. It's a Noom, 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 Noom oh, no, world. <laughs> like an obvious one. Dark Nooms. Jackie Chan, Shanghai Noom. There's some, there's some dank noom Renoom. going on here. Finding Noom, Finding yeah. Noom 2. <laughs> Mortal <laughs> Noom Bat. Rebel Without a Noom. Mad Great Max noom Beyond noom. Thunder Noom. With Mad <laughs> Max Noom Road. D don't forget, Tommy Wiseau's Magnum Opus, noom. The Noom. <laughs> the Noom to Noom. The Moon <laughs> Justice League, the Noom, just just the the noom Cut. Shitty, <laughs> shitty Noom Noom. <laughs> Dash it, Noom. Shitty, 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 Tomorrow, oh, noom. You, chitty, chitty, noom, 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 we hate you. <laughs> Sometimes it's... Chitty, noom, noom. <laughs> with some oh, names, you're like, which part do you even replace with noom? And he's like, Charlie, that was... oh, Willy no. Wonka in the chocolate factory <laughs> sort of shit. The, <laughs> oh, the noomy side squad. <laughs> now, I know... X-Men Days of Future Noom. <laughs> Dead by Noom like. Toy Story Noom. <laughs> Fucking Men flip it. Men at Noom. <laughs> Noomy. Willy Wonka and the Noom Rockery. I love that image, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> noom. <laughs> Squark in the Noom Factory. Oh, of course. Noombers. <laughs> the, 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 noom, the Italian Noom. noom. Oh noom my window. god. Man of Noom. Uncut Nooms. <laughs> noom Rider. Noom a ween. 
<laughs> Indiana Jones in the Temple of Noom. It's <laughs> almost real, like, he has to get to the Temple of Noom. The New Matrix. <laughs> the Noom Trix. Apocalypse Noom. Apocalypse Noom. Apocalypse Noom. He didn't Noom himself. Apocalypse Noom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dr. Noom Love. Oh, man. Oh, instead of Dr. No, of course, Dr. Noom. Well, Dr. We've Noom. Had Dr. Oh, Dr. Noom, Noom Love. <laughs> the, the spy who noomed me. <laughs> the spy who noomed me. I'll be right back. Noom, Noom repository. I, I didn't approve of that. The Dead Noom Society. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're funny about the word is it's close to gnome. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> now noom and gnome, they're starting to blend together. I'm I'm changing my my handle on Twitter to Noompa. Yes. That makes sense. Metal Gear Solid 3 Noom Eater. <laughs> like Do you have to noom, noom jacket. Tomorrow. Edge of Oh Noom Erotic. <laughs> noom Man Sky. One of the noom. <laughs> Nooms versus Babyface. <laughs> the Noom of Noom us. Noomio and Juliet. <laughs> noom Returns. What about the last of Noom? A Noomily Inc. <laughs> <laughs> the girl oh, with the Noom tattoo. I'm sorry, it was Snoomer. <laughs> oh, the Emperor's Noom Groom. The Sims Nooms. <laughs> Groom. <laughs> Treasure <The> Simp Noom. <laughs> Crude's a Noom Age. Oh, the Star noom. Trek Noom Assist. How to train your Noom. Hung Noom Panda. Superman <laughs> 4, the quest for Noom. <laughs> the Wrath of Noom. <laughs> the search for Noom. The voyage Noom. 2001, a Noom Odyssey. You realize the most excited I'm going to be for this video now is when he re-mentions Noob right at the end. Star <laughs> <laughs> Wars, Nooms of the Old Republic! The princess Ash and the Noob. Noob. Please, talk about Noobs more. <laughs> They're funny. Yeah. They're noobs almost a creature now. Yeah, Noobs right are like little noob. little guys right. that just run around and do They're stuff. Like... They're like The Tanoomo like War! The Tanoomo War. <laughs> oh. You guys want to watch this video? Or? That's oh that's right, no there's noom. a fucking it's video. A space ah, station. Get it over. It. Hunchback of Noom Dam. Noom Dam. Okay. No, 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 no. Noom Dam or Noom Dam? It, it's the Noom of Notre Dame. Yeah. That's right. The Noom back of Noom Tra Noom. Well, wouldn't you call it the Hunch Noom of Notre Dame? Noom Row. <laughs> no, it's the Noom back. It has a Noom for a back. I prefer uh, the Hunch Noom. noom. The Noom back. Noom back, yes. Captain America, mm. Noom War. Venom. 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 Leo <laughs> <laughs> and Juliet. I love, I love how this is always the most active our chat ever gets. This <laughs> one <laughs> generating fucking movie names. A Noomler's noom list. I like how this is like, noom we can replace list. an AI, by the way. This is what this is. <laughs> it's just replacing film names with Noom. <laughs> Noom runner. So noom I'm runner. picture. I'm now starting to picture a noom, noom kind of, like what, like one of those tribbles from Star Trek, but bigger. That's what I'm seeing a noom as. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Oh, it's oh. just it's just self perpetuating. They ate all the grain. I feel like <laughs> noom. Tiny creatures that like make high pitched noises, like <laughs> like maybe they're. <laughs> You know, noom encompasses many different entities because we still have the big, yeah, like, the mother noom, noom that, like, you know, oh, yes, noom. They, they, they excrete a pheromone that causes people to worship them. Yes, they're 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 also they're noomnipotent. Noom oh. oh boy! And oh noom my god! I'm nooming. I'm nooming. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, God, I'm gonna I'm noom. Nooming. I'm gonna noom. Last starring I'm Miles gonna noom. Noomer. Don't noom. They noom and noom. Noom and intercourse. Noom and noom intercourse. Patrol. We got a noom patrol. Noom patrol. Miles <laughs> <laughs> nooming. Yeah. Dude, yeah. where's my noom? A Serbian noom. <laughs> oh, no. Go on to noom adventure. 
<laughs> the no- big new mouse ski. Nooblings Didn't to the new Frazier badge. Star in the new me? Noom of the dead. <laughs> Come yum Noom. noom. Noom yum. Mission Impossible oh, Noom out. The Noom Noom out, yeah. The human noom. Noomapede. Jimmy Noomtron. Oh. Doctor Strange was so the, the Noom. Ten things I hate about Noom. Men in Noom. <laughs> Men in Noom. I like Noomanji. Yeah, I gotta say that one's really fun. <laughs> Oh, look, it's got a little diagram of healthy... Wolverine. <laughs> or would that be Noomverine? Noomverine? I think feels like more the Noom man. Yeah. <laughs> the ex Nooms. <laughs> the ex Nooms. <laughs> Noomanji. Yeah, I, Noom si- I got Silence of the Nooms. <laughs> Winnie the Noom. <laughs> Winnie the Noom. <laughs> Winnie the Noom. What if, but with Noom? Venom, let there be Noom. <laughs> let no, be yeah, dude, let there be Noom. Episode 3 of What If should just be Noom. Is this What If? Noom? Yes. <laughs> what If Noom, yeah. He got the gold. 12 angry Nooms. To Noom. Noom born? Pacific In- Noom? Independence Pacific. Noom, I get behind that. Batran- Batman and Newman? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I am more than happy. We're noomed out to continue noomed the video out. now. Yes. Let us, let us continue. Yeah, we can the that. cycle of noom has been let completed. Ah, uh, the man. Said right after the man that can noom anything. Ben noom sing. Not only bring their A game, but are relishing in it. Being set what, right after uh, no, Civil War, it has a moderate aesthetic through line to that earlier entry, a but overall brings a moderate aesthetic through line. Aesthetic Don't through compare line. this to the That's Russo brothers. It's, are they, are, is he gonna talk about the fucking, the big words for the places? Yeah. Is that the big aesthetic through line? Like, what else you got? Come on. It's a fresh and wonderful new style to the franchise. It's one of my favorite MCU. So, doesn't. this is the, probably the least of that kind of movie for the MCU. Where you watch Black Widow, you're just like, God, this is so just bleh. It's very MCU sludge. This it's like Ant Man and the Wasp. It reminds me a lot of that yeah. movie. It's just like, this is MCU content. Like, everybody, when they saw that helmet thing happen in The Suicide Squad, was immediately like, well, I'm remembering that as part of this film's, like, filming technique forever. Yeah. yeah. When does that happen in Blackwood? <laughs> I remember the pain. Film- yeah. Was to date, and I just wanted to get that out of the way first so that you could understand where I'm coming from. I understand no, not many really. of you- Um, all I know now is you are hyper-biased mm. toward this film for some reason, but I don't yeah. know what it is. It's because he what, likes what spies. What is it, yeah. Aren't going to feel as passionately as I do, or that this yeah. film is ten years too late, and that's completely okay. But at least from Man, my Italian, no, too, no, 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 it's not okay. It's if it's yeah. too anything, it's not good. <laughs> that's it's the whole point of not anything. okay. That's what, what that's what the two thing is. It's not okay if it's yeah. too late. I it's think too we late can agree that maybe okay. this well, movie wait, no. after she died, and it's that not was a too problem. late. Also, this is just all good as well. That's so what we'll just highlighted the super chat. It's like relishing in it. It's like she sued them. Like it's so <laughs> awkward. Yeah, he's relishing that lawsuit. Yeah. Love new. Matrix renewed. He wants to do it in arbitration rather than through court. Wait, sorry, what's happening? I think the development is that Disney would prefer for it to go through arbitration rather than through court. Ah, I bet they would. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, because hmm. arbitration means that it's you can have it be like you know more more close behind closed doors, like it's not as public. Well, since they've basically Disney cut her want, off, Disney don't want no discovery phase. No, no. H Numer guy. Well, I think that their argument apparently is that the film made something like five hundred. Include its um. Bat Noom. Bat Noom. Bat Noom. I think the Battlestar Numatica. From what I understand, the development is. Let me. I remember seeing it. That they said that the film made. So we got our numbers now. Apparently, plus Disney Plus revenue, it was something like five hundred million dollars. Sure. That that movie made, which is a, less than what they wanted. I would imagine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think uh, there'd be a, a billion pre-pandemic. Like that was. He probably expectation. needed about five fifty to break even. Five hundred fifty yeah, million to break even. Yeah. So it says three hundred sixty-seven million box office, one hundred twenty-five million streaming. Um, that's according to the latest court filing. Angry Noom. Angry Noom is like when they lost money. Might have lost money, maybe. maybe. Yeah. The and fact well, that it's the fact that we're having the conversation of maybe it even did instead of it just was like which is yeah that's it bad used news to be where yeah the amount of insurance the money. amount of insurance for it sat on the shelf doing nothing man that's, that's true plus plus the interest from the investors that money ticks and ticks that's why you got to get <clears> your fucking films out but yeah that's a lot of money that this film most likely had to make around 550 to to even break even on this and we don't know much oh, about wow. its numbers on HBO, not HBO, <laughs> Disney Plus. Well, no, it's it's what I said is that according to Disney's own like like court filings, it made about 125 million from streaming. So that brings the total amount that it made to about 500 million, which is yeah, not Numa not Numa like, A, Numa like that, Numa A, the Numa the striped Numa pajamas. A. Well. Blackwood, it was a triumph. That's what I think. It's yeah, an absolute triumph. As I do, or that film is 10 years too late, and that's completely okay. Internet but at least story. from my opinion, I'm here to tell you why I think Black Widow works and why I think it's one of the most important, effective, Man, and emotional oh, oh, factors Wow. Not emotional. Important? Important? Really? <laughs> In, uh, the no. entire MCU was able to exist functionally without it means it's one of the most unimportant films. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> they, they just squeezed it in, but they squeezed it in between not multiple movies, a movie. Yeah, really in movie. such a way that none of it was ever referenced. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it was the, just. It's like she walked into a room, walked the, back out, and a yeah, whole movie happened. The only thing of it that's going to like. Fucking lead into anything in the future well, is Yelena, the post credit yeah. scene. Yeah, that's it. Which, to be fair, you, like if Yelena just showed up and said, "I was, I'm her sister, and I'm pissed at you," it'd be like, "All right, you caught me up, I guess." Done. Problem solved. <laughs> like, yep, you there you are. And you know what? She'd be a better person at that point because she wouldn't have had the prison scene. <laughs> yes. Fucking prison scene, man. Widow works, and why I think it's one of the most important, you mean the effective, and emotional yes. entries in the MCU. Emotional? Oh my god! Oh, oh, you clap at anything, oh, won't you? Uh, well, you need you I, better help. You well, need better I, help. No, I, did, I did feel something with this film. I did feel something. I felt dead on the inside, but I felt something dead <laughs> on the felt, inside. Yeah, all right. Is he like I, comparing this against the confrontation between Captain America and Iron Man when you know Tony Stark feels that well, Bucky that, Barnes killed his parents? He, like, is things like it's as emotional as those moments? He's, he's like, comparing it to he everything, everything in the I, MCU, everything. Wow. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Every emotional payoff you can think of, Yondu's death. Fucking... I'm now actually thinking this guy's a sociopath. <laughs> Well, this is the problem with these videos. They're always so fucking hyperbolic. They call us hyperbolic yeah. all the time. I'm like, look at you guys. You're going nuts. You're like, this is the greatest movie in the MCU so far for its emotional importance. And emotional stuff. Until and the importance. Until the next greatest yeah. movie, yeah. Until the next greatest movie comes out, Which this is, is the greatest one. Shang the next will greatest the next movie one. will be whatever the next Marvel movie. Marvel movie. It's definitely going to be Eternals. That'll be like the big, this is like not your standard comic book Yeah, movie. it's evolving. Shang chi and the Legend of the Ten Nooms. Yeah, I'd watch that. <laughs> the ten nooms, that'll be real important. Going are they going to be like bracelets that... as well that are called rings for some reason? That deserves. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny that they're called a, a rings when they fit on people's arms. Like, well, wait, that is, that is what, what is the definition of a ring? Of a ring? Is it, does it have to be fingers? Uh -huh. Well, I guess that's. Hmm. Why would I say that? Yeah, Halo because is one of my favorite games, and that's called a Halo at ring, it's like, <laughs> like thousands of feet, thousands of miles across. Ah, here we go. I mean, ring, a circular band. Hedgehog games are big, big. Worn on a finger as an ornament <gasps> or a token of marriage, engagement, or authority. 
Well, so, yeah, ah. so ring definition is just, a yeah. small, a small that is, circle. That is the effect. jewelry version of a ring. But small. Yeah, it's a small, on a small finger. version. Yeah, it's a small version of a small. ring. The, the mm -hmm. actual, just the term ring uh, represents an unbroken circular band. Like, right. Of some type. Which means there's still correct to call them rings in Shongshi, correct? Shongshi. Yeah, uh, it's just bracelet. very counterintuitive. I, mean, I, I mean, if Saturn can have rings around it, <laughs> Saturn, yeah, exactly. those aren't rings. They're too big. <laughs> oh no, these are this is jewelry though. This is representative of jewelry. Of Saturn well, yeah. rings are just a bunch of small ice. Actually, I, I know. I, I know that. I, I know agree that with you. Uh, no, as the only thing is, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Bracelets this doesn't sound quite right, does it? It's like, well, well I gotta say, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That's a mouthful. Like, if it's yeah, it sounds shit name, already. It's yeah, called, it's a it's really long Shang name. Shang Chi. Yeah, that yeah, would have been a better what, choice, yeah. Well, just don't make yeah, well, it. Don't just don't make it. What a, <laughs> well, so, the, man, like, I would like for there to be, like, a cool martial arts movie. That'd be neat, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I, I think I, I think people are just, just on such an even fundamental level, the name is not attracting them. Like, I'm, I'm not even familiar with this character. Does he have a superhero name? Like, even if he was He's just something as dumb as name. Kung Fu Man would have worked <laughs> better to attract people's attention. Uh, yeah, because they'll be like, oh, G. this is a comedy. Okay, well, maybe yeah, that'll yeah. Be I think Honestly, I think you're on, on the logo on the poster, and that'll sell tickets. It looks so generic. Um, the, well, yeah, they, I well, think they're, they're on... they, they were going to make it English, but and they said, what does Shang-Chi translate to in English? And they're like, Derek Smith. <laughs> oh, well, apparently, <laughs> like, ah, in the film... The, okay, the, I don't the think the film in... called Derek Smith's going to do much, so we'll, we'll just oh. keep in Chinese. By the way, I saw a clip actually of this film. It, uh, it's it's some really great lamp, got lamp shading, right? That's <laughs> it's so really great the lamp. Character, the character this is, um, is great lamp, guys. This well, lamp is made of noom. This, this noom lamp shade. But anyway, he he says like so. Apparently, he cha he left and changed his name to Sean. It's like man, Shang Chi to Sean. It's like. Dude, like, you tried a bit harder to change your name if you wanted to hide. <laughs> Did he have a second name, or was it just Sean? <laughs> well, maybe he had a lot. Sh Sean Chi. Oh no, Sean Chi. I, I don't know, maybe that was it. It's just like, man. Um, it's, uh... Nothing it, about the name catches my attention or makes it, oh, well, yeah, because it it's like... I was about to say, you're on something with that, because Iron Man, without any context, he's like... Oh, what's that about? Iron Man. Man of Iron? Yeah, or like, the right. man in the Iron Mask. Oh, okay, so oh. apparently, according to Wikipedia, Shang-Chi is also known as the Master of Kung Fu and Brother Hand. Brother well, Hand. Master of Kung Fu. I mean, Fu. if those are your three oh. choices, I would go with Shang-Chi. You know, <laughs> I am Brother Hand. Want to see the Master of Kung Fu? The Master of Kung Fu feels too nebulous to be a specific identity for one boring person. boring to me. Like, ooh, the Master of Kung Fu, okay. Well, I, I guess it, there's that too. I right guess he's now. a kung fu master, right? I guess so. Ooh, I mean, you. they're adding extra stuff, right? In the comics, does he fling around a bunch of rings? Is that like oh, bracelets? Well, considering the rings I... are actual rings in the comics, and the Mandarin is an Iron Man villain, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but they screwed it up, so this is out to over. <laughs> and hey, look. It's been building since Iron Man 1. This was definitely in the plan. When they made Iron Man 1, they were like, you know, in 13 years, more than that, actually. It's, it's, this Shang one Chi. line reference to the Ten Rings no, is, is going to come yeah. back. <laughs> it's going to come back in 13 years. You'll see. <laughs> they, they should, they, Disney should have run with it. 13 years in the making. Shang Chi. And then have Iron Man just say, uh, you know, have them say, These, this organization, the Ten Rings, uh, 13 years from now, when I'm dead, somebody will avenge them. Dun, oh my dun, god! Dun, dun. Sweet bracelets, Christmas. ten bracelets. Woo -doo, doo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo. Black Widow fell off a cliff and died. And she should have stayed that way, but they got her back for a whole movie. They got her back for one last. One last assassination. <laughs> one last skin suit. Get in that skin suit one more time. <laughs> Hey, that's like a drag that thing. corpse of dead, <laughs> drag that dead fucking corpse of Black Widow <laughs> across the screen for two hours. Well, it's Shoot. like when uh when Jerry was with Tammy and see Rick and Morty. Yeah, I was gonna say the fucking the skin suit people oh, yeah. in that as well. 
Like the, it is kind of like that. Like, the, when she turns up, because you know she's dead already, and then if you know they're going to assassinate her, it's just like, oh, look at this creature walking around, calling herself Black Widow. It's like, stop <laughs> it, go away. Okay, yeah. It's like, it's ditto. Yeah. Is she gonna no, die? Of course she's not, because she's she, she dies in, in another film. We already well, know how she dies. They, they really took advantage of that, didn't they? <laughs> Just shoving her. No stakes whatsoever when it comes to her. Didn't they have a comment about that? Because I didn't put it in the video, but they, they addressed that. They were like, yeah, but even if she does die later, we're still gonna put her through many like crazy adventures and stuff. All kinds oh, of damage. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you killed her a million times over. But she, yeah, <laughs> five times now. Dead. So, it's so oh, bizarre. No, she landed on her feet. It's fine. It's the one. It's one of the things that just like everybody picked up on watching it. Like, you you can't not pick it up. I even think like if my dad's really chill with movies. I think if he was watching, it, he'd be like, oh she, oh she's okay. Yeah, she's walking around. Tough okay. girl. Yeah. Wow. She. I think how he'd be she, like, how is she not dead? He would ask me like, does she is she a super person or whatever? Or he'd just assume it. And I'd just be like, yeah, sure. She's she's a super person. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. She's more powerful so than my... Captain America in that film. She, I'm trying to think of what did she survive the heat. He probably could survive the what she survived, right? Right. Things well, I, I, I did America. Yeah. yeah. I mean, could I, he have survived a plunge straight from the fucking space station to the ground like she hey, did? There was a little parachute went boop right he before. He sort of had end. a parachute. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, ten great. meters from the about ten oh, meters okay. from the bottom. Yeah. Why are you making fun oh, of that scene? It was so cool. Everything was. It was, it was, like, it was powerful. So it was cool. emotional. I would say it was important. They That's were relishing say. it. It was important. Relish. <laughs> I but hate it when right McDonald's right. relishes my burger and I tell them not to. Hey. <laughs> hey. Do you think this guy would be pissed at Scorsese? He's like, Black Widow is cinema, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be like, oh god, I don't agree with either of you. We'd be like, like, I mean, we agree, but... <laughs> when, you smash your, when you smash your head on a, on a fucking table that hard, she's just gonna fucking spark herself out. Nah, she'll be fine. I feel like if Captain she America can't. slammed his head on that, something would break either his own skull or the table. Yeah, because he's pretty powerful. Like, if and he's got to break his own brain nerves, which are super soldier brain nerves. And maybe they're all stronger, you know? No, I'm not. I'm not saying Captain America won't survive in it. I'm saying she's par She's te on a parity with his power level in this film. Well, if he had a super desk, he could do it. A super desk made out of vibranium Super soldier or desk. Yeah. It's injected oh, with no, the serum. Yeah, they, they got this inject the super serum into the desk. Yeah. They put the desk in that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that machine. They put the desk in the scene, The scene in the first movie, but a, a desk getting put in that <laughs> machine. <laughs> There's only one dude in the whole oh area. It's like, is that a desk? Why are we putting a desk in that? He's the only person who notices. Like, everyone else is like, just going to say that we're trying to make Charlie Cannon. Yeah. Well, Mel would be happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, just uh, put the super serum in, in a chair, and Captain America will throw a chair around instead of uh, instead of a shield. Wouldn't that be copying oh Batrock? Mm -hmm. That's Batrock's um, thing. Oh yeah, that's Batrock's around. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Don't wanna, don't wanna, yeah, you don't wanna, don't wanna ma mix and match all these powers. Oh, no. I love it when they're all individual and not just hyper powerful female characters that all have mystical, magical powers that I can't tell the difference <laughs> between. <laughs> yeah. I, can't. No discernible feature on them at all. It's like, oh, describe Monica Rambo. It's like she's a jelly person that can, like, yeah. <laughs> yes. What about Scarlet her Witch? Her limits are yet to be determined. Um, I guess. Red, red <laughs> stuff that comes out of her that's really she strong. Has red loop juice. It's like the juice that they use in the mind control. Maybe they got it from her. Maybe, yeah. Um, you know what would be fucking great, by the way, is if she misunderstood when filming what they were going for, and so when she's on the press circuit, she's like, yeah, yeah, you know, she's gone down a bad route. She is a full-on villain now. She is doing horrific <laughs> things. And, you know, we, I hope it's the Avengers not. can stop her. And the it's makers okay. are like, what? No. What? Can you imagine if they said <laughs> that? And then you're a hero? Playing. What? Yeah, you're a hero. You were a hero. You're fucking kidding me! I just went and killed a bunch of kids. Oh. No, but Ronica, Ronica, Ronica Rambo said that you're, it's okay. <laughs> it's Ronica Rambo. Ronica Rambo. Numica Rambo. Rambo said it was all right. Listen, okay. But, <laughs> is, that, is that the cousin of Monica? Ronica. Ronica Rambo. It's one Monica of those Ronica new no, no, no. Monica is trans, and her new name is Ronica. His new name is Ronica. 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 <laughs> She's stunning and brave, but she's not that clever, True. so got her a bit of Oh, spot. hey, you know, Ron yeah. for short, isn't it? Ronica yeah. Rambo here.
you know, with all these nooms running around, we need some sort of organization like a like a noom variance authority to oh, handle no. them. Oh We're my god! Hunters. And they they take oh out any variant nooms. They melt them. Anyway, no. I want to know why this movie is important. Hey, okay, hey. you guys are ruining all okay. the important messages about Sorry. importance. Gosh. Why I think yeah. it's one of the most important, effective, and emotional entries in the no, MCU. You, Without getting into heavy spoilers or deep plot, the basic premise of the film is that Natasha Romanov is on the run Without from getting shield, into spoilers, her you want to talk about why this is one of the best out, MCU a package from her sister, you, you wouldn't want to spoil when breaking down a movie, would you? Oh yeah, the the really complex plot that makes actually no sense. We I was actually going to say, spoil that. this plot is one of those plots that relies on you not, like, just you just go with it. Don't You're just think, like these people think, are here, these people are here. Because like so many reviews I watched would just describe how oh. um she goes to her at the at the apartment and it's like, did anybody wonder how and why all of that happened? Because I don't blame people for not doing that. It's fucking strange and fast. But it happened. Like me. Else happened. Today's basically me in bed. Strange and fast. Strange and fast. <laughs> strange and fast. Teach me your power. Do you have jelly powers like you, Monica you know, Rambo? <laughs> Veronica. But I can't last. I, they can't keep up for long. They can't last long. Getting into heavy spoilers. Hey, the candle that burns the brightest, you know. <laughs> the premise of the film is that Natasha Romanov is on the run from shield, a jelly following her actions just, like, in Leipzig, and while me. hiding out, receives a package from her sister Yelena that reroutes Wait, her oh. onto a Yelena. 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 You said you loved this Yelena. movie, and you call it a Yelena. By the way, can we stop, keep the keep the frame here? Can we just see that the the actress is still lying on the mattress that they have provided for her? I mean, whoa, wow. Oh my god, you couldn't just lay on a building, you had to lay on a mattress? I don't know, what's oh. wrong with that? Was I'm she confused. lying on the mattress in the movie? Yeah, what's wrong with Why that? Why would you oh, not okay, lay on a... Right, okay, right. Do you not she want a stable want platform for sniping well, purposes? So the only thing I find weird about it is how the fuck she, It must have been a difficult job to get it up there, maybe it dropped it in by there. helicopter or something, but... Um, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm a delivering a little is is the sniper on like a tripod or something? I I can't actually tell from here, but I mean, anything. So if that's a normal mattress, if you move like any other part, you know how when no, 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 they're no, those no, torpedic things. I don't mean the the tripod would be on the mattress. I mean it would be on the edge of the like the concrete past the mattress. You know, I can't tell from here if it's um, long enough though. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. It's no point in putting a tripod on a mattress. It's just. Well, I mean, it's probably better than not, but still. She's on a mattress on a roof already. We've thrown reason out the window. And she's wearing her, uh, I, mean, I, I guess it's logically possible that suit. she can do that. Well, like I, I said, mean, I, I never even thought about this. It's like, I guess it's strange that she got the mattress up there, you know? Maybe she, she just happened to find it. When it goes to the close-up, is she definitely she on the do? mattress on the close-up? She's definitely on a mattress, yeah, because I remember seeing that visual quite a few times. I would feel insulted as an actress, like, oh, if, don't lay down, we're gonna put this fucking mattress here for you to lay on. But remember, you're, you're a strong a woman. female woman. Yeah, you're a strong <laughs> female character, but make sure that you lay down on this mattress. We don't want that cold, hard ground touching you. Don't want to get you cold. How, uh, do you think it's- How insulting is that? See that window next to, uh, just down there, do you think she jumped in there, stole a the guy's mattress, and like, popped it up by a ropes and 100%. Stuff? Just give me a mattress. That sounds yeah. weird. It you does, doesn't really it? Strong, mattress just up. the weird, cumbersome nature of a mattress and how yeah, it floats well, around. I'm and... thinking about it now. Like, oh, imagine getting the mattress from inside that room up to there. It's like, oh, it's going to be so fucking annoying. And you have to like, try and curl it through the window and it's not working. And you, it falls you out. Black and like, oh, are going to be fuck. like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I'm getting my mattress. Yeah, Aren't like, you I getting your mattress? Like sniping mattress, right? <laughs> what if it's like a hatch on the roof and she's, she's like, actually got the mattress on top of the hatch on the oh, roof? Oh, maybe that. You guys snipe without a mattress? It's it's fucking weird. Weird. I, snipe in, I snipe in comfort. That is kind of funny, actually, yeah. <laughs> and, and the fucking useless bitch missed. She, she, well, she didn't she's, even fire, right? She's All that for nothing. All that for fucking nothing. She didn't that, that know it was going to be nothing. She was ready to shoot. She yeah, was she prepared nailed it. for combat with her. That was, that's her... Uh, if you look close, you can notice it's actually camouflage mattress. Um, that's her combat mattress. It's like retractable. It sits in her like arm um, gauntlet thing. You just press the button. It's yeah, like a it mattress. <laughs> yeah, it's got little. It's got little Molly straps on the side of it. Oh, bad! Like they're all I mean, they're all deployed in like the ship. You know, like the kind of helicopter they're in for the Suicide Squad. She's just there with her mattress. She's like, I'm gonna need it. Just, <laughs> just don't mind me, okay? 
Well, to me, the most insulting thing about the scene right here is that she's clearly on the wrong building. You know, you see that white building with the yellow highlights? That's blocking a very large yes. portion of her view. Yes. <laughs> and as a sniper, you would have gone onto that building there because it has a larger field of view. It has a wider lip to give you more cover. Yeah. And look, it even has a door that leads to the roof so you can bring a mattress. Well, onto Shad. It fatal, what is fatal flaw with your plan, Shad. Fatal flaw with your observation. I'm looking at that white building with the gold trim. And I mm. count approximately zero mattresses. Oh no, <laughs> Shad, but what are you doing? Doors, you could bring the mattress with you onto it. You know what? <laughs> you could bring the mattress with you. And the true. Yeah, yeah, you bring the I'm changing and, positions. And, and there's no, there's no <laughs> large building. There's no large building to block your field of view, and it's a, it's like a, a vastly better position for a sniper. So which bloody idiot put her on the red building? Just well, Does the red building has the wrong. mattress. You guys know um. <laughs> oh, uh, the mattress is there to begin with. She just it's no, like they're not the gonna sniper, move the sniper just like, like no, no field of view is not the most important thing for a sniper. I need a mattress. This building has a mattress. We're going there. Done. Yeah, that's probably what it was. She chose it because of the mattress. It was the only one that had a mattress on top of it. Yeah. It was yep. the only one that just had a mattress conspicuously placed. Oh come on, you've yeah, seen that the, these all are the, the time. Great mattress favelas like, of where this is. Mor oh, Morocco, they just love having mattresses on roofs. That's like a staple it's a of culture. culture. Yeah, you know, the um, homeless tradition. situation in Morocco got really bad. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but they live maybe, on maybe top of us now. Player. Maybe it's like, uh, hey, uh, why don't we go up to my roof tonight? Uh, you know? <laughs> this is my sexy roof, roof like, mattress. We can make love just, uh, instead. We can make a love underneath the moonlight. We can sky. snipe people. What about us? Be emotional and important. Because you're an emotional, be... important woman. Oh, yes. You say we, we have a bunch of the roofs like Snoopy or something? We will work on your breathing. <laughs> That's a little bit like Snoopy. <laughs> you guys know um, I the shop be, put. Uh, we are friends. I will in be Morocco. weird and quick, uh, strange and quick. Yeah, just like uh, you want me to be. Shop put. You know that? Turn your pelvis into I was jelly. that man on the roof. Shot I was put. that baby. Shot was that mattress. I was the conception. Shot put. You know that? Anyone? I was that mattress. Uh, well, I know, I know shot, shot put. put. Uh, that that's the thing with the balls, right? Yeah, you know how they they spin yes. it and then they let go and it goes. Um, I was Wait, thinking. I thought shot put was when you put it up like against your chest. Oh shit! Your, your <laughs> yeah, you might be right actually. Which but which is the like one where they spin? Is that yeah, the habit? Yeah, they spin with a shot put at the chin still. Uh, you know, just, depending just, on the technique, know that, they're spinning. I know that discus is the one that uh you spin for sure. Oh, oh yes. Okay. I think well, you're you know right. what? Shot put. They any might any of me, those right three, I was thinking maybe you have like to get the mattress over to that building. She could do that. <laughs> Which one has the string? Huh? People saying it's hammer throw. No, shot, it shot, you, 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 you're down and then you, you turn to and <sighs> you're launching. You don't spin with shot put. Hammer throw. No, I mean like which one has thing. which one has the string thingy that you throw and you spin well, I, around. I keep saying hammer throw. One that you spin around is discus. Oh, the, the string. Throw. Oh, the hammer. The, yeah, that's when yeah. you spin. Just yeah, we got, we go. got there in the end. It only took 10 minutes. We got there. <laughs> it, I think so, she should hammer throw the mattress. the mattress. Hammer throw the mattress <laughs> to the other building. That's what I'm suggesting. She's a black widow. They've been trained. Yeah. The I, <laughs> well, he's just going to fall down and fuck up that washing line. No, <laughs> no. She will get it right over there. She'll nail it. I don't think she got I it up there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the more I look at this scene, the more dumb things I've noticed. Like, it is a very conspicuous place to lie for a sign. Look yeah. at this building on the far left of the screen, right? Uh, anyone looking out of a window of that Little building triangles. or the buildings on the hall <laughs> that sees something like this? There's, there's a, there's a, there's a sniper on the roof. Uh, uh, and there's, excuse there's, me, there's, Policia? Wait, and, and, you know the other building where I said she should belong? There's a lip on the side to give her more cover so it would be easier to hide, all right? And there's already yes. things on the roof to make it less odd to have, say, a mattress on there. Uh, someone just put a mattress there. On this roof, there's no access to the roof, and so clearly someone went out of their way to put a mattress, and someone's lying there, and, they're, and they're, it's next to the hill Johnny rise Mnemonic. where these other buildings are, and people can just look out of the window and see. It's like... There's, there's, there's a sniper on a mattress on the building. Well, there, there is strange, extremely conspicuously dressed lady with wonderful makeup and hair, and she's laying on the sniper mattress. I think she's up to no good. 
<laughs> no one who lays on this sniper mattress. I just wanted to appreciate Noom Tubbies. <laughs> Noom Tubbies. Noom Tubbies, yes. What about Noom Johnny Tubbies. Mnemonic? Oh, man, Noom that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. The last Noom of Christ. That drudges up her past, including her time in the Red Room, where she was conditioned from childhood to become a master music? spy assassin. Yeah, I was gonna say, what is this music? What the fuck? But this is very unfitting music for this. This subject this is like goofy fuzzy really music. And he's talking about her being kidnapped from childhood and trained as an assassin. Yeah, he's like, it? hey, hey, it's time for the clown. It feels weird, especially when he was like talking about like the espionage genre before. It's like it's a weird song to be using when you're talking all about spy movies and like how this redefined like the spy genre, like reignited it for the new generation. No, 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 no. I know what they're doing. This it's like this music doesn't belong here, but it's snuck into this movie like a spy. Well, then how come we can hear it? They want us to hear them. Yeah. No, no, no. That's okay because you just wouldn't know by looking, right? You know how a, like a like a the spy can hide in plain sight. They don't wear these goofy ass black uniforms. Well, I don't know if I trust that because I watch Black Widow and they do that a lot, so. They do, yeah, and they have bullets on their shoulder for reasons. In case they need another four bullets. It's perfect reason. Yeah, in case, yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, I got my bullet, my shoulder bullets. Like, every good, every good assassin knows you need to have your shoulder bullets. Yes. ...in Leipzig, and while hiding out, receives a package from her sister Yelena that reroutes her onto a quest that yeah. drudges up her past, including her time in the Red Room, where she was conditioned from childhood to become a master spy assassin for the Russians before her heel face turned towards S.H.I.E.L.D. It is, of course, the long overdue Black Widow solo film that everyone has wanted for years. I mean, Four uh... years was completely out of sync. It, it, that is very distracting. Everyone, everyone wanted not this film, though. Yeah, not this one. While yeah, it should have come yeah. out chronologically after Civil War, it made her involvement in Infinity War onwards even more emotional and impactful. No, 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 no. 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 It, it assassinated no. her as a no. her character. It when I watch terrible. Endgame now, I'll know that she didn't look after anybody. She didn't give a fuck. Even after referring to them as family, she's like, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll so when in I'll be wondering how she died. They, they, her only family is us. And then it's kind of not now because they gave her another one just, you know, more. ad hoc. Remember, These she, people she for some have reason, another family. Yeah, she just doesn't care about the fact that there's a whole... Blood, a set of blood relatives that may very well be looking for her. She just doesn't care. No. It's strange that the film critics who do mm. this as like a job are the people who seem to be the most easily fooled by what the film's just trying to say and not what it actually says. Yeah. This it's, been... it's like it's like someone walks into your house and just starts taking your stuff and you're watching them, but they say, <coughs> Oh no, 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 I'm it's all good. We're fine. And they're like, Oh yeah, yeah, it is okay. Um, this is, <laughs> and I just keep doing it. Yeah, this like, is one of my like. Okay? Yeah, this is one of my primary problems yeah, yeah, with these I people all the way back in the day. I would listen to like before EFAP and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'd listen to some of these videos and I'd be like, "What film did you watch? This doesn't happen." No, <laughs> <laughs> stop it. I know it's like they're watching a completely different fucking film. He's like this incredible espionage movie that's emotionally important. You're like, "What do you? What did you see? Tell me." And then he's like, "I wouldn't want to spoil." And you're like, "Dip." <laughs> Noom. <laughs> that's but that's funny. just their opinion, Mauler, and you know, it's like... Oh, man, their opinions okay. are just serious. Serious. You got a poopy <laughs> opinion, in, stinky. In Marvel Studios' Black Widow, <laughs> Natasha's objective is to get to the Red Noom. Oh. <laughs> I'll to catch his <laughs> All the girls were trained in the Red Noom. <laughs> well, that's a mighty nice-looking mattress there, really, isn't it, you know? Yes. Red, the red room is filled with sniper mattresses. It's where we train. <laughs> it's this whole like closet filled with them. You have to take them all off the racks to use them. <laughs> they're not they even special. They're just they're just mattresses. They play musical mattresses. <laughs> what? Master sixty nine. Quick, jump on the mattress. Oh shit! I'm out. Fuck. Yeah. That's the really hard. There's so much time like, training. training. They Not just everyone wake up, would survive they're already on their mattress, but they just begin shooting. 
<laughs> yeah, you just start shooting them when they've done the mattress. <laughs> and they go that back doesn't demand. Oh god, what? Uh -oh. oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Something, something's, oh. something's about to happen oh, with the graphics. I'm sure it's going to be more emotional the and impactful. That doesn't diminish how genuinely great this film is. <laughs> and God, it's like. Said that. Again, it's hyper generic to me. Like, why? Now it's the time. Now it's the time. Text. It's four minutes in, and he said nothing apart from selling his soul to a better health. <laughs> to Noom. Well, it's interesting. Noom. It, it is interesting how little You substance... haven't sold your soul to Noom? <laughs> well, it's interesting how little substance what he has said has at the moment, where he's like, it's emotional, it's important, and he gives no context or reason yeah, yeah, yeah. or example. It's just it's just waffle at this point. It's, it's well, so great because of all these, you know, like undefined reasons. It's like, you back up what you're saying with something. Uh -uh. We've I'm got... just going to really confidently assert that this is a very emotional, powerful, and important story, and it's so great. I'm going to say it again, but now there's text of it also <laughs> which oh makes it God. more powerful okay it certainly doesn't diminish its importance nor the importance of natasha romanoff why Think did you put the name on it, screen no. why did you do that why? tell me why i i can i know what your words are when you say them i have the ear holes i i get it <laughs> natasha numanoff if it's for the hearing impaired then why isn't the whole video like that <laughs> What just this? Like bit. closed yeah. captions exist and would probably you take. I don't get it. You, you ear it's, it's, it's you to add visual, visual. It's to add emphasis, like it's a visual emphasis, but, so it stands okay, out. Okay, so oh, why oh was why was her first name white and her last name red? Why did they do that? <laughs> yeah, why? I got nothing. I got, got because I got nothing. <laughs> and it, it's called candy cane editing. Someone's gonna say, well, because those are the Black Widow colors, right? Red and white from like the movie. No, it's red and black. Red and oh, and it's red. And... It's only it's only red white when she goes well, to like... murder the people in Siberia. <laughs> when well, she there's no reason for the dress in white. She's not like, it's snow camo. Main, she planned on that avalanche. What, yeah, the, the main... what did they think when they made that gulag anyway? Let's plonk it were. here, because this, this is a great place for an avalanche. No, people is like, well, actually trying to provide they... reasoning, like, oh, because of the red and the letter. No, why is one name white, one name red? Why did he choose those names? Why? Like, because she's white and her father Jedi was Native aesthetic. American. Is Natasha the, the clean white name white and Romanov the dirty name? Don't you know anything oh, about Oh, Romanov, red, Russian red, like the Soviets? Uh, right. But Natasha's off to that, so it doesn't red work. Red for the commies? Rusha. Rusha. Red for the Red Guardian because. Oh my god. Because the blood god. I come from a noom down under. Oh yeah, she spills so much blood. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a corn, uh, like corn? Uh, symbolism. Yeah, corn. Corn's neat. Okay. So I want to, I want to break down. I want to break down this uh, editing conve convention. No, no I just want, I just want to break down. Yeah, you want to break down? I just want to. I just want to break down. Oz, Oz, Oz. So no, I mean, Greg, Greg, quickly. Sign up to Noom, and they will protect you from breaking. Oh my God, you're right. I need to get my one on one. They have been trained in in psychology, psychologies, and 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 they'll teach you what to what to eat, and you and they'll tell you send you know pictures to their specialists. Become what should I eat? Much Noom about Skittles and Adrian, you're looking a bit down. I want you to send me a picture of your tits and i really want to see oh my god by them how oh yes yeah. send racy pictures to your supervisor that was one of the options this really yeah, it helps your mental yeah, health yes as well yes, yes. Oh. it'll yes. make you more comfortable you like clearly you'll be more comfortable with your body when you're willing to expose yourself to me a stranger on the internet yeah we're gonna uh, help you with your body them. positivity yeah body they, positivity. Said, they said eat nothing but grapes what happens when you take the g away from grapes you know i'm sensing oh a pattern my here god. <laughs> Hey, hey, me repository. Oh my yeah. god! How, how did you Great think nudity? Oh no! What? What? Ooh. How do you think of uh, Zack Snyder's adaptation of of the famous DC Comics supervillain Noomsday in BVS? <laughs> uh, I I I was not a fan of, of, the great of, God. of Noomsday's Noom. appearance, and I'm not even a big fan of Noomsday to begin with. But even then, oh. like. Noom's oh. day just kind of like you know even even by my low bar for that character it was like oh you still fucked it up cool 
new. What do you mean? That was awesome. The big orc. He was like. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to break down. I want to break down the setting do it. convention. Okay. Because I think there are some times when it, it's, it works well in your edit to have the text of a key word to add emphasis sometimes. to what you're saying. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, but sometimes. it needs to be at an important sometimes. moment when, when what you're saying, like the key word has an important emphasis to try and convey to the audience at the right time. I think it's, it's, it's misfired here. It wasn't important. There's no key thrust to what he's trying to emphasize with his point. He's just saying Natasha Romanoff. Uh, and then bang text and stuff and uh, it's it's a misfire like Natasha rub it off yeah and, hey! and see the times when you the times when you would want to use such an editing technique is when it's you're about to say something important it's like setting off a, a small atomic bomb in the video to really make the Ooh. audience pay attention to the Ooh. the big central thrust Ooh. like a you know, powerful central thrust right Ooh. of the, of the <laughs> voice are we back to grapes with those thrusts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, with the point you're making. It's, this is also similar to the misunderstanding of the writing convention show versus tell, where people say you always must show over telling, and I'm specifically mentioning the writing convention here, not necessarily uh, the visual side of it conveying in cinema. Because uh, the 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 uh, misconception about that is that showing something means that you're showing something important, and therefore you should actually reserve it more often to when it's actually doing something important. And if you were to literally show every single action, like so and so woke up and then he uh, brushed his teeth, and you actually describe every single action, it'll be one of the most boring stories in the world. And so the key part of storytelling is that you need to get over any uh first you don't need to share any information that's you know not important to the narrative and then you the other parts to just connect the dots you don't need to describe every <laughs> single thing in detail showing to the audience because the showing aspect is when you're actually emphasizing something to the reader that what is yeah. happening is important and then you you've converted you're not telling now and now you're showing it and uh, like <laughs> this is i'm quoting one of the great like authors of our time i feel also scott no. carter phenomenal author he says like showing is like an atomic bomb in your writing where you're now explaining something that's really significant in the scene you've slowed down the narrative to go through every single kind of action and movement of what's happening in the scene and therefore you need to reserve it for the right time because if you overuse it it's going to ruin your thing and it's the same thing what we're seeing here with like the text. oh oh let me, overuse... this was this applies to black widow where they showed the plunger thing the syringe in yolina's shoulder oh yeah and yeah, yeah. um and and it just was like a lot of weird attention was paid to it, and it just amounted to nothing. Yeah, exactly. Because when you overuse it, you actually dilute the audience to this really important convention because Ooh. the audience is getting all the time, and then they can't really discern properly what's the important thing because it's being you're overemphasizing all these other things that aren't important. And so when you want to actually have those important things come through with the right narrative thrust, uh, you need to use uh, the these like conventions that can hit the reader with a big impact, like, you know, throwing text up on the screen to emphasize a word, you need to use it at the right time. And, uh, mm. Sesame seed. I think in a video essays, uh, the time I will most common see them is when it's going to be the main point they're gunning for. When they're ripping down a movie or putting it into pieces and then bring it back up. And they're like, this whole movie's about loss. And then that word will come up on screen. You'll be like, okay. And then like five minutes later when they're done describing one journey of a character. And then they're like, ultimately, this is about loss. And it comes up again and you go, oh, I remember when you put that up before and it's come back. So now I remember. Like, just simple cues like that. But I don't know what happened because it is iterated into this hideous monster where you just randomly throw words on screen and they just don't, don't care anymore. I'm sad about that. Natasha I, Romanoff. We know. I have it a lot in my new video, but it's for very specific messages. And like a like if it's a whole sentence that we're breaking down, then the sentence will be there so that you could remember the sentence. And it's it's there in visual form. Exactly. Something like that. Yep. I do it correctly. Is this lost? <laughs> it was Noom all no along. All Nobody's along. using this crap. There's Noom all along. That bastard, he can't keep getting away with it. Goddamn Noom. Damn you, Noom. It was Noom all along. Here we've gone with Super...
films before the oh MCU. Oh my god! They're all about men. Much of them about no. Oh no! 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 Oh this is like saying all the soldiers in World War II just makes the stories all about men. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Mm. What about Captain Marvel? I'm guessing he's going to have to exclude that one. Yes. Important. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Natasha Romanoff. I guess my, my point with is like, wh why is that a bad thing? If it ha if it well, just let him so explain, happens, Chad. Men, let him explain. I, 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 they never, I, they they never explain why. Would would they have an issue if it was all about women in a context where women would be naturally more represented because of their natural inherent strengths? And you think oh. it's odd that men happen like, to be like, overrepresented yeah, like, in a genre of, of protection and strength and com combative ability? Shad, it's odd wait, that men wait. are overrepresented here? We've got What's that. It's called Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's on its way, buddy. <laughs> I, I think like, about where we've been. Yeah, no, well, let's just, let's see what he's, because I'm, I don't know where this one's going. Gone with superhero films before the MCU. They're all about men. No, Superman, they're not. Batman, Wolverine, Spider-Man, the Hulk, Wait, 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 he said X-Men. How many women are on the X-Men? Like, Well, no, but this doesn't work for the MCU either. He's like, what? Wait, he's I'm very showing confused. Pepper on Especially screen. now, where it's like, suspicious amounts yeah, of women. What is he about to say about Pepper? Wolverine, Spider-Man, the Hulk, Iron Man. There are certainly great characters who are women who appear in these films, but they all, even the ensemble ones like X-Men, have a clearly defined lead character that- So, you're wrong, because yeah, Mystique, right. Mystique is like front and center in the fucking, uh, the, the new ones. Remember, because Jennifer Lawrence's career kicked off as she had signed in for those films, so they started to make it like all mm -hmm. about her. That didn't but work out. Couldn't we say that, couldn't we say the most popular superhero characters are usually male characters? Is that a fair observation? Uh, yeah, yeah. because it- they, yeah. The superheroes that come from an industry, the comic industry, which is predominantly male. Exactly. This is my point. And also, the, like, men throughout history have fallen into their heroic protective role because of their natural inclinations and capacities, okay? Um, and so it's also... Ex exactly. Provider and protector, all right? And when bad things happen, you need... Like, even if it's be performed by bad men, you need good men to stop them because they're the ones most equipped to be able to do it, all right? And so it's perfectly fine to have that clear reality reflected in fictional media, okay? That men are more often taking up the role of being a protector. And look, guys love female superheroes. They exist. There's plenty of them. But the fact that there might be this guy like, loves me too I much. Wouldn't mind. I think it's. I think it's. Yeah, that's also true. I think it's. You know, a, a fair observation to say there's probably more popular male superheroes than there are female superheroes. But why is that a bad thing? All right. I mean. Well, has he I, said I, it's I, a bad thing yet? Uh, well, I mean, but his the context of this is he is saying this is a negative, and that Black Widow is there for now. Technically. Good. Uh, I don't know. We haven't gotten to it. Like, what, a lot of people I say that, but I don't think he said it yet. I can understand where right, the implication right. coming across, because it's like, these are all about men. As if it's like, let's get that clear and then talk about how we're fixing it's that. You dangerously know? close. Yeah. His next words will determine, they'll change the course of history. Forever! Yeah, all time and always. Thing. Forever. Oh, oh my god, that's a long Even time. Even the ensemble ones like X-Men have a clearly defined lead character that is a man. Storm in the X-Men films, Mary Jane in the Spider-Man films, right. Catman in, uh, you know. Catman? Cat Catman? Cat so again, again, this is like, so, so this is the problem. Before he's even made his point, we're at the point where he's kind of lied already, because again, Misty, isn't Rogue like partially the protagonist in X-Men 1 as well? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Very prominent, yeah. Um, oh, then, yeah. Th like I said, then you got Mystique. You would say that... I mean, you would say the hero character, the first X Men movie, is Wolverine. He's the one that saves well, her in the end. So we're getting brass tacks now. We're pretty much talking just about who <laughs> takes action and, and screen time involved. Like, I'm not letting him have this. He's, it's wrong, okay? It's incorrect. Rogue's got plenty of agency so, in X Men. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. 
Like I, I would say the primary yeah, no one can protagonist touch Rose. of X Men is Wolverine in that movie. Well, like I said, I'm I'm referencing not just that one, but the the later ones as well, where Mystique is like most prominently featured, and she's the team leader. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, yeah, the later ones. And like yeah. those are out by the time he's making this video, so he's not telling the truth. Sees he's not doing it. Yeah, when has no, that like, ever not stopped him? <laughs> yeah. But they're all supporting yeah. characters, propping up our man's Wait, man wait a minute. Oh, oh my god. god. Call Jean Grey yeah. in X-Men like, 2. Why like... is that a bad thing? This is like saying it's a bad thing that the, you know, in rom-com romances, it's always from the female perspective and they're the main characters and the male characters are the supporting Women love interest. love that shit. And, and they're just there for objects for the female character, the primary characters to fall in love to and stuff like that. Why? It's like saying that would be bad. It's not, it's not freaking bad. It's just obvious reality. Like, there are genres that are catered to certain genders, be genders because of the, what n they naturally yeah, well, I, I find. Think it, I think it's neutral. I don't see how it yeah, can be good or exactly. bad. It's it's, exactly. It's a neutral reality that certain bad if it things doesn't make sense, like if it makes certain sense, things feel like. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's ultimately that question of like, is there a problem that there are skewed interests? Is there necessarily a problem with the fact that more men are more likely to enjoy something and more women are more likely to enjoy something else? It's like, does there need to be a balance? Ooh. Why would be the yeah. first question. Yes. I'm also yes. If, I'm stuck back at like it's like, oh it's supporting she's just supporting the male mm -hmm. protagonist. Well, like, it's like wait, why are we the supporting character in this particular uh, How humiliating yeah. Yeah, well, why... genre you got here, boys. It'd be awful shame if his women took it over now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Are we, yeah. Are we then saying that Alexi is just supporting the female characters in Black Widow? And is that derogatory somehow? I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, well, this is why it comes from a massive like place of hypocrisy if he legitimately has an issue with the fact that a lot of the female characters can tend to be supporting you know cast members for the main hero protagonist all right you should then have an issue with rom-coms um in reverse all right you should have an issue with black widow because male characters are supporting like, like he should hate he hallmark consist... he should he should yeah, have I'll... hallmark on a on a satan altar, uh, uh, burning a satan altar. He, he has to a have satan a problem altar. with like basically every story ever because pretty much every story has one main character like or yeah, one it's central pretty common yeah. well yeah. If he would have he would have to have a problem with any story that was catered or or, or had yeah a gen uh, gender protagonist that had uh like uh, the opposite gender supporting them in a supporting role like just to be consistent with this you know, if this is a criticism, it really sounds like it is pointing this out as a criticism and a flaw with the MCU, and that is saying that Black Widow is the film to fix this. And if it is, like, it's actually revealing a large amount of sexism in his own perspective and hypocrisy. And it's like, well, ooh, so the part, this is not a good argument, mate. The part that I'm curious about is how Black Widow fixes all this. Because that's, 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 I'm assuming that's where we're going, right? <laughs> as world. Natasha Romanoff really changed that. In her introductory appearance Wait, in 2010's what? Iron Man 2, yeah, she's got the same amount of significance as her predecessors, although you could still easily argue it's a somewhat Iron Man and Cap heavy film, Natasha is more Wait, did you just call Iron Man Whoa, 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 whoa. heavy film? Like, not an Iron Man Iron Man, Iron Man. There's, there's a lot of focus on Iron Man in an Iron Man movie? What is that? Shocking! How are you missing no, the part where he said it's Iron also- Man and Cap. He said Cap as well. <laughs> What's Iron Man and Cap Captain in America's this? not in this film, you mm. dipshit. What's happening? I'm, like, I'm so his, lost. His shield is at one point. That's about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? Release, release the Captain Iron America cut. Yeah, apparently Iron there was Man a too. there was a cut of Iron Man Two where Captain Cap America cut. was featured prominently. <laughs> I don't know. I, Hashtag I'd release the Cap cut of Iron Man Two. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd be interested. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out. I just I, this I find it difficult to understand how someone could say something so blatantly incorrect, and it's just. And the context is so obvious. Like, even if we were to, you know, ignore the dumb Captain America thing, he's, like, trying to say there's a pro there's some issue with the fact that the Iron Man movie was all about Iron Man. I, I can't believe I'm hearing this. It's also weird because it's like she played a similar well, role, but she was doing... I kind of need to hear him again because I, I was I, there were several things happening all at once there that just kind of blew my mind, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I, there simply wasn't enough Iron Man in Black... Widow, for my liking. I agree with that.
Thank you. He's propping up our I need, man's I needed man the validation. hero as he saves the world. Natasha Romanoff really changed that in her introductory appearance in 2010's Iron Man 2. Yeah, she's got the same amount why of was, significance Wait, why was Iron her. Man 2? Why did the red, why did it have like the, the red I've asked, I asked like, that question. I don't know why they read I think it's things artistic. or not. I think it's just not. I think it's well, artists. I'm fine with the the particular colors being used, but why do they choose which? How do they choose which parts to make red? I don't know. I think it's just whatever. Her predecessor. Although you could still easily argue it's a somewhat Iron Man and Cap heavy film, Natasha is more <laughs> front and center <laughs> than. It's okay. really weird. Like I you could, you. I mean, you, you could mean argue Pepper that, or Tony's well. dad, sort of like. Who do you think Cap is not even introduced at this point? I think Probably he meant Pepper. Captain America. I, I, no, I think he meant Captain America. I think he's confusing this with uh, Civil War. Avengers. Captain America Three. It was Civil War. Yeah, it was yeah. Civil War. Because I, like... I was thinking like. Iron Man 2 is, like, there's nobody who's featured as prominently as, as Tony. There's no, like, oh, it's it's Tony and Rhodey's film, or it's Tony and Pepper's film. It's like, no, it's really just it's Tony's film. Not even Whiplash gets anywhere close to the, you know, weird. It's really weird. Yeah, Cap and Tony, man. It's taking that screen time away from Natasha. We argue it's a somewhat Iron Man and Cap-heavy film. Natasha is more front and center than Captain arguably Hap. any Captain woman Happy, in a yeah. comic book film before her. After Wait, what? That's not true. He said any she's more prominent than any other female has been in a comic book movie up to that point. Okay, I'm going to introduce you okay. to a little film from the 80s. Um... <laughs> Let's just, uh, let's get this. Well, but like, there's, there's plenty to reference already from, like, X Men. They're, they're more prominent than she is in Iron Man 2. I'm sorry. And I hate to say this, but there's always, uh, there's already been a Catwoman film. <laughs> uh, well oops. 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 I guess you what could say she was featured girl. relatively prominently, I guess. I mean, she's still Helen really supporting all these girl? male yeah. characters. Can you see them all? She's supporting all them. She's just supporting an industry that's dominated. Oh, yeah, there was the Electra man. film. Like, even fucking Electra in the Daredevil film is, com like, comparable. Yeah, uh, she's more prominent in that film than Black Widow is in Iron Man 2. Sorry. What a, it's similar to that statement where they'll say, you know, like, what with, um, like, what were they saying with Captain Marvel, where it's, like, the first female-led superhero is like, no, it wasn't! Do these people not know history? They want you to forget like, it so they can claim like the trophy. Years. They want to claim the trophy. Yeah, they want to claim the trophy for themselves. Black Panther, the first black man on the screen. <laughs> like, whoa! Oh, yeah, ever. <laughs> yeah, ever. Yay. First black person ever. <laughs> Chase pre-title sequence, the very first thing we cut to is Black Widow, and we spend very little time without her right up until we hit the end credits. She's essential to bringing Bruce Banner on board. She helps trick Loki. She's even something... I'm... What is he saying? Wasn't this what, what are you video... To prove about wasn't this video yeah, about Black, Black Widow? Widow? Like, the movie, I mean? Like... <laughs> yeah. What? I don't know so, what, what he's So now, is. now we've moved on to, well, she's pretty important in these films. It's like, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, in other films. I don't disagree yeah. with that. Yeah. Of a voice in during the moment where Loki's staff is kind of driving everyone insane. And of course, there's no limit to the amount of ass she kicks during the New York City climax. Her there's place in the Avengers and her bond with her teammates secured. What has he done to this Natasha footage? I don't, he's crushed it. Yeah, like Sideways. the aspect ratio has been like reduced. I, I've I've seen that a couple times. I don't know why it, it's applied Defeats here. The copyright like ghost. I don't like, think no, it's copyright. Yeah, no, Not no, this. that wouldn't work. Should be part of the group. She's often a measured voice of reason, but even during times of the Why aren't you showing conflict, footage of her being a measured a voice of reason? Part of the crew, part of the ship. To both Bruce Banner and Steve Rogers in particular. Her voice is the thing that can most easily bring Bruce back from being the Hulk, and through her experiences okay. alongside Steve in The Winter Soldier, they develop a mutual trust that is matched by. I don't know what the fuck is. What's the point of any of this? Can, where are yeah, we going? I'm like, okay, get back to Black Widow, the movie that you said was just the bestest ever. So, people, Re remember when so the point was uh, women aren't featured as prominently and they often support male characters? I guess he's trying to say that all, no. of, all of Black Widow stuff in the MCU has been like her own stuff, even though didn't he essentially just 
imply that she supports Hulk and Steve? Couldn't you make that argument? Yeah. Yeah, he, he has established right now that she's playing an important supportive role. And I was like, yeah. I, I agree. Uh, why is this a bad thing? Well, I, I, that's, I don't know. I thought that he was trying to put this in opposition to stuff like Spider-Man 2 and whatever else. Like, this is different. She's, like, something else. Like, I don't know what he, where he's going. I'm very confused. She's, she's playing a more active hmm. role. I don't get it, yeah. ...either of their lives. And then, of course, there's Clint Barton, with whom Natasha had already formed a sibling-like lifelong bond. Natasha abandons her espionage assignment Sibling during the Avengers in order... Bond? Is the point. I, I, so, 15 uh, minutes, 15 minute video, you spent your first two minutes on Noom, and then you're recapping, <laughs> you're recapping Black Widow's other movies, you're running out of time. Was, but it's yeah, important. you're right, we, we're almost this, halfway, and I mean... At this rate, this video is Noomed. We are This is the kind of thing we'll have, like, a, like an hour-long video. On. Yeah, like, one minute on Noom is, that's you way know, it's too amazing. You know, it's amazing. We, I think we spent like an hour and a half on this video already, and he still hasn't talked about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? just asserted oh. it was amazing. Yeah, well, that thing, yeah, nothing specific got the substance. Yeah. yeah, there was like a 10 nothing second... Nothing substance of the movie. There was like a 10 second portion of the video where he was like, Black Widow's great, it's got great characters, it's great, it's great. Anyway, Black Widow throughout all the MCU, in all of her films other than Black Widow, here we go. <laughs> Why? What's, what was the point of this video? I think... I... Is this him trying to say why Black Widow is so important? I'm get well. We're, we're gonna get to Black Widow eventually, surely, right? Well, he's running. He's yeah. got. He's got is seven minutes just left. A, is this just to contextualize why she deserves her own film? Maybe. Well, we already all agreed with this. Like we, when he said, yeah, when he said, Phase yeah, Two yeah. came. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the the movie came too late. It's like yeah. So we all yeah. already agree. Like why we why 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 why? It's it's like oh, yeah. When, oh, He's like the Marcus Brown of the, the Mark Brown fuck. I, uh, it's like, Marcus Brown. He's like he's like, Mark, he's Brown like fuck Mark my favorite he's, YouTuber. He's the Mark Brown of movie reviewers right now. Oh. He's not saying shit. Let him say nothing. Go to Bond. Do it. Natasha abandons her espionage assignment during the Avengers in order to help Clint overcome. Why are you using this visual when that's the other scene? Uh, uh. Oh well. Death um, by Snoom Snoom. Of course, between her time in the Red Room and her subsequent life as a conditioned killer for post-Soviet Russia, oh. Natasha spent much of her life manipulated Russia. and Just woefully mistreated, conditioned and activated to do horrible things to people. It was a long, arduous journey for her to become the hero she is. She couldn't do it alone, and Clint played a big part in bringing out her humanity. We're halfway. What are you I doing? I having her blow up child. Lost nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And kill a child. We've re like remember. we've done a basic remember. recap of Natasha Romanov in the MCU. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, so, I mean, how does it relate to the entire... women movies? Oh, oh, he's oh. the what? He's like he said. He's the family, the probably. Oh, she, she, she's uh, the oh. become the hero she is. She couldn't do it alone, and Clint played a big part in bringing out her humanity. He's family. The oh, entire team is oh. family. If there's a common thread throughout that Natasha hurts Romanoff's your movie a lot, by the way. <laughs> Highlighting that her entire team is family really hurts your movie. Yep. Appearances Babies. in the MCU, it's that when her family is in need, she will come and she will. No, she won't. <laughs> no, she won't. Why are you showing no. She left of... them for decades. <laughs> also, Why what a fucking imagery of her being saved. Yeah, by wrong the visual. Wrong fucking but she vision. She is saving them. What's going on? And I can't believe. How do people watch Black Widow the movie and conclude, ah, oh, yes, she'll always do everything she can for her family? It's like, she will come. They told us that she, she didn't do fuck come. all. They have a scene where she looks down because she's like, oh, fuck, yeah, I kind of did abandon all of you, didn't I? <laughs> what, the, what film did you watch? She always oh. comes through for him, guys. She always comes through for her family. He did not oh, come. Chat's blowing not up. Not fast in the fucking furious. Jesus Christ. God, it's so annoying to listen to, and it's like this didn't happen in the film. <laughs> I know, and you know what? I know the writers wanted it, but they just they were too stupid because they were busy trying to prop up Yelena, and then they were like, "Wait, let's make it so Natasha sucks." And he's like, "No, you can't do that. Cause she cares about her family." It's like, "Ah, eh, fuck it, whatever. She's she's dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just <laughs> it's fine." 
and she will not anyway, what do we get? In Black Widow, Natasha fights to fix her fake Russian family. No, she doesn't. No, she Stop doesn't. saying that. What? She what doesn't. Are you talking about? Her motivation Make is explicit. She doesn't want them there at all. Her, her motivation is explicit. It's to stop Drakov and destroy the Red Room. It has nothing to do with these people. She didn't want to break out her father. Like, no. Nope. Like, it was a necessity that she reluctantly had to do. Remember, she almost, mom was dead. she almost leaves to do the mission herself, and the mum is like, it's too dangerous, don't do it. No. Galel. No. Galel! Problems, oh, no, wrong. been separated oh. from them for yeah. over two oh, yeah. I, I love as well, it's like, oh, she'll do anything for this family, the so close part is like, plays visual of them trying to kill each other. <laughs> 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 oh, please include the ping pong clip. Do it. In Black Widow, Natasha fights to fix her fake Russian family's problems, nope. even though she's nope. been separated from them for over two decades. That's her choice, by the way. She did that. Yes. Of course, she does so while she's on the run and separated from her new Avengers adopted one, and it's in helping uh. her old family that she learns how she can she doesn't help do save much her about new this one. Avengers which, family wait, what? There. What? She said wait. by helping her old family, she learned how to help her new one. What are you talking? What did she learn what in Black you, Widow? What? what fucking film Tell me did what you she watch? Learned. <laughs> what did she learn? What, what did, are you talking like, what about? What did she learn? Where? Like what? Actually, what? What did she learn? Tell me. I need to know. This she, is information she, my brain desires. To do in Infinity War and Endgame. Wait, how does that? Alien? No, I need to hear that again. How is it? What did she translate from her movie to those films? Them for over two decades. Of course, she does so while she's on the run and separated from her new Avengers adopted one. And it's in helping her old family that she learns how she can help save her new one, which she will go on to do in Infinity War and Endgame. What are you? You you just you didn't connect it with anything. You just said it's the case. Yeah, it's the killer. Cell? Exactly. There's no evidence to support what he's saying. He's just trying to say things that sound meaningful with no <laughs> substance learned, behind it. Learned about family. He was here. Or, in... you support your argument. Le yeah, if he was here and we asked him, oh, wait, what what does she learn exactly? I, I'm curious what he'd say. Uh, well, we know how to protect her family. He's like, no, 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 no. Maybe no, she no, did no, learn. What 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 does she learn? How to kill herself. That was it. Like, she got the idea from fucking all the time she didn't die. She was like, you know what? This Practice makes perfect. <laughs> she kept trying, and you know, she finally got it in Endgame. Oh man, That's like. Her arc. Black Widow just trying to die, and she just keeps on failing, and then one day she finally succeeds. It just makes me think of when you don't think about movies at all, or the events that happen, because you're just like, you know what? She did kind of learn from having met Alexi and Melina and Yelena, mm. that family is more important, and you can fix it, and that's what she did. You, just, you, you know, just, you just I, made I, that I up. See, <laughs> I want to see if I can do this, right? Like, because I, I feel, I don't know, the, the tr like, truly... What, what, the, what was important about the Black Widow film is that by her facing against Taskmaster, a villain that can adapt to every situation, Natasha had to confront the, the, the problem she had in herself to adapt to uh, difficult changes. And it's because she defeated Taskmaster in this film, it enabled her to be able to adapt to the difficult changes that she was going to face in the future MCU. Did I do it? Maybe. Is that the same? Oh, is that no, the same? Bad, it's definitely better. Vapid, vapid. No, no. Is, is it the same type of vapid, un, <laughs> un, un, oh, yeah, un yeah, yeah. you know, bull crap. But, where I, but I believed what you were saying more. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no substance to what I said at all. But it's the same type of thing where they're just trying to create connections that don't have evidence to back him up in any way. And she didn't learn to adapt to defeat Taskmaster at all. But uh, 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 it was just complete bullcrap. But in this, but they say it with confidence and that it has meaning to it. And it's, it's nonsense. I just, I, I did, we've managed to get that leaked poster of Iron Man 2 with Cap. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is the unreleased one. Yeah. It looks pretty Don't intense, spread it right? Too far and wide. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we, we could get taken down if they find out we've been spreading this, so... If they find, I am. Yes, hush, hush. Keep it, keep it just, we just between you, we just need between to see you that. and me. It'll be your little secret. Okay. Your I want to see that film, though. Um, <laughs> Donald Chess said, I think his reasoning is she saved her fake family, and she saved the Avengers later because they are also family. No, she saved the Avengers first. 
She didn't even save her family. She was going in for Yelena. She didn't like the two teams that separate. They didn't fucking care about each other in that whole scene. They're just like, oh well. I hope you guys make it. And then later on, she's limping to him like, I made it. Yay. They don't even have conversation. Like, there's not that whole action scene happens after they have their big blowout, and we don't really get anything to connect them back again. Like a conversation, I mean, a realization. Well, they're just like, yeah, you okay? Yeah. Like, oh man, if we could fix it all up, maybe the Avengers have a chance. Like, what do you mean? Fi you didn't talk about. Melina should be shot. Come on, guys, get your guns. Enough. She's a horrible war criminal, crazy, horrible scientist person. Get rid of her. Experimenting hey. on children. Get Rick Flag to kill her, please. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. She experimented on children. She's a piece no, of shit. Is, is he? Is he dead yet? Or I don't even know. Fuck it. Yeah, I guess you you he, he wouldn't be at that point. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Parallels, so, you know. You know what? No, 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 no. If Kang if... can interfere with DC, Kang. No, no, no. If if Peacemaker is still alive, then Rick Flag can probably survive. He would be alive uh, anyway. This is this is oh, set in he's, Civil he's War time, so he's. That was metaphorical. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we're going back in yeah, time. This is, this is like a year after Suicide Man, Squad, right? Man, so, yeah. He's, yeah. He's chilling out. He's doing great. He still wants to fight for children. So get him in here, kill Molina, then go back over to the Suicide Squad. He'll be fine. Yay. That calm to her self-sacrifice yeah. during Endgame Yay. because she's the character who would do so for the others probably before anyone else. Even oh, Hawkeye literally tried to stop her from uh, doing it. She's yep, actually do it doing himself. it for Clint. She's doing it for Clint. <laughs> I, fi I find it interesting that, like, the scene itself is the two of them competing to do the act, and he just said, like, she's the one that would do this. Like, yeah. the two of them were gonna yeah. do this. <laughs> like, but, but, but here's the thing. We didn't need her own movie to establish no. this. No. Her own movie is not... It, it's not even superficial. It's, it, it's antithetical. They didn't he's need it. To, um, he's trying to wreck on stuff she's already done into her motivation for doing it was because of this film. Yeah, like as, as if it had anything to do with the fucking written. the fake family shit. It's like, no, go away. You're all horrible people anyway. Yeah. Even Steve Rogers, who once oh, jumped on what he thought was a live grenade. Nat's loss is felt in universe, but has been felt much more potently on the other side of the fourth wall. She's important to the MCU. She's important to us, and she continues. I think the char huh? I think the characters in the universe probably care more than I do. I think it's funny yeah. how he <laughs> used like. Uh, he used... I mean, I'm not saying I'm not gonna. I, I do care, but like I, they care more. I think it's they, funny they how definitely he, care more. He, he used the scene. Oh, okay, from... probably cares more than I do. Yeah, I like how they use the scene from Tony's funeral to indicate her like her loss. And like, why don't you use the bit where Hawkeye is talking to Scarlet Witch yeah. after the yeah, funeral? Why use the yeah, yeah, or or the fucking <laughs> the grave, her, her grave. Yeah, why wouldn't you just use that? Yeah, it used to be important so. even after she's gone, and even more so. No one's ever really gone. Of her legacy no. is tied sure. together with that of Unless spy Kate cinema. So. For all the aches and pains we felt during the Bond hiatuses, for as much as we wish we could have a Mission Impossible movie every single year. Wait, what was no, that yeah, what? No, 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 no. I don't want it every single year. I want every few Go years. Away. I want them to take the time they need to make the films, yeah. Fuck you. If it takes them five years, then do it. Fucking do it. Just make it take good. Take as long as you need. Jesus Christ. You cannot rush a masterpiece. Just, just take as long as you have to take. No, rush it out. Just was, get say, content, 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 content. We've come across oh, this before. Uh, like that mindset, they don't realize how bad it is for what we've got. It's like, I want a Marvel movie every year. I want a Mission Impossible movie every year. Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars story, K2SO mini story, everything. Do it. No. Give, me the, give, give me more keys, jangle away. <laughs> it's not a secret. Things take a lot of time to get right. Yeah, it's not a secret that I love Mission Impossible, but god damn, I do not want a, a Mission Impossible movie every You'll single year. You'll get the year. fucking, would, the process will do no one to mulch. Yeah, it'll just be shit. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I completely forgot that those films were even brought up. The fucking spy shit, we're finally back to it, we got there. It's like, the spy shit is relevant again. We did Oh yeah, it. that's right, he was talking about spy shit. I forgot, that was so long <laughs> ago. We went from Noom to the recaps to... Uh, a cap in movies. Iron Man yeah. 2 to female characters. Oh, we've lost like, so many things. I feel like <laughs> when, we, 
I feel like when we started this video, Spy Kids 3D New Mover was still in theaters. Oh, oh my god. god. What a film it was. Good times. What a noom it was. What he is, is the character has consistently been here to fill the gaps, even if the movies she's featured in don't exactly fall under what we think of as spy cinema. What was the ding? The what the hell just happened there? Was that watched together or the video? Uh, I, no, I feel uh, like if it, it, it was, if it was a delay, I got the delay too. So let's try it again. ...been here to fill the gaps, even if the movies she's featured in don't exactly fall under what we think of as... Oh, spies. he <laughs> fucked up! He <laughs> fucked oh. up! Was that supposed to match the text on screen? Whoops. Like, that's that's the text. really hard to fuck up in Vegas, too, or any editor, really. <laughs> I mean, you must have proofed it, right? How do you, that's one you easily Probably spot. The time, yeah. that, that's, that's the, the kind of mistake that's disturbing to you, even if you're not listening, because you're just like, that was out of sync. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, what was that? I like how we all noticed it, though. Yeah. It's probably like, it was nah, just so... I can't be bothered to edit it out, because I've got to get my Noom, my Noom 20 quid. <laughs> no time Wait, for Noom. On. Oh, And, it, on, and it was really okay. loud, too. Maybe that's mm -hmm. something that, that no, made it so obvious no. how loud it was. Apparently, apparently, that's that's not edited in. Apparently, that's uh, Griffin leaving his phone on and notifications coming on while he's recording his audio. <laughs> he didn't notice. Oh, oh really? But, but there is software that can remove that, though. You can just isolate it. Say, yeah, just fucking remove it. That's he, he could have that. he could have, no, he he could have he... just edited either side and then just cleared the oh. edit, cleared the volume. I'm confused. Yeah, why, really phone? Put, why couldn't he re-record re the line? I'm, uh, what's, what's the problem? Apparently he put a disclaimer uh, talking about it. Oh my god! Oh, oh yeah, there was wow. that disclaimer beforehand, wasn't there? Yeah. It was, uh, like, he couldn't just re-record that bit of audio? No. <laughs> like, the answer is no. I'm recording audio, I'm, I'm, you know, with my microphone in the lounge room, and I need my kids to be quiet for a quick little thing, and you know, my son or even baby son might make a noise. I just re-record and take it and do it the other take to make sure the noise doesn't get into thing. It's not that you hard. Can't, you, do, come on. <laughs> you can't do like two takes. I mean, come on. But, though you do just, realize you now need to put a ding in. Uh, that's crazy the talk. I shall put possibly several. Di that was what Das Bullshit was talking about when he was on, on you. He was like, the fucking sounds like dings and whatever. These people never, never balance them properly, because they look at it in the timeline, like, yeah, that's fine. Not fine. We've achieved ding. maximum ding. Cinema. The Winter Soldier is probably the closest Natasha has gotten to oh, a glow. Oh no. no, two of them? Damn. Three! This no. is the third, that's the third. That was the th oh shit, okay. Wait. How it is was it a so second? prominent? How is it so loud? Is it right next to the microphone? <laughs> His phone? So mute the fucking microphone when you record! Because that is a... That is a clear, distinct, very prominent bell. Yeah, it sounds like it's on the timeline as a thing, but... Mm. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm an idiot, like, balancing the ding. Of course he wouldn't have, because apparently he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's just like, it's there, whatever, it happened. Apparently, according to my source, there are a lot of dings till the end of the video. What? Oh, no. to Why wouldn't you re-record? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he, edit, he could easily edit out the dings easily. Even in the same recording, yeah, it is. Like even in the same audio take, you say a line, and if a ding happens that interrupted the word you did, you just go back a sentence and start ding, again. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> There it's are. not hard! I don't get it! Ding, 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 and the, ding, ding, ding. the bell cannot be unrung! Oh my <laughs> god. No no. Ask not for running <laughs> the phone dings. It dings for the... Dead. Dings for noon. Exactly Things fall under what we think of as spy Oh my cinema. god. The Winter Soldier <laughs> is probably the closest Natasha has gotten to a <laughs> world oh, it's such oh, a no. It's such a cue, like, you think to look on the screen, like, oh, what are we doing? Are we counting something? Yeah. Like, what's happening? What's a, is, is, did he say something important <laughs> yet? Like, oh. He's just it's doing like, it to pay uh, attention. <laughs> it's just, it's an experiment. Uh, it's a psychological experiment. It literally <laughs> sounds edited. It's, yeah. This is called, sounds this is edited. Pavlov's How editing. How loud is this phone? <laughs> You think this is why it got downvoted? <laughs> <laughs> it's People a just got ding. sick of the dings. 
So if you, if you stop paying attention, uh, people... you'll occasionally hear a ding. It's like, oh fuck, fuck, oh no, oh fuck, oh what, what, oh, well, oh, oh. Think oh. about all the people who are listening to this, and they heard the ding, and they checked their phones. Yeah. Oh. By the way, that's the that's the frame of the disclaimer. By the way. Oh, let me get that one. Quick disclaimer, right here, my phone goes off a couple of times. A couple of times? It's five already. No. Without me just noticing. So just pretend it didn't happen and keep watching the vid. Good, good. You Fuck So off. you took the time to edit this because you yes. recognized it, but you didn't re-record the lines where your phone makes a loud dinging noise? Well, just... How much just... do you not care? Just pretend that it's what you wanted, Rags, and see. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. This is Mark. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Makes me upset and angry. Ding, 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 ding. Save Noomtha. Ding, 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 ding. Save Noom. Ding, 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 ding. Why did you say that? Why did you say that name? Why did you say that Noom? But anyway, let's, yeah, let's listen out for some more dings. It's his mother! It's the name of his mother! This Natasha has gotten to a globe-trotting <laughs> espionage adventure like we expect of James Bond. But even that <laughs> oh, film God, is very much a Captain America superhero flick. I'm so anxious now that the ding's gonna yeah, go the off. Yeah, the ding's at any I'm trying to Showdown. understand his point here. Is is he trying to say these other films are better because they had espionage elements in, or that they had espionage elements in, but they weren't true espionage films, and he re and therefore the Black Widow film is better because he thinks it's a proper espionage film, even though there's better espionage elements in these other films. Is referencing? I'm I'm not following his point. I don't. What everyone's trying to say. Everyone's asking me to get Delve the ding. I did it ages ago already. Like, there's just more digs. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, let's expect digs. More dings uh, then. More dings. More. More, dings, more I say. Uh, you know, this is I'm kind of like Chi Chinese water torture, where the anticipation is kind of what is creating this yeah. sense of foreboding. Oof. I like the way you said it. A couple of dings, and what? We're up to seven or eight now. Yep a Captain America superhero flick with the expected showdown between Avengers and its necessary escalation of action to a realm beyond espionage. What the fuck is he saying? What are we saying? Oh, no, I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hear that again. I legit no, I'm just gonna have to hear that one again. Dude, he lost the me when he said Avengers. Espionage. Avengers, I don't, I don't know if that fit the sentence properly. I got lost at that point and the rest of it was gobbledygook, so... In the I'm sorry, room. you guys are gonna have to hear some more dings because I really have to get the context for this one. Uh, Winter Soldier geez. is probably the closest Natasha has gotten to uh. a globe-trotting espionage adventure like we expect of James Bond. But even that film is very much a Captain America superhero flick with the expected showdown between Avengers and its necessary it's escalation Captain of America action to Captain America and the Winter Soldier! Oh, yeah. First Iron Man 2, now you Captain! America. <laughs> Yeah, you said. Is, I would say, He's... I would say, there's more espionage kind of subplots to Cap and Winter Soldier than there was in Black Widow. Like he had to, you know, go underground, undercover, and there's a lot of yeah. We we actually we did we did mention that earlier on the video, I think, and we all we all did agree because the the thing that's losing me here is he, he yeah. as I just wanted to really highlight because because it was it was brought up briefly there, but like he did it with adding Cap into Iron Man Two, he just added the Avengers into Winter Soldier. You said, like, well, we're gonna get that Avengers payoff, we're all gonna fight the bad guy. It's like, well, I mean, it's Cap, Falcon, and Black Widow. I guess that counts as the Avengers. This is a guy who thinks Captain appeared in Iron Man 2, so, I don't know. He does think that, that's true. Hero flick with the expected showdown between Avengers and its necessary escalation of action to a realm beyond espionage and into fantasy. But now, what? what? Fantasy? So, so he's saying am, he's what? saying we all expected at the end of Winter Soldier for it to evolve to a point where the Avengers will have to battle something fantasy related and evolve past uh, espionage. That didn't happen though. Why? There's no magic no, in the movie. That. No, there isn't. I no history. Oh, if it's if, 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 it, if it's trying to say that it didn't end with like a spy thriller thing with just a big battle sequence at the end, that's essentially what happened in Black Widow too. 
Like, yeah, so, Black Widows was insane. <laughs> it, was, it was it was so dumb on so many levels, but it was still one of those <laughs> you know, special effects escapades, right? <laughs> the same, like, uh. Sorry, sorry, Shad. The posted memes and the they're just they're sorry, very the amusing. Power is. I just <laughs> thought I was saying something we've, funny. We've, here. we've now oh, got no, Henry no. Cavill, Gal Gadot, <laughs> and Josh Brolin <laughs> in the new Iron Man. Oh, this dark side. Dark sides of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Iron Man Two. Wait, what's that text? I'm on, a... on the repulsor. What's the text? I think it's too blurry, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, I, I always felt that Iron Man Two, like. Darkseid really took a lot of the attention away from Natasha in that yeah. film. Just like making it all about Steppen him. Steppenwolf was badass in it, though. He was. Oh really... yeah, and Lo when Steppenwolf and Loki took out Cap, that was oh, that was great. Oh man, that was excellent. <laughs> I like when Gandalf showed up as well. I thought that was a tasteful cameo in the post. Like, yeah, I gotta say it's unexpected. Unexpected. In the post credits and prior pre credits and pre intro and post intro scenes, yeah, all those were Gandalf. It's pretty cool. Mm. You know, you bookended it pretty well, I think. But when he had when he had the showed the infinity gone off, oh, holy shit! I yeah. was like, um, using his infinity star. With the expected showdown between Avengers and its necessary escalation of action to a realm beyond espionage and into fantasy. Into but now with Black Widow, finally Natasha Romanoff is given her Bond film. After all the pain no. and fun. No, she wasn't. Like no, she isn't. Nothing she, Bondy here. She doesn't get There's to control nothing. anything. Everybody pushes her around into yeah, doing well, stuff. Well, like, all right, all let, of the Bond stuff is, is done off screen by some guy who gives her aircraft. I oh. did it. Uh, but, like, it, it, let's try and uh, see if there's any uh, appropriate comparison. Okay, there's a big evil layer that's ridiculous and over the top. You see a lot of that in a lot of different Bond films. And so... There's that is uh, maybe um, there's a bad guy in a evil layer. Does she ever oh, go okay. undercover and uh, or yeah, like there's that slight mask thing, but that's like the only thing she and it's not even her idea. Iron Man, yes, yeah, Molina's idea and tech. When she's out in public in this, nobody recognizes her, and she doesn't yep. seem to like yep. try and hide it. She's terrible at she's his job. She's doing the opposite of spy like, thing. Yeah, she's and, the anti-spy. And there's a lot of fun, interesting kind of tropes that you food. can see in Bond films. Like one of the interesting things that gets repeated and is a nice kind of classic trope is that there's a dynamic between Bond and whatever villain is in the thing. And they usually meet before the final showdown and they match wits or they have they play poker or something like that where they're facing off each other and the, and the tension is trying to be, be increased between the, 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 the sometimes there's, it's... No, there's the none of that. <laughs> the competition between there's him and the villain and things... Uh, but there's none of that, in, like, in uh, Black Widow. Yet this is a no fairly Bond classic trope. No Bond girl equivalent trope. either. Yeah. You have, uh, yeah, like, there's oh. no... I guess for this, it would be a, 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 a hot guy that she seduces slash works with <laughs> or yeah. something. But that it definitely is, ain't happening in this movie. It, it, yeah, it's such a stretch to try and compare this to a classic styled Bond film where the only you know, connective thing that you could really push towards is the over the top layer. Uh and that's that's kinda is. There's not much else. Uh, is there any cool um, gadgets? No no, not really. Well, okay, uh, well, I mean, so didn't you love it when she outsmarted Dracov in like that interrogation style by saying he sucks? Oh my god. That was mm. retarded. What? It was so cool. It was just like James Bond, where he would like sort of in a battle of wits outsmart the villain in the way that best. Because you see, with Drakov, he's like he's like really prideful, so he doesn't like being told that he's not good, and so that made when him really upset. When was the last time you watched Doctor No? I watched no. Doctor yes. yesterday with my best friend Wombis. He's, he's, he's... Right. So in Doctor No, when <laughs> Sean Connery says, "Why do they call you Doctor No?" Is that what the women say to you? And then <laughs> Dr. No got really mad and tried to attack him. <laughs> that, that, Don't remember that minute. I remember when he was like, hey, Dr. No, you shit. You haven't achieved anything. You shit, you're so shit. <laughs> and then Dr. No was like, I'm gonna fuck you up. And he, he tripped over a wire and smashed his face on the floor. And then James Bond was like, yeah. Gotcha. All right, all right. We, we need a classic James Bond li a line now to redeem us. You expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I, I expect gone. you to die. No, Mr. <laughs> Bond, I expect you to noob. 
guy. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you guys remember in Goldfinger when he first sees the lady that's all gold? I remember when I first saw that, and it's it's like a moment where it's like, oh my good Moonraker. god, like holy that's shit. Goldfinger. And sorry, that's Goldfinger, not Moonraker. I said Goldfinger. Oh, did you? I yeah. was thinking Moonraker. Oh. No, oh. I was singing. I was singing Noomraker. Oh, hang on, hang yeah. on. Which Sorry, Bond film do you try? Are you talking about the there. man with the golden gun? No, Goldfinger. Sure. No, gold so there's a woman. <laughs> there's a woman who's all gold, and and it happens near the beginning, and Bond's like, oh, "I my love God. gold." I, that's Gold Member, which is just you know fantastic too. You know, um, but yeah, I remember because I, when my dad first showed me that movie, and I was like, "Did did they like dunk her in gold and then let it dry, and then they put it back in the room, or did they paint her after drugging her, and then like that killed her? How did that happen?" It was oh, so long since I've seen the film, but I think they painted her, which either poisoned like, her like, through the skin. the skin. Yeah. 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 And she suffocated, basically. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you're right, yeah. I, I just remember seeing it and being like, I, my, my old child brain was like, wow, they took her out of the room, took her to like a factory of gold, and then dunked her in the thing and <laughs> took her out, froze it, and then put it back, and been like, yeah, we did that. <laughs> we have the resources. <laughs> How much is she wear? You're only a little noomster at the time, so it's fine. I love God. I love God. Fighting, she lays a trail for women superheroes. Black Widow gets a payoff of her Stop. own. It's you something of a staple for MCU films to have their title sequences at the end of the film. Here. We get a pre-title sequence that oh. makes. Do not use How the American title That's just normally like That's in real. I'm, I'm, why, why are we doing that? Like, they usually get put those in the end, but it was the beginning of this one. It's like, what does that mean? What, what are you inferring I'm from sorry. that? that? What do you mean, I what does it mean? It, it, it means everything. What? Um, I, I didn't respond to that because I was just stunned into silence with the sheer <laughs> irrelevance of what <laughs> my ears are being irrelevant <laughs> with. Through the sheer irrelevance, I was. Stunned. <laughs> this is this is some pretty yeah, fucking retarded stuff. Oh, we get yeah. we get so much oh. of that on Eva, like just the sheer irrelevance. <laughs> Through the sheer irrelevance of something, I was. It's stunned. important I'm... that she had a credit scene at the beginning. <laughs> I'm also. I'm incredibly annoyed that he is using the Americans opening credit sequence to compare this to Black Widow, which has one of the worst too. opening credit sequence. This 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 is a great fucking show and this title sequence is a banger. Just look up the Americans opening credits on YouTube. 30 seconds, very quick, tells you everything you need to know about what this show's about. And uh it's it's a fucking stellar opening. And now he's comparing it to Black Widow and and that that I'm not liking it. I don't like it at all. Noom. Entertain. Get me the Noom out of here. Of her own. It's something Noom of a staple here. for MCU films to have their title sequences at the end of the film. Here, we get a pre-title sequence that mixes the Americans with Casino Royale, which leads into a theme song and a title sequence. Well, okay, it's yeah, actually that cover of sequence. Smells Like Teen Spirit you've heard. I'm so lost, what also, the fuck is it to do with anything? We're about to talk about the shitty song. It also has, it does not have the, the like, aesthetic or style that Casino Royales has. I'm just, uh, what no the fuck does all of this though. mean? Why is he even saying yeah. this? I know, it, I have yes, no nice fucking idea. Edit. But like, what so, what does it mean that it's in the f in the beginning rather than the end? What is... If we grant everything he's claiming about the credits is true and we agree, that just gets us to well, that's nice. I don't even I didn't even know to say that's nice. I just I was just like, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what the point no, is. I would say my, my my thing would be so question mark. So okay. not to mention um Okay. Like like it's hard to ignore that fucking cover. It's the whole sequence. <laughs> so, like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Her going around but it's a sequence lifted right out of Bond. Oddly enough, oh. it's most specifically. I, you know what this is? I, I know what this is, right? This is this is a guy who uh, loves his Bond films, uh, but yet cries when he has a wank over James Bond because he thinks he's straight. So now he's he's projecting <laughs> all of that onto Black Widow, and and now that he he can, he can he can have a, a he's new. Okay, I apologize. 
uh now he, he can he can wank away to this and imagine bond but through the lens of black widow and and he's gonna be good gold wanker <laughs> wow, wow, wow. gold he's not the man, the man with the one-eyed willy wow, 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 wow. He's he bond spills sexual. his jelly wow, wow, wow. I think um, he definitely wants the movie to be like Bond. That's obvious. Find in any way he can to sort of. No, he wants her to. No, legitimately, I think he wants. He he's literally projecting Bond onto. He wants her to be Bond. Da -da, At that point, da -da, you've just da -da, watched Atomic Blonde. That that's basically female bo Bond. Yeah. Atomic bomb. All beast. And then we're put right into adult Natasha's shoes and go with her on the mission. Speaking of, I'm pleased to announce that Natasha is not sidelined in her yes, own- Yes, she is. Oh! Yes, she is. It's amazing. It's actually amazing. It's actually amazing. She is, yeah. That's one of the, the really lame fucking issues of this movie. Everyone else gets to decide what we do. rip a Wow. Why are you fucking lying? Pretty much lying? just one scene that isn't connected to her. But the homages don't end with just Bond, and they aren't all so specific. <laughs> Natasha has a wonderfully fun Incredibles like dynamic with her family. Incredibles like oh, dynamic? No, 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 no. Did he say no, 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 in no, no, said no. incredible dynamic or Incredibles like? An dynamic. Incredibles like Put your dynamic. Fork back in your mouth yeah though. he because he, he was like hmm family superheroes what else does that incredibles it's kind of like that it's like you do get that the four of them never actually do anything together right that never happens <laughs> oh, oh wait are we talking about the uh, like star wars or <laughs> um <laughs> you, you okay <laughs> no like we're uh, like we the four of them never get to do anything you having a nice day sir you feeling all right you having a biden yeah, moment like, as, again. as the spirit of biden no I, like you said like the four of them never get to do anything together and i was like oh you mean like star wars do you, do you mean no, when, when you say star wars do you mean together? three no uh i mean the the uh the disney trilogy oh you mean the abominations uh -huh. no i know but you're talking about han luke and leia right what do you I'm mean chewy. Oh, you, oh, okay. And Chewie, okay. Well, 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 I, throw him in, I throw him in because he's with like, Han Solo oftentimes, you know, Copai's so, on, and they go on. But you're not going to throw in R2-D2. James T. Kirk wants me to sing more no, in the chat. No, I, 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 if, if R2 wasn't there, there I'd be, I'd be, yeah. yeah. no Lando either. We could do that, yeah. Yeah, mm. we could do that. Mm -hmm. But she didn't. <laughs> we, yeah, but we could have. We but could mix and match the R2. Because we're, we're essentially, we're choosing a hypothetical, and even in the hypothetical, it doesn't happen. So it's like double layers of it not happening. It's okay. I was, I was mainly saying that they, in this movie, split into two groups of two. They never actually uh, do a full guy thing. Except when they're at the table, which I don't think that counts as anything. But, you know, Incredibles. Like Inc Incredibles, Mike. Natasha has a wonderfully fun Incredibles like dynamic with her family and no. anytime Russians are involved with a spy film you're going to inevitably evoke John Le Carr and the Cold War. Natasha no. also why this film takes place in 2016 dude this is not a Cold War well, movie and if it well, counts as evoking it the they, are, they are cold they are in the avalanche, true. and there is there are there are elements of war occurring here. You know, in some ways, yeah, if you interpret it vaguely, isn't it pronounced John LeCarry as well, not John LeCar? John LeCarry. But could interpret you not have like a spy film that takes place in World War Two or or something like that? You don't. Why does it need to evoke the Cold War? Like this is retarded. Help me. Well, they're Russians and they're spies. So it's got to be the Cold War, I guess. It's gonna evoke it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so has to read herself in Black Widow. Oh who she God. is, who she was, oh, what is the best way to deal with her? Yeah, murder. we got told who she is and it ruined everything because they didn't know who she was. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what we got. Yeah. 
past sins and who her family really are. She's fighting to dismantle a system she was fortunate right? enough to not, escape no. from, whereas nearly everyone else who was trapped in it never got no, out of it. No, she, wasn't looking, she like wasn't looking to do that at all. She left them all there to rot. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it sucks, man. Why did you make Holy that a history? I, I thought you got out. It's like, oh, did you? That's great. Why would you <laughs> that I would have done that? Thing. Why would you check on me, you bitch? Like, what the fuck? You could have saved me years ago. Oh, I hate it. Why did they ruin it? Why'd you do that? Oh, does that remind you of a certain amnesiac super agent whose name also starts with a B? In fact, no, let's doesn't. go back to James Bond. I, wait. Oh god. All of a sudden it's like, born. is there any spy movie that this movie is not like for you? Wait, wait, so I... hold on. First off, his name is David Webb. His last name begins with B. Natasha's name doesn't begin with a B. It's just her code name, Black Widow. Wait. So that doesn't fucking no, work. I think you, you messed up. He's talking about Bond is a person who has B and then born is a person with B. I think oh. that's as far as he this, went. This guy is just happy that... Because this movie's Beast. stealing everything from other films. Well, I feel like these connections eye. are pretty fucking superficial. It's like Joe. Yeah. Joe, you know, there's a sci fi Bathasha. film with girl I'd in it. Girl in this one. I said they're non existent. Hey, you know, the spy movies, Bond movies, he uses a gun and Natasha uses a gun. True. It's like an assignment. <laughs> Very Natasha's name is know. Natasha. Bowman Natasha wears right. clothes. Born wears Same clothes. Character. I mean, is just that, oh. can you confirm that? I don't think so. I just want to know Bond why this is Bond the best. Sex with, Bond has sex with women, and Natasha's a woman. Uh, uh, I, why? I just, I just want to know why this is one of the best MCU movies according <laughs> to this guy. In something, something besides. Well, you see, instead of at the end, the tie, the, the, the credit sequence actually happens at the beginning this time. It's also like Bond. <laughs> okay, I want all of you to try and pronounce this super chat. Um, because... No. But Natasha Bnaximov. Vatrace. Vatrace? Oh wait, which part did you want us to pronounce? Just, uh, well, th the last one's a little bit more interesting, I think. Or maybe I'm just, I've had a couple. Banana Natasha, or, Banana I'm Maximov. Music to me. Yeah, banana sounds good to me. <laughs> Oh, banana, oh, gosh, it's... The banana, <laughs> banana, banana, Tasha. Banana, 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 Tasha. No, banana, Tasha. <laughs> banana, Tasha. Banana, banana, Tasha. No, no, it's banana, Tasha. Banana, Tasha. It's snappy. Yeah. Banana, Tasha. Nah. Banana, Tasha. Nah. The Maximoff. Banana, Tasha. The Maximoff. Zero zero. Good on Jay. Banana, Tasha. The Maximoff. There's yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we got mm -hmm. that sorted. I was gonna say, yeah. it was it was actually more more interesting than the video. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bond one. Yeah, well, but... Natasha is on the run after having gone rogue in Civil War. Mm -hmm. James Bond is overall a very loyal agent, but there are a handful of films, License to Kill and Quantum of Solace in particular, where oh, he does operate outside. Why the is this the best Marvel film? <laughs> <laughs> I can explain it. So you know how she's on the run. Bond is sometimes on the run. Well, you that's know, why it's the best oh, Marvel yeah. film. No, 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 that's you know, is Jack Bauer in Twenty Four? That, that do you have any idea how many characters are on the run in Wait a minute. media itself? It's yeah, a super this, popular trope. This is, Jack Bauer, another this, one with uh, a B. That's a B. Right. It's kind of like oh, spies and shit. Yeah. yeah. Jack oh, Bauer. You know it's what? Just a it has people on the run. That's why it's the best Marvel film because people are on the run. And this you know, is there's, a thing. Is like sometimes James Bond rides a motorcycle and Natasha rode a motorcycle. Rode a motorcycle. <laughs> rode a motorcycle. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Natasha. Natasha has something in common with James Bond, Jason Bourne, and Jack Bauer. She doesn't have a fucking uterus. Oh. That was oh, oh shit! Oh, oh nice. shit! Too That's soon, bro. Too soon. <laughs> Yelena's not even here to join in on the joke. And they ripped the door yeah. out. Yeah. Of his assignment.
and even draws the scorn of his government in order to complete his mission his way. Similar to how Bond sees the big picture and how he's able to operate in ways the governments can't in order to make the world a better place, Natasha is able to follow her instinct as a spy to see the big picture. What make a point, he, what please! Is please! What is happening? He, he really wants this movie to be Bond, doesn't he? Yeah, it? It's the most tenuous, <laughs> vague, uh, like, connections, and is stretching so much. This is not like a Bond film! He oh stops, my god. Yeah, stop, he's fucking hammering the square peg into the circle hole. <laughs> he's like, get in there, you <laughs> piece of shit. Um, I don't understand. It literally is comparisons that are as, like, reductive as, like, you know, characters drive cars, they, they go to hotels, you know, they walk through doors, they, they talk oh. to each other, it's like, what... What? How does that connect right these films with these other films? They're completely different. He said that in Bond, <sighs> he will see the bigger picture and do things the government might not be able to do. She will do things freely that she believes to be right. And you're just like, are you? Do you? Are you writing a script or are you just? Are you, are you asleep? Like, what's happening? It just sounds like words. It, uh, what is this video, guys? Please tell me. I'm I'm confused. I don't have the I'm answer, still okay? I'm waiting for one fucking reason why this is the best Marvel film. And it's now you have 10 a minutes and 30 fucking seconds in, and he hasn't made one. He's explained it so many left. times, Five minutes are you, left. Are you not paying attention? How did you miss it? Come it's on. Gonna... Time is against you, sunshine! <laughs> oh, sorry, did together. I miss the credits one? The fuck? Because she got the credits at the beginning. You know, I missed the ding. I apologize. Bring back the ding. Fuck him. I'm gonna ding, ding him ding, ding, right around his ding, fucking... Ding, ding, ding. Silence the lamb's fucking dead eyes. Oh my god. Um... Ding, 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 An ultimate ding, end ding, ding. to the atrocities and people who not only imprisoned her, but no. many other women across the globe. There's been no. a lack of genuine no. harder. Okay, okay. So he he has not picked any real classic Bond style trope that is iconic to the Bond brand. He is picking vague elements that have some type of similarity that's actually divorced from the concept of Bond as a style that is also represented in many other action films or just films in general. And according to the standards is saying that this then makes it like Bond films. It's, if we use the same standard, it makes it similar to all other films that have same type of elements. A hero that, you know, thinks outside the box and does what the government wants and fights bad guys. It's like, yeah, there's no true connection to Bond, and then it, it seems like this is the context he's using to try and establish this as one of the best, because that's the only thing we have to go on. This is one of the best Marvel films because it's it, it's like Bond, but it's really not like Bond in any true metric that you could honestly use to define the Bond-style films. This is impressively off the mark. Uh. Liar. <laughs> There, it's wrecked you and it took me one word. Do better than that, Shan. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh, my... <sighs> ...edge spy films in the last few years. The absence of Bond alone has left the hole, but the general overall lack of spy content he's, in our he's theaters He's mentioned Bond more than he has Black fucking Widow. Yeah, this video should be it. called Why I Love Bond. James <laughs> Bond video, for fuck's sake. Did you, you, you just wanted to make a James Bond video, didn't you? You wanted to talk about spy films, but you're like, oh, how do I get this algorithm to fucking comply with me? I know, comply Black Widow me. just came out. Let's fucking shove the James Bond script into this Black Widow thing, and maybe I'll be able to make my James Bond video video while also fucking earning my fucking new money. Hey. Ding! So hi, drinker. Hello. <laughs> Drink. Oh man, have you come in at a time? Clearly oh, I've come in at a good time. Yeah, we're, oh. we've been we've been regaled by this this person's take on why Black Widow is one of the best MCU movies. Oh my Which god, this would be a fascinating one. All we've gathered so far, his main argument is that it's like a Bond film, and I am at a loss to truly see. Like, I would love to hear your perspective, Drinker. If you were to, you know, I, I, I'm assuming you've seen some great many Bond films and you've seen Black Widow. What do you think is uh, truly similar or representative in Black Widow of what you could say is iconically Bond in style? There's at least one gun in it, and, and Bond uses the guns, so there's definitely a connection there. Oh my god, there. did you write this video? 
Like, that's the kind of argument you don't write until I'm watching this video drink. <laughs> yeah. you, you would be surprised how accurate your, what you just said is to the connections he's been making. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. This th this is as much like Bond as I'm like Scarlett Johansson. Like, there's just... Yeah, there's there's no real connection there. It's It doesn't have any of the charm or the suaveness or the, you know... Any of the the things that make Bond movies <laughs> any fun. of the any of it. <laughs> it doesn't have a good. It doesn't have a villain that's definable. Yeah, it's just like Bond. And, uh, like you know, it doesn't have any creative gadgets. It doesn't have Bond like actually trying to get chummy with the bad guy before he has to fight him and the interplay between them. It doesn't have uh, um, he... true elements of espionage where he might pretend someone else to get inside of the organization or any of that. It's just... There, there's no... Oh. Yeah, there's no spy craft of any kind in this. Um, you know what? There you is... know, it's a shame because the, the Nat from the first mm. Avengers movie would have made a great Bond equivalent, like a great female Bond. You know, she's mm. she's suave, she's sexy, she can seduce people, you know. She's, and she's, she she's manipulative. Her... Absolutely. Yeah, she can <laughs> Yeah, she's she's intelligent. She can use those abilities to get the information she needs instead of just punching people and headbutting tables. The curse of Iron Man Knuckles too. <laughs> <laughs> the curse I just, of Iron I, Man Two is just growing now. You know that's like I just I'm trying to picture Bond doing what she did. Like when you know I need to sever the nerve in my in my brain to stop myself smelling this person, and he just fucking headbutts a table like right there in the middle yeah. of the scene. Bond does that all the time. It's so great. See if, uh, see if, see if Drinker works this one out quickly. Uh, he said he was disappointed, this guy, because in Iron Man 2, Captain America took too much of the limelight <laughs> away from Black Widow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I said he was disappointed because when Black Widow made a first appearance in Iron Man 2, <laughs> Captain America took away uh, her, her her position. He she took away that. Yeah. Does he understand like the titles of films? It's like he's talking <laughs> about a different movie. You know, Iron Man was in the Cap film, you know? So maybe Cap was in the Iron Man film. You don't know. Have you really? seen Iron yeah. Man 2? Because, yeah, I was disappointed, too. I was like, oh, I can't wait for Natasha in Iron Man 2. And then there was Cap, just taking up the whole screen. There was Cap, yeah. Just, just... You know, I, Iron is this, Man is this is... really one of these, like, matters of perspective thing, where it's just like, well, <laughs> I, I I interpret it as, as Cap being in Iron Man 2, so that's I mean, what I'm going with. <laughs> I mean, no, everyone knows he, that... He said it was a Cap and Iron Man film. I mean, everyone knows that Iron Man 2 is the most ambitious crossover film to date. Yeah. So. Oh, there was so many people in it, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe that Mark Twain was in Iron Man 2. Yeah, the last and film when that Julius he did. Julius Caesar arrived in the third act, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it was I'm when Luke Skywalker was showed up that I was blown oh, away. Oh, well, that fight with him and Gandalf was fucking excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. The CGI was top notch. But do you know what stole the show in my heart? Big Chungus. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yeah, are you are it's you really in drinker? Yeah, okay. Are you in? Uh, let me see. Where's the watch together link here? Just scroll I'll up. Find it. Yeah. There's been so much shit that's been posted since then. Beautiful oh, memes have been posted. If you, uh, since then. <laughs> if you need any news, uh, by yeah, the way, yeah. I know a man. Wait. <laughs> beautiful, I know a man. If you need memes. any noom, dude. If you're feeling down, noom, noom. you know. You need some noom. Noom. Have are you, you taken any noom to get before? high on mush nooms? Got any nooms, brother? Uh, I'm off that stuff now. Aww. Uh -huh. Noom, nooms is a young man's game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle the noom anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, we haven't even explained what noom is to poor drink here. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun if you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just rolling with it. Every frame a noom. You don't want to know, yeah. honestly. It'll take a few hours. Um, so... let's, let's just watch it from the beginning since drink is in. Let's no, go right back. No, no, no. 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 Let's go like, back. I'll let's just go. pick up from wherever you made it to. <laughs> no. So much of this video has been pointless, vapid drivel, like with no substance. Can you or believe it? Any... Oh my! Can That's you impressive. believe a vapid video essay? What is this evap? Imagine my show.
but the general overall lack of spy content in our theaters recently has really left us starved. And look, Black Widow is an MCU film. It's not a dour I'll and grittier than him. dirt spy opus. It has a healthy dose of humor uh, I don't in know, it's pretty dour. I mean, yeah, Wait, there's humor I in mean, this movie? I, I don't know where. It was over so I could go home. They call it humor. It's pretty funny when she slammed her face into the desk, but that's even not good. I, 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 I think I've watched many Bond films that has more tongue-in-cheek humor than Black Widow. Like... I think like I, most I think the films fact that... have more humor than Black Widow. I think that Schindler's List has more humor that works than Black Widow. There was a lot of really funny. I think it's the fact that it starts list. out so differently. You know, the the intro is is relatively serious. You know, and it, it tries to present like a bit of serious um, espionage going on. You know, it's still it's still MCU action scenes and stuff. But then, you know, you get the Red Guardian, who's like this competent spy man who who has infiltrated the American. Um, you know, system, and he's got Boom. inside a, a, a Hydra base to like steal all this stuff. It's like, oh, cool, this guy's like pretty badass. And then you see mm -hmm. him later, he's just a goofy, ridiculous clown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? I liked the jokes about ripping parts of the vagina out. That was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. the hair flip that was super like endearing. I love talking about, like the poses. That was so in character. For I was like to talk about fallopian tubes. <laughs> Remember oh. when we saw Red Guardian's ass crack? That was great. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was great. Elena yeah. laugh. Elena like, like going woo after murdering all the people who were guarding the prison. Like that was that was fun. I, yeah, I remember yeah, that one guy crack. with the RPG and going ha after that. Yeah, oh, man, well, yeah. yeah. I, we were all no, hiding in that multiple, moment. Multiple heavy machine guns, and she was just in a chopper that was parked above the prison. And she was like, "Oh, I better go deal with this." Then makes her way slowly to the rear of the chopper, readies her RPG <laughs> while still getting hit by like heavy caliber machine gun it's fine. bullets. They missed. They missed. It's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. like they hit every part of the airframe apart from the the engine and the important bits. <laughs> She's a she's a better helicopter pilot than Ethan. Ethan was, you know, doing evasive maneuvers in Mission Impossible Fallout, and his helicopter got shot up to shit. What was, was really their plan functional. for getting him out of that prison? By the way, I mean, I genuinely... murder everyone and get him out with the <laughs> murder cable. everyone. I mean, I'm genuinely curious, like, if in their best scenario, like, how do they imagine it playing out? So they like, wanted he to just storms avalanche. out into the, the exercise yard, right? With armed guards everywhere. Yeah. He's supposed mm -hmm. to just somehow monkey his way up to the top of this enormous structure yep. while well, under basically. gunfire. Yep. And then they just kind of pick him up and yep, that, notices was, or that something. was the plan. Never trust women at this Maybe point. Maybe they forgot That's that this learned. was prison. You can't just leave whenever you want. The fucking Red Letter Media thought that that was what they were telling us, that he could leave whenever he wants. It's like, no. <laughs> it's all these people that are going to kill him with their weapons. Yeah, when, when the he's strong, but he's not bulletproof. From leaving. Yeah, he would have just been killed. He was lucky he wasn't shot by live ammunition, to be honest with you. But, well, everyone is in that fucking movie, but... Uh, Cap, Cap's taking some shots. I mean, it, they penetrate the skin, but I don't know how deep they go. Well, Cap was almost killed when he got shot. Yeah, like Bucky shot him in Winter Soldier, and it did pretty much debilitated him. Yeah, he got shot twice in the gut and once in the thigh, and then uh, Ooh. he, like, was partially in a coma, right? He got out of it, but point being is you can one shot to the brain and he'd be dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how Zemo was able to execute all those other super soldiers yep. that were on ice. Like, yeah. One, one shot, they were all dead. True. And it's never fun. And while it does succumb a bit it's to the... It's never not never fun. fun. Never, it, no, it's, never it's, not no, it's fun. not fun quite a lot, actually. I was, I was, it's, it's hard to draw fun out of this movie. It's very hard. You have to, you have to really go searching for it. Trying to get milk from a it's never not yeah, this, fun. The scene where well, they torture does... the animal wasn't that fun. No, well, but that's just me. Yeah, I mean, personally, I like it's, really, it's, myself. it's really subjective if you get down to it. I guess why I brought it up. Cock. Come a bit to the MCU's knack for glossing over morally gray characters and their actions and their flaws. And just, <laughs> oh my god, uh, not morally gray. Yeah. 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 Morally gray. Oh. How, how the fuck is hey. it? Morally white Ow. because they got killed by snow. Uh, what was that real? Did he actually put that scene on there as morally gray? Morally gray. 
<laughs> okay, we need a repeat because my brain just melted. You can't seriously call that morally gray, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Healthy dose Look, of humor. Killing a couple of hundred is never people is morally fun. gray. Well, it does succumb a bit to the MCU's knack for glossing over morally gray characters and their actions and their flaws and just. <laughs> I, 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 Murder! It's unfucking believable. <laughs> Morally gray. If you want to and you're watching this run, fucking run. The guy's a psychopath. Okay, so the worst part about this is that you are clearly aware that this is an issue, but you also, <laughs> and you're also aware that they gloss over it, but then you proceed to gloss over the fact that they glossed over it. It's I'm, morally gray, man. Uh, you're over-exaggerating. We're, we're at levels of glossing that shouldn't even be possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slipping. I can see my reflection in it. How much black is it? Which yeah, my is reflection now. is having reflections. <laughs> oh. Mid or a commonly known morally gray action. <laughs> 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 Mass murderer. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why? They is always... This... They do this a lot. We always get disappointed with this. It's like, no, you said murder was okay. Where did it come from? Oh. Uh, okay, Jason. that meme, that meme with the sniper rifle from the comfy mattress is fucking amazing. I'm just this prison guard going to work. I got a family to support, you know. And then, holy crap, one of these psychos are trying to break out. And then there's these people just shooting up everything, and they cause an avalanche. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jay. Jay. Jay, Jay said morally gray is when you kill people, but also you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> too bad for Abby from Last of Us 2. Wait. Hey. Abby smash. Mass murder plus ass shot equals morally gray. Say that. Abby smash. Plus baby murder. Oh no, that was Ellie that did baby murder. That's it's, a murderer. It's ass. hard to keep yeah, track. I think, you know, it's morally, it's morally gray if you're hot, and it's totally justifiable if you're female. Like, yeah, you know, one division. It's like, yeah, you tortured an entire town full of people that are going to be in therapy now. They, they probably the deserved their it. lives. Yeah, they'll never know. Yeah, Bonds would do what? like mass murder a lot, so I can see the connection. You know. Would Lara Croft do it? Uh, Lara Croft would. Lara would. In the game, in the game, she kills. She kills uh, guys, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Only typically a threat rather than prisoners. <laughs> Italian mobsters. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, they're off. They're, gonna, they're off to shoot her as well. So you could claim self-defense, absolutely. But uh, you know, she, she'll she'll kill a bitch. Morally yeah. gay. She'll push that off the a fucking cliff. <laughs> Making righteous people, Black Widow at least makes an attempt, and it mostly succeeds. No, it doesn't. Outside no, of that ladder, no, it doesn't no, make an no, attempt, no, and then even fails close. at it. Hey, Black yeah. Widow even fails at the attempt close. it didn't make. Uh, Mr. <sighs> Mr. Video Content Creator, you have three and a bit fucking minutes to make one point as to why this is the best <laughs> fucking Marvel movie. And how much you more useless about this? fucking cunt. Yeah, it's yeah, probably going to be two minutes of outro, let's be honest. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that is an oasis in the desert, frankly. Don't forget to do, <laughs> don't forget to two, two Instagram, don't this... forget to Facebook, don't, don't forget done. to... Yeah, we got to hear about Noom. We want to hear about Noom again. I, I, I would oh, honestly... This totally would honestly, reminds me of that Loki video. I would honestly <laughs> rather oh, yeah. watch Transformers 3 Dark of the Noom. <laughs> and the dark of the night of the will find her. No man will <laughs> He does this with Bourne, and the best Bond films do this with James oh, Bond. Sweet. The Jesus. best Bond films do this with James Bond. <laughs> I remember that scene where James are you Bond say the word and Bond. And... <laughs> Next oh, video is sponsored by James Bond. You know what? The one part that was missing of this film was right at the beginning where he said, if a film is like Bond, it is great. Now, to explain how this film is like <laughs> Bond. It's like, okay. Well, we Interesting might premise. Yeah, that's his whole channel. It's just how much like Bond does this movie? <laughs> Let's so, see. So is he gonna? Does he? Does he think that Spectre is a good movie? Is he gonna just automatically think that No Time to Die is gonna be great? Yeah, like, yeah, they all have Bond in them. That's does, like Bond. Does he, think, does he think Quantum of Solace? What does he think of that? Well, you know what? Shit movie. Twelve Angry Men Come isn't like Bond, so 
not going to be very good. Is it? Oh, there's angry. There's angry men in Bond films. Oh, but are there are there nooms in in Twelve Angry Men? Noom Raker. There's probably one or two. Noom Raker. Oh. Just like a noom Raker. Give us noom. That was for you, James D. Kirk. Yeah, I've been watching Star Trek. I'd rather be watching Star Trek than this video to tell you the what? truth. What? You're learning so much about James Bond's in Bond films. James Bond. It makes Bond. the lead character Bond Bond. more human and therefore more relatable. And while that doesn't mean we can all just strap on a leather suit and become Black Widow or Red Guardian. You, you, you do know she's well, a, oh, a no, flash frame there. Flash it's, frame. It's, bad it's, video. Come, come slap. No! He's going to. That's the least of the problems. Hey, flash frame. This isn't DC. <laughs> oh. Um, the the relatability factor kind of fell off the 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 cliff when she killed all those people, though. Just saying. Yeah. I'm, I don't like I don't relate to that, that personally. <laughs> um, I don't relate to make psychopaths. You want the spy you're watching to accomplish their mission and come back home alive. This might actually stand you know, as some of, if not the best character work people. in the MCU to oh, oh, what? Oh. Oh. Sir, sir, that oh, is a bold oh, oh, claim. <laughs> some of the character work in the MCU. Oh, Fucking hell. It's amazing because not only is there not much of it, but it's all, like, counterproductive. It all ruined it's everything. Kind of a, it's a, <laughs> it, it's it actually seems, kind of amazing. It feels tacked on, kind of. It completely flips and flops depending on what the plot needs it to be. Like Rachel Weiss's character, what what is she? Is like she's a some sinister monster. scientist? <laughs> is she a loving I... mother figure or is she a goofy like scientific dork who just like doesn't Women, know how to speak right? to people properly? Oh wait, she's all of those things depending on what the situation requires. Mm. Very the loving mother, the I bad wish. and the ugly. There's such a super chat only... asking why we're simping for a dieting app so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, have I got a story to tell oh, you. Yeah. You have missed much, my friend. No, you have missed a, lot, much. A, lot can, a lot can happen in three hours. I was going to say, yeah, scroll oh. back. You'll find out why we've been saying noob. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's, it's, the irony is deep. Stand as some of, if not the best character work in the MCU to no, this point. No. I know, it's so painful to listen not to. Not even close. So it's painful. Not even close. Debts to I Daniel Craig's die. era of Bond or any other influence. And for what it's worth, we've got to acknowledge Lara Croft for being something Wait, of a trailblazer. How? What, how did we get here? Now we're at Lara Croft. What is Lara Croft is like what is happening? <laughs> So, enter Lara Croft. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lara Croft. <laughs> we did, Lara we did mention her earlier, so. I, 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 we could not talk now, about Spy can... In without talking about Paul Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> we can tell though, so we need to acknowledge him too. Too. she's a little bit different. Her last name starts with a C. What? Oh, she's this that's fucked up, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited not a spy to see. <laughs> I'm excited to see the cut of Iron Man 2 where Lara Croft has a has a big role. Get her on get her on the front cover. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, <laughs> another it is, one. <laughs> it is incredible. Like do you already said as well, because you know how he said all this shit about how Black Widow blazed a trail? He was just like, well she Lara Croft kinda did too. It was like what <laughs> what can you keep your James, story James straight? Bond, James Bond, James Bond, Lara Croft, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond, James Bond. Also bored. Did you just have a tit bloater in this born. fucking video and you didn't and you came short, so it's just like, oh, how do I shove more tits in this? Oh, fucking Lara Croft, of course. I'll shove that in. She's kind of like James Bond, right? <laughs> Lara Croft, the, the womb raider. Fucking <laughs> She's got guns. So yeah. Holy she has For what it's worth, we've got stuff, to so she's like Black Widow. Mm. For being something of a trailblazer. He just end like a Shamal on this fucking ending, a yo. Trailblazer, a trailblazer of what? Women. <laughs> woman, you know, yeah, a woman vagina. in action. Have a vagina. It is. It is hard to follow. I will admit. It, 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 this guy watched a movie before, like the two thousands. You think he's gonna bring <laughs> up Samus? Yes. Come on. Man. We can fit, fit oh, some more no. cameras. Do it, you coward! No, 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 no. He's no. got no idea. He's got no clue. We gotta fit some more cameos in before the end, please. And for what we've got to acknowledge Lara Croft for being something of a trailblazer alongside a handful of Bond women like Anya Emisova and Wei Lin for some of this material as well. But I think what is that, happening? that was really so stapled on. I am. <laughs> we need 
to acknowledge Lara Croft and also all these Bond women. Wait, what? How did you? How? How have you how done you this? What Lara has happened? Croft, Why yeah. did that get into your script? Did you just accidentally just type that name in when your mind drifting? You just get tapped in there. What? Oh, oh. this is no, no. He no. He mentioned some women from things. No. You know what? Add add Martha Kent. Why not? Just why the fuck not? Go ahead and bring up Martha Kent. Cleopatra. Yeah. Yes. Cleopatra. Yes. I, I kind no. of. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. The Virgin Mary. <laughs> I need she, to, she 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 right, blazed right a trail well from from one million years. She was a trailblazer for women. I. I'm just impressed by how many women blazed a trail for however many women more. It's so cool. Wouldn't have had Black Widow Did without- Did this make one point yet? Has he made one actual argument as to why this is the best fucking MCU film? It's like Bond. Does that mean nothing to you, Az? Eat a bag of- The gist of the whole video then, if I, if, if I missed that. <laughs> No, that's yeah. basically oh, been the whole video. Yeah. He's not. He's not given a single fucking reason. This is the right. Oh, he, he did say though that. that the credits for this film are at the beginning and the normally at the end for Marvel films. Oh, he did say that. Yeah. Yeah. I was stunned into silence due to the sheer irrelevance, as we established. What those characters were trying to do create the equivalent to Bond. Natasha Romanov is oh, absolutely- I'm gonna- I, I will pay you to stop I'm saying sorry, Bond. like <laughs> that- that is a- But, but like Harry did Potter he just, and the Lord Well, I'm video. sorry, did, did he just say that Lara Croft was meant to be- like she was designed to be the equivalent to James Bond? No! no. I think that's what he said. Well, let's though. roll him back can and make we, sure. I guess. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Trailblazer no. alongside a handful of Bond women like Anya Emisova and mm. Wei Lin for some of this material as well. But I think Natasha has really <sighs> brought home what those characters were trying to do: create the equivalent yeah. to Bond. Right. So I'm going to find yeah, out yeah, where he, he lives. It's, it's, it's even worse. To... It's even worse because he said it's not just her; it's those others as well. They're it all was the Bond women. The Bond women were meant to be the equivalent to Bond. Okay. That's strange. So, but I mean, also, so Lara you could Croft sort of apply like... that to is Anya, which he references there because she is like a Soviet agent in one of yeah, the Bond but, movies. Yeah, but no, that's not apply to Lara no. Croft. If anything, she's the no. male, she's the female equivalent of just like pulp action heroes, like Indiana the, Jones and stuff. She's, yeah, she's Indiana Jones, female. Basically, yeah. They're yeah. not all James Bond. Like the whole world of media. Oh, no, he wishes they around. were. It's yeah, going to make his I, masturbation sessions a little bit less this awkward. Is, this is a strange video, let me just say. Like, I I don't know what <laughs> point tell him. it's meant to be. I don't oh. know what I'm meant to be pulling from it. We're nearly at the end, and I don't know what's been said. I really... I, I, well, that's I, the hallmark of a good video essay. No, I have no idea what's being said, yeah. It might just be the lack of sleep, but I'm pretty sure that this video is incoherent. Morally gray beam there is amazing. <laughs> I agree with it. It is morally gray. Hiroshima. We, we we don't know what horrible things were happening there that got stopped. It could have been a whole army of lizards. You know, they all got killed. So morally well, gray no, until we know no. more. Fifty shades Mahler, of are, morally gray. Muller, if the if the lizards are just trying to kill people, that's not horrible. That's morally gray. Oh shit! Fuck. Because yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Everything's just morally, morally gray. gray. Oh, yeah. Natasha Romanov. Uh, uh. Bond. Natasha Romanov is absolutely proudly a woman. But that. <laughs> what? What does it have to do with anything? Why did you say that? <laughs> you, you need to Why? understand. Why are you doing she, this? Not, she oh. also has hands as well. Oh, and she proudly, proudly uses her hands as a person. She's, she's a human. Um, it, I... <laughs> All right. she, she is, she's absolutely she's proudly. Proud hand owner. She is a proud eye owner.
she is proud of her that ability was... to convert oxygen to carbon dioxide. It that is was... a privilege. <laughs> is it is it ever really implied that she's proud to be a woman, or is no. it just like, well, she's been trained as a black widow to use her sexuality to her advantage? So yeah, okay, I get that that's part of her training, but what it's not like she's ever read a really big deal out of being a woman. What if they kidnap you and you just turn out to be a butterface? Butterface? What does that mean? Uh, just well, fit body ugly. Oh, she's got a nice okay. body. Maybe you get but her face. Drinky oh. brings up an interesting question: Has Natasha actually used her sexuality as uh, like something you know to manipulate yes. it or as a weapon yeah. since Avengers? Like, oh, after okay. That, well, I think I think <laughs> an argument could be made like, when they, she when she, she says, "Hey, sailor and Winter Soldier," you could argue that. Mm-hmm. That was what my mind jumped to. I, I can't think of any others outside of that. Uh, in the Age of Ultron, when she's at the bar and she's giving drinks out, she's doing the drinks. She's doing some fairly, fairly well, fairly that's, fairly. that's to the Avengers, though. That's not like used in like combat. Are we talking in a combat situation? Because if we're well, talking combat, then just in, 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 in a way to achieve, yeah, in, in, to achieve the mission, essentially. Um, so does she ever do any actual spying or, or anything like that? Much, much less. Apart as... from Avengers, uh, apart from Avengers, she turns oh, into more um, of a uh, just a fighter, really. Like, yeah, you're right. Public displays of affection. And and to me, uh, I feel that's a, Captain a, a Winter, greater uh, Captain America: and Winter Soldier. That's after Avengers, isn't it? Um, yes. Where she kisses, she kisses. Uh, this is the closest I can get. Steve Rogers to uh, put the guy off uh, by public displays of affection from Hydra. So, we're not seeing much though, and to me, this no. is revealing more of a um, a misuse of you know the character's potential because uh, they showed it so well in Avengers, and then they don't they just kind of forget about it and they just treat it like Hawkeye for most of the rest of there's not right? a huge but amount of opportunities Avengers is essentially just the... a really weak Avenger that like all she can really do is shoot guns and a bit of hand to hand combat like she's not really using her potential I mean well but remember so oh, af after Winter God. Soldier after Winter Soldier she fights Ultron she can't really use a sexual shit on um, Ultron um, what is the title of this film maybe she's um, robosexual Maybe. No, but she she could still use her manipulation, you know, where she uh, tries to present herself as weak, like she did with Loki, or any number of things where she had such cunning and guile, where uh, you know, to get information in creative ways and stuff. That was like a really great ability yeah, and, and skill she had, and we don't see it, her using those skills really at many other any other point since the first avengers and do you think that's do you think that's just like they didn't really know how to implement it or they were wary of doing it they're I like well it, oh we don't want to imply that she's not as good at fighting as the rest of them so we I'll have to just you, we imply ass. black widow's not as strong as thor i think they changed yeah, gears <laughs> yeah pretty much i think they changed gears in age of ultron from focusing on any kind of spy stuff to she's the family one she wants to have close bonds with everybody not that that wasn't present, it's just that if you look at the timeline, like from that point on, she's doing much less spy shit, and that's the movie that really started to give a lot of detail on, like, you know, that's the one that sterilized her, that pissed off a lot of people, or whatever. I'm going to fuck Ultron. <laughs> just like what if Ultron programmed all of his selves to be gay? The ultimate counter. Oh power my god. Move. They're all a bunch of spicy power bottoms fighting the Avengers. Hey, Mola, what's Carry the on. title of this latest iteration of Iron Man 2? I, I'm, I need to know. I don't know. Well, well, I this is going to be also Iron Man. <laughs> Volume 2 is the second one of whatever it is. Is that a zombie Black Widow in the corner? Electric spookaloo. You Why can not? still kind of see Hassan's chair. I like that. Yeah. And there's two Iron Mans. What is that red text? Three Introducing Iron Tony Stark as Iron Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> new, new, what's that new bunk, hunky mode? Donkey mode? 
right. new donkey mode. <laughs> Proudly sponsored <laughs> by Coca-Cola, DC. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Potter and the Curse of the Iron Man. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Morley <laughs> Gray. <laughs> Volume 2 introducing Tony Stark as Iron Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by DC. Oh my goodness, what happened? And Lucasfilm. Yeah, it just needs a, in the chamber of Azkaban at the end of it to just wrap it all up in a neat little bow. I think, I think that's the film he thinks he saw. <laughs> He's like, see Cap's right there. Think, oh, he thinks Black Widow and Hermione are the same person. <laughs> Probably. Black Widow was the best at magic. She was. She knows, but Black Widow knows it's Wingardium Liviosa, not Wingardium Liviosa. That sounded like Voldemort the exact same word. I'm just saying, it sounded like the same word. You are not wise in the ways of wizardry. I mustn't be. Don't worry, as I'll teach you. She had that. When she fell from the red room. She could levitate herself and. No, okay. That is the point of her character. Sure, she uses her beauty to her advantage for occasional spy reasons, but generally speaking, there's pretty much no individual moment in any of these movies where her actions, her abilities, are defined and certainly not tempered because of her gender. She's the spy for today's Wait, world. Wait, but you just said she was no, proud that she was a still, woman, but... Th this is still but, fucking stupid. Yeah, how, how did he tell like, that she was a woman? Do you know how Bond gets they, his fucking information, no. dipshit? If you're, if you're a beautiful spy, woman, you, you have got access to so many things by using your sexuality to your advantage. And you to not do it doesn't make you a spy. Your that That's you amazing. Idiot. I'm just confused. He said that um, she she shows like pride for being a woman. And I was like, oh, what are the references for that? And then he goes on to say, well, doesn't really use that it's ever. And then he's saying it's a good thing that she's not defined by her gender. It's like, yeah, no, yeah, he's saying like he that makes her the spy for our generation. It's like what a featureless gray blob. Wait, why, yeah, why would <laughs> why wouldn't she? She's and, she's like arguably oh, at her best in fucking Avengers, and she's using easily. It, so. Easily, and she uses so little spycraft after the first Avengers film, and they just treat her like Hawkeye without a bow, but she uses guns. And she, I wouldn't define her as a spy by the way that she's portrayed in all these other films, including Black Widow. It's just... Mm. Black Widow and was even a the only solo film we get for her, I think that holds true. If this truly is the last time we get to see Scarlett Johansson step into this role, Natasha yeah. Romanoff's importance and influence are going to permeate the MCU forever. No, I no, 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 if it wasn't for Natasha, they wouldn't be there. Or some shit like that. Like, they're both monsters, I don't care. Well, yeah. if anything, it's the die. reverse. I, I feel like this man has some kind of, like, a psychological condition where, like, movies, after he's watched them, just kind of start to mix together with his memories of every other movie. And <laughs> like, it's not... Like, his own movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's your bit. brain on hyper-subjectivity where you just start going... Like Widow and the Harry Potter. This film was it's an elephant, brain on actually. Noom. I loved Black Widow. You didn't this really tell us be, why, yeah. other than it's like fucking yeah. Bond. Vague, vague statements. There was, there was one statement, and we and uh, I remember Drinker responding, saying, "That's a bold claim, sir." And he said something like, "She had, or oh, Black Widow had the best what characterization or emotion I think in the MCU." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Stack that's like this the, up against Civil War, and yeah. just see how it comes out in terms of how characters act and behave. Back it up and, against and, Iron Man. Never mind. Back it up War. against Captain Marvel. Yeah, to I'm, me, I mean, that's yeah. like one of the only substantive, still wrong, but only substantive statements is made about Black Widow to establish it as being the best MCU, uh, one of the best MCU movies. And that's the the uh, the other argument is because it's like Bond and and it's not, and because she's a spy, and she doesn't act like a spy in the movie and. And it had like the after credit scene at the beginning. Like, it's, it's, it's a bizarre argument. I'm just very confused. This sits for 
in my top 10 MCU films. Oh, top I'm, 10? Uh, top 10. I'm yeah. hyper fascinated by you the, now. What is your top 10? That's not very great. Well, well, like when it was one of the best MCU movies, it's in my top 10. Yeah. What the fuck? Fuck off, mate. Like, if Use it was... Spinner. If, if it came comes in at 9 out of 10, I wouldn't consider it... Like it just on my own personal metric, if I even, which I wouldn't include it like in that, and it hit its hits number nine, I wouldn't consider that one of the best. Then I would consider it to be one of the best. It needs to be at least top three or four in that category. Yeah, top five, a bare bare minimum. Yeah, um, yeah, like... yeah. I'd, I'd I'd say top three would be like the hardcore of the hardcore. So if it's one of the best, then oh hello, whoa whoa whoa, look at me go. You just oh, in time to yeah, listen to yeah. whatever. The, maybe they'll mention Noom again. <laughs> Noom, 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 Noom again. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, Jay. <laughs> Noom, you. We're losing our minds, a little Jay. We need help. Noom. We need back. No, I mean, I'm still. I'm in the wash together. I'm still in the wash together from yesterday. Oh no! Oh my god! Same yesterday. one still. Oh, boy. oh Noom. It ain't oh, yesterday for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's and yeah, it yesterday at 622 a.m. Well, for, for me. For yeah. everybody else it is, but for me it's just it's it won't be yesterday f for a little bit and then it'll be yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. Day. Wow. Cool time. Because this That's is just definitely like James the Bond. End. We're so close to the end, please I beg you. Please, two minute outro. Go, go, and go. Yeah, part of that yeah. is because this just is definitely the MCU film that is most up my alley oh, alongside off the, the Winter Hogwarts. Soldier. In fact, even though Cap's <laughs> second adventure definitely tops my list, Black Widow might <laughs> specifically be the film I most wanted without music. even realizing it. Oh, oh God. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh. What, what even is that as a statement? This <laughs> might be the film I most wanted without even realizing it. What, the, what do you expect us oh, to do with that? Yeah, what are we what saying? <laughs> what is so, it? The metric he's using now is that it's one of his favorite Marvel movies because he feels it's so much like Bond, which it isn't. But because he thinks it is and he loves Bond, this is the reason why it's one of his favorites. And he didn't even realize it's it. Such Oh, and it's such a subjective scale that it's such a personal preference he has to then convey that to establish that being the cause for it being one of the best MCU movies, as, it, as his title suggests, is baffling. Oh, wow. Of course, everyone else, I believe that Natasha's solo film should Thank have come five or so years ago. And I think it's a real tragedy that we hadn't gotten a trilogy of Black Widow films up until this a trilogy. Um, Damn. All right, calm down. Well, down. Yeah, I would have I would have loved to have a trilogy of Black Widow films between like 2012 and 2016. No, oh, 2012 and 2012, they're all three releasing How... that year. 2012 is the year of the Black Widow. Well, but at that point, are we just given trilogies to everybody then? You get a trilogy, oh, and you get a trilogy. I don't know. I don't know. Movies are like, like movies. can Hawkeye get in, a trilogy too? Well, yeah, in, the wise, in the wise like words of Round Table, <clears throat> trilogies, we all love them. We do. We do. That was exactly a year ago that that happened. Whoa. That was, oh, yeah. that. What was a more it? innocent time that was. Before yeah. I saw this video, before, you know, things changed. Before the dark time. Before my neurons were cursed with knowledge. I mean, of all of the characters, of all of the characters who haven't got a trilogy, who I think could have had a really cool trilogy, Black Bucky. Widow is up there. You mean yeah. Bucky? Um, I sure. I, mean, if, if, if I it said it's up there. Vision if it was the got, Natasha from the Avengers, yeah, Vision, that kind of level, and she actually got to do it. spying and and like demonstrated real intelligence and resources, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it could have worked. Mm -hmm. Like this was just the worst possible implementation of that idea. Well, yeah, I mean that's why I specified like between 2012 and 2016. If this, yeah, was, yeah. If this, if this was like Black Widow did so well that we're gonna make two more, I go, oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's gonna be about Yelena though. We've already yeah. the torch has been wow. The torch has been passed. It's like Mola said in the video. It's a torching of the past. The, por the porch has been thumbled. Yeah. Like what did I Yelena do? is the next She's... product that we have to get excited yeah. to consume. She's uh -huh. the next product. Isn't she good, funny? Right. She makes so many observations and deadpan. Exactly. Oh, look, she, hair she flicking. Hair flicking. Yeah. And, and uh, my That's vest right. has pockets. Isn't my vest great? Isn't, isn't that an interesting thing that, like, pockets 
Hey, look, pockets. be interested in me, all right? She's does dead. She make, does she make I'm jokes dead. about women's clothes not having pockets? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's, a fucking, she's a fucking, like, secret agent who's been brainwashed her entire life. When has she Why experienced she she can, yeah. this? How is she even <laughs> able to socialize well, you see a and have, like, normal conversations with there. people? Yeah. Like, she, she shouldn't be able to, like, joke around with people. She, she shouldn't even have the mental speak. capacity for that. Like, she should just be, like, a... A little lemon sitting in the corner. I'm gonna go that well, if, if, if you had experienced like, what lemons. she'd experienced, where you've been mind controlled most of your life and you've killed people and done unspeakable acts mm -hmm. and you've had no control over any of it, you would be a dribbling vegetable if you were released from that. You would oh. be traumatized for the rest of your it days. Is one of the worst things that could I, I mean, to you. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to watch a film about a fucking character who has like literally no ability to speak or move or whatever, but I do want to see the character who is. Properly characterized as like the level of traumatized that you would be. Well, everyone goes to Bucky. They did it with Bucky. Do it again, but with her. Yeah. But but basically, Bucky's stares whenever he's back to lucidity tell you a lot about what he's thinking and feeling. Does he joke about his his um brain being probed? Tee hee! They ripped out my brain. Yeah, <laughs> I can okay. believe that. I can believe that. And Jay, uh, uh, if she does actually give a shit about pockets, you know, because a uterus is in fact a very elaborate pocket. Oh, oh Jay, you don't know about the... So you remember how in Age of Ultron there was that very meaningful and important scene where Nat was talking about what happened to her? Well, wait, yeah. wait, wait. How she was... Bring Jay's seen oh. my video, so... Ah, of course, yeah. It's just really in poor taste. <laughs> I'm not... I, I don't know why they would do that. I mean, I also got that far in the film when they made that joke. Oh, you poor soul. I'm so sorry. I, I, it's so, it's I kind of surprised that they got away with that, honestly. I'm surprised. That it's a weird one. Brought to you by Disney. Well, because people don't look at the content. People look at, like, you know, pe but people who are... But it's a joke about a really bad thing. Like, it's, it's strange that it's... Especially <clears> when it, it's something that in this particular story is actually really important to one of these characters. Presumably should be to both of them. To make a joke out of it seems bizarre. Natasha, Scarlett Johansson, oh, and stop the with the audience text, please. I'm gonna tear your fucking editing better. out. And I think a lot of the problems that come packaged into this film could have been remedied had this come out right after Civil War. What problem? Again, no, we should have no. no, this story is bad. Completely different if group they of people. You make the same movie and you drop it right after Civil War, it's still going to be just as terrible. Yeah. And then the next yeah. movie comes out and nobody mentions this and no one talks about it or alludes to it. And I'm yeah, like, how well, fucking awkward would that be? Why didn't you stop a super secret plot of a flying fortress madman to take over the entire world? Are we not going to discuss? It? All right, I guess we. I, unspoken rule. We're going to talk about how the UN that. now have all the mind control tech. Like <laughs> that's a bit disturbing. I don't know. Finally, people will like us. <laughs> He's gotten in between that gap of Civil War and Infinity War, the new or at throw. least before Natasha's death in Endgame. And yes, when we all go back and marathon the MCU in years to come, this is going to join the first Avenger and Captain Marvel as one that we shift in the rotation out of release order. Well, as that say, why is uh, nobody's nobody's rewatching Captain Marvel. Okay, that's not happening. No, I'm never. Uh, he will. I bet he thinks no, it's no. great. I bet he <laughs> loves Captain Marvel. It's so empowering and amazing, and she's just such a fun, no. incredible character. She's yeah. so relatable and likable. That's what I. Yes. We took away from that. Well, she's, a woman. That, yeah. she's a woman. She's, she's strong, got woman you stuff. You are brave. She's a woman. I think mean, the tonally, she is more similar to James Bond Here than Black Widow is. is. Yeah, Dr. it's the Patty movie really Patty puts her through so much as well. Like, I yeah. honestly don't know how she makes it through to the end. Like, she's tested in ways you couldn't even imagine. Well, Cap Captain Marvel is the same sort of. It Captain Marvel is trying to be James Bond, like original James Bond for girls, but it just doesn't, it misses the, the mark. It's trying to be, it's trying to be, look at this, this is wish fulfillment, this is, you get to do all of the, you get to be super cool, and you get to do all the things you want to do, um, but it's, it just fucks it up. The more that you resist that's the, the That's the hot take. I don't think there's any, I just, I, it's, it's really bad. Um, whether it they is were, really bad. <clears throat> whether they were intended, they were totally intended to appeal to to the women with with how she's super strong. But I mean, 
in the same vein as James Bond. It's like at that point, you may as well just say in the same vein as any power fantasy characters, right? I guess. I guess. Yeah. It's just a. It's a. You know. It, it is the. It's supposed to just be a project yourself onto this character of power fantasy, which James Bond used to do much better than Captain Marvel did. Well, give her a second movie. Well, Maybe he'll fix it. Just shows you how much they missed the mark if that was an intention behind Captain Marvel. Well, and that how, how little how little they understand what a lot of women actually would like in, say, a power fantasy. Because a lot of women generally in there like things. If you wanna if you really want a property that reflects things that a lot of women are actually into you look at Rape. twilight okay they want a really hot guy that's into them and uh, they want a hot guy that usually comes to save them as well they want also to be and beautiful and stuff and you look at captain marvel and she's like she don't need no man she'll beat down any guy that challenges her and she's not gonna look feminine she'll and so it's like they, um, they don't Ch really Ch get and I think there are there are lots of different kinds of female fantasies, and that's okay. <laughs> that is true as well. But I'm kind of speaking to a more general depiction. Is Captain Marvel like Lara Croft? Yes. No. Captain Croft. In the In same way, way that she's like James Bond. Yes, Lara Croft, James Bond. It's just so obvious. It's like I'm seeing Lara Bond. Here. Four, Four crusties. <laughs> <laughs> most makes sense. But taking issues I have with Marvel Studios' treatment of the character out of the equation, I think this is just Wait, about what? the best Black Widow movie we could have possibly got. Oh, oh man. Really? Man, what man, this man, is the best man. they could have got? The best That's they could have got. That hurts. Low key no, is the alternatives. No. no. The Does Budapest mean anything animation. to you? The best I'm not one. sure that they could have done it worse. Yeah. <laughs> the, what they did was pretty impressive, because her core value was completely obliterated. How do you do that? You don't... They keep doing that with everyone. <laughs> like, like, the yada yada, the most that. interesting part of the character. The, the, there's... Uh, just, fuck, fuck, fuck. Molly, you've really outdone yourself. I think this might be the most incoherent video I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen some shit. It might, now, I will <laughs> say, this seems very incoherent to me, but it might be because I'm running on, like, two hours of sleep after 18 hours <laughs> of watching bad videos. So maybe that's why it's so incoherent. Uh, I got proper sleep and it's still bad. Yeah, uh, well, in that case, I mean, that's the end of the discussion right there. And it was more than the weight even no, though no. it might not make a lot of sense at this point more black i like that oh, i like, I like that there is he said sense. something that was correct <laughs> yeah, i was he gonna say it. that visual Finally. was perfect for that light i will say it's not what he was saying that's not a he's saying i know different. but i get to interpret death of the author jay i can interpret it however yeah, i want death of the youtube uh uh video I death saved. of the tuber yeah, oh, oh, yeah. something I, I, I'd I, welcome I, I, and probably would be a big hit for the MCU, given how warmly received this has been. And I mean, it's come a, on, give us the flopped, Daddy Harbor Red Guardian trilogy, yeah, please, well, please. please. As as no, I don't want to no. see him because I'll ruin him. I really think that this film a... improves the MCU. I think it no, opens no. things up in an. Oh, no, no, why? No, I mean, I didn't see this shit coming. It definitely opens it up in new ways. I want, I, mean, to, I want to see a movie where the Red Guardian has his fight against Captain America that never actually happened, but he keeps it, talking yeah. about. Opens up like the Ark of the Covenant, and then your face melts off. What if Definitely he had... opens it up in that way? What if he the had a fight with Old Guardian. Man Cap in the eighties after Peggy <laughs> <laughs> beat the shit out of him? Old Man Cap and beats him up. It's like when <laughs> Morty back when Rick and Morty was good when Morty fought that old guy. Well, in my defense, he you know he wasn't old when I like came here two seconds ago. <laughs> I don't remember that bit. Which which bit is, which bit is that? Oh, remember that the the doorway where Morty is going to put his oh yeah yeah and yeah he keeps going back and it's, I was thinking. It's, I was thinking of the guy he fights in the Purge episode for some reason. He's he's kind of oh, old. He's kind of old. He's kind of old. He, he yeah. is, oh, dude, I, that that joke, man. It just really <laughs> cuts two weeks earlier. Cuts, you, you like that? You want me to cut to three weeks earlier when you were alive? <laughs> <laughs> just, I wish to cut to sixty years later when I will be dead and away oh, from this video. Oh. Oh. Why'd you go French for that one? Oh la la! Oh no no! Baguette. No. Le baguette. Don't say that. That's rude. 
la brille. La baguette. I feel I really that think that this film improves the improves <laughs> MCU. I think it opened things up in an unexpected direction and allowed the franchise to reach Oh, higher. it was an unexpected Director direction. Director Kate deserves yep, endless praise for what she pulled. No. Out. Endless praise! What? Endless praise! I have endless something, but it ain't praise. It rhymes with <laughs> chiaria. Oh. But diarrhea? Dude, What's that? After, it's not just the film that she's clearly had a hand in. It's the comments she's made in response to people asking about like plot holes and shit. It was so disappointing to see that like you couldn't give less of a fuck about your project. Good old Kate Shortland. I, I look forward to seeing Black Widow 2 and 3 and 5 and 12, depending on how far we go, I guess. Off with Black. Her vision is a massive part of what makes this film work. The MCU is notorious for Doesn't sticking work. to its house style, but Shortland has found a way to bend that style into her own sensibilities what? while keeping her film no. copacetic. Did you watch her film? Have you, have, you, have you seen her other films and did you I watch those it. films before you watch Black Widow? Or did you watch Black Widow and then go watch the films? I mean, and then talk very authoritatively about <laughs> her style. Hasn't she made, like, two movies in the past, like, 20 years? Well, it's it's the common thing that's happened with a lot of Marvel projects where it's, like, pretty small indie uh, filmmaker makes a couple of films and then it's, like, woof, massive, like, Marvel film. Also, can we it's, appreciate um, that release schedule has changed so uh, much? Yeah, she's, she's, um, she's directed 11 things. Oh, uh, that's one, one, really? two, whoa, 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 though. Oh, oh boy. Three, uh, four, five, six, seven of them were between 1998 and 2006. Uh, uh, she then did something in 2012, six years later. Then five years later, she did Berlin Syndrome. Two years after that, Smilf. And then two smilf. years after that, <laughs> Black Widow. Single mum looking. <laughs> single mum is looking for family, so it should be Smilf with two Fs. But it's one. That's what it sounds for. Wait, was Loki meant to come out after Doctor Strange? How does that work? Uh yeah. The original release structure would have meant that like one division came out and then directly into Doctor Strange, and then Loki. I think was after but, that. But but the multiverse doesn't exist in Loki. Well, I think it's said. Well, they clearly haven't written well, what Loki well, was going to yeah. be. Did this they? Is when you start it goes to, to show see... they had no real plan well, as to what they wanted I... each show to kind of. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I would say that it's a little bit worse than that. They probably had a plan and then ditched it and changed it based on the sh the release schedule that they were told that they had to do. Like you know, because there's probably because there's probably other decisions that go into like when films come out. So they probably oh, had it planned one was... way, and then when things got delayed and stuff, it's you have to start shifting it around. And I can only imagine that, that just severely compromises the storytelling. But then again, Black Widow was finished and done before all of this happened, so... Yeah. 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 This was wrapped it's in, no what, 2019? This was wrapped. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's 60 been years done for, in yeah, yeah. the future, yeah. and the upcoming releases are exciting, but maybe oh, Marvel Studios man. should no. look to Natasha for some extra no. inspiration moving no. forward. No, no, no. Simply, no just, not this no. Natasha. At this Definitely point, not this Natasha. Leave her be. Just let her be in a grave. <laughs> you fucking killed her. <laughs> Well, I love how you said it's that the release schedule is exciting as well. Like, who's excited for the Eternals here? Whoa, hang oh on. my god, Eternals. Ooh. Woo. Shang-Chi. Right, well, I had more reason, maybe. No. Guys, he's saying Black Widow is the manifestation of Natasha Romanoff's legacy. Oh. Oh, I don't want it to be. No. He's got long seconds to show to me. Wait! No, no! No! Wait, there was no, a, there was a ding. ding. There was a ding. Another ding, yeah. Oh, this, thank God. <laughs> Yeah, you don't is get this, your noom. Is this the outtakes? Is this uh, no? Is that, uh, ah! You may not get a noom, but you get another ding, and that's what matters. <laughs> the long-awaited and hard-fought affirmation that this character, the heart uh. and glue of the Avengers, proudly stands shoulder to shoulder with her male peers. Oh, and no, Florence is a fucking never, star, and she more than deserves her. Doubt. There you go. Question. No, she did no, more no, than no. she does oh. now. Dude, nice way to get Florence Pugh into the last five fucking seconds yeah, of your like, video. He's like, she did amazing. She was great. She was great. She did the thumbs up. By the way, I, I still it, think my theory holds so tight. In the, people love Florence uh, Pugh in this movie, but they, they would only have a sight like one of three scenes and that would be it.
Well, it's either the fighting pose thing or the yeah. scene where she was crying at the table or uh, what would be yeah. the third one? She the just knew how bad American the movie Pie was. thing. The... Oh. One? Um, when she got blown that. up by the bomb and she's made out of fucking vibranium. <laughs> or something. Oh, well. I guess that's not oh, the actress's fault. No! Really. This was fun. That's not how explosions that work. Oh, that part was her own Black Widow trilogy going forward. Oh Wait, God. a Black Widow film inspired by Moonraker? What the f***? Okay, that's Moonraker, you... Moonraker. We must rake the Top moon. tier. Oh. Uh, help. help me. Tyson. Yeah, so that seemed like, like that was 13 rough. minutes of pure nonsense. What the fuck is Noom? What isn't Noom? What is Noom? Noom, Noom is... Noom is everything. Oof. Is this, is this going to be a major part of EFAP lore going forward? Noom, Noom. yes. Yeah. Yeah, it could I, very I, well be. I, 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 I see some great longevity in Noom's future. Oh, uh, man, that was taxing. Painful? Painful? Yeah, that was something else. Painful. Um, well, wait. So, uh, I, I believe. Do you, would you like to? Um, we have people leaving, uh, as I understand it. If you wish yeah, to. Unfortunately, yeah. yes, I'll, I'll be, be amongst uh, the gentlemen that'll have to uh, thank you for the time that I've been able to join you, but I'm going to have to duck out as well. Awful, because right. I was kind no of problem. hoping that this lot of stinks was going to make a. Oh, uh, Shad, I I don't know if you've heard, by the way. Um, but the, the rescue dogs that the Aussies have just used, uh, the police have announced that they uh, shot them all. Oh. Well, what? Is this because of lockdowns or something? Yeah, they've they, they've shot they shot the rescue dogs that were used in in uh, rounding people up, or whatever, for your safety. What? That's, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't. What? What do you mean? What is the, what is the context for this? What's happening? I'll I'll, I'll find the uh, try to find the article. Um, but they said the rescue dogs that were used, or the the dogs that were used during the uh, the riots or whatever, they were euthanized. That because Fuck. they were too aggressive and they attacked people, and there's like put down. No, the dogs uh, no, because in case somehow the dogs got coof and they're going to pass it on to people. Fuck me. Some was dumb, dumb excuse. I'll try and find the. Uh, yeah, the can you just like lock him up in a pen for two weeks until it's gone or whatever? Put him in quarantine. Like it doesn't the, the, the virus uh, doesn't stay except, forever. So apparent, apparently, there's going to be like a government probe into this. Well, Ooh, whatever, whatever this instance rags, is. I hope I'm so. so. Yeah, rags, I'm sorry if you come to Australia. Um, you might need, you know, just his gun. Don't, don't, don't no. let the police I don't want to get the, you, uh, get the old right. yeller treatment. Yeah, if the if the I'm, police I'm try to recruit right. you for crowd control, do okay, not so join them. Well, apparently yeah. it was it was a very specific rural council that made this decision. I hadn't heard of this. Ooh. That's like if they told me to do that, I'm like, no, no. No, I'm not oh, shooting I, all these dogs. I hear Fuck you. Phone must be you. Six Semper Tyrannus. Um, all men must die. <laughs> if all dogs must live. Dogs. Worked on Twitter. Oh no. Oh wait, no. I do. Yeah. <laughs> not again. <laughs> <laughs> all dogs must live. My my, this America. Yeah. Life. Yes. We, it we're, is we're all, we're all, I think we're all going to destroy ourselves and dogs are going to inherit the earth. And it'll be better for it. <laughs> I was well, about to say, yeah. that's not so cockroach, bad. Right? Yeah. And inherit the earth and build a cockroach empire. Well, uh, yeah. So Let's, let's that, hope they don't shoot me when I get back to Australia that, and have to quarantine. Like, man, that feels like a sitcom already. Just about a bunch of cockroaches trying to rebuild the world after a nuclear apocalypse. Oh, it'll so, be like dinosaurs. Like that was this, is this a DSP thing? No, I was gonna say, fucking oh, DSP no, I... will be like their enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only human that survived. Well, actually, I feel like it could be interesting. You just have them sit there and try and figure out, like, you know, what, what their political structure is, and one of them just sits in the corner eating chicken nuggets, just like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> so, watch. Is that the Hassan one? Is that Hassan's cockroach? 
So, uh, Mahler, you said that you were hoping that this crew was going to stick around? What, what, why? Oh, because I was thinking, like, a lot of us could play Gothic Foam, but now I'm like, oh no, if, if like, three people will leave, um, an ad... I'm sorry, I, I'm hungry, so I'm going for food. <laughs> I, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna. Go. I'm going to allow you guys to to do those things because I'm kind. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. So I actually have a massive day of full uh, choreography. Um, oh, and boy. in actual fact, the, the main guy choreography. Um, he wants me to actually plot out several sequences of sword, you know, exchanges in the fight scene. And so I'm really pumped. That's going to be heat. Very cool to uh, have a go at. Well, you, you know what? Just, yeah, just good luck with all of it. Sounds like it's going to be real fun. And I'm, and I'm, I'm proud he is for getting to this point, Mr. Shad. And I hope you have fun with all of it. Yeah. Excellent. I appreciate it, Heath. And I'll ca catch you guys uh, next time. Thank you, Shad. Later, Shad. Farewell. Boy, boy. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Do. Goodbye. Ta ta. Bye bye. And that is my key to go. May the well. noon be with you always. Thank you Don't all worry. for having me on. This was very fun. Absolutely. Uh, happy third anniversary to EFAP. And oh, uh, we're doing the thing on, on Wednesday, right? Uh, the yeah. Theoretically, yes. All right, cool. I'll maybe see you then. All right, bye. Catch you. Oh, bye. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Guess it's my time to exit stage left as well. Thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely, sir. Thanks for popping in. This was, right, uh -huh. was the very first live well. stream I ever came on, so I've always got fond wow. memories of it. Ooh, oh, yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So wholesome. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Let's go back to roots. Crazy. Yeah. No, okay. I'm sorry I couldn't stay for longer, guys, but uh, I hope the rest of the stream is just as awesome as this. I hope you have oh, just equally good great. videos to Wow. Review. You try to curse <laughs> us? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to go now. So, later. Bye, bye. 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 Uh, have you got people to come in? Yeah, um, um different messages, different people. Well, so is, now, is now a time to take a break or? Yeah, cuz I'm just thinking I might I might I might, yeah, thinking... I might jump. Mm. I'm, actually... I'm going to get a drink, but I'll be back. That's actually a good idea. Like, it makes it probably makes sense. To do well, that. we've been going for the last eight hours. Well, again, yeah, yeah. So. Again, it, that's a third of twenty-four. Wow, we're we're already past that point. We've done we've done nine and eight. Oh my god! So yeah. we'll have seven, oh. six left to do. Well, yeah. if we it's six until twenty-four hours since we started, but I'm guessing that yeah. Well, we, if we have two half-hour breaks, Fringy. yeah. Right. So yeah. Only um, guess when it's in your favor, Fringy. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think because there's there's a couple of things I was trying to sort out. Really good know, memes, by the way. Really good. Oh, excellent memes. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Well, by the way, as you're you're more than free to go, so you 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 go to sleep. All right, you've been here for ages now. I don't need to get hurt. I don't need to have brain freeze, brain death. Dude, that video just. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I know. I got no, I got no break sales left after that. That's just kill. Uh, no, I mean, uh, if you, if you, uh, if you got people that, I, 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 that's great. I want, I actually want you to go to sleep at this point. I feel bad because you said you're going to leave like fucking ten hours ago, or whatever. Chat <laughs> 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 made me say. <laughs> Chat, love you. Um, uh, yeah, thank thank you so much for having us uh, on your third anniversary and EFAP 150. Um, uh, congratulations. Thank you so uh, much. It's, it's amazing stuff. And uh, yeah, it's always uh, an absolute honor and pleasure to do this. Uh, thank you, chat, for being amazeballs. And may the noon be with you. There it and is. also with you. May the noon be with you. May the noon be always. with you. Because oh, it's about the room to family. Uh, and that guy uh, is fucking shit and should never make a fucking YouTube video again. Aww. Oh my god, I disavow. Uh, yeah, that was... Mm -hmm. I, I, I think he should improve his craft, alright? That's what I'm there for. I should have... He... No, no. <laughs> no, just More don't. on the script. Oh, focus <laughs> more no on the hope. script. Maybe next time, try to make points that are correct. Uh, don't spend as so much time going off into tangents on other stuff that doesn't really matter. Just oh, no. get better. Oh no! 
Oh no, I went to his channel. And what? Cruella's actually good. I hate him so much. No. You failed. Laura so did. much you hatred failed. right now. I don't get it. What? What's, going on? What's going on? What's going on? Look at the chat. Um. Well, I don't know. Bye, Loy. Bye, Az. Bye. No, 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 no. The, the Discord chat. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. Why? Oh, his last his last <laughs> video was why the Green Knight is cinema. Oh, oh what are we are we gonna watch it? No. No, I just it just <laughs> happened. To no. It, 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 <laughs> no. 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 Are the Suicide Squad is perfect. Wow. Uh, Suicide Squad is, is, is good, this, but um, this is a hyperbolic know. channel. Why isn't Zack it? Snyder needed Army of the Dead? What? Oh, he thinks Falcon and Winter Soldier is not dicks. great. Needed. I don't get it. Bye and congratulations and see you all later. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Uh -oh. Well, how are we how are we looking with uh, how are you doing, Evan, Jay, and Meme? What are your respective um, uh, timelines looking like? Well, I just got another Bye. beer because I'm in this for the long haul. Okay. I was, I was about I just, to I say like I'm, I'm past. I'm past the point of no return. It's it's 5 a.m. where I am, and it's like I've been on here for 10 hours. So it's like I'm I'm in it for the long haul too. All right. Well, um, I'm I'm gonna do this really well. I'm I'm gonna say maybe we can just drum up some conversation. You know, good old fashioned conversation while I type things. All right. Yeah. To get to make to get things in place that I wish to be in place. So yeah, just you might know, use. Hey, have... how was your sleep? It was good. Um, I had yeah, a dream that I was um, I was living with someone that I went to school with, and I was trying to find her room because I had something important to tell her, but I can't remember what it was. It was like you know your cat's eating a dog or something. Oh you know, wow! Kind of I would dream stuff. Oh. That would be wow. Oh, there were there were cats oh, everywhere, wow. and everyone had a fucking green carpet. Were there? Were they alive and like moving around and meowing and all that? Were they normal cats or did they have weird like they were cat like in a lot of dream. Things are normal except one weird aspect of it. Were these cats normal cats, or did they have like oh, yeah, a tentacle out of their so forehead? They were, they were or... pretty cute, honestly. They were pretty good cats. Um, okay. There was one like sitting on um, like the, this 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 house was pretty cool. It had like a balcony that overlooked the town it was in, um, and there were like just these few cats sitting on there, and they were all like one of them was one of them was quite small, one of them was quite big. Um, not like a big cat, not like a lion or a tiger, like you know a big a big domestic cat. Um, Okay. All right. So you know, it was a fun, fun dream. Uh, I, I, I don't know what dreams are anymore. I uh, one day I shall dream. Later, it's not too right. long. We're getting there. We're two. We're past two thirds. So we're about to. Probably, I think we're gonna get close to starting our third segment here, and I think we've got something really cool that'll be coming up even after that. Who knows what kind of surprises that we have lined up for the incredible viewers of every frame of pause. Anyway, you know what? I've um I've just woken up, so I'm gonna go and uh, grab some breakfast during this little break. Well, is that? I I'm not sure if that's what's happening quite yet. Um, well, I'm I'm hungry anyway. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, oh, are you gonna are you gonna make yeah. your own food, or do you have someone to make it for you? A relative, perhaps? The person who birthed you, maybe? Uh, to be honest, Rags, I was just going to eat some fucking cookies. Um... <laughs> Cookie? What kind of cookies? I don't know. I don't know. I've got, I've got a nice little selection. Just, like, have a little chocolate chip cookie uh, for breakfast. I know it's not conventional, but, uh, you know, this sometimes isn't a conventional I like to treat place. myself. Yeah, this yeah, is it's, a conventional it's, uh, place. Yeah, this is a special occasion. This is the three-year anniversary of EFAP. If this isn't a cheat day, I don't know what is. It, I had a protein yeah. cookie this morning. It was great. Is that when you, My is that snack when you play the game where like, everyone tries to click come on the cookie? Yeah. Okay. No, it I, gives I it that extra salty bite, I think. All right, I will. I will be back. Come All right, away. we will see you in a bit. Yeah. Um. What? What? what oh. What, <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> so. Yeah, we're we're um. We'll probably no. That doesn't work. <laughs> I can't see shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm scared of what you. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a good hang, on, hang on. So yeah, we're gonna now uh, probably react to one more video, and then uh, we'll we'll likely do oh, the break. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. I'm down for another. Sure. Oh, the party my. never ends here on EFAP. Absolutely. 150. 150 videos to cover. But the story never ends. Yeah. And it does the seem like... The never-ending story? What about the never-ending story? Did it end? Finally? You know, I, no. I, I... I don't think it did. It's like, it's like, that's the MCU, is the never-ending story. Unfortunately. Oh, shitter and shitter. Never it's just like story. it's the cinematic version of everywhere at the end of time. So um, you know what? Because Jay abandoned us, why don't we why don't we just fucking react to one of Jay's videos? Fuck it up, you know? Be Let's like, do it. yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a long time since we reacted to one of his. Yeah, I hope it's as good as his last one. His last one was pretty good. So yeah, so I can give this one a look through. I don't want him slipping. That's the thing. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah, well, I mean, if everyone's ready, I guess I'll I'll boot her up and uh, we'll see mm -hmm. see what this is about. It's a new video, apparently. So let's let's give it a shot. Uh, today I'm gonna be spending right, my time take a look here. This reacting kind of to something something. I'm I'm gonna reacting to something for you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is though. Let's just uh, let's just let's just press play. Hey, I'm Muller, and before I say anything, I'd like to point out that you I'm gonna just go... a video called Amnesia, The Darkest Sand versus A Machine for Pigs. So expect major spoilers for both games. In fact, go play them! Go play these games before you hear what I have to say. They're both really good. But which is better? Oh, I should probably mention that the reason I'm doing this, I freaking love the horror genre, and when it's done right, I love horror games. The Dark Descent changed everything for me in terms of how well it created such a rich and intense atmospheric experience, and because of this, I anticipated a Machine for Pigs more than nearly all games of 2013. Yeah, I don't care about GTA 5. I should also mention that this is my first review, and as such, will be filled with- ah. <laughs> Could you imagine? You've fallen for one of my classic japes. That's not what I'm going to be doing with my time. I, I was joking because I'm so funny. Uh, instead, what we're going to be doing today is I've got a uh, fully edited 10 minute video for you about trailers, if you can imagine such a thing. Uh, just a little, little short video about trailer stuff. Oh, hey, that's cute. The video is starting like a... There are a lot of media YouTubers out there who love to roast trailers, and I am not one of those YouTubers. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Because at the end of the day, what can you really draw from a trailer that's worth talking about? A trailer really only informs you of the superficial aspects of something you might see. Jurassic World have big dinosaur. Joker is... weird and pretty. Captain Marvel sure is a woman. Friendship ended with Marvel. Now DC is my best. Actually, no, I, I'm good. But surely there's no actual merit to ragging on a trailer, right? It's not the actual piece of art. You can't actually tell how good a film is gonna be just from the trailer, so what's the point? Captain Marvel has a terrible plot and terrible characters, but you couldn't tell that from the trailer. Sure, you can infer stuff like Captain Marvel has a large ego that appears to at least in part be tied to her high opinion of her people, the Kree. And you're a Kree. A race of noble warriors. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. And the actual film doesn't deal with her ego or the Kree very well. But it could've. And this single line definitely didn't tell us it wasn't going to. Captain Marvel having a lot of pride tied directly into her identity as a Kree isn't an unworkable trait in a good story. And sure, you can look at the bit of the trailer where it calls her a hero and cringe harder than you would reading a veto tweet, but a piece of cringe in the marketing does not mean you're gonna get a bad film. I mean, we did, but still, surely an entire video just roasting the trailer is kind of pointless, right? 
This is marketing, motivated by capital. And hey, you ever heard of outrage pandering, a form of marketing where you deliberately stir up a group of people by poking them with a stick as a deliberate ploy to use their vocal outrage to market to other people? I mean, look at the Captain Marvel trailer. It's just a piece of soulless corporate outrage bait. Surely it won't be representative of the actual film. Okay, that's besides the point. It's time to go mask off. The thing that I've been saying with a clear level of irony for the last two minutes is a perspective I used to hold. Without any level of nuance or introspection, I just held the perspective that it was always bad to shit on a trailer. I never said anything about this, not that I remember at least. I just sat perched upon the very top of my high horse, silently judging any creator who would stoop so low as to make a trailer rant video. Then a trailer came out that was so bad it made me want to rant about it, forcing me to swiftly reevaluate my entire perspective on the issue, and hey, I thought why not put all my conclusions in a neat little video. Okay, it's time for me to get off my high horse, because let's be honest, trailers can absolutely include massive red flags. A great example of that, I feel, is the Ghostbusters 2016 trailer, which is promoting a comedy while showcasing some of the most painfully unfunny generic Hollywood jokes you've ever seen. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you. Haha! -ha. In some films, that moment would have been played seriously, but they put an awkward moment there, which is in direct juxtaposition to the more dramatic tone that many people may have expected for a scene like that one. 20 years ago, before this kind of joke was done to death. That's some of the best material we have. That's definitely one of the jokes we should showcase in the trailer. Okay, do we have any more good jokes to include in the trailer? Out of my friend, go! Haha! <laughs> the ghost clearly left her, but then she was slapped again! That pain was unnecessary, and I find this humorous. It was also funny because she was yelling, ha ha ha, loud. But trailers can't show you anything that can't be packaged into two second clips. What if, with all of the added context of the character work in the film, these jokes were actually very funny. You can't get a sense of the overall writing quality of a drama from a trailer. You can't tell how well a plot is going to flow together, how deep the characters are going to be, what kind of pacing you're in for, or if the narrative you're presented will be tightly structured. And ultimately, if you do have a comedy that's dependent on long setups, or interweaving character dynamics, there's a very strong chance that you won't be able to cut together a trailer from short clips that actually gets across the core appeal of the media you're trying to promote. I for one firmly stand by the take that of all the promo material released for Rick and Morty, the trailers- What kind of business do you do in a garage? You know, this seems a little shady. Grandpa isn't shady. Oh crap. I'm Crumbopolis Michael. I'm an assassin. I buy guns from your grandpa. Ugh. Just make the show seem like any other generic adult animated comedy. Are you gonna slay it? True. First off, I always slay it, queen. Man, of all the jokes to show in the trailer, as they pale in comparison to a lot of the show's other promotional material, <laughs> like the series of short promo commercials they made for series one. This isn't real life, it's a promo commercial. What are you talking about, Rick? This is real life? Then why is your family standing there all presentably? This is a promo commercial. Tr try turning 90 degrees, Morty. Turn to the <clears> side. <throat> Oh my god, Rick, my body isn't here! It's just a promo commercial! This stuff captures the actual spirit and humor of the show way more clearly. It's a 30 second clip that was written with the intent to be consumed on its own to give an impression of the show, as opposed to a series of one-liners cut out of the original context in which they were intended to be presented. <laughs> If you're going to make a trailer roast, you need to need to need to understand that these are clips removed from the context they're supposed to be presented in. That one person made some art, and then likely a different person came along and cut up that art with a different intention. When you see something like this... you don't know how that's going to be incorporated into the media as a whole. The Rise of Skywalker trailers showing Palpatine was a huge red flag, considering what a stupid decision it was to bring him back. But him simply appearing in the trailers could have meant a great many things. From force ghosts to voices in Kylo's head to trippy force visions, there were tasteful ways to include Ian McDermott in The Rise of Skywalker. AJ and Kathleen decided to say that I was in the movie, but of course they said nothing about how or why or what I might be doing or saying. It was probably gonna be terrible, 
And it was, but that small chance and that ambiguity is why I like to hold off on talking about these things until the product is actually released. With that said, here's the worst trailer I've ever seen. Daleks is the name of an official BBC web series released late last year. It's a short animated series about the Daleks from Doctor Who, and the first trailer gave a very bad first impression. For one thing, Look how ugly the show it's showcasing is. Okay, so what? The BBC miniseries is ugly. It's probably because it was cheap and they wanted to spend their money elsewhere, which is fine in theory, but the really low quality animation definitely contributes to the overall effect that the trailer has on a viewer. You know what also has a huge effect on the viewer of a trailer? The sound design. You What's so funny? Just Freak! <laughs> most lethal Terminator ever created. Someone is creating a device that amplifies paranormal activity. Untamed power. And beyond that. Say what you like about the movies, those trailers sound like hype, distilled. Okay, so maybe we're all used to this kind of sound design by now. Maybe it doesn't work as well as it used to on us, but getting this kind of thing right is still important. You know, we're all used to massive CGI spectacle now as well, but that would be no excuse to film the final battle in Rise of Skywalker with paper mache star destroyers. Although, in universe, that is kind of what was happening. If you're gonna try and promote a series in this way, you need to get the sound design right. So let's listen to the sound design in the Daleks trailer. Yeah, it's the same sound effect played over and over again, and that's it. If you have high quality headphones, you can hear where the sound file ends because the white noise completely cuts out. And you know what I've oh, realized? Crazy. What I'm doing here is very different from a lot of the trailer roasts I've actually seen. Okay, as far as I see it, there are two main ways you can assess the content that you see in a trailer. The first is assessing the trailer as a piece of art in itself, like a music video or clip show. You have a series of visuals, probably set to music, designed to invoke a certain reaction from its audience. I focus. On the pain. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, right. This would also include judgments of things like, does the trailer give too much away? Because that's still a judgment of the trailer itself rather than the media it's promoting. The second is to try and assess the quality of an unreleased piece of media via the trailer. This is the category most trailer rant videos tend to fall into. I, I don't have a source for that, by the way. I don't have any data, I've not seen them all, I haven't checked. But from what little I've seen, it appears to be that way. So I've drawn a conclusion after only seeing a small proportion of the whole that I'm talking about. Oh, I get it. Now you may be expecting me to say that this is pointless and stupid, but no, you can still do it. It just needs to be done with the awareness that what you're doing is making an educated guess based on very limited information. I'm fine with creators pointing out red flags they see in a trailer if it's done with the understanding that they don't have the full context. The Daleks trailer may be a bad trailer that also contains red flags, but that didn't definitely mean that the Daleks series was going to be bad. Although it was. I actually ended up watching it with Morla, so feel free to super chat in asking him his opinions. I'm sure he would love that. Also, I did a five hour video about why Doctor Who is bad now. You should go and watch that. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Five hours. I know how you guys feel about that. Go on. Do it. I'm also working on a video about Subnautica Below Zero, which is going to be a lot shorter, but it's, it's going to come out. I hope. That, that was neat. Hmm. What's the next now one? see, our, mis our the mistake though was not should have cut it off before we got an opportunity to talk about it. <laughs> that was the work. mistake I made. Well. But yeah, that was yeah, that was yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was um, that was, that was pretty. Yeah, it's true. I agree. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 No. Get Man. I probably should have got another mm. beer while I was <clears throat> out, I suppose. This was a way easier way to stream, just saying, just noticing that, you know? Yeah, it really was. I, yeah. I got some you stuff done, though. Oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. Trailers, you know? Ugh, what? Belch. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, trailers are true. True. Mom, I need another beer! I told you to mute whenever that happens. No. I'm trying to get my avatar back, but I didn't plan for this, and so I've only got my I, my, my yeah. Halloween one. 
I, I do I do kind of like this chair. Don't have one. This little you really nuggy. don't have a picture of your. Uh... Well, so when when you stream, I can you know what we're I'll just keep the chair until we go on a break, which is gonna happen very soon anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're, we're eight and a half, so. Yeah, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty worn out from having to cover that video. Um, yeah, that was a lot of work, I would say. Um, I mean, that was, that was way better than dying, honestly. Ha! Ha! Jesus. But, um, I think Jay's getting food. I was gonna say, like, neat, neat, neat enough video. Don't know who made the video, but... It was neat. It had some ideas. I, would say, I, uh, I really, I really delved into the uh, the role play because I actually did leave to like get coffee and stuff. Damn. So I actually, I actually, actually didn't, yeah, I missed a good chunk of that, but that's okay. I was watching on my phone. Well, yeah, and oh, I'm yeah, assuming that, if you yeah, had anything sense. interesting to say, you would have rushed back, right? I would have run back and then said something instead of just staying just here and then being right here to say something. Because I did, I did hear a lot of commentary from you, actually. Yeah, no, I, I think I said, ha, huh, that's, ha, huh. I think I did that once. Which is pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting to think about. Right, look, be we've been going we'll be for, back. like, 18 hours. <laughs> well, yeah, so. I mean, we've got to eat, so I don't understand what the problem is. Yeah, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta metabolize coffee, alright? I, look, it's a long day, okay? And, yeah, in Ebola. all seriousness, though, holy shit. Ebola. Ebola. I uh, I remember I watched a video that was talking about why you need to sleep because it's one of those things where it's like oh yeah you do need to sleep but why though like what's actually happening in your body and I think the gist of that video was that when you stay awake you are kind of giving yourself a little bit of brain damage just slowly over the course of time and the longer you stay up the more that's that low level brain damage is basically happening and then you need to go back to sleep so that your brain recharges basically never get up for maximum brain efficiency for max yeah it's like the brain yes, processes right. all the stuff you've been uh, doing and stuff right it's yeah like and it's getting things. tired it's like ah oh, please i need i need i need to sit down and just i need to come on let me have some chocolates all right i've been so good today all right I, mean, I know care. it's gonna go to my thighs. I know. Well, I guess it's gonna go to my cerebral cortex. But just come on. I think it's cute. I could be totally wrong on that. As by the way, I don't. I didn't do biology at school. That was the one I didn't do. What about the Russian sleep experiment? That horse shit. I've never heard yeah. of that. What is that? Is that? It, it's a made-up thing that people ah. believe. Creepy the thing. I'm getting very confused. That's all right. I know it's what's frustrating. The, I'm getting I'm getting something else in order. It's just um, it's screwing with me. Uh, I consider yeah, it to be well, very rude. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, it's it's screwing with you. Yeah. Um, but but but, but I mean, if, if I, there's a thing I'm trying to do it is being a bitch, and um, and so it's just I just need a little bit more oh, time. No. We'll be fine. But, um, Fair enough. All right, that's good. We well, can spend a little more time in our I... chairs. Oh well, three of us can. I'm I'm in my chair. Spend time in my, my chair. Own. I've I have become the well, no, the <laughs> chair is it's not me. I was <laughs> I was looking for just even more reasons to spend more time in this chair right now. I I look forward to not being in this chair. I don't think no. I want to come near this chair tomorrow. To be honest. Oh. I say that, but I'll be back. It's like I, yeah, yeah. you know, I can't spend too long away from I'll this wake chair. Wake up and straight to the chair. Yeah, I just. I mean, maybe are you a? Maybe you're addicted to chair. Well, it's not that. It's just I. I spent sure? so long in this chair today that I think I just need something that isn't this specific seat. It needs to be something else. Sit on the floor, maybe. Uh, Crisscross applesauce. Could do that. Oh, this this feels like a good tangent, by the way. Maybe chat can help me out on this. I consistently struggle to understand what the best type of chair is to get for an office environment. Office I, chair. So the problem is, I'm talking like, what is the peak ergonomic chair that you want to be sitting in for a really long time? Is it um, an office chair or is it something else? So, 
Yeah, people I, saying not a gaming chair. I'm pretty sure you're right, and that was yeah, why this was a really is, this was a really is, smart idea getting this gaming chair. This was really smart. I mean, I had one because I found one that was like a super sale, but it's just it's it's totally fine. I don't have, I don't really have any issues with it. It's just it's a lot of chair, I suppose. I guess for it's one just, dog. Well, wow. I remember I uh, I went to when I went to I think it was Harvey Norman. Uh, and um, it's retail store for like electronics yeah. and house appliances and stuff, uh, and furniture. And and there was this really nice. I think it was eight hundred dollars. It was this like executive chair, and man, that feels like one of those dream items that you want to have. This chair, it looked very comfortable. It was extremely comfortable. Yeah, that's that's one of those things where it's like, man, one day I'll have one. I'll have that chair. One How day I'll mixed? make it. The, my make my office shit. chair will be a status symbol. Some people buy cars. <clears> some people buy homes. Some people buy expensive jewelry for their wives. But no, no. Office. I chair. want that chair, man. Yeah. I well, I mean, if it if it was like a thing where it's just, I'd be spending a lot of time in that chair. People are saying Herman Miller. Hmm. <laughs> Um, there is a yeah it's it's like shoes you know you don't want to skimp on shoes or at least i'm told i I don't know oh yeah yeah i hear that all your time in it you want to you want it to be be good the herman miller one is one of those ones that i i i hear is like that's the best chair in terms of taking care of your back um and and i feel like it's almost deceptive you look at it and you're like why does this cost 500 bucks but there's probably a reason for that um Oh man, some of these are a thousand dollars. Like, jeez. So, um, unfortunately, I tried to set the premiere for the next Batwoman, but it, it's like glitched out, and it's just trying to get it. It's playing itself for a premiere for twenty nine people. Uh, oh, that's, that's bizarre. I can't that's like I, I told it to release in fifteen book. minutes from now, but it's just it started releasing. It's already like a third of the way through, so it's just broken. Um. What'll happen is it'll complete the premiere and just be public. So, <laughs> like, thirty people will be able to watch it until it is then public, and then other people. Cause it, I don't know. Something's happened on YouTube's end this time. It's uh, very strange. It's up to strange things, but that does mean that we'll probably just have to, instead of passing you over to Batwoman, you'll simply be able to see it wherever you may. This is the thing. It's like where's the links? Like the links not even. A little fucky. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, let me see if I can copy it to our chat. See what happens. If it might might work. It's not showing up when I load up the channel. But there's apparently twenty nine people in here. So something's hmm. going on. The true the true fans. Oh, hmm. someone has linked it in the chat. <gasps> Gad Zooks. I'm going to do a test. Oh, apparently it is now public and people can see it. Is oh, it? Just oh yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. I can watch published. it. It's a hundred and eleven people yeah, watching it's, now. It's in, it's in full. It's just out. It's it's done. It's up. Oh, there it is. Hello. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's showing up. It's for me. premiered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, whole thirty-two showing, minutes yeah. is just up and watchable now. So well, well, yeah. well, now and it says it premiered six minutes ago. Yeah. So the premiere's done. That seems there a little bit know. broken, doesn't it, YouTube? <laughs> that was a yeah. six-minute yeah. video. Premiere it or? Well, it, I don't think it'll let me. I can try. Um, well, I don't know if you can re-premiere or anything again. Yeah, I don't think it lets you. Or if it's you out. can just pr premiere it as if it was the first time, or a another video just as that, or I don't know. I, well, I mean, I, I'm not sure just what really happened. Put it on and watch it, I guess. Right? Well, I was going to say... Yeah, the, I could. The yeah. Same, yeah, it's a thing. It's there. You can watch it. Go watch it. While... It's the same thing, really. There's just no live chat for this one, unfortunately. But... Um, yeah. Go have a look, see. It's thirty-two minutes long. All right, we'll be back at around that amount of time. Just remove it and premiere it. I mean, I could re-upload it and premiere it, but like that just seems have... really pointless at this stage, you know. Just it's just out now. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. We shall be back. Uh, with 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 part three. We we we're up to eight forty on this one, so plus nine, seventeen and a half, mm. just over. Plus. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, still some time to go. Okay, bye 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 bye. Totally do. Bye bye. Bye bye.